Hi guys, I want to invite you to join the Patreon where you will get some benefits as well as audiobooks that will not be uploaded on YouTube. The Cave Where the Giant Time Tree Disappeared Li Xia chased one of the two witches into the glass. One after another, clenching and holding on. The momentum and ODs used to the goblin in front caused shortness of breath and sweating profusely. Don't run. Li Xia shouted from behind. Before, he cooperated with the mountain ghost to force the girl into this cave. In this way, he would have enough reason to pursue him. No matter who he is, openly or secretly, no one can say no to him. He was just trying to get rid of the roots. It's for everyone's benefit. So you only need to hit slowly outside, while he slowly licks the bag inside. Even the fair showdown between the arrogant Sesomaru and the cunning Anamaru was included in his calculations to a certain extent. Or rather, in his expectation. I just hope that the two of them can work hard for a while to buy him enough time. Kikio thought he was just like Anamaru, only on the second level little did he know, he was actually on the fourth level. He knew the characters of several people well, but he just missed the calculation of Kikio's trust in Ali. Micah, hurry. Seeing Li Xia who was quickly coming from behind, Zizi was so anxious that he was in a panic. Knowing how much she weighed, she could only urge the big cat all the way down to find the body of the huge tree of time. And at the same time, she waved her two swords and slashed out the sword light to try to delay a little time. It's not that she doesn't want to sacrifice for her lord flying demon moth, but she still has to see if it's worth it. She could clearly see how Lioli had stumbled before. He is not much better than Lioli, and he will definitely not get any favors against him alone. The secret of their so-called immortality has been discovered by the other party, and it is impossible to delay time by using the trick of infinite resurrection. Therefore, instead of leaving this dangerous enemy to be dealt with by his master, it would be better to lead it away and underground to hand it over to the giant era tree. I hope I can use the power of the sacred tree to deal with it for a while and relieve a little of the pressure on Lord Flying Demon Moth. Sir, you must deal with your opponent as soon as possible. But she didn't know it. Her idea played into Li Xia's mind. Just give me a pillow when you feel sleepy. Soon. With the help of large mica, the glass penetrates thousands of meters underground. Came to a huge cave. It's extremely hot here. Li Xia felt as if he was in a sauna. Volcano? No, it's a volcano. It turns out that there is a dangerous environment buried underground in the forest of no return where the giant era tree has taken root. With his spiritual sense outward and his heavenly eye technique at full use, he can still see clearly in the dark. In addition, there was a red underground magma river flowing here, and there was always firelight to help him observe, so he did not lose the glass riding the mica. However, the deeper he went, the more frightened he became. Once these volcanoes erupt at the same time, the island nation of Honshu, which was formed due to plate movement, would have had more than half of its land swallowed up by volcanic ash, right? In this era of inconvenient transportation, neither humans nor mountain spirits and wild monsters will be spared. Humph, that's right, humans, there are a lot of active volcanoes buried underground. What you see at this time is just a small corner of it. The reason why the demons, gods, immortals and humans on this land did not dare to directly dispose of the old master's body in the complete tree of time. They only sealed the body of the old master and the tree of time together. This is because we are worried that we will all perish together. Humans, let's stop here. Don't bully others too much. Otherwise, my lord may not mind detonating this place, and no one will be happy with it. Guzi looked convinced that Li Xia was convinced. However, the next moment, someone's figure appeared behind her without any warning. A cold light flashed through, and the woman's head flew high, with a look of deep astonishment on her face. How can it be? How could it be so fast? It wasn't until Li Xia turned around and a face showing two expressions of crying and laughing at the same time came into her eyes. And it wasn't until the demonic power of Yushinmu radiated through that face that she realized what had happened. Is the space ability of the era tree? You actually controlled an era tree of this level? No, it probably hasn't reached the level of the tree of era yet, it can only be regarded as the godly tree. That's not right, 
how could the old master who controlled the complete age tree with such a level of sacred tree not be aware of it back then? Could it be that it was only born in these years? Pfft. Li Xia felt that there was nothing to talk nonsense about, so he neatly picked the opponent's eyebrow with a spear and took out a white magatama. Immediately afterwards, two dragon claws were protruded from a gold and blue card suspended in the air, and they quickly caught the big mica, making it unable to break free no matter how noisy it was. No. Glass's eyes widened, extremely unwilling. Unfortunately, she still couldn't escape being packaged and sealed by a large number of intermediate spirit sealing talismans. Threaten me to submit by detonating this volcano? What are you daydreaming about? If I was so easily threatened, would I still be alive today? How is it possible to get moisture? Li Xia curled his lips lightly. In the modern world, he didn't pay attention to the hidden threat of the Smith family. In this monster world, since he left the team, he no longer has to worry about the moral standards of those moral pace setters. He only does what he thinks is right. Obviously, he really couldn't do such a stupid thing as sacrificing his own advantages and making himself restrained by the threat of the enemy. Sober indifference can save him 80% of his troubles. Ouch. Demica's eyes were red and she was still struggling. Trying to attack him. Quiet, Micah. Li Xia went up and hit the big cat on the forehead. While breaking a red magatama that controlled it, it also woke up the little pet. After the Yunyu regained consciousness, he blinked a little aggrievedly. When the retracted dragon claw was slowly released, it quickly turned into a cute little kitten then it jumped to Li Xia's feet and rubbed the cat that was often given to it very affectionately. Nice guy for extra meals. Seeing this, Li Xia smiled gently. He picked him up, stroked his fur, and comforted the little guy for a moment. After. He looked at the huge era tree that used its roots to wrap around a large number of stone pillars to support the underground space. You should know that I am not threatened, right? Li Xia showed her white teeth. In response to this, because Anamaru used the inheritance container to arbitrarily extract most of the demonic power source and launch a large-scale sacrificial ceremony. The huge era tree, which was now in great loss of vitality, shook slightly. And what was very strange was that this demonic tree, which still had a very strong aura, actually conveyed a sense of closeness to him. This good feeling is so strong that it can't be suppressed and keeps rising. He didn't pay much attention to this. In his opinion, this was probably because of the Mishenya mask, which caused Time Tree to misjudge his identity. When he took off one of the crying masks on his face and kept only the smiling mask, the feeling of closeness was indeed reduced by nearly half. Li Xia moved quickly, and took out the high-level soul-sealing talisman, the contract altar, the shrine, and the jade of the four souls. Then he activated the magic formula, mobilized the mana and demon power in the body, and tried to guide the era tree into crying. Among the face masks. Oddly enough, the giant age tree is quite compliant. Huh. Weird. Why is there no resistance at all? So willingly. This is the second time he has encountered someone who has taken the initiative to be contracted by him. It wasn't until he sealed the essence of the entire era tree that he understood the twists and turns. Turn out to be. If vegetation has to be divided into male and female after becoming spirits, the sacred tree next to the bone-eating well is definitely a female. And this huge, complete tree of time is male just like Pu Xianwen, the human face fruit tree, and the flower king. At that time, Shushu saw Li Xia wearing a Shenmu mask. It is as pleasing to the eye as if you were seeing a peerless beauty. That's how closeness comes. It may sound weird to say, but that's how it is. I'm still wondering why you're so cooperative. You've been making trouble for a long time and you're just a guy who wants to show off. Bah, that's obscene. This thought is so serious that I must take it back and ask Master by Xian to help purify it. The main part of the era tree was taken away, leaving some harmless empty shells here. Proof that he had fought fiercely here. As for the underground volcanoes? It can only be buried here quietly. Anyway, it is located in an area several kilometers underground. Even if the hole is blocked, ordinary people cannot dig it down. Walk. Outside world. Although Sesomaru made a breakthrough due to the huge pressure, he was still far behind in terms of demon power. Explosion is enough, 
but durability is not enough. After a little delay, Agatmaru gradually gained some upper hand. It's useless, says Homaru, your slashes can't hurt me. There is a strong wind of demonic energy outside his body that can offset most of the blue dragon breaking impact. And he has a purple inheritance container in his hand that can be used as a shield to neutralize the attack. He is innately invincible. After he consumes more of the opponent's demon power, he can try to beat the opponent violently with his physical body. In the field. After some intensive polishing, Sesomaru felt that he had really grown a lot. No wonder my father always liked to seek advice from all kinds of big monsters. After this incident, he finally understood why his father in his heyday could use Taisuya's wind wound to blast away large meteorites. But he could only use Taisuya to chop the wind wound and open the mountain. There is a huge gap between exploding meteorites and building mountains, both in terms of intensity and breadth. Father, next, I will fight all the big monsters in this land. Sooner or later I will catch up with you. Fighting against all kinds of big monsters will always yield rewards. Accolade a little and make a lot, accolade a little and make a lot. Tsang Long Pa. Hold head high. A thunder dragon roared and pounced on Agat Maru, which had shrunk by more than half in size. It's useless, says Homaru. Onimaru waved the inheritance container in his hand, accurately and roughly blocking the incoming thunder and lightning blue dragon. His body is getting smaller and smaller. The demonic power becomes more and more concentrated. If this process continues for a while, he will shrink back to his normal form. Noisy. Sesomaru's figure flashed and he was approaching. Unfortunately, a purple container with a diameter of more than two meters blocked the blade in time. The two collided, sputtering out intense golden and purple electric light and starlight. Agate Pill exerted force suddenly, and the Chinkuan sword and the noble master were forced back together. Hey hey hey! There is no doubt that Agate Maru is growing too. I am using Sesomaru to polish myself. And at a glance, he can perfectly master the terrifying demonic power of six and a half levels. When Li Xia flew out of the hole and saw this scene, his eyelids twitched violently. Sure enough, you can't underestimate any second generation. Before people wake up, you can laugh at them but after they wake up, if you still look down on others, you are stupid. What are you all doing in a daze? Come on shoulder to shoulder. Says Homaru, Agate Pill. Platykodon, Ali. Many viewers. They had never seen such, such, such. A person. Aulong Pa. The blue thunder dragon screamed and cracked the earth. Demon breaking arrow. 2. From the side, two arrows flew straight away. There was a roar and strong white light in midair. The next moment, Yanho spat out his ultimate move, explosive thunder. Behind Agate Pill, Li Xia fully mobilized all his strength and slashed out a wind wound that was close to the Kaishan wind level. After taking down the glass witch, Tai Suya came into his hands smoothly. Li Xia's wind wound and Sesomaru's azure dragon break were undoubtedly the strongest in terms of momentum. The biggest threat is the two demon breaking arrows with purification properties. What didn't make him feel threatened was the bombing thunderstorm ejected by flame hoof in midair. So, Onimaru turned his back, leaving his back to Sesomaru, and then controlled the inheritance container to resist Soryupa's thunder dragon attack. In his opinion, this is the safest. Because the inheritance container blocked Sesomaru's offensive more than once. Secondly, he spits a purple beam of demonic power from his mouth to resolve Kikyo's demon breaking arrow. The arrow was sent by Ali earlier. He felt quite threatened by this undead human witch. This woman's arrows are accurate and powerful, so she cannot be underestimated in the slightest. Then he fully mobilized the wind of demonic energy around his body to deal with Ali's demon-breaking arrow. For this human girl, he can only say that the fire is not enough she is similar to the half-hearted Inuyasha, and she is only half-hearted. The penetrating power of the little girl's demon-breaking arrow cannot break through the invisible barrier formed by his demonic wind. Furthermore, even if he manages to break through his demonic wind, the human Miko's arrows will lose their accuracy. There's no threat to him. After that, he used his hands with majestic demonic power to directly deal with the wind wound caused by the human mage wielding the demonic sword. 
The bodies of their flying demon moth clan have been tempered over time and will never be fragile. As for the attack of the flaming horse in the sky. Ignored. Boom boom boom. Just as Anamara had predicted, he could resolve this wave of crises. Although there are many people on the opposite side, the power is not concentrated. The only troublesome thing was that Li Xia's wind injury actually caused some damage to his hands, arms, and perfect monster body. Human, you really pissed me off. The purple beam of light offset Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow, the wind of demonic energy deflected Ailey's demon-breaking arrow. The inheritance container blocked Sesomaru Soryupa, and his body forcefully ate the flame hoof's thunderbolt and Taisuya's wind damage. Onyx Maru is still alive and kicking. After holding on to this wave, he flew straight towards Li Xia. Extremely fast. This guy. Li Xia was stunned. Because Agat Maru's transformation process was forcibly interrupted by them, he was not yet at the level of life that completed the transformation in the original timeline but despite this. The other party retained the most difficult inheritance container, which was not as connected as in the original timeline. Eat this ball of light and wipe it clean. In addition, although the opponent has not reached the height of the previous generation of flying monster moths. The dangerous aura exuding also shows that it has finally reached the top level of the great monster. His demonic power is more than ten times that of poisonous dragons and mountain ghosts. It can be seen that he can disintegrate the wind damage of the Kaishan wind level with his hands. To deal with this kind of existence. One must either carry out an effective weakness attack while the other party is still unable to perfectly control the huge body and before it is unable to perfectly control the explosive demonic power. In the theatrical version, Anamaru stood still and didn't move much. His feet seemed to have roots, and he was a perfect target. It was extremely embarrassing. In the original timeline, the cooperation between Inuyasha and Ali was indeed a coincidence of attacking weak spots. That is. Inuyasha used Tetsuya to shoot Blast Ryubo to protect Ali's demon-breaking arrow, making the demon-breaking arrow's aura and precise hit between the opponent's eyebrows. It turned out that after Agat Maru's transformation, the center of his eyebrows was inlaid with a precious jade, just like the glass and colored glaze of the two maids. That Magatama is actually the essence of that guy's monster energy, similar to a monster's heart. As long as the gem is shot, the opponent's vitality and strength will definitely plummet. The body of steel that could have scattered Inuyasha's level of wind damage with a slap would become extremely weak. This move is commonly known as plot ing. However, he was very interested in the gem between Agat Maru's eyebrows and wanted to try it to see if he could get it and study it without destroying it. It would be a shame if such a good thing was destroyed. Therefore, he was prepared to adopt another OD, which was to suppress the opponent with an absolute crushing attitude. Just do what comes to mind. There is a green gold card on the left, and a purple gold card on the right. The two cards glow together, and a poisonous dragon with a body of more than 100 meters and a mountain ghost with a body of 100 meters appeared. Immediately, with a look of astonishment on Agat Maru's face as it flew towards him, he knocked it back with a left and right blow, a claw and a punch. Damn humans! Onyx Maru groaned. The strength of mountain ghosts can shake mountains and lift mountains. As a dragon-type being, poisonous dragon's physical strength should not be underestimated. Although Onimaru was mentally prepared, he didn't expect that the physical strength of the two was actually superior to his. Li Xia, on the other hand, first gestured to the two girls and Yen Ho who were not far away. Ailey, Ms. Platycodon Grandiflorum, you take the flame hoof to the sky and prepare the demon-breaking arrows to cooperate with me. Then with the help of teleportation, he jumped to Sesomaru's side. Your Highness Sesomaru, do you want to pull out the natural tooth and try the combined SS of the iron broken tooth and the natural tooth? When the noble prince heard this, a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. What's the meaning? Can Tai Suya and Tian Tianya still cooperate? Why don't you know? But he really wanted to know what kind of secrets were hidden in the two tooth knives left by his father. Both knives have their own spirituality, as evidenced by the two very similar white puppies appearing in Yao Lao Dushian's Ambrosia Vat. The demon sword with spirituality can feel the thoughts of the sword holder. 
When Li Xia wanted to cooperate with the natural teeth held by Sesomaru, the iron broken teeth started to move magically, and quietly attached a layer of golden demon power. At the same time, when Sesomaru had similar thoughts, the tense na also began to pulse regularly. It's like there's a heartbeat. Tian Tianya, do you want to fight with Tai Suya? Shadian was also shocked now. Your Highness Sesomaru, it seems that the two swords really hide some secrets. Quick, pull out the tense na and try it. Li Xia's eyes lit up. Did he really react? What a surprise. He just wanted to give it a try, but he didn't expect the two knives to work together so well. Here, Sesomaru felt the pulse of the natural teeth and glanced at Li Xia with a somewhat complicated mood. It would be great if my younger brother respected me like this and cooperated with me like this. In fact, multiple brothers are not bad, right? Unfortunately, that brother of his is Inuyasha. When he thought of Inuyasha, his face darkened the wound on his left arm that had obviously healed felt an inexplicable pain. And another wound on his chest also stung a little, which made him unhappy. Alas, such a good little brother is someone else's younger brother. Without further delay, he pulled out the natural tooth. At this time, Tian Shenjia's blade was filled with rich azure demon power. It forms an extremely suitable color match with the golden iron broken teeth. Are you ready? On Yen Ho's back in mid-air, Kikio asked Ali beside him. No problem. Ali, who was bending his bow and setting an arrow in the same posture as Kikio, nodded affirmatively. The two of them were riding on Yan Ho's back together, and they could both see their own shadows in each other's bodies. 3, 2, 1. Go ahead. Next moment. Whizzing. Two demon-breaking arrows were shot out from the bowstring at the same time. The crystal purple light spots still remain around the long bow, and the two bright purple lights of purification are entangled together to form a strange spiral posture, which looks beautiful. The two arrows, with a very beautiful arc, went straight to Onyx Maru below who was trying to use the wind of demonic energy to block it. Stop looking down on me. Agat Maru ran the demonic wind that resembled a barrier at full strength. And activated the inherited light ball to block a huge fireball of more than 10 meters in diameter ejected by the mountain ghost behind him and a thunder bomb of several meters in diameter ejected by the poisonous dragon. Immediately afterwards, a dazzling light erupted from the center of the eyebrows, followed by a thick beam of destruction with extremely lethal power. The targets are Sesomaru and Li Xia. Seeing this, Li Xia was not surprised but happy. He saw it. I saw the gap in the demonic energy torn apart by the demon-breaking arrow, I saw the increasingly dense wind curling on the broken teeth. And I saw the possibility that the wound of wind could catch the demonic energy shot by the opponent. Chance. Without any hesitation, he rushed out carrying Tai Suya. Control the power of the wind with all your strength to reverse the opponent's destructive beam. Blast. Sesomaru, on the other hand, took a deep breath, suppressed his many irritations towards Inuyasha. And then followed the rhythm of the natural tooth, wrapped his demonic power around it and waved it out. Aulong Pu. The blast caught the beam of destruction and bounced back with devastating force. The Azure Dragon Haku was wrapped around the Blast Ryu Haku, causing a triple level of destruction. That kind of power that destroyed the world made the onlooker stunned and dumbfounded. The shock in my heart could not be greater. What? Life and death, the combination of two ultimate powers. The Fong of Destruction and the Fong of Rescue, can they still be used like this? The two knives left behind by Inu Tai General. Are they so dangerous? The center of the battlefield. Facing this super explosive agate pill, he let out a heartbreaking scream in disbelief. He was bathing among Bakuryupa and Soryupa. He was drowned by Bakuryupa and Soryupa. Only his head was left, and he was filled with despair. At the same time, he was filled with dissatisfaction. I will actually be defeated by the old dog's two knives. You know, the tooth of destruction among them had clearly fallen into his hands. It's a pity that he was looked down upon and sent it back with the help of his maid. This really shouldn't be the case. Ah. I didn't expect that I, who pride myself on being so smart, would make such a stupid mistake. Did my strength suddenly increase so much that it made me blind and arrogant, causing me to lose the forbearance that had been dormant for many years? 
What's more, he hasn't had time to master the new power perfectly. My father was defeated by the joint efforts of Lao Go and many great demons and human immortals in this land. Now, I have been defeated by the joint efforts of Lao Go's son and human mage witches. Is this fate? No, I am not willing to. He is the man who wants to conquer this land. No. Pft. The purple light of purification penetrated the barrier of demonic energy and hit Agat Maru's left and right shoulders respectively. Tetsuya in the form of a machete flew out of his hand, chased after Bakuryu Pa and Soryu Pa, and stabbed into his chest. Bloodstained demon knife. Human, you. Onyx Wan's eyes widened in pain. You are going to die anyway, so contribute a little more before you die. Li Xia blinked and smiled. Immediately, the power of Bakuryu Pa and Soryu Pa exploded completely, creating a huge crater of more than 200 meters in the ground with a rumble. Presumably, Onyx Maru passed away peacefully. No, it's in the pit. Except for a small light ball with a diameter of 2 meters with dim purple light and a rusty rusty knife stuck upside down on the ground. The rest are only some bone residue and crystal jade fragments. The demonic clouds in the sky dispersed, and the sky was suddenly clear. Li Xia quickly entered the pit to check the specific situation and secretly said it was a pity. During the battle, he had no choice but to slow down his offensive. Which also caused the gem that looked like a crystal of demonic power on Anamaru's forehead to be crushed into many large and small pieces by the aftermath of the Baku Ryu Pa and Soryu Pa. But it is also fortunate that what hit this demonic power crystal was the aftermath of Baku Ryu Pa and Soryu Pa, rather than two demon breaking arrows. If, like the original work, Bao Yu is shot and exploded by a Li's demon breaking arrow, not even the dregs will be left. Right now, at least there are a lot of pieces left for him that are as big as a fingernail and as small as a grain of rice, right? Better than nothing. Summer. Seeing Li Xia flying away after quickly cleaning the battlefield, Ali pouted in embarrassment. Beside him, he held a small mica coral in one hand and patted his friend on the shoulder with the other hand. There will always be a chance, don't be discouraged. Ali looked down at the broken teeth in his hands and nodded slightly. Well, I know, I will definitely chase Mr. Xia back. In the dark and deep cave, Naraku looked solemn. Is Tai Suya so dangerous? Many other monsters. Not only has the Western Dog Clan not declined, it seems to have become even more prosperous. That Sesomaru is almost able to take charge of his own business. And that human boy. Their island country is really full of outstanding people and talents. Li Xia still didn't know that after this battle, he had fallen into the eyes of many older generations. The flexible moral bottom line of not practicing martial ethics during the battle has gained widespread recognition. Especially in the Western Cloud Palace. A noble lady took a great interest in him. A mere little human mage can actually control Tai Suiyang's fully. Not only did he use wind damage, he even used explosive burst. This talent for using demonic energy is not inferior to that dead ghost. Staring at the young man's back as he left and looking at the young man's unicorn arms, her mood became even more complicated. Agate Pill was robbed, the soul sacrifice ceremony was interrupted, and countless souls who were blocked halfway and did not enter the inheritance light ball were all spared. As the blocking barrier dissipated, these souls all spontaneously returned to their respective bodies. And the Northeast at this time. Dozens of red mutated dead soul insects in the sky that had eaten no less than 20,000 to 30. 000 souls also vomited out all the living souls and dead souls they had previously inhaled into their bodies, and allowed those living souls to return to their respective bodies. This wave saved at least the lives of thousands of humans and thousands of monsters. Finally, Yen Zhu took these dead soul insects and hid in the mountains. Certainly. Even if Anju and other hidden figures acted quickly. They could not change the fact that Agat Maru had caused millions of mountain spirits and wild monsters and hundreds of thousands of villagers to collectively die. Mountain elf wild monsters are not stronger than adult humans, otherwise there would be no humans. As for the human village. Those villages that had no wizards or witches using the barrier to protect them, this time they really didn't want to be spared. Not a single person was left alive. Humans and spirits without strength, in this warring states era where speaking with fists, 
were lucky to be able to spend their lives safely. In other words, it is a luxury. An area of hundreds of miles is full of waste waiting to be developed. Li Xia flew away. Sesomaru left. Some presences in the darkness dispersed. Then, Inuyasha came late with Yunduo and Grandpa Minka tied up. Ha! Huh. Is this the end? Is it a little too fast? Inuyasha jumped down from the clouds and came to Alin Coral, with a look of regret on his face. When he was about to say sewing, he saw a familiar figure disappearing into the dense forest to the north, accompanied by some dead soul insects. He immediately planned to leave his friends and chase the familiar figure. Wait, Inuyasha, take this. As Ali spoke expressionlessly, sewing was revealed. Inuyasha subconsciously took it and took a look. His eyes immediately lit up and he said happily. My iron teeth. Thanks Ali. After sheathing Tai Suya, he immediately pursued the forest where Platycodon disappeared without looking back. He had a lot of things on his mind that he wanted to tell Kikyo. Come on, Coral, let's go back. Ali, who felt a little disappointed because he couldn't find someone, got on the long bread vehicle transformed by a ba. Then he flew to the southeast with Coral riding on the big mica. For some reason, the two directions, south and north, seemed to be telling sewing silently. The other end. After saying goodbye to Platycodon, Li Xia first went to the cave where Yan Zhu was, and then moved the girl who trusted him very much to the barren mountain where Tao Xianren was. Yan Zhu actually stole the show this time. But this is not a good thing. He was afraid that Naraku would think that the little girl was his wing, and after recovering his strength, he would eagerly jump out and cause trouble. And Yan Zhu only took part in this muddy water because of his prior request. In other words, he should be responsible for the safety of this girl who trusted him no matter what. The safer place right now is definitely Bailing Mountain. The more secluded place is undoubtedly the paradise of the Peach Immortal. Neraku's daring to enter the Bonsai world to arrest people is tantamount to weakening himself. After all, a person trapped in the world of Bonsai can only change from a figure-sized villain back to a normal human body shape by taking a bath with a special liquid made of the main material of the human face fruit. This is the case for Ali in the original timeline. Neraku's entry into the world of Bonsai is equivalent to making himself smaller hundreds of thousands of times. The demonic power of the whole body will also be relatively compressed. It is no exaggeration to say that Neraku and Li Xia will be able to deal with every one of them with one slap. I'm sure Neraku wouldn't take the initiative to jump into the world of Bonsai just to cut off his wings. Okay Yen Zhu, you can live in seclusion here for a while. I will come over to see you when I have time. It won't be too late for you to come out after this storm has passed. Li Xia explained the whole story to the little girl and comforted her. In fact, he explained the hidden dangers of taking action in advance, and Yen Zhu didn't seem to care. But he still emphasized that the girl should not completely let down her guard. I know, Brother Xia. Yen Zhu nodded. Immediately, he took a group of pets and jumped into the bonsai world under the ruins. Seeing this, Li Xia also breathed a sigh of relief. Before returning straight to Bailing Mountain, he deliberately placed a limited barrier around him just in case. And he carved a brand new treasure gourd using the human-faced fruit tree with only its root system left. A few months ago, he did not completely remove the many roots, but actually had plans to refine a demon refining gourd. Whether to use it or not is one thing, and whether to use it or not is another matter. Bailing Mountain Holy Land Fairy air floats in the air, and there is peace. Li Xia flashed in on his flaming hoof. Master, I'm back. He may have to rest for a while this time. There is no way, the harvest is too much. First, a life-melting ring made by the life-melting tree. Although there is no chance for this wooden ring to perform at the moment, this ring is a backup preparation for the future. Secondly, is the large amount of loot obtained from Agat Maru. Banshee Glass, 1. The Female Demon Leoli, 1. The Essence of the Giant Era Tree in its entirety, a big blob. One Purple Light Inheritance Container of the Flying Demon Moth Clan. There are also a large number of fragments left after the Demon Power Crystal between Agat Maru's eyebrows was broken, as well as some bone fragments of Agat Maru. These are all useful things. Is there anything important you come to see me for? 
Master by Exion, I used the Shinmu mask to absorb the essence of a complete age tree but it carries a strong evil aura. If the evil aura is not purified, there may be future troubles. Li Xia took out the Shinmu mask with a crying face. The crying face at this time seemed to be crying even harder. Is it to be purified by the old man? At this time, the old man's orange eyes revealed a different meaning. Li Xia noticed it and asked in confusion. Master by Xian, is there anything wrong? The old monk shook his head. Then he said so in shocking. Xiao Xia, this time, let's do it by yourself. It's time for you to master the art of purification with sacred attributes. And the situation of the era tree is just right for you to practice now. Um. Li Xia blinked. Don't quite understand. My lineage is different from ordinary Buddhist temples. After I summarized and sorted out some incomplete inheritances, and then created new ones, the original intention of the sacred purification technique was not just pure purification. Why do you think I was able to set up Bailing Mountain? Sacred Barrier? Where does that powerful magic power come from? Please also ask Master by Xian to teach me. Li Xia's eyes lit up. Because while the sacred purification technique purifies evil, it also polishes the mana and soul of the caster. When my soul is strong enough to reach the level of a Buddha, even if my body is rotten and only the soul and the body is left, I still have it. Unparalleled soul power. Xia, if you want to go further, you have to try to use the sacred purification technique to purify the evil spirits of those evil people. This is the best way to polish and temper yourself. If you can transcend the darkness in evil spirit souls, most of the evil spirits you have transcended will have light left behind. Those rays of light will nourish your soul, sublimate your soul, and thus perfect you. At your age, as long as if you persevere and add up, you will reach my level sooner or later. Master by Xian eloquently explained the key points of cultivation. The first step of refining and transforming qi is to connect all the meridians throughout the body and lay a solid foundation. The purpose is to build the foundation. This process can be greatly shortened and transitioned quickly with sufficient practice resources. The Li family's low-quality spiritual liquid has very average effects, but the high-quality spiritual liquid strengthened by clean four-soul fragments is quite effective. The second step of refining qi and transforming the spirit, focusing on nourishing the spirit, is to strengthen one's own soul. The intermediate process can also be transitioned through some rare natural materials, earthly treasures or other things. For example, here is Li Xia the high-quality spiritual liquid he prepared with the help of raw materials strengthened by a large number of four soul fragments is only the most incongruous auxiliary thing. The key is the source of mana of dozens of practitioners accolated by the female ghost in Gue Tu City. The nourishment and the Kirin left arm that Sesomaru helped him cultivate because of these adventures, he was able to achieve what he has achieved today at such a young age. If he were to practice hard in a step-by-step -step manner, with his talent in cultivation, it would take him at least 20 or 30 years to reach his current level. Like Mithraya in another era more than 10 or 20 years later. By the time of Yiksha Ji, Mithraya could reach the level of 4-star mana. In addition, although the first and second steps can be achieved with the help of various cultivation resources, the foundation can be quickly consolidated and the magic power can be accumulated quickly. But if you want to move from the second step to the third step of training and returning to the void, external objects can no longer easily assist your practice. At this time, it is no longer nurturing the spirit but refining the spirit. In the Bailing Mountain Lineage Master Baishin summarized a large number of sages' manuscripts and combined them with her own wisdom and talents to create a sacred purification technique that can purify all filth. Purifying evil spirits and transcending evil spirits is exactly tempering the soul. When the soul, or soul four souls is strong, the improvement of mana will be a matter of course. Soul power can also be converted into mana in the body, becoming the second source of one's own mana. This is why those who are in the third step of cultivation are extremely unreasonable. Those witches who are born with strong spiritual power are at this stage even from birth. For example Tsuezi, Platikodon, Ali, Tongzi. The art of sacred purification, in the hands of Master by Xian, is a secret OD for tempering the soul. An acquired OD that allows Li Xia to quickly close the innate gap with Kikio and others. 
It is more suitable for people who are stuck in the bottleneck of the second to third steps and for powerful practitioners who have entered the third step. It's too weak, inappropriate, and will only encourage growth. It's too strong and basically useless. However, for Li Xia now, it is just fine. Li Xia is just short of the final transformation of his soul to enter the stage of refining the spirit and returning to the void. Master by Xian, what do you mean, let me practice spirituality by purifying the evil energy of the age tree and take that step in one fell swoop? Li Xia took a deep breath and asked. There was a hint of depth in his burning eyes. Not enough. The feedback you get from simply converting the evil energy of this era tree is not enough to allow you to go further. You can either slowly convert a large number of ordinary monsters sealed in Bailing Mountain step by step with mana and soul power. Thereby add up a little and make a big thing or, seek a more powerful evil to temper it and get greater feedback. The old monk said seriously. Isn't it enough? Then, what if we add the resentful soul in this blood coral gem and the hateful soul of Agat Maru? Agat Pill, I'm sorry, even if you are already dead, I can only burn you out and save you again. Later, Li Xia devoted himself to practicing the sacred purification technique starting from the monsters sealed in Bailing Mountain. He understands one truth, that is whatever you do, you have to be physically strong enough. Even if it is a family Shikigami contract, he needs to reach a relatively high level of S in order to perfectly master the major Shikigami under his command with the help of the OD. And the art of sacred purification is not a conceptual art that everyone must think is correct and sacred before you can cast it. The prerequisite for using this OD is that you firmly believe that what you are doing is correct and sacred, and then supplement it with the power of holy attributes. Like a Miko purifying monsters. Those are obviously all kinds of ING behaviors, but the former will never think that his actions are wrong. Therefore, the most important thing is your inner belief. You must not hold on to the slightest guilt, hesitation, doubt, etc. Otherwise, you will only become more and more self-doubt. And when Li Xia, with the help and guidance of Master by Xian, gave his magic power a hint of the sacred attribute like the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain. He then tried to use this magic power to transcend a lower level monster. He vaguely felt that his magic power was gradually transforming into holy attributes. As he purifies and liberates more and more evil spirits and monsters, the sacred attributes tainted in his own mana will surely become more and more intense. And it is very possible for him to eventually transform into complete holy attribute mana. It feels like it's not that difficult. The progress visible to the eye greatly increased Li Xia's enthusiasm. Well, there are only a few more left before my wild dragon can transform from an ordinary weapon into a spiritual demon sword. Barbarian Bone is also eager to try. He had waited too long for this moment. As for the monsters in Bailing Mountain, Man Gu wields his wild dragon spear to them, absorbing the resentment that erupts when the monsters are ed. The savage dragon spear is such a weapon. Followed by mutated dead soul insects to collect the souls of dead monsters. Then he threw it to Li Xia for purification and salvation. Commonly known as one-stop service. Or waste utilization. The wild dragon uses resentment to improve the wild dragon's great spear. Li Xia used the soul of monsters to practice the art of sacred purification. Everyone gets what they need. This intermediate level monster is more effective. Li Xia's eyes became brighter and brighter after he had purified and saved another monster soul. This place is indeed a holy place. If I had known the situation in Bailing Mountain back then, would never have missed this place. Barbarian Bone, who was about to open the third seal and release the third monster, was also deeply moved. The two are gearing up and have a clear division of labor. Harvesting efficiency is extremely high. Slow down, I can't keep up here. Seeing that Man Gu had ed seven monsters in a row and then completed the purification and salvation work of the four monster souls, Li Xia gradually began to feel a little tired. After all, purification and transcendence are not as simple as fighting with fists and feet. Fighting with fists and feet mainly consumes physical strength purification and salvation mainly consumes mind and mana. As a clay body, Barbarian Bones is a tireless perpetual motion machine as long as there are enough young dead souls in the body. This is just Li Xia's first contact with the work of purification and transcendence. He is not very proficient yet, so his action efficiency is naturally not as good. 
Moreover, after all the seven-headed monsters were purified and saved by him, the mana in their bodies was also depleted. At this time, a cup of high-quality spiritual liquid was taken down and the deficit was quickly restored. Come again. Let's continue. High-quality spiritual liquid is not a product of this land in this era. It is a volume of ancient prescriptions that the sages of the Li family have spent hundreds of years pondering to improve the declining Taoism of a certain family in China. It is the crystallization of the wisdom of generations of family ancestors in order to cope with the end of the Dharma era. I dare not say that there is nothing better on the market in the modern world. But for the Li family to be able to maintain its position among the three major cultivator families on the peninsula, the spiritual liquid must occupy a crucial position. Speaking of which, even a powerful holy monk like Master Bai Exian could only use the spiritual spring water to slightly speed up the recovery of mana in his body. In this way, Li Xia's advantage is obvious. One is that there are a large number of monsters sealed in Bailing Mountain for him to practice, and he also enjoys abundant training resources such as high-quality spiritual liquid. The two are top-notch inheritances from the Bailing Mountain lineage that are not available in the outside world. The three of them were the legendary holy monk master by Exian, who taught him step by step without any secrets, and protected him by the way. The four are that he himself has laid a very solid foundation. With all these favorable conditions, it would be difficult to even think about taking off. A week later, almost all the mana in Li Xia's body had a touch of sacred attributes in addition, his soul became stronger and the strength of his soul also increased a lot. These changes are achieved through constant consumption, continuous recovery, and continuous polishing and continuous consumption, continuous recovery, and continuous tempering. And as long as he continues to persevere like this, the sacred attributes in his body's mana will become more and more intense, and his soul will become stronger and stronger. This day, Li Xia meets Master by Exian again. It seems that you are ready to try your hand at the era tree. The old monk opened his eyes, revealing a pair of amber-like orange eyes. Well, the feedback given to me by ordinary star-level monsters is getting less and less. If I continue to work steadily, the efficiency is too low. Li Xia nodded. After he purified and transcended the three monsters with four-star monster power during his lifetime, they could not bring him much help. This shows the strength of his soul now. Then give it a try here, I'll watch. Holy white mist swept across, surrounding Li Xia. Sweetheart Bai obviously understood the intention of her successor. Thank you, Master Bai Exian. Li Xia bowed with admiration. Then he took out the crying face on the Shinmu mask. The crying face at this time was filled with a strong evil aura. As Li Xia fully used his magic power with sacred attributes to cross over, a different kind of tug of war began. This time, he not only wanted to purify the soul of the age tree that had been saved within it, but also purged the abundant demonic power of the age tree. After all, from now on, this power will be completely controlled by him. If it is not clean, he will definitely not feel safe using it. The previous masks have all been refined by Sweetheart Bai, and the evil spirits have been removed from them, so they are safe to use. It is worth mentioning that when Agat Maru launched a large-scale sacrificial ceremony, a large amount of the essence was forcibly extracted from Time Tree, which damaged his vitality and became very weak. Although this relatively reduced Li Xia's benefits, it also made it easier for him to purify and transcend. Purifying a top-level tree demon with six-star demonic power and saving a tree demon with nearly six-star demonic power are absolutely two different things. To deal with the former, even if Li Xia uses high-quality spiritual liquid to fight a protracted battle against Bai Lingshan's home field advantage, he is not very sure. After all, the gap between them is too big. What's more, Master Bai Exian has not yet crossed the threshold of seven stars, and now he is in the state of a mummy with residual health. His suppressive power against the top six-star demons is not absolute. When Neraku came out of Bailing Mountain in the original timeline, his huge evil energy once overwhelmed the weakened sacred barrier. However, if the target is only an era tree with a demon power close to six stars. With Bai Lingshan's home court advantage and master Bai Exian on hand, it would be entirely feasible for him to win the final victory through a protracted battle. The only uncertainty is how long it will take. O oh, tree of times, wash away all the brilliance, complete the transformation, and merge with me. 
Li Xia, wearing the Yushinmu smiling face mask, seduced with beauty. And this trick is not generally effective. The giant era tree, which originally wanted to put up a life and death struggle, suddenly lost several levels of resistance. Master by Xian, who had not passed that area, was stunned for a moment. The heir to his legacy would really give him an unexpected surprise. When Li Xia finished honing the mana of the aged tree, he immediately turned his back on the tree. Fusion. I'm afraid you're thinking. How can we, who are noble, cold and classy, fall in love with a loser? What we are interested in is your considerable demonic power and wealth. However, despite this, Era Tree did not resist too fiercely. It's almost too gentle to be gentle. Therefore, Li Xia finally couldn't bear to it completely. But planted a small tree more than two meters high on the top of Bailing Mountain and after obtaining the consent of the spirit of the mask of the sacred tree, he planted a tree on the top of the time tree. A sapling of the sacred tree was planted next to the small tree. The big trees cover the small saplings, and growing with them in all weathers makes them more hopeful. As Li Xia grows, the other Shikigami under his command will naturally be cultivated as well. The first is two Shinmu masks. Their demon power has increased by 20 to 30 times respectively. Easily entered the 5.5 star demon power level. It is much stronger than poisonous dragon and mountain ghost. Ability in all aspects has been greatly improved. For example, the teleportation S can make rapid jumps anywhere within 300 meters. The earth escape ability of the underground is also greatly increased. If the two crying and smiling godly tree masks are fused together, they can form an era tree mask, bursting out with a power close to six stars. The age tree mask has another powerful ability compared to the godly tree mask. That is sensing relatively weak space nodes from the void. Li Xia even had a feeling that when he raised the age tree mask to a higher level, he would be able to freely travel between the modern world and the warring states monster world even if he did not go to the well of bones in the future. I wonder if the age tree mask has grown to a height comparable to the complete four souls jade. Can it help me find other worlds besides the modern world? He was looking forward to this. No cheat code. It doesn't matter, let's find a way to build one ourselves. In addition to the huge improvement of the Shinmu mask. Yen Hu, who had performed well before, has also been cultivated. Li Xia first used a large number of four soul fragments that had completed a wave of charging to strengthen all aspects of Yan Ho. The focus is on strengthening the strengths of this flaming horse in terms of speed, dexterity, and reaction. In other words strengthening the advantage. In this world, the most fearful thing is moderation. As long as you have some strengths, you can enjoy it. Flame Hoof is the best example. As for the demonic power of this flaming BMW, Li Xia did not rely on the four soul fragments. Instead, he used the part of the demon power crystal left behind after Anamara died. After Yan Ho absorbed the demon power crystals of several flying demon moths that he had purified, his demon power went one step further, approaching the threshold of five stars. At the same time, it also gave this divine horse two abilities. One is flame wings. With flame hooves equipped with flame wings, the normal speed can easily exceed 100 per second, and the full burst can even exceed 200 and close to 300. Faster than flying. Another ability is flame armor. Flame hoof can release demonic flames that condense into flame armor and adhere to the body surface, greatly improving one's defense and explosive power. Li Xia gave it a try. Ordinary firearm bullets cannot penetrate this layer of armor. Deep in the cave. No, don't come over. Both Lioli and Guzi shivered in the corner. Facing Li Xia's approach, he became even more panicked. Don't worry, the pain will pass soon. Someone said with a strange smile. Please don't get me wrong, there is no omission of thousands of words here, it is just about Li Xia acquiring their abilities. Finally, he used the inner core seal and the Shikigami contract to refine the life melting ring and demon refining gourd. They have all been strengthened to a certain extent by the four soul fragments. One enhancement is the ability to dissolve barriers. Another enhancement is the ability to digest monsters. Focus on a professional counterpart. The temple where Monk Mengxin lives. A young mage, who was slovenly and decadent, opened the door and walked out of the house. 
Mefreya Cohen. Inuyasha, Ali, Coral, Hachi, Chibao and others all cast concerned glances. More than ten days ago, this little friend in the team returned to the monastery. Today, they came to see Mefreya's condition. Unexpectedly, it still didn't get better. No, Mefreya avoided everyone's sight, sat on the corridor, and then stared at the deep pit on the grass outside the courtyard in silence. That was the last trace left by his father when the wind cave lost control. After everyone tried to talk, they used the excuse that Agate Pill had been Ed and no one was left to stabilize Mithreya, who was missing a left arm. Miroku Kuen, Agate Maru has inherited the demonic power of the flying demon moths of the past generations. And also extracted the souls of countless creatures from all over the world to strengthen himself. His strength is far more powerful than Neraku. But even Agate Maru was Ed by everyone's unity. Therefore, as long as everyone unites and twists all their strength into a rope, it is inevitable to defeat the weaker Neraku. If you want to get rid of the Wind Cave curse, stand up like a man and join us. Ali actively encouraged his friends to come out of their inner shadows. Yes, Mefreya Kuen. It was Anamaru who used conspiracy and tricks to separate us. This gave him the opportunity to defeat us one by one. As long as we stick together, he will not be able to succeed. The same is true when dealing with Neraku. Unity means unity. Strength. Coral also actively strives for it. Inuyasha on the side even brought up an example that Li Xia had given when he was having fun with everyone in private. That is. A chopstick will break as soon as you break it. It's impossible to break a pair of chopsticks. Kacha kacha. Inuyasha exerted a little force, and all the chopsticks in his hand broke. Suddenly, the scene became very strange. Inuyasha, if you don't know how to persuade others, then don't persuade them. Chibao was full of disgust. With a dark face, Inuyasha casually hit his head with a blow, which made the little fox demon scream and burst into tears this hateful Inuyasha knew how to bully him. Mithreya, on the other hand, took a deep breath after his mouth twitched twice. No need to comfort me. Neraku cannot be defeated that easily. This time, the reason why you were able to defeat the mainland monster Anamaru was mainly because of the cooperation of Sesomaru, Natsukun, and Miss Kikyo. If we lack their strength when dealing with Neraku, it will not be enough to destroy Neraku in one fell swoop with just our team. Miroku shook his head. After more than ten days, he has actually adjusted his mentality. However, the shadow of death turned into a haze and always shrouded his heart, making him feel depressed. Mithreya, because of this, we need to unite more. We cannot do without your power. Inuyasha had a rare moment of sincerity. Although this sounds a bit disgusting, the effect is very good. Can't you live without my power? Miroku murmured. It's no longer comforting but being needed. This feeling of being needed is so strange. For some reason, the tears became a little disappointing. The forest where Pu Xianwen is located. Sesomaru picked up Shaoling, Shijian, and the little pet IMO, and then embarked on the road to find Neraku. He has never forgotten the scene where Tai Suya was thrown to Wu Xingue by Neraku and then bit off in front of him. This was the greatest humiliation to him and his most respected father. Unforgivable. This day. While walking through a forest. Xiaoling, who was in the back, saw a large field of edible mushrooms, and she jumped down happily and ran to pick them. The pair of master and servant, Sesomaru and Yak Ken, each had their own concerns and continued to move forward slowly. Aemo was also led away by Xie Jian's reins. The little girl was left alone. Originally, this kind of thing is ordinary but sometimes, accidents happen inadvertently. Behind Shaoling, the soil on the ground quietly broke open, and then a cyan monster arm poked out. Next moment. Ah! The little girl screamed in surprise. Sesomaru, who was walking at the front and thinking about the matter, turned around conditionally and headed towards the place where Shaoling exclaimed. The strong wind blew up Xie Jian, who was following closely behind, and flew far away, even doing several somersaults in the air. When Sesomaru arrived, he saw a green monster arm, ready to attack Shaoling. This couldn't help but make your young master's eyes turn cold. He immediately pulled out the Qianquan sword and chopped it into countless pieces. Xiaoling, who was nearby, 
was inevitably slightly affected by the wind pressure. She staggered backwards and fell into the grass, and let out an ouch. Grandpa Shijian also came over at this time carrying a crutch with a human head. After seeing the little girl's aggrieved appearance, I was very concerned. Ling, are you okay? Um. After getting up, Xiaoling rubbed her little butt pitifully. On the other side, Sesomaru kept staring at the fragments of the monster's arm, and then gradually frowned. It turned out that his nose smelled a familiar smell, but this smell should not belong to this arm. But soon, his doubts were answered. I saw that after a burst of brilliance, the fragments on the ground turned into countless bees, large and small. Ah! This is the most powerful victory of Neraku's hell poisonous insects. Seeing Grandpa Sia's expression change, Sesomaru narrowed his eyes, did that Neraku guy deliberately want to anger me, or is this just a coincidence? Xie Jian, take Ling and retreat further. Yes, Master Sesomaru. The two children ran away quickly. To avoid being accidentally injured. At the same time, he realized that there was a high probability that there was a nest of the most ferocious insect nearby. In order to take care of his young master, he left Shaoling in the care of Amo, while he himself carried a fire-breathing walking stick with a human head to find the nest of poisonous insects. In his opinion, as long as a fire burns down the most ferocious nest, those evil insects will soon die on their own. Originally, this was really not a troublesome matter for Brother Crystal. But Shaoling did not follow Amo, but followed him. By the time he noticed Shaoling, he had almost found the most powerful nest. However, at this time, the group of fiercest fighters who had been aided by Master Sesomaru also retreated in groups. Ling, get down quickly. The old man Shijian reminded. When Shaoling fell to the ground sensibly and protected her little head with both hands, Shijian immediately waved the crutch with a human head. Look at the fever. The human-headed crutch is a kind of psychic weapon. The wooden heads of a woman and an old man are carved on the stick. Not only does it have a special detection function for finding various tombs, but if the old man's head on the stick opens its mouth, it will also emit high-temperature flames. It is so powerful and has such a wide range that it can instantly burn dozens of people in front of the flames to ashes. Xie Jian's highlight moment after holding a crutch with a human head was when he ed dozens of bandits in an instant. At this moment, he used the flames breathed out by the human-headed crutch to the most powerful opponent in mid-air, and the effect was equally good. At least 30 to 50 hell-poisonous insects were burned to death in an instant. However, the number of the strongest winners is actually a bit too much. A small piece was burned to death, and a large piece immediately rushed over, causing Xie Jian's heart rate to rise very quickly. What an annoying thing! While urging the cane with the human head to spit out fire and burn the poisonous insects, he kept muttering in his heart. And then told the little girl lying on the ground Ling, you can't raise your head yet, you know. Hold on for a little longer. Xiaoling hummed slightly. At the same time, she turned her head and looked at Grandpa Xie Jian who was guarding her and trying his best to protect her. His eyes were full of excitement. Brother Crystal looked calm on the surface, but actually he was panicking inside. I must hold on. If I fail to protect Ling, God knows how Master Sesomaru will deal with me. But at this time, not only the fiercest of the group who were out hunting wanted to him, but also large poisonous wasps emerged from several poisonous insect nests hanging in the trees. It was simply being attacked from both sides. What are you doing? Why are there so many? Some scalps are fried due to evil views. But he couldn't take a step back. Because beside him is Ling. In his subconscious mind, sewing could happen to him, but Ling must not make the slightest mistake. At this moment, Sesomaru's heavenly voice came. Wrong views. The moment he saw His Highness, Xie Jian's scalp became even more numb air. I saw that the Chinkuan sword was already covered with a layer of blue demon power. Although there are not many, they are equally dangerous. Really. The moment he lay down, the sword tore through the air, screamed, and then flew past his scalp. With this sword, almost all the strongest enemies were swept away. And several poisonous insect nests hanging on the tree were destroyed together even the big tree was not spared and was crushed by the sword. It exploded instantly. Thank you, your highness. Master Sesomaru. 
the two living treasures stood up with admiration on their faces. However, the accident finally came. Several of the most fierce ones who had also been lying on the ground and escaped the sword's attack took advantage of the two little ones not paying attention and launched an attack on them. No, to be precise, he launched an attack on evil views. Miraculously, Shaoling was not harmed at all. Ouch! After these fiercest ones approached Xie Jian, two of them flew around in front of Xie Jian to create chaos. While the other three raised their buttocks, exposed their tail needles, and immediately pierced them. Two of the three poisonous red B-tail needles were immediately pierced into Xie Jian's right arm, and the other one was pierced into his left buttocks. The pain was so painful that he screamed and screamed. Jump three feet high. It hurts me to death, it hurts me to death, go away, go away. As a result, he really drove away these poisonous insects. When Sesomaru saw that Shaoling was okay, and saw that these fiercest animals were running away with purpose, he immediately realized sowing if we chase them, maybe we can find Neraku's true form. Considering that there is no scent of Neraku nearby, once Neraku approaches a certain range, he can smell the scent coming back. Thinking of this, I chased after him. He wanted to Neraku so much. Provoking him again and again is unbearable. But before leaving, he still warned. Ling, help Xie Jian pull out the poisonous needle, then follow Amo and don't run around. Amo got two dragon bone spirit crystals of demonic power given to him by Li Xia, and the improvement was quite big. Breaking through the threshold between two stars and three stars in one fell swoop, he was comparable to a superior monster. With Amo around, Ling can be protected whenever she is too far away. Normal monsters can't get close. Shaoling watched Shadian go away. Look back at the evil view. The evil view at this time was so painful that he was sweating profusely, but he did not dare to delay at all. He hurriedly tore off the clothes on his right arm with his left hand, exposing his entire right arm and the two poisonous needles that were drilling into his flesh to the little girl. Ling, hurry up, help me pull out the most powerful poisonous needle. He himself reached out to touch the poisonous needle on his left buttock. Then the poisonous needle was pulled out in time with great difficulty. Almost. He almost had this poisonous needle that seemed to have vitality penetrated into his body. Shaoling, have you pulled it out? When he heaved a sigh of relief and threw the poisonous needle he pulled out from his but far away, and when he looked back at the little girl, his whole body froze. Because as soon as Shaoling's fingertips touched one of the two poisonous needles, they penetrated into his body and disappeared like an electric shock. Ah this. Yes, I'm sorry, Grandpa Shijin. Shaoling blinked. If you have wrong views, you will break out in cold sweat. It's over, it's over. How could this happen? The miasma and poison have all entered the body. You might die if you do this. Knocking one's head against a tree due to wrong views, one cannot help but feel annoyed. At this time, Shaoling's eyes were touched and she became at a loss. Just because she looked back at His Highness Sesomaru, she didn't expect that it would have such consequences Grandpa Zajian. You are all for me. Idiot, I didn't die for you, I died for Master Sesomaru. Xie Jian threw down the sleeve of his right arm and emphasized. As he said that, he fell head over heels, feeling a little dizzy. I didn't expect the toxicity to come on so quickly. Grandpa Shijian, what's wrong with you? Ling, can I ask you a favor? Neraku recuperating in a cave. Looking at the fiercest Sesomaru chasing after him in Kana's mirror, the corner of his mouth curled up. Sesomaru, help me teach Inuyasha a lesson. It's best to test out the new abilities that the demon sword has gained. He he he, if I am the master of Tetsusaiga, you will have nothing to do, right? At this time, Neraku has fully recovered. Thanks to Anamaru's troubles, he attracted many monsters dormant in the wild jungle. There are many three-star and four-star ones among them. Neraku took the opportunity to hunt a lot with the help of wooden puppets, Kagura, Kanna, and the most powerful army. Of course, the biggest gain was the clone Wushuang he created. Wushuang is the human heart of bandit ghost spider, which contains his infinite longing for platycodon. When he gave Wushuang a few days of freedom to deepen his possessiveness towards platycodon and then take it back. He suddenly discovered that the connection between his body of 10,000 monsters had been incredibly strengthened. 
What also changed at the same time was his demonic quality. It's an unexpected surprise. In addition to the various monsters he collected from various human seals a month ago. He used the weaker ones among the monsters to perform witchcraft and successfully cultivated a fairly good fusion body to absorb. In the end, he used the few remaining four soul fragments in his hand to strengthen the wave, which was better than nothing. After one operation, most of his strength was restored. His demonic power and evil spirit have once again reached the level of a second-rate great demon that is, a five-and-a-half-star demonic power. Through Agate Pill, he deeply realized the potential of Tai Suya. In this case, how could there be any reason to let Tai Suya go? Whether it is directly absorbing Tai Suya or using it as one's own weapon, it is completely feasible. Not to mention robbing Inuyasha's things. It was so in line with his wishes. By chance, a very interesting guy was born, and he also tried to devour Sesomaru. The opponent's target was Sesomaru, who was very difficult to deal with. His target was lowered a bit, so he chose Tetsuya. It was not too far away from the place where the evil view was attacked, which was more than 10 or 20 miles away. Ali and his party were attracted by the news of the four soul fragments. It was actually just a fake product that Neraku condensed using his own demon power and miasma. But. After everyone received the news, they rather believed it and came here anyway. In the team, Inuyasha suddenly twitched his nose. He smelled a familiar demonic aura. Immediately turned his head and looked at the sky to the side. What's wrong Inuyasha? Miroku noticed the change in his companion and asked curiously. Before Inuyasha could answer, two very fast hell poisonous insects, the strongest, came into everyone's sight. It's Neraku's poisonous insect. Everyone looked surprised. If they remembered correctly, Neraku should have been seriously injured by Xia Jun more than ten days ago. Was the lost monster body replenished so quickly? Hey, this is probably what the so-called moth flies into the flame. Look at me. Seeing the hunting heart, Inuyasha immediately pulled out the Tetsuyasha. Subconsciously, he shot a wind wound to harvest. Wait, Inuyasha, don't do anything yet. Mithraya, who became more cautious, noticed sowing was wrong before the others, so he hurriedly stopped him. After seeing that Inuyasha had taken action, he even used the wind cave to deflect the wind injury. Ha! Huh. What's wrong Moroku? Inuyasha raised an eyebrow. His iron broken tooth now had a brand new strength, which made him want to find a worthy opponent to release the pent-up frustration in his heart. Miroku, here, did not rush to respond to Inuyasha, but looked into the air with confusion. Strange. I obviously deflected the trajectory of the wind wound, why is there still a most powerful one Ed? Just now, the two most powerful opponents should have been saved. But for some reason, one of them seemed to be hurried and took the initiative to run into Fungi Shang's sword energy, and was torn to pieces by the sword energy. Debris fell to the ground. Fortunately there is one alive. Miss Ailey, have you felt the four soul fragments around here? He asked quickly. I don't feel anything around here. The girl shook her head. Mithraya nodded I didn't sense the evil aura of the wooden puppet either. So, maybe the strongest fighter in midair is planning to fly back to Neraku. Hearing this, Coral's eyes lit up. So, if we don't the remaining one and just follow this poisonous insect, it's possible to find Neraku, right? Inuyasha also reacted at this time. Then he showed a confident smile. Leave that guy Neraku to me, I will give him a good look this time. After saying that, he chased after Mithraya and Chibao in the clouds. Coral and Ali rode on the giant mica that was also gifted by Li Xia with a demon power crystal and strengthened. However, before everyone could catch up to him a hundred meters away, the fiercest creature in front of him, which had lost its tail and poisonous needle, began to falter. The next second, it fell directly to the grass. The whole touching porcelain process went smoothly. Eh? Are you dead? Shippo jumped off the cloud to get a closer look. What happened? Inuyasha even used his bare feet to kick the corpse of the fiercest one. When he found that there was no movement, he was a little confused. This one is the strongest, so what are you doing? As a result, before everyone could think too much. 
The noble son of the Inu clan who was attacked by three other fiercest warriors quickly rushed out of a forest in the distance after dealing with those three, and then quickly came to Inuyasha. Around a few people. When he saw the corpse of the most powerful Sheng, he asked expressionlessly. Inuyasha, was it you who had Daisuki? The strongest victory. Are you talking about this thing on the ground? Humph, you are such a shallow thinking guy. Says Homaru snorted coldly. Ah. What did you say? Inuyasha quit. His expression instantly became a little strange. Why does my cheap brother have such a bad mouth? Did it come from the toilet? Inuyasha, if you the two remaining strongest ones, won't the clues to Neraku's whereabouts be cut off? Can you use your brain first before doing anything? Shaden's lecture made Inuyasha's face grow darker. I was so angry that my teeth itched. But he still suppressed the unhappiness in his heart and explained a little stupidly. Let me tell you first, this second poisonous insect fell from the air and died on its own, not me. At least not this one. Hearing this, Sesomaru shook his head in his heart. It's so irresponsible. One was directly obliterated by the wind wound, while the other one also had some trace of the wind wound left on it. The evidence is conclusive. What's there to quibble about? Forget it, you can make excuses for this. You are still so thick-skinned. Sesomaru, who couldn't stand his stinky brother, was too lazy to listen to the self-concealment of the fool in front of him. As he spoke, he quickly pulled out the Aini blade and Kun blade from his waist, and used his demon power to move the two demon swords in front of him. Assembly was completed quickly. He now wants to teach his stinky brother a lesson. Who gave you an excuse? Inuyasha also pulled out the Tetsuisha without showing any signs of weakness. The two brothers were at war with each other for no apparent reason. Sesomaru, things are not what you think. Ali was ready to tell the whole story. But Inuyasha was already impatient Ali, don't worry, just step aside. This guy never listens to explanations. At this time, Sesomaru said a few words of warning. Inuyasha, I'm not in a good mood today, but I won't always be merciful like before. This is a fact. Whether it's because I'm in a bad mood today or because I've held back in the past, it's all the truth. Therefore, if the little brother can be subdued, he will not be able to expose this matter. TCH, it's better to say less big words. Don't cry and beg for mercy later. Inuyasha did not lose his momentum, and he did not forget to take advantage of his words. Then. Xiao Ling and Shi Jian were attacked by the fiercest opponent, and the old and new grudges combined to make Sesamaru feel really bad, and his mood became even worse. What I didn't say, let's beat the stinky brother who came to my door to relieve his anger. Clang. Buzz. The two demon swords collided and met each other. Inuyasha felt that the iron broken tooth in his hand was about to break out of the machete form. What? This surprised him. He has no relevant information about the Chinkuan long sword here. It is undoubtedly a very stupid behavior to use Tai Suiyang to test it without knowing the details. Fortunately, Tai Suya has been newly strengthened, and his inner demon power is quite sufficient. In addition, he has also grown during this time, and even in the half-demon state, he has three and a half-demon powers. Which includes the contributions of General Inu and Li Xiao. The three and a half-star half-demon demon power combined with Tai Suya's own demon power makes it difficult for Ya Dao to be released from his demonized form so easily. But despite this, Inuyasha didn't dare to touch the blade with Tai Suya again. Take a wind wound from me. For golden sword lights suddenly appeared. Compared with the first five sword rays of the ground wind, the power was much stronger. Obviously, Inuyasha at this time has understood the principle of condensing sword light to increase the destructive power of a single target. And he greeted his brother very decisively. Opposite. Seeing this, Sesomaru was unmoved. After all, the operation of condensing sword light was purely his remnant. If Inuyasha could make the sword light attached to the demon power characteristics of the holder, that would be enough to impress him. Facing this wind wound, he attached his own demonic power to the blade of Kuan Jibian, forming a rich demonic flame of purple mixed with blue. When the wind wound struck in a mighty manner, as expected, every last drop was absorbed by the blade of Kuan. This scene shocked Inuyasha even more. 
If Onyx Maru were here, there would definitely be sewing to say. You know, the combination of demon and sword that he was unable to do before and after receiving the inheritance, how good and capable is Inuyasha. You two stop fighting. Ali tried to break up the fight. Unfortunately, the relationship between the two brothers has never been very good. Now that he's done it, it's impossible to stop until there's a winner. I don't believe you can fully absorb it. Inuyasha gritted his teeth and inflicted several wind wounds one after another without believing in evil. Then. All the mud cows fell into the sea. The aura on the Chinkuan sword became thicker and thicker. Until the sixth shot. Perhaps Sesomaru was tired of playing around. This time, he struck directly with the sword and split open the golden sword energy of the wind injury. How can it be? Inuyasha was shocked again. The opponent's demon sword is weird, and it's outrageous that it can absorb his demon energy and demon power. Unexpectedly, what was even more outrageous was Sesomaru. He actually used the blade to cut open the wind wound. Immediately afterwards, he suddenly arrived in front of him and struck out with another heavy knife. This knife uses a dry blade. Ding. Zz. The two demon knives struck hard, and a large amount of purple arcs instantly spattered out. Inuyasha couldn't control himself, and Tetsugeya flew out with his hand then he stuck it upside down on the ground and transformed back into the form of a rusty knife. The brothers also landed. However, one of them was standing while falling, and the other was lying on his stomach while falling rapidly. And it was the former who held the knife an inch in front of the latter's neck. The victory has been decided. Give me enlightenment, Inuyasha. Bah, I'm not afraid of death. So G.A. Seeing the cold look in Sesomaru's eyes, a certain Aguzi couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. Wait a minute, Sesomaru, you also want to know Neriku's whereabouts, right? Our information is that he went north. Natsukoen told me that Neriku should have obtained a kind of thing called Fuyubi that can hide the aura of monsters. Treasure. Ali bravely stepped forward to stop him. Gave Sesomaru steps. Idiot Ali, why are you telling him this? Inuyasha is still a bit stubborn. Shadian glanced at his stinky brother and took back the Chinkuan sword. Inuyasha, you saved your life. Sesomaru, wait, why are you chasing Neriku? That guy dared to hurt Ling and Shijian, so. I will never let him go. The other side. Shaoling has already entered a valley riding IMO. If you want to find the thousand year fruit, it will be poisonous for evil. At the same time. Secretly observing a certain figure of Sesomaru, he stared at Inuyasha. To be precise, he was targeting Taisuya. As long as I take the iron broken teeth and give them to His Highness Sesomaru, His Highness will definitely accept me, right? This girl's name is Sarah G. She is the princess of Asano Castle. Once, her family's castle was besieged by other human armies, and she was trapped in a dilemma where people and horses were exhausted and food and grass were almost exhausted. At this time, Sesomaru, who had lost his left arm, happened to pass near the castle he had most of the enemies surrounding the castle and helped Asano castle relieve the siege. It can be said that a hero saves the beauty. The key is that Shadian is inhumanly handsome. So from that time on, she had been loving this noble prince. Actually, the reason Sesomaru ed those people at that time was because hundreds of people outside the city drew swords at him and blocked his way. And Sesomaru always walks in a two-point line. Straight line. It is impossible to take a detour. In addition, those humans bent their bows and arrows at him, drew their swords, and then really attacked him. What I didn't say was that I could only push him all the way, just in time to vent his anger because Inuyasha chopped off his left arm. But the girl doesn't know this. She only knew that Sesomaru saved their Asano castle. Although later on, my father acted foolishly and also went to provoke the hero in his mind, which resulted in the loss of most of the elites in the city he brought with him. My father was directly hit and doubted his life, so he gave up on himself and went crazy, and by the way, he freed him himself. The fire destroyed the castle from within. Even so, he never complained about Sesomaru. Always obsessed with his heroes. I just want to give my heart to you. Of course, this is the wish of Sarah G's human personality. His monster heart used the admiration of human personality to try to get close to Sesomaru, 
and then took the opportunity to absorb the noble son of the dog clan. That's right. Today's human princess is actually a half-demon. And it is a fusion of ten thousand demons like Neraku. Neraku's mode of existence uses the human heart of the bandit ghost spider as a link to connect all the monsters. This woman's mode of existence is based on Sarah G's human heart as a link, connecting all the monsters. The only difference is probably that Bandit Ghost Spider itself has no magical power, but Sarah G does have spiritual power. After the destruction of Asano Castle, Princess Sarah took her maids and some gold and silver to build a nunnery on the beach. Became a nun, and developed the innate spiritual power that only shrine maidens have. What's interesting is that this spiritual power is quite strong. As for her birth? It was an accident three days ago. Two days ago. Sarah G is terminally ill and her time is running out. At this time, Inuyasha and his party, who were looking for the four soul fragments, happened to be passing by nearby. When Sarah saw the silver-haired Inuyasha, she suddenly thought of Sesomaru and the iron-broken teeth that Sesomaru had whispered. Miss Sarah, are you okay? Beside the sick bed, the former maid, now a nun, asked with concern. The girl turned a deaf ear to the maid's voice. She just trembled all over and murmured, full of unwillingness. There is one more thing, this is the only wish I want to come true. Sarah fell. The maids covered their faces and cried. But at this time, the woman lying on the hospital bed could clearly see the world that the nuns couldn't see around her, countless demons and monsters appeared in the form of souls. A large amount of evil energy gathered towards the nunnery. Among them, there were even more ambitious guys who seduced her. Sarah, we can help you realize your wish. As long as your spiritual power is used by us and you dedicate your body to us, we can help you in Yasha and take away his iron teeth. How's it going? Sarah. Don't you want to convey your wishes to Sesomaru? There is no doubt that it is the obsession in the girl's heart that attracts these soul-like monsters. As soon as Sesomaru's name came out, Sarah didn't hesitate at all. No, it should be said that she took the initiative to offer her terminally ill body and soul full of powerful spiritual power with joy. The brilliance suddenly appeared, and the evil spirit poured into the girl's heart. A new fusion of ten thousand demons is born. With a free mind and body, I am reborn. It is worth mentioning that because of her spiritual power, Sarah G can hide her evil spirits well. This was also the main reason why her whereabouts were not discovered by Sesomaru, Inuyasha and others. In terms of potential, Sarah G's upper limit is definitely not as high as Neraku who has the full four and eight souls. But. Her early growth rate was several steps ahead of Neraku. Due to her strong innate spiritual power, this woman's attraction to monsters has greatly improved her tolerance for monsters and monsters. In just two days, she attracted a large number of monsters and monsters dormant in coastal areas and shallow sea areas to actively embrace her. It took Neraku two years to reach the small peak after he planned to Kikyo and Inuyasha fifty years ago. At that time, Neraku tricked Mithraya's grandfather, which was considered a highlight moment in the early days. In addition to Neraku spontaneously attracting and merging monsters in the early stage, he later forcibly hunted and absorbed monsters. As for Sarah, except for Sesomaru who wanted to be strong, the rest were monsters who took the initiative to throw themselves into her arms. After the pieces of flesh that fell from Neraku's body were refined and transformed into clones, he always wanted to devour his master and replace him. Or completely disobedient. Such as Kagura. For example, the Juramaru brothers. Another example is White Boy and Red Boy. But the monsters that fell from Sarah's body, even if they were just trash, people still tried their best to protect the girl's body. This is the difference. The human mage has some wisdom, the human exorcist has some ODs, and the human witch looks very dangerous. It seems that I have to deal with that mage and the human witch first, lest they ruin my good deeds. The woman, who had thought up a script, quietly watched Inuyasha and others leave. She was well hidden, at least neither Sesomaru nor Inuyasha, who had very sensitive noses, noticed her. But she had never thought about the reason why the mantis stalks the cicada and the oriole follows behind. Same day. A seaside village not too far from where the brothers fought. Sarah G used the orb she wore around her neck to attack this fishing village on the east coast, turning all the villagers into glass sculptures. 
She had been preparing here for several days and was planning to attract Inuyasha. Unexpectedly, Inuyasha and others somehow ran over after hearing the false news that there were four soul fragments in the fishing village. This saves me a lot of trouble. After receiving the feedback from the pet monster bird, Sarah only thought it was a coincidence. What she doesn't know is that Neriku has also been secretly working hard these days to help her wipe her ass when she doesn't act carefully. In fact, in Neriku's eyes, some of this woman's plans were too naive and seriously underestimated three huge variables, namely Sesomaru, Li Xia, and Ali. Therefore, someone who wants to be an Oriole can only help check for leaks and fill in the gaps. While using some tricks, Sesomaru was attracted to the far north. The purpose of irritating Shadian before was to arouse the hatred of the noble young master so that he could be lured away lest this guy who didn't mean what he said would jump out and disrupt the situation at the critical moment. The other side is keeping an eye on the direction of Bailing Mountain. The last thing was to delay time until Ali returned to the modern world regularly, and then the news of the four soul fragments reached the ears of Inuyasha and Miroku. According to Inuyasha's impulsive and reckless temperament, after receiving the news, Ali who did not wait to return to the other side of the bone-eating well to take the monthly exam, rejected Miroku and Coral's dissuasion and led the team into action with determination. Inuyasha, who has iron teeth in hand, has always been very confident. It can even be said that it is conceited. For example, when faced with the worries of Miroku and Coral, Inuyasha expressed his dissatisfaction strongly when each of us was just one person. We were able to defeat various monsters and collect four soul fragments. How come after they were brought together, they lost that spirit? Already? What's more, his Tai Suya has grown again and gained new powerful abilities. Another example is that more than half a month ago, the agate pill incident was triggered. At that time, because Ali was not present, Inuyasha was still unable to locate the specific part of the monster's body that carried the four soul fragments. As a result, everyone worked together to destroy the monster's body many times, but the superior giant scorpion monster was always able to resurrect with residual blood. It is difficult to end the battle in a short time. Until Ali rushed to the battlefield. Then he was easily ed with one blow. Because the battle lasted too long, the mica participating in the battle was inevitably scratched by the poisonous barbs, which paved the way for the team to be defeated one by one in the future. What Neriku was looking for was Inuyasha's bad habit that he would never change. Of course, he himself suffered several losses in a row, so he would never use his main body again until the situation became clear. Even if he personally took action and was 80-90% to 90 sure that Inuyasha and his party would be deceived in one fell swoop, he would not bet on the remaining 10% or 20% uncertain possibility. Anyway, with the help of Sarah G, there is no loss if it fails. It would be great if it succeeds. Then you can jump out and pick peaches. He is not afraid of this girl. Eastern Seaside Outside the fishing village A girl tied on a rock attracted the attention of Inuyasha and his entourage. Having come all the way to see the girl, who is pure, lovely, and charming, made a good first impression on Mithraya and immediately made the lustful mage feel good about her. This is also a guy with bad habits that refuse to change despite repeated admonitions. And it's the kind of bad habit that is passed down from generation to generation. Little girl, are you okay? Why are you tied up here? Neither the crowd nor Yunyu felt any demonic or evil energy in the girl, they just thought she was an ordinary human being. When Sarah G saw the fish taking the bait, she was very happy, but the mood on her face was very low. I am this living sacrifice to the Poseidon. Living sacrifice. When the three of them heard this, their brows furrowed, and they all felt pity. In this day and age, it is not unusual at all to use people as living sacrifices. In Inuyasha's past experience, this kind of thing was even more common. But that doesn't stop them from showing compassion. Yes. The sea where our village is located has serious disasters every four years, and the village has the tradition of offering young girls as living sacrifices to the sea god. This time it was our family's turn, but my father and brother he couldn't bear to sacrifice me as a living sacrifice. So he hid me secretly which caused the god of the sea to be furious and cursed the entire village, turning all the people in the village into glass. At this moment, the sea was agitated and the waves were rolling. Seeing this, the girl nervously reminded. You guys go, Poseidon is coming. 
Kindness is one of the biggest weaknesses of these people. The half-demon's recklessness, the mage's lust, and the demon slayer's absent-mindedness are also the bad habits of a few people. This was sewing she observed some time ago. So how could you not take advantage of everyone's weaknesses? Sure enough, Mithraya first expressed his intention to save her don't worry, with us here, we won't let the monster Poseidon hurt you. By the way, after defeating Poseidon, those people in the village should be able to recover, right? Inuyasha was also eager to try. It should be okay. The girl was a little unsure. The so-called Poseidon is actually a puppet she condensed using sea and some demonic power. It looks like a small mountain, very powerful. In fact, it is vulnerable. Inuyasha only swung a wind wound and tore it into pieces. Why are you so weak? Everyone standing in front of the girl frowned. But at this moment, a strange brilliance bloomed from behind them. The light flashed, and except for Coral, who had been carefully guarding the girl, Miroku and Inuyasha were both struck, and were frozen into strange glass by the strange light. Tai Suya fell to the ground. You. Coral threw out Philegu without thinking. Unfortunately, the orb on Sarah G's neck once again emitted a strange light, shining on the flying bones that were spinning in ING, as well as the coral that was ready for battle. And the mica that had completed its transformation the next moment, whether it is flying bone or coral mica, they are all frozen into glass. Coral. Moroku, Inuyasha. Chibao and Aba, who were hiding further back, were so frightened that they ran away. Sewing big has happened. Just a little fox and a big raccoon cat. The girl's eyes narrowed slightly. That's all, just two little monster pets. It's still important to have broken teeth. But at this moment, a teasing voice came from behind her. Cut the S without eradicating the roots, but they will grow again when the spring breeze blows. Sarah, no. The monster soul that has taken over the human princess, it seems that you still need to grow up. The girl's expression changed and she turned around suddenly. Who are you? Why did this person approach me so silently? Not even aware of it. However, Nariku had no intention of answering anything. With the help of the non-demon wall, he has been dormant nearby for a long time. What you are waiting for is an opportunity. It would be best if Sarah could deal with Inuyasha and the others. In that case, he could easily get a big advantage. It doesn't matter if he can't deal with it, there's nothing to lose to him. I just didn't expect that Inuyasha and the others were so useless. He was actually being teased around by a new fusion of 10,000 demons. In this case, of course there is no need for him to continue hiding. Before the girl gets the Tai Suya, grab this top-notch demonic sword first then get close to the girl and absorb it. It can be said to be a buy one get one free deal with a sure profit. As for Sarah. Seeing that there was no trace of evil in Neraku, she tried to merge with her. Not only did she not panic, but she was overjoyed the other party was so stupid that he wouldn't think that their fusion of 10,000 monsters was so easy to swallow, right? Merge with them. Come. Who is afraid of whom? Hee hee, even a big monster will eat up all the crumbs for you. Then. No. Don't want. Elegant butterfly. Aha. The girl's face instantly changed into various forms. There are three-eyed demons, hairy-headed monsters, sea spirits. There are countless kinds of them. The only thing they had in common was that they all looked terrified. It turned out that it was only when skin touched and flesh and blood were entangled that the demons who controlled the body of Sarah discovered in horror what they were facing. It was an aggregation of evil energy that was several times or even ten times more powerful than them. The other party's true identity will be revealed. Neraku, stop. But Neraku always smiled. As the fused white light became more and more powerful, he bit by bit ate the new generation fusion body that had just been born. What a wonderful spiritual power. Can actually freeze any living thing into glass. Gee, I didn't expect that the human nun who was obsessed with Sesomaru would have such creative potential. In this way, I may really be able to make some plans for that highness. Playing with a glass orb in his right hand, Naraku was thoughtful. He immediately turned around and glanced at Inuyasha, who was frozen into a glass sculpture. He couldn't help but kicked Inuyasha directly into the rapidly rising tide. Inuyasha, 
the demon sword your father left behind. Is really good. But. It was impossible for him to leave behind an unstable demon sword. With Tai Suya's demon power, I won't be polite. Neraku grinned wildly. Sesomaru, due to his eldest brother's care for his stinky younger brother, and because he had a fairly handy demon sword. He gradually let go of his possessiveness towards Tetsuya, and therefore did not take away this demon sword with high growth potential. Li Xia, due to various emotional factors, limited by his own moral bottom line, and considering the feelings of Sesomaru and the behind-the-scenes bosses such as Lin Yu Fairy. Yao Lao Poison, Demon Spirit Great Sage, so even if there is he failed to occupy Tai Suya after three opportunities. These two people are undoubtedly more suitable to use Tai Suya. However, due to the humility of these two people, Tai Suya has always been in the hands of a half-hearted person. Now, he Neraku can be considered as lost and recovered. When I got you, I didn't feel so good. I didn't know what I missed by losing you and what a big mistake it was. Looking back now, I realize how stupid I was at that time. Neraku stroked Tai Suya's blade and suppressed his smile. Tai Suya can capture the demon power and even abilities SS of powerful monsters by ing powerful monsters and bathing in the blood of those powerful monsters. And if he wants to increase his demon power, he can only rely on eating in four soul fragments. His path is obviously a wrong path. Because there is always a moment when he reaches his upper limit the soul of Neraku, which is formed by the combination of the soul of 10,000 monsters and the soul of Ghost Spider. Will one day be unable to suppress the soul of monsters that was later swallowed, and will no longer be able to perfectly control this body of 10,000 monsters. Every inch of flesh and blood. Neraku never knew the potential of his four souls, so he was worried about it. In fact, he was worried too much. After I get the Iron Broken Tooth, I will absorb the Iron Broken Tooth, acquire the properties of the Iron Broken Tooth, and then use my own teeth to shape a very different dental knife. At that time, I will be able to carry out more detailed and more effective operations. The most fragile parts of the body can be specially strengthened through the various demonic powers collected by one's own tooth knife. Bones not strong enough? Then use your own iron broken teeth to monsters with strong bones, and then use the collected monster power to strengthen the bones. Not hearing enough? Go monsters with strong hearing, or train special little monsters with extraordinary hearing, and then them with your own iron teeth. Obtain demonic powers that can help improve your hearing and even develop listening SS. Change yourself little by little. Little by little adds up to a lot. Even if your upper limit is not high, you can make up for your innate deficiencies the day after tomorrow. Isn't it that General Inutai left the broken teeth to Inuyasha just to make up for his younger son's congenital shortcomings? This time. Neraku did sewing in the original timeline. I said I was going to do it, but in fact, I was in chaos because of Kikyo's death, so I didn't have time to do it yet. That is Eat Tai Suya, the demon knife made of dog teeth. Not only that. Considering Sarah's potential. He began to cut off the restless pieces of flesh from his body again. Go, with respect and admiration for Sesomaru, get close to, test, and gain Sesomaru's approval. Deep in the deserted cave, Neraku's voice echoed. He left, leaving the cave to a young girl. However, he took away a beating heart. That is the core of the girl's new body. The girl on the ground is none other than Sarah. A blank sheet, half-demon woman who is not tainted by any of his demonic power or aura. A Sarah G whose soul has been preserved. The previous woman's human soul was bound deep inside her body by the monsters, and her body was controlled by the monsters, unable to interfere with anything she did. Completely out of control. It's different now. This body of hers is brand new, without the so-called constraints of the souls of all demons, and every finger is controlled only by her own thoughts. At least that's how it appears on the surface. Your Highness Sesomaru. The girl wakes up leisurely. She had a very brief dream. I dreamed that I was merging with 10,000 monsters and about to be enslaved by 10,000 monsters. Fortunately, with his strong willpower, he defeated the souls of those monsters and won this half-demon body. Your Highness Sesomaru, Sarah finally has the strength to stay with His Highness for a long time. The woman clenched her fists, feeling the surging vitality, demonic power, and spiritual power in her body, with unspeakable expectations. 
this time, she will definitely have the courage to confess her love to his highness. Secretly. Watching the girl summon a demon bird to fly away, in the forest not far away, the corners of Neraku's mouth were slightly raised. Things are changing. Says Homaru, Lisya, are you ready? I have erased the memories of this tragic woman and me, Inuyasha and others, but I have retained her innocence, romance, and sincerity as a girl. In this case, she should win your sympathy and acceptance, right? He 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 he. If you don't believe it, you won't fall for it. Neraku was secretly proud. With Sarah's heart core in hand, he is not afraid of betrayal at all. Everything is under his control. Two days later. After completing the monthly exam, Ali finally breathed a sigh of relief and happily crossed the Well of Bones and returned to Maple Village in the Warring States period. Seeing Granny Fong who was looking after the shrine, the little girl greeted her politely. But when he heard that Inuyasha and the others had taken action again, he frowned at first. But thinking that this kind of thing had happened more than once or twice, and that everyone returned safely every time, he didn't say anything more. But she waited for three days in a row. There was still no news about Inuyasha, Coral and others, and he suddenly became a little anxious. It's just a purposeful search for a four-soul fragment. How could it be delayed for five or six days? Sewing is wrong. It was also at this time that someone came uninvited. The dignified and serious look on his face really startled Ali. Grandpa Totosai. Why are you here? Although the old man only came here to help Inuyasha polish his teeth, the little girl still remembered this elder who only had a brief relationship with him. Little Ali, sewing happened to Inuyasha. No, it's not just Inuyasha. This time even Tai Suya was in trouble. Todasai's face was serious with a hint of lingering gloom. W what? Ali opened his mouth slightly in shock. What happened? She was just going back to take a test, what happened to Inuyasha and Tetsuya again? Possibly even implicating the entire team. No wonder those few people have not returned yet. Koro, Shippo, Moroku, Hachi. And Inuyasha. Don't you think? Thinking of this, Ali's face gradually turned pale. His lips trembled slightly. Don't tell her that many of her friends died during this outing. The teeth on the originally red lips turned blue and white. Wait a minute, Grandpa Todosai, are you mistaken? Jun Xia helped Tai Suya go through multiple strengthening stages from big monsters such as Yaoxian Grandpa, Hayaki Bat Clan, Sesomaru, and Flying Demon Moth. How can sewing happen so easily? There was a cry in the girl's voice. The old knife maker was also very confused about this. He just hid in the demon spirit great sage and took a nap, then turned around and let his pet three-eyed ox peek into the space to look for traces of Inuyasha and the others. But in the end it was like they just disappeared from the world. Then very quickly, he knew that sewing was wrong with Tai Suya. He never expected that Tai Suya, who had been strengthened many times by someone, would suddenly come to an end. That's right, as the forger of the top-level demon sword Tai Suya, he has some inexplicable connection with the demon sword. For example, when Bakuya Ye was born, he felt it immediately. Because Explosive Fang, Tai Suiyang and Tianxing Fang were all made by him, and he left behind special sword embryos that reflected the conditions of the three demon knives. Blast Fang was born, and one of the sword embryos trembled. Tai Suya had an accident, and the other sword embryo was directly broken, scrapped, and finally turned into powder on the ground. This means that his iron teeth are completely gone. What the hell happened to that idiot in Yasha? Woo woo woo. My lovely iron teeth. If you give the Tetsuya to Sesomaru, this kind of thing will never happen. General. Little Ali, take me to see that Bratley Xia, we need his power. Why was Tai Suya destroyed? He didn't know. But one thing he knew very well was that Tai Suya's demon power was absorbed by an unknown monster. The other party is extremely dangerous. Li Xia and the power behind Li Xia are suitable to be put on the bright side together with Sesomaru. Bailing Mountain Someone who was in retreat was alarmed by barbarian bones knocking on the door of the stone house. Manga your woman came into the mountains to find you. Li Xia Ha At the foot of Bailing Mountain When Li Xia saw the dusty A Li and the girl's pretty face that had lost weight, 
he couldn't help but narrow his eyes. What happened? How could he actually make his classmate feel so haggard? Summer. The girl with a flat mouth swooped down and was about to crash into his arms. However, someone who had experienced a similar encounter subconsciously waved his fist without thinking. Ada. If this punch was carried out firmly, Ali would definitely be miserable. Such a turn of events left the little girl stunned on the spot. Ding Ding was at a loss for words. This scene also exceeded the expectations of Mangu, who was not far away, and his eyelids jumped wildly. Is your boss so cruel? Humph, Naraku, you evil deceiver, you still want to trick me? This time, I won't fall for it again. The same trick is useless to me. As Li Xia said this, he felt a sense of fear and horror in his heart. The punch he just punched was not adulterated in the slightest, it was still a left fist instead of a right one. Therefore, even if the person in front of him were a big man with strong muscles and round waist, he would be exploded by his unicorn arm on the spot. Red water mist. My dear, was my conditioned reflex just too strong? It seemed that Ali was almost dead. As for why you are so sure that the girl in front of you is Ali? The reason is actually very simple. Because this is Bailing Mountain. And located inside the sacred barrier. Even though Neraku has the demon-free wall to cover up his own demonic and evil energy, it does not mean that that guy is not a gathering of huge evil energy. Once you forcefully break into the sacred barrier, you will still be forcibly purified. Since the girl in front of him can ignore the sacred barrier and enter Bailing Mountain. And considering that Master by Xian can clearly distinguish between humans and monsters, and his master did not directly eliminate the little girl in front of him. It means that the person coming is indeed Ali himself. Undoubtedly. It's okay, it's okay. Fortunately, I stopped the punch in time and it didn't cause a big mistake. Li Xia secretly rejoiced. Damn physical reflexes, he almost punched the girl he liked to death. No, we have to get the Yuashan people's demonic crystals. Otherwise, I will be paranoid and on tenterhooks all day long. Xia, it's me, I'm not Neraku. At this moment, Ali deeply understood how wrong the boy in front of him had suffered that day. Because only by putting yourself in their shoes and experiencing it together can you deeply understand what it's like. On that day, Granny Maple intentionally or unintentionally shielded Neraku by blocking the sacred light of purification. Inuyasha even tried his best to prevent Mr. Xia from harming the villagers and indirectly protected Neraku. But everyone never thought about what durable and vicious ODs Neraku used to get close to Xia Jun they didn't even realize what kind of crisis their classmates encountered. If the situation that day is exactly the same as today. Neraku took the opportunity to launch a close attack on Xia Jun. Can Xia Jun stop it? Granny Maple was right to guard her kindness, and Inuyasha was right to protect the villagers. But what about Xia Jun? If Mr. Xia dies because of this, who should he talk to for explanation? Granny Keed and Inuyasha might just express their regret. And as Xia Jun's only classmate in this strange ancient world, she was almost a confirmed lover, but at that time, she had doubts about Xia Jun's gentleness and kindness. What kind of sting did it feel when my Suyin fell into Xia Jun's eyes? No wonder Xia Jun left the team angrily. Xia, I'm sorry, I didn't stand on your side that day. Ali pursed his lips and burst into tears. Women are so emotional. This incident confused Li Xia. He just explained why he overreacted, that's all but he really didn't expect that his casual explanation would inexplicably gain the girl's favor. Hey, Ali, didn't I scare you? His tone remained calm and distant. It's a smell that keeps you at arm's length. He didn't want to fall into Inuyasha's bottomless pit. Before he figured out the purpose of the little girl's visit, he couldn't take the initiative to care about the others. Let alone give the girl the slightest chance. It is impossible to persuade him to return to the team. There is absolutely no need to talk about this. Xia, sewing happened to Coral and Inuyasha, and Tetsuya was also lost. Ali's eyes turned red and he got closer step by step. Although she felt the deliberate alienation of the person in front of her, she still sensitively captured the care and attention coming from her. Otherwise there is no need to explain anything at all. When she wasn't punched again, this time she bravely ran into that embrace. All the previous grievances and panic broke out. 
Then there was a slight sound of sobbing. What exactly happened? Tai Suya successively absorbed the demonic power and abilities of the Yao Lao Poison Fairy, the Hundred Ghost Bat Clan, His Highness Sesomaru, the Dragon Bone Spirit, and the Flying Demon Moth. During this period, he even received some reinforcements from Inuyasha's father, General Inu Inuyasha holds this a top-notch demon sword. It feels like over to deal with higher-level monsters, let alone those ordinary cannon fodder. Even if you encounter a big monster, you should have the confidence to fight or even defeat it. How could anything happen to them? Feeling a wet warmth on his chest, Li Xia, who was originally going to push the little girl away and continue to respond indifferently, opened his mouth, but did not do so after all. He asked after sighing secretly. As he spoke, he reached out and patted the girl's back to comfort her. I went home to take the exam, but they didn't wait for me. They took action on their own after receiving the news about the four soul fragments. Ali eloquently told her the information that Dave Azai gave her. After listening to the little girl's narration, Li Xia figured out a lot. It's no wonder that when General Inu Tai decided to leave Tetsuyasha to Inuyasha, he would strip it of all its powerful abilities. From this point of view, one reason is that he is worried that his youngest son will not be able to master the top-level demon sword in a short time. And the other reason is that he is worried that Tetsuyasha is too powerful and Inuyasha will not be able to keep up with his growth, thus attracting countless coveted eyes. Starting from zero, it is up to Inuyasha himself to collect various ability-enhancing sabers, but their properties are completely different. So, I strengthened Taisuya too quickly, which caused the greed of some dangerous beings. Li Xia frowned. This possibility cannot be ruled out. However, it still couldn't lessen his hatred for Inuyasha. Where is His Highness Sesomaru? Can he let Tai Suya fall into the hands of outsiders? Li Xia asked again. If sewing happens to Inuyasha, Shaden will definitely not stand idly by. No need to think about it. Before this, Sesomaru had a conflict with Inuyasha because of the conflict between the two poisonous insects, the most powerful one. The two brothers had a fight. Yesterday, Grandpa Todosai told me that Sesomaru recently came to the north following some clues about Neraku. Ali did not let go of his hand when he spoke, and still hugged Li Xia's waist tightly. Hmm. The two brothers had a fight because they were the strongest. Did the older brother also find some clues about Neraku? Li Xia raised his eyebrows. Why is there such a strong smell of conspiracy here? You know, with the advantage of foresight, he lost control of Neraku's whereabouts. With Neraku holding the demon wall in hand, it is unlikely that anyone would be able to find any clues about that guy. It was even exaggerated to the point that even if he was standing one meter behind Kikio, Kikio, who had a strong spiritual sense, could not detect him immediately until Neraku took the initiative to remind Kikio. Therefore, how could Sesomaru discover Neraku's whereabouts? Unless it's intentional. Wait, that's not right. Even if he recovered from his injuries, Neraku would not be able to provoke Sesomaru again and again at this time and at this juncture. This would not do him any good at all. It would only strengthen Sesomaru's intention towards him but since he is like this if you do it, it must have a purpose. The purpose of benefiting Neraku is nothing more than two situations. One is to calculate Sesomaru and absorb Sesomaru. But it is almost impossible for Sesomaru to lose to Neraku with the Chinkuan sword in hand. Another possibility is to lure Sesomaru away. Why do you want to lure away Shadian, who is your elder brother? Thinking of this, Li Xia suddenly felt enlightened. That's right, it's very likely that that evil guy Neraku is behind the scenes. If the uncertain factor of Sesomaru could be taken away first, it would greatly facilitate that guy's various actions. At least it makes action easier and more effective. As for the motivation. Being able to weaken the enemy can be considered a motivation. Being able to use Tai Suya to strengthen himself is also a huge motivation. Capturing Inuyasha and the others alive and keeping them as hostages so that the network of connections inevitably left behind by Inu Admiral cannot function is still a motive. If you look into it carefully, there are too many motives. Of course, it is not ruled out that some of General Inu's old enemies may secretly retaliate. After all, although Tai Suya has a barrier that rejects monsters, as long as he is willing to give up a monster arm and replace it with a human or half-demon arm. 
Tai Suya can perfectly display the power of destroying the world. For half-demon, there are no restrictions. Neraku happens to be a half-demon. With Neraku's greed and pursuit of powerful demon power, if he is not interested in Tai Suya. Who would believe it? Didn't you see that was thinking about absorbing Sesomaru? Combined with the information provided by Todosai that Tetsuya has been drained of demonic power and completely destroyed. And based on the fact that Neraku lured Sesomaru away without causing trouble, it further confirms the attack on Inuyasha and several others. Yes, it was Neraku that crazy critic. Is it Neraku? How could it be? On the side, Ali's beautiful eyes lit up after listening to Lisya's analysis. At the same time, I am deeply worried about several friends. Don't say absolutely. But there is also sewing close to each other. Li Xia took a deep breath, then shook his head in silence. The power of Yao Lao poisons immortal poison. Ojamaru and Tsukiyamaru, father and son, specialize in breaking barriers. Or, will it in turn strengthen Neraku's barrier? Inutesho's strengthening of Bakuro's barrier. Sesomaru's warming. The demonic power of the dragon bone spirit allows the wind wound to be released continuously, which is a tough and lasting power. There is also the demonic power of Onyx Maru as a semi-finished flying demon moth, which even contains part of the power of the time tree. With this set of enhancements, the demonic power inside Tai Suya may have reached a six-star level. Once Neraku absorbs every bit of it. Thinking of this, the corners of Li Xia's mouth couldn't help but twitch, and his eyelids jumped wildly for a while. The scalp then felt faintly numb. Inuyasha, I shouldn't have given Tetsuya to you. If his guess is correct. Hiss. Now, he wants to strangle Inuyasha to death. No, I have to take action. I still have a chance. I thought of a human swordsmith and the demon sword he was forging. Li Xia felt relieved a lot. He sent Ali back to the modern world and violently demolished the bone-eating well in Maple Village. This weak space node here is still there, and he can travel back and forth without the need for the bone-eating well. Also, he also planted a seedling of the age tree in the modern world as a second space node to avoid unknown accidents. After finishing, he went straight to find Todosai and others. When he met Mr. Todosai, he didn't say any nonsense and went straight to the point. Help me find the human swordsman Daochio. With your abilities, this shouldn't be difficult to do, right? You help me find him, and I will help you find Inuyasha. Of course, only if he is still alive. Neraku may have acquired Taisuya's demon power. If that were the case, it would be really scary. Once Neraku finds the Dragon Man again and absorbs the Dragon Man whose demon power has reached the threshold of a great monster, is extremely domineering. And has a strength comparable to that of a great demon then Neraku, who has a little strong immortal body that can make up for his shortcomings in all aspects, is enough to seal the deal. God. No one can stop that guy's advance. This is the horror of Neraku with his four souls at full value. Devour infinitely. Infinite transformations. Infinite evolution. It is said that Neraku in the original timeline grew up with the help of the Shurkan Tama, but this is actually not true. The Jade of the Four Souls is a catalyst, and by Lingshan's physical transformation has indeed given some help. But strictly speaking, Neraku didn't truly integrate the Four Souls Jade until he transformed into the Super Flying Spider. Before that, the Four Souls Jade was in Neraku's hands, outside Neraku's body, and had not been absorbed by it. The difference before and after absorption is huge. Before absorbing the Four Souls Jade, Neraku could completely control the will of the Four Souls Jade. After absorbing the Jade of Four Souls, Baoyu himself forced Neraku to make a wish that one sword will hit Ali. In this time and space, Neraku has lost most of his Four Soul Fragments and can only find another way out. As a result, we hit the right mark and found a path that could no longer be correct. That is absorb the demonic power of those demonic swords. The soul of the psychic demon sword can't compete with Neraku's soul will. The pressure Neraku faces at the soul level is almost negligible. In this way, you can naturally devour it without any scruples. It is true that the demon power in the demon sword is too clean. As long as Neraku continues along this path, there will be absolutely no monster in the Nuadai demon world that can stop him. 
And Neraku, who has tasted the sweetness, has no reason not to target various demonic swords. Dragon Scale's ability to seize ghosts, like Tai Suya and Qianquan Sword, also has the property of absorbing demonic power. However, the suction power of this knife is more domineering, and the eating appearance is more brutal. As long as it cuts on the monster or comes into contact with the demon sword, the opponent's demon power will be continuously extracted. Moreover, the demon power absorbed by the demon sword to seize ghosts will be fed back to the sword holder, allowing the demon power of the sword holder to be restored and even strengthened. As for the flaw that the damage sustained by the blade will also be passed on to the wielder. For Neraku, who is an invincible little strong, this is not a flaw. Therefore, this top-notch demon sword must be one of the demon knives that Neraku must eat. And seizing ghosts is the demon sword that Li Xia is most confident about down Neraku. None of them. Even blasting teeth is a bit boring. It is true that the explosive fawn can continuously destroy Neraku's flesh and blood, but Neraku can recover through infinite devouring in addition. The strength of the monster body can also be increased, such as covering a layer of diamond armor and a layer of Pluto beast armor in a dual armor mode. Hardly resistant to external attacks from explosive fawn. Dragon Scale's ghost seizing is different. I don't care how hard your armor is at the beginning, as long as you continue to deprive it of the demon power that is blessing it. No matter how hard the armor is, it will eventually collapse due to the loss of the support of the demon power. So. The swordsmith Dao Chiu is building a demon sword to seize ghosts, and he is bound to win it. However, the problem came again it was impossible for him to find the human swordsman Dao Chiu in the huge crowd of people in a short period of time. And it is even more impossible to blatantly look for Dao Chiu. If you really want to make such a big splash, wouldn't it provide valuable clues to Neraku? Neraku's intelligence system is quite advanced. If he takes action over there, he will be eliminated directly. Looking at the entire island country's demon world, the only person who can locate Tukiyu's whereabouts in a short period of time is the relationship network left by the Inu general behind Tukiyu. These old immortals and great demons have extraordinary abilities. For example, Todasai's mount, the three-eyed ox, can project the situation in a distant place. Another example is Minka, who was obviously far away in another place. But after changing from half-demon to full-demon because of Inuyasha's blood, he immediately reacted and quickly came over to check the situation. This is definitely not a problem of the nose not working properly. It is much more reliable for these old people to find a human swordsmith with some reputation than to find a needle in a haystack by himself. Using this as a deal condition to find Inuyasha is Li Xia's expedient measure. Kid, Inuyasha, and those two humans are your partners. You're looking for them and you actually negotiate terms with us. Todasai's big eyes narrowed slightly. It looks weird and unusual. That was before. Now, they and I are no longer teammates. We are not happy with teammates whose elbows always turn outwards. By the way, you guys should know a thing or two about how I left the team, right? Therefore, it is useless to kidnap me morally. As a transaction, it is better for us to be more sincere to each other. Li Xia responded calmly. It's true that he has a good temper, but that doesn't mean he has to accommodate others. What's more, he is no longer what he used to be. Are you still treating him like the little person you were able to manipulate a few months ago? In addition, the supply and demand relationship between the two parties has changed, why should he bother himself to please these old people? To put it bluntly Inuyasha himself seeks death in various ways, it's none of his business. Right now, he just wants to talk about remuneration. You kid, have you been pretending before? Todasai's eyes narrowed even further. I originally set my heart towards the bright moon, but the bright moon shines on the ditch. Li Xia stood up. Please help me find Dao Chiu, the human swordsmith, and come find me again later. The bull that your young master Inuyasha caused is the business of you retainers. Taking a step back, at worst, if I return to my hometown that is, the modern world, and we never interact with each other until the end of time, will Neraku still be able to attack my hometown? Oh, by the way, Ali has been sent back to her hometown by me. Without my help, she can't come here again. Don't even think about using her as a lobbyist or taking risks. I want to see your sincerity. After saying these words, he summoned flame hooves and prepared to return to Bailing Mountain to huddle up. 
let the old guys have a headache for a while. Li Xia's indifferent attitude immediately poured cold water on Toto Sai and Mingxiao, the two veterans left behind by the dog generals. The demon spirit Great Sage and Sesomaru, who remained silent on the side, glanced at the human boy who was about to leave. Wait a minute, Li Xia, don't forget, I taught you how to make swords, and you still owe me a favor. Toto Sai stood up and said seriously. Finally, I showed some signs of making deals. But it's a pity that that little bit of affection was returned unknowingly. Grandpa Toto Sai, why do you think I gave Inuyasha the Tetsuyasha after helping Inuyasha strengthen it again and again? With the demonic power of the dragon bone spirit and the demonic power of the flying demon moth, without me, Inuyasha can do you get it? Which of the two demonic powers is your favor with the sword making SS hidden in every corner worth? After once capturing Heron Fang alive, he obtained a lot of practical SS from the great disciple of Totuzi. However, Totosai chose to keep this part of the blacksmithing technique private from a human being like him, and did not teach it to him at all. Totosai is actually right to do this. If you are not of my race, your mind must be different. How can one threaten the world of monsters by handing over special SS to a human being? In the original work, these old men were not seen using human relationships to help strengthen the people around Inuyasha in the early days. It wasn't until after 9 or 81 difficulties, until Nariku's height became a bit scary, that he began to strengthen Coral and Mithraya. From the beginning to the end, the team has always been dominated by Inuyasha. No matter what dangerous places Inuyasha takes the team into, Inuyasha is still the leader. The rest of the people are called friends, but in fact they are all followers in the nature of retainers. I have to say, this move is pretty good. For Li Xia, who has the experience of a time traveler and modern thinking, this set of things hurt him at every turn, and naturally he couldn't accept it. Do you want to bribe him with a small favor and make him work for you? Ah. Furthermore, you really have the nerve to say it out loud when it's a completely worthless favor. If Todosai and others had been sincere to him at the beginning, instead of him trying to cultivate Inuyasha and Tetsuya in various ways to strive for all kinds of good things then now. He would definitely not refuse to reveal the information that Naraku was the mastermind behind the scenes, and even more so he won't refuse to deal with Naraku. Unfortunately, there are not so many ifs in the adult world. I'm still living in Bailing Mountain for the time being, so don't look for the wrong place. By the way, help me find out where the Yueshan man's body is. This will help your master Inuyasha repay the dragon bone demon's demonic power. Brothers, let's settle the score clearly. What's more, since everyone no longer wants to see each other, it is even more important to settle the accounts. After Li Xia finished speaking, he walked away. Li Xia left, leaving a few people looking at each other. I didn't expect this human brat to have such a deep prejudice against me. Toto Sai said in a deep voice. Are you hiding sewing secret? The demon spirit Great Sage put down his teacup and asked. He is a human and I am a monster. How could I hand over the technology at the bottom of the box to him, a human? Once he passes on my thousands of years of SS and techniques to the human world. The old man didn't say anything more about the next words, and everyone's minds were clear. The blacksmithing technique of Todosai emphasizes on using the bones or teeth of monsters for thousands of times. It's similar to the techniques used by demon slayers to create various weapons, but it's countless times more sophisticated. If humans want to create such a powerful demon sword, they will definitely target the demons from all directions, hunt them, and even affect old demons like them. Totosai clearly didn't want to bear this sin and risk. So, how did he realize that? The great sage of demon spirits asked again. Have you forgotten Grey Blade Workshop? Sesomaru stood up, dropped these words and quickly left in the air. It was a waste of time to come here, but it was a good show. As expected, he was not the only one who hated Inuyasha. If it weren't for the sake of his father's bloodline, he really wouldn't want to protect his stinky brother. There are also these old guys who only serve Inuyasha and don't think about him, huh? He has not forgotten that he once asked Todosai to help him build a top-notch demon sword, but was rejected mercilessly. Since you value Inuyasha so much and want to protect Inuyasha so much, then work hard. Shadian secretly said. With these people protecting Inuyasha, why would he need Sesomaru? It seems like another one got angry and walked away. The great sage of demon spirits smiled slightly. 
Toto Sai and Mingjia looked at each other and smiled bitterly. The two of them naturally knew the reason for Sesomaru's anger. But the matter of exploding broken teeth is really inappropriate to speak out now against the general's will. As a last resort, we can only let that knife come out early. Toto Sai said with a solemn expression. The key is to find specific traces of Master Inuyasha first. I can feel that Master is still alive. Mr. Mingjia was pacing back and forth, his expression uncertain. By the way, why does Li Xia want to quarrel? One is that he must draw a clear line and strive for enough benefits for himself. The second is that he is fed up with other people restraining him in various ways. Besides, he has grown up. More than half a month of dedicated practice. He has completed the step from refining Qi to become a god to refining a god to return to the void. Officially becoming a high-level practitioner like the master of Kikyo, Hitomi, and Black Miko Tsubaki. Although he has just stepped into this threshold, his magic power is not as powerful as those three but his overall strength is not comparable to those three. And after his soul has been refined and transformed during this period, it can even reach a level similar to a certain shadow spiritual transformation technique where the soul can travel between heaven and earth. However, the duration is still very short. The Yuan Shen at this time is only the Yin God, and has not yet achieved the pure Yang without Yin Yang God. The young god can enter and exit through the heaven gate of the human body, get rid of the confinement of the physical body. Exist forever without the physical body, and gain abilities beyond life and death. Master by Exion has half-stepped into this realm. Even though the human body turned into a mummy and died long ago, his young god still exists to this day. Moreover, as long as Master by Exion took the last half-step and opened up his own Tao, he would be a truly great person with supernatural powers. However, at that moment, because of his persistence in life and death, he hesitated and feared, and failed to become a Buddha in one fell swoop. Strictly speaking, the Inu admiral, who was always limited by his body, never reached the stage of Yangshan during his lifetime. Otherwise, he would not have died young. Why is the legendary demon king so powerful? To a large extent, it relies on one's own monster bloodline. In terms of strength, he may be better than Master by Exion but in terms of realm, even the dog general who transformed in the second stage is not as good as the holy monk who has touched Yangshen. Besides, monsters with strong bloodline can reach great heights with just a little effort. If you have a strong bloodline and are willing to fight, it will be easier to reach the top. Humans, even the talented barbarian Bones, could not reach the level of Inuyasha's half-demon during his lifetime in the original timeline, after his death. He was resurrected using the fragments of his four souls, and with the help of the power of the jade fragments, he was able to overpower the half-demon in Yuyasha. They are obviously not on the same starting line. This shows how big the physical gap between monsters and humans is. It's no wonder that Barbarian Bones, who has just reached the pinnacle of human military commanders after various trainings, is envious of many monsters. Back to business. Although Li Xia is still far away from the realm of Yang God where the soul is pure Yang and has no Yin. But he finally took this step. And if he wants to be reincarnated after taking this step, then his first reincarnation can retain his current soul power. In this way, the above-mentioned superior innate qualifications will be used to start the game. This is the main reason why after Platycodon was reincarnated as Ailey, Ailey had super spiritual power. Of course. Li Xia's seclusion these days. In addition to super purifying those resentful souls and evil spirits, such as the resentful souls of Ogamaru and Tsukiyamaru's father and son hidden in the blood coral jade. As well as the demon souls of the time tree and the resentful souls and evil spirits in Agat Maru's clay body, thus promoting the Yuan dynasty. God transforms. In addition to the above, there are actually many other games. For example, the two Ashenma masks, one crying and one laughing, gained all the power of the age tree and transformed into era tree masks. As long as he finds weak space nodes, and if there are corresponding anchor points on the opposite side, he can sense the anchor points of other worlds through these weak space nodes, and then conduct precise space travel. This was the main reason why he dared to dismantle the bone-eating well. Another example. Yanho has absorbed a lot of the demonic power crystals of the semi-finished flying demonic moths that he purified and some of the demonic power crystals of dragon bone spirits. 
and now he has grown to the level of a five-star monster. His power increased dramatically. The ultimate speed that burst out was getting closer and closer to the speed of sound. He obtained special abilities from Agat Maru's two maids. Glass learned from Agat Maru the ability to condense the magical power of Magatama. But what the succubus masters is only the castrated version. Compare it and you will know the difference. Agat Maru's Magatama condensation secret technique the condensed energy Magatama can help him communicate with his subordinates at ultra-long distances. It's like a mobile phone that works throughout the island country. And through this Magatama, Onyx Maru can control the life and death of the Magatama wearer. In the original plot, this man controlled the lives of two maids, Li Li and Lu Li, through this trick. At that time, although Glass was defeated and cut in half by Coral and Mika, this witch could obviously quickly recover from her injuries and fight again. But she was despised by Onyx Maru, who was transforming in the inheritance container, and then forcibly deprived her of her soul. Moreover, the enslavement effect once made Ali unable to resist. Even in a familiar place, Inuyasha was sealed with one arrow. The Magatama condensation secret technique of glass has a similar communication effect. But it can only forcibly enslave monsters like Micah as pets, and cannot directly control the life and death of pets. In addition, once Micah develops a sense of resistance, she can also use some self-mutilation ODs to force out the magical Magatama between her eyebrows or destroy it. To get rid of control. Li Xia was unable to obtain the complete secret technique of Magatama condensation due to the determined resistance of Agat Maru's soul. Although this was a great regret, he finally pried open the mouth of the demon Lioli and got the castrated version. After acquiring this ability, he immediately used it on several major Shikigami. He used his own magic power to condense the magic Magatama and embedded it into the Shikigami's eyebrows. In this way, you can have a two-pronged approach with the Shikigami contract. It is worth mentioning that. Because of the existence of the magic Magatama, he can now listen to the voice of any Shikigami if he is willing, and has a clear view of their thoughts. Incidentally, it can also moisturize things silently and subtly, leading the Shikigami to become more loyal and respectful to him. This is much smarter than forced slavery. When the Shikigami subtly regard him as their faith and respect him as a father, the meaning will be completely different. Then there is another witch Lioli. Li Xia learned how to change weapons from this girl. In the end, the mountain ghost took away the woman's replication ability. These two abilities are very useful SS. He has grown so much, how could he still be willing to suffer in front of Todosai and the others? Not to mention continuing to be humble and small, allowing others to exploit and manipulate you. He dared to stand up in front of the old people in Totozai, so he naturally had enough confidence. Again. Seniors, times have changed. Inside Bailing Mountain. Master by Exion sits high on the Lotus Jade Platform. This jade platform was carefully carved by Li Xia, who asked the Li family in the modern world to spend a lot of money and select the best jade. And then he brought it here through a treasure gourd for storage. The material used in the Lotus Jade platform is not ordinary jade, but a precious jade that can be polished into rosary pendants and other magical objects. This precious jade lotus platform has been cultivated by Master Bai Exion, a highly educated monk. The four souls inside will surely grow stronger. Over time, it is even expected that spiritual intelligence will be born through channeling, and finally transform into a living body or it can become a special magic weapon full of spirituality. In the original timeline, Mithraya relied on the fact that he was a human being to run to master by Exion, who loved humans deeply and would never harm humans, and used the wind acupoint to pry open the protective barrier opened by his mentor. There is too much water here. As a result, the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain was greatly loosened. Inuyasha in human form was able to revive the half-demon blood in his body, and then he seized the opportunity to defeat snake bones and barbarian bones one after another. It also allowed tens of thousands of monsters originally sealed in Bailing Mountain to break free from their prisons. Although Master by Xian is indifferent to fame and wealth, as a disciple, he cannot just enjoy it with peace of mind. What's more, the old man treats Li Mao sincerely. Provided him with many assistances within the scope of his abilities and principles. Therefore, in this timeline, no matter what he said, it would be impossible for his mentor to suffer from the lack of magical weapons. 
The lotus platform where the old man sits is a ritual instrument. The rosary in the old man's hand is a magic weapon. There are also many magical instruments placed on the table in front of the old man's high platform. The most iconic one is the demon-conquering pestle used by the holy monk during his lifetime. It has the ability to destroy evil, purify, teleport, and assist master by Exion in rescuing humans. This treasure pestle can relieve the demonization of Tai Suya, purify the surrounding evil spirits. Teleport designated targets in and out of Bailing Mountain within a range of more than 10 miles, and can also release its healing power to quickly heal human injuries. In addition to the magic pestle, there is also an alms bowl and a copper bell. These are magic weapons with magical abilities. Finally, a sheathed sword. Master by Exion, I'm back. By the way, Master, have the ancient evil thoughts in Song Yenya been purified? After Li Xia entered the Misty Hall, he went straight to the old man. The evil thoughts are very heavy and cannot be eradicated for the time being. I can only try to purify and peel them off little by little. I think it is better for me to assist you. The main thing is for you to try to purify yourself. This will help you temper your soul. The old man whispered. This is indeed more conducive to the growth of young people. However, Li Xia still shook his head and refused. Master, what I lack now is time. I must get the power of this Tsong Yanya as soon as possible. Very urgent. Um. Just bring my demon conquering pestle and rosary. They can help you temporarily suppress this demon sword for a while. Thank you, Master. That's right, the sheathed sword is none other than Tsong Yanya. Tsong Yanya was the strongest of the three domineering swords owned by General Inu during his lifetime. After the death of General Inu, Todosai, Minga. And the spirit of the scabbard didn't know what to do with the demon sword that the seriously injured and dying Inu general tried his best to suppress, so they threw it into the bone eater. In the well. It was picked up by the ancestor of the Higurashi family on the other side of the well. When he sent Ali back to the modern world, Grandpa Sunramu took ownership of the sword. Originally, he was not in a hurry to get it. But considering that the sealing suppression of Tsong Yanya by the scabbard is about to reach its limit. And he has to temporarily dismantle the bone eating well if Tsong Yanya unseals and removes the scabbard while he is busy with things here, the island country in the modern world will probably become a purgatory. Considering this, he brought Tsong Yanya here in advance. And asked Master by Exion to help purify the ancient evil spirits inside. Even if it cannot be purified, it can be suppressed for a while. It will not bring devastating disaster to the modern world. Talk about it. He has some dislike for Todosai and other older generations, and there is actually a reason for this. After all, it was these old people who threw Tsong Yunya into the bone well more than 200 years ago like trash. It has been kept in Higurashi Shrine ever since. Once Tsong Yunya goes berserk, the Higurashi family will be the first to bear the brunt. If Grandpa Higurashi, Mother Higurashi, and the little guy Higurashi Suda caused trouble, Li Xia said that he would never be able to forgive himself in his life. As for Toto Zhai and Ming Jia, they acted dumb from beginning to end and refused to reveal any information about Song Yanya. Not a word about that. You know, he and Ali both came from the opposite side of the well logically speaking. We should inform them of the relevant information about Song Yanya, the dangerous magic sword, so that they can at least take precautions, right? It couldn't be possible. His and Ailey's hometown was in a state of turmoil, so it was completely out of the two elders' consideration, right? With all the factors combined, could he not be angry with Todosai? As for why he didn't take the initiative to bring up the matter of Tsong Yunya to the older generation? After all, can this domineering sword still be used by him? Outside Bailing Mountain. Tsong Yunya unsheathed his teeth. A space crack then appeared. Go to the monster graveyard. Li Xia touched Yen Tu's neck and opened a barrier. On the opposite side of the crack is the interface between this world and the next. When he entered here for the first time, his eyelids twitched and his expression suddenly changed. What's going on? Why are people fighting here? In the monster cemetery, there are small peaks like sword blades standing everywhere. The mountainside is almost covered by an irreversible mist, and the sky above is also covered by clouds and mist. Flying in mid-air were a group of monster bone birds with low intelligence and always being kind to others. 
it's not really that big here. Looking down from a high altitude, you can roughly see more than 10 miles. More than 10 miles away, everything was shrouded in fog. In the center is the mountain-like corpse of General Inu. There is no difference between day and night here, it seems like it is always daytime. After the death of more powerful monsters or highly said humans, their souls will enter from this world and then cross from here. This place is a bit like a mezzanine between the inner world and the surface world. If the external world is the first level surface world, and the deeper underworld is the second level inner world. Then the monster cemetery is the gap between the first level surface world and the second level inner world. Layer. Of course, the three can also be compared to three bubbles. The real world where living beings live is one big bubble, the underworld or the dead sleep is the second big bubble, and this monster cemetery is the bridge between the two big bubbles. One side of it leads to the present world. However, the portal is closed to the living. Only dead souls drawn by the underworld can directly pass through regardless of the space barrier but the consciousness of those souls who enter this place has already become muddled. In addition, if you want to enter this place, you must either use the Tsongyun Fong of the Blade of the Underworld to open a passage or only those holding the natural Fong or similar treasures can safely leave here through a certain portal on the space barrier. And the other side of it leads to the depths of the underworld. What's the specific situation over there? The original work didn't say it, and Li Xia didn't know either. I have no intention of exploring right now. Because at this moment, two powerful evil spirits are fighting fiercely. On one side is a treasure fairy ghost with a diamond drill bit shining. When he was alive, this big monster was in charge of all kinds of gems in the island country's monster world. He had extremely strong monster power. Even if only the dead soul is left struggling here after death, it still has considerable strength. You're a tomb robber who's here to steal the fragments of the four souls. I won't let you succeed. If you want the fragments of the four souls, huh, break my diamond armor first. Boxiangui snorted while covering his whole body with diamonds, forming a thick layer of hard armor, which physically prevented the enemy's tentacle attacks. On the other side, he concentrated his demonic power in his mouth and fired a diamond rain curtain of thousands of arrows. Watch out. The diamond gun breaks. And his opponent was none other than Neraku. That body made up of countless monsters spliced together is so representative. Why is that guy Neraku here? Li Xia frowned. When he thought that he had asked Mr. Mingjia to exchange a four soul fragment for a black pearl gem from Boxiangui in advance, he immediately understood the key. So, while I was away from the team, while the Hosenki was still alive, Mr. Minga obtained a black pearl gem and gave the black pearl gem to Inuyasha for safekeeping. 99% of Inuyasha was plotted by Neraku. It is normal for the black pearl gem to fall into Neraku's hands. For Inuyasha and the others, it is definitely not a good thing to have the enemy in the dark and everyone in the light, Neraku in the dark, and everyone in the light. However, they have never realized this, so they have always been eaten to death by Neraku. For some reasons, it is not convenient for me to tell Inuyasha and others about Neraku's specific information. For example, Neraku monitors everyone with his most powerful SS and many wild little spiders, and Neraku can use the magic of witchcraft to strengthen himself. Another example is that every period of Neraku's weakness is a small transformation process that eliminates the bad and retains the good. This information is scary enough just to hear it. But he is a modern person after all. He has only been here a few months and has only interacted with Neraku three or five times. Where did you get this specific information about the other party? Can't tell. And once because of this information, Neraku turns around and hates the person he had not grown up in a few days ago, who will he go to to reason with? Both sides of Chun Chun are unhappy. Therefore, he chose to keep it. The choice brings a protective color to oneself. As a result, in the original timeline, Neraku was aggressive and reserved against Inuyasha and the others in this timeline, my advantage has been narrowed, even tied or even surpassed. Neraku felt a huge threat from this, so I put down my face, not only did I stop showing off, but I responded seriously. Most likely, I used the same scheming that I used to deal with Kikio and Inuyasha. And because of the unequal intelligence between them, Inuyasha and others have always despised Neraku. Then, did he finally stumble this time? Li Xia smiled bitterly for a while. 
still the same sentence it's all his fault. Blame him for overstrengthening Inuyasha and Tetsuya. Blame him for weakening Naraku too hard. Let Naraku lose the capital that Inuyasha had in front of him. If it were Naraku who was prosperous in another timeline, if it were Naraku who was a little helpless when facing Kikyo. And everything else went smoothly, Inuyasha would never have been so miserably plotted. Because in front of Naraku, who felt that he had a huge advantage, he bullied Inuyasha in various ways, why not tell Kikyo how good Naraku was? Isn't he laughing at Kikyo's blindness during his lifetime? This is like a child trying his best to express himself in front of his parents and win praise. However, Kikyo's appreciation could never be given to Naraku. What you can't get will always be in turmoil. The more you look down on me, the more I bully Inuyasha to show myself. Pity. This time and space is different. Li Xia appeared halfway. Naraku wanted to express himself, and the difficulty level increased sharply. He was even beaten violently at one point. The plot has been rewritten, and things are completely different. He failed to show off and was slapped in the face many times. If he doesn't adjust his mentality and regain his brain, will he wait to die? As a result, Inuyasha and his party, who failed to keep up with Naraku's change of mentality in time, were in trouble. I have to say so in here. Naraku is really obsessed with Kikyo. But Inuyasha, who had been sealed away for fifty years, woke up from a nap, and when he saw Ali for the first time, he immediately recognized him as Kikyo. But what about Naraku? Even after more than fifty years, when he saw Ali for the first time, he immediately concluded that the little girl was not Platycodon Grandiflorum. Inuyasha has been with Kikyo for a year, and after getting along with him for a year, he can still mistake people for mistakes. On the other hand, the bandit ghost spider only received Kikyo's rescue and care for a few days and ten days. Then Naraku, who was born from the ghost spider, remembered Kikyo in his heart and remembered it for the rest of his life, even if Kikyo died fifty years ago. I have never forgotten that beautiful figure. This is Naraku. In this regard, Li Xia is also sincerely touched and admired. He admired him, but it didn't stop him from ing Naraku. In the field. Breaking with a diamond gun. Nothing more than that. Naraku, the suture monster who took the blow from the treasure immortal ghost, smiled wildly. The two four soul fragments in Boxiangui's body have been contaminated by his evil energy and have become extremely black, even the entire diamond armor is faintly black. If it is not purified in time, its soul will sooner or later be swallowed up by the contaminated jade fragments. Humph, Boxiangui, I want to see how long you can last. Last time, when you were still alive, you gave me a lot of embarrassment. Today, our fortunes are changing. Naraku's barrier had long been shattered by the Vajra gun. There are also many gaps in the body, and the blood is dripping at this moment, which is quite ferocious. But he didn't panic at all and was always calm. On the one hand, thanks to the majestic demonic power he obtained from Tai Yang, the demonic power is much stronger than that of a semi-remnant treasure fairy ghost in the state of a dead soul. Both explosive power and endurance are superior to Boxiangui. On the other hand, he has also gained several practical and powerful abilities. Combined with his powerful immortal body, his overall strength can be said to have exploded exponentially. No, a bone knife condensed on the arm, which looked like an enlarged version of the iron fawn. With one slash, he clashed head to head with the two huge gun headed arms of the diamond Gundam that could be controlled by the treasure fairy ghost, and then gradually gained the upper hand. Can it be so strong? So smooth? In addition to benefiting from the demon power in Tai Suya. The treasure fairy ghost is not a kind of demon that is an aggregation of evil spirits, so it cannot control the four soul fragments in the body. What about him? It is an out-and-out -out monster dominated by evil aggregations, and it happened to swallow another evil aggregation not long ago, which greatly increased its own evil aura. The accumulation of evil energy can contaminate the four soul fragments. If done properly, this pollution can even be used to reversely erode the minds of those arrogant people who put the four soul fragments into their bodies. Bao Xian Gui, the four soul fragment is not easy to protect. Just leave him to me honestly. Naraku already has a chance to win. Boxiangui is insisting desperately. The fragment said that the four souls jade cannot be allowed to take shape again. 
Therefore, when my life is approaching, in order to prevent the fragments of the jade from falling into the hands of evil people like you, the evil people who came here are difficult to reach. The place. Unexpectedly, you still came here, and your strength is not what it used to be. But even so, I will not give the jade fragments to anyone, let alone you. Finished. The diamond gun is broken. A boring struggle. Treasure fairies and ghosts, in this monster cemetery that is independent of the real world, do you think anyone will come to help you? You can't keep the two four soul fragments in your hands. Neraku responded with a sneer. However, the next moment, his heart convulsed. Why does the breath of jade fragments enter this space again? And. Many. Good weight. So thick. Neraku's expression remained unchanged, but his heart was shaken. He instantly realized that a troublesome guy was here. How did that guy get in? Why is there that human mage everywhere? It's like a ghost. But he didn't act strange. He looked like he hadn't discovered anything yet. His mind was rapidly thinking of countermeasures. Although I am already very strong, my demonic power has never been stronger and more abundant, and my ODs have increased a lot. But can I really be able to fight against that guy Li Xiao? Neraku, who had been consumed by the treasure immortal ghost, felt a little embarrassed when he thought of the unpleasant memory not long ago. There was a lingering gloom. The wind injury cannot break his defense. The other tricks may not be effective. The key is that the restraint and lethality of his divine purifying light on me is surprisingly great. In addition, he discovered that I was the one who dealt with Inuyasha and the others. Originally, I planned to continue hibernating for a while. Now there's trouble. Off the field. Flame hoof, transform into a fire wheel. Li Xia, who was wearing the time tree mask, spoke. You can't hide sewing. He carries a large number of four soul fragments with him, which to Neraku is like a beacon in the darkness. People far away can sense it. When Neraku couldn't find him, he was lying to himself. And from his perspective the treasure fairy ghost condensed into a small diamond Gundam, and Neraku, who appeared in the form of a huge fusion body nearby, had already made a real fire. But the battle between the two sides has basically passed the intense stage. It's almost coming to an end. The former is at an overall disadvantage. If he doesn't take action, he will soon have a banquet for Boxiangui. Yan Ho heard the order and neighed. The next moment, the flames swept and condensed, and finally turned into another hot fire wheel to support his feet. This is exactly the weapon transformation OD he learned from Liu Li. Hot wheels appeared in a set for the first time. Li Xia's speed and flexibility increased to a peak. Unfortunately, my second-hand fire-pointed gun is still far from enough. First used Tsong Yunya and used spear to top the handle. The majestic demon power was poured into Tsong Yunya, and the destructive prison dragon was shot out. Go straight to Neraku, which is stitched together by countless monsters. At the same time, the hot wheels burst out with blazing fire. Li Xia, who retracted his Tsong Yun Fong and waved his spear, had unlimited us intent. When Neraku saw this, his teeth were almost broken. Human named Li. This is too much. A 30 or 40 meter long white bone machete resembling an iron broken tooth was swung out. Neraku fired three golden sword energy. It is Tai Suya's signature S wind injury. And it starts with Kaishan wind level wind damage. This shows that Neraku's current level of demon power is already on the same level as Seshomaru, or even worse. But an attack of this magnitude was completely inadequate in front of the prison dragon Pa. The moment the wind wound touched the prison dragon break, it immediately disintegrated. In fact, let alone the wind injury, Baku Ryu Pa alone had no chance of winning against the hell dragon Pa. Tsong Yunya is known as the most domineering sword in the world, and his reputation is not for nothing. The unique move of this magic sword, Prison Dragon Break, is said by Mr. Mingjia to be able to penetrate hell. Even if there are elements of exaggeration, one cannot deny the terror of this sword and this move. What? Neraku was horrified my wind injury is several points stronger than the blow that Sesomaru tried his best to use the Tetsuya. How could it be destroyed by a single touch? This is impossible. He thought that after absorbing Tai Suya's demonic power, 
his overall strength had increased several times and he would no longer be weaker than anyone else. What's more, he hit the wind wound with all his strength. There is absolutely nothing tentative about it. In the end, he still lost to the human kid in front of him. But he didn't want to lose to this person no matter what. I won't lose. Enchantment. A huge magenta light curtain appeared, protecting a body of dozens of meters in size. The super large top formed by the sword energy storm rolled up by the prison dragon broke fiercely and tore on the huge barrier light screen. Immediately sputtering out a large amount of flashing energy and lightning. Nariku gritted his teeth and held on. The two energies seemed to be at a stalemate. But this stalemate process did not last for a moment, and was suddenly ended unexpectedly. The diamond gun is broken. Turn out to be. The small diamond Gundam on the side opened its mouth and spit out a large number of diamond spearheads. The target is Nariku, the tomb robber. The diamond spearhead with astonishing penetrating power has devastating destructive power for most barriers. Nariku absorbed the demon power of the two Hayaki bats in Tetsuya and part of the demon power of Anamaru and Time Tree, and transformed into an advanced barrier. Naturally, it is no exception. Suddenly it was riddled with holes. Boxy angry. You guy. Nariku was shocked and angry. Unexpectedly, Boxy angry would intervene at this time. This also made the situation that was still barely sustainable become one-sided. The barrier was the first to be torn to pieces, and the light curtain collapsed instantly the flesh and blood body faced the sword light storm of the prison dragon, and was also torn to pieces. The body of 10,000 monsters, which had just finished strengthening a day ago, was severely damaged again. Hateful. Nariku felt aggrieved. You know, as soon as he completed his transformation, he went to test and become familiar with several of his newly acquired abilities then he found the monster Kianlier who had been targeted by the strongest victors for a long time. And asked him to identify the two four souls on the treasure fairy ghost. The whereabouts of the debris. After learning that the two fragments had landed in the interface between the mortal world and the underworld. He immediately used a black pearl obtained from Inuyasha to open the space passage, and then rushed straight here without stopping. Without saying a word, he made a move with Bao Xiangui. I am just afraid of long nights and many dreams. Unexpectedly, the multi-pronged approach, which took a lot of effort, was about to take down the boxy Angui who was struggling to support it. The human mage came and ate him through some unknown means. How unreasonable. This is simply unreasonable. It was obvious that we were going to succeed, but in the end we fell short again. Nariku gritted his teeth. Not only that, he was injured by Li Xia and Bao Xiangui who worked together very well and suffered a big loss. Why is this person always targeting him? Why is the ghost always lingering? The Hell Dragon poker swept forward, destroying a small piece of General Inu's corpse. The storm swept for more than ten miles and finally disappeared into the mist at the end of the monster cemetery. At this time, Nariku also rolled up a purple-black demonic cloud, and then quickly got into a space portal not far above and disappeared without a trace. He was so embarrassed that he didn't even have time to collect the many pieces of flesh and blood around him. That should be a temporary passage opened by Black Pearl Baoyu. Escaped. So decisive. Li Xia, who took out Master by Xian's demon conquering pestle and was about to throw a little boy out of the storage cord, silently put away his or move. This little boy was obtained from the Smith family. The Peninsula Lee family had previously chosen to sneak attack the Smith family instead of confronting the Smith family. This was undoubtedly very correct. A little boy. A little boy after all. How physically destructive is this thing? Although the little boy has never appeared on a world-class battlefield in the modern world, there is concrete experimental data. The first is the shock wave and air wave experimental data shows that the wind speed in the center of the explosion exceeds 400 meters per second, which is extremely destructive. The second is the temperature of the explosion the temperature in the central area can be as high as 5 or 6,000 degrees Celsius, which can make the house bubble. Then there is the radioactivity in it, which is invisible and invisible damage. As for whether it can hurt Nariku? If it were just the impact and high temperature of the explosion, it would be enough to break through the powerful barrier, but it might not be able to break through the high-level barrier. In addition, the radioactive damage involved is difficult to determine. 
It may be possible for Neraku's demon body to be deceived, or it may cause Neraku to undergo unknown mutations and become even more bizarre. Therefore, unless absolutely necessary, Li Xia still did not want the little boy to appear in this era. Your Excellency Boxiangui, we can have a good talk. After repelling Neraku, Li Xia looked back at Diamond Gundam. However, what made him frown was that the Boxiangui launched a fierce attack on him indiscriminately. That is a large piece of diamond spearhead. Grave robber, I will not hand over the four soul fragments to anyone. The old ghost was obviously dominated by the dark jade fragments. Bao Xian Gui, should I say that you are overly confident, or that you are too carefree and nosy? Li Xia's hot will flames flashed around him and flashed 200 meters away, easily avoiding all the diamond spearheads. Very spiritual. Humph, you can't even control one of the four soul fragments, so where did you get the courage to put two of them into your body? Furthermore, what's the point of closing the four soul jade? Why do you have to mess with it? Come in. The jade of the four souls is said to be jade, but in fact it is the crystallization of the souls of the shrine maiden Suezi and Wanyu. It's not within the scope of Boxiangui's duties at all. You are indeed a tomb robber who came to snatch the fragments of the four souls. I will not let you succeed. The weak Bao Xiangui showed off his strength for his own sake. Even though most of his demon power had dropped, he still dared to spray the diamond spearhead at Li Xia and wave his two diamond arms. You guy. Li Xia narrowed his eyes. It feels a little tricky. The Shirkan fragment can become better or worse depending on its owner. Once it is embedded into a body of flesh and blood, the jade fragments will directly affect the mind of the holder. Boxiangui is too conceited. In other words, I want to protect the four soul fragments too much. He was stupid enough to put the fragment inside his body. This seems to be convenient for him to use diamond armor to protect the four soul fragments. But in fact it gives Neraku the opportunity to erode the diamond body of the treasure fairy ghost from the inside and from the soul. After all, evil things like evil spirits are pervasive and can completely contaminate the jade fragments inside through the diamond armor. And then use the power of the contaminated four soul fragments to corrode the sanity of the treasure fairy and ghost. Old ghost, the situation is not optimistic now. If the contaminated four soul fragments are not purified in time, Boxiangui will turn into an irrational monster due to the obsession in his heart. But with the outer layer of diamond armor, his purifying power couldn't penetrate at all. In addition, he was not given any chance to get close, which made his purification work even more difficult. Damn, trouble. After cursing secretly, Li Xia summoned the mountain ghost. Pulled him out of the Inu admiral's bones. To this. Boxiangui is not willing to be outdone, and he will not be captured without mercy. Unfortunately, his diamond spearhead is effective against thick-skinned mountain ghosts, but not much. A little skin injury, the demonic power recovered immediately after a little movement. So soon. The small diamond Gundam was forcefully pulled out by the huge mountain ghost. During this period, Li Xia also did two things. The first thing is to check whether there is a normal human-sized arm on the right shoulder of the Inu Admiral's remains. He personally searched for it inch by inch, and finally he saw a left arm among the vines. Found it. Li Xia was overjoyed. At the same time, he secretly rejoiced. Fortunately, Neraku entered here through a temporary space channel opened by the Black Pearl Gem, so the time he could stay was very limited. I was afraid that he didn't have time to explore this place at first, so he missed Sesomaru's left arm. In addition, he came at the right time. If it were a few hours later. No, just a quarter of an hour later. Then Boxiangui must be defeated, and then absorbed by Neraku without any suspense. At that time, Neraku can take advantage of the remaining time before the space passage is closed to explore the interstitial space and the remains of General Inu. From this, it is very possible to discover Sesomaru's left arm. And Shadian's left arm was targeted by Tsong Yunya in the original movie version, which shows how high the quality of the demon power in it is. If Neraku gets it, God knows what kind of changes will happen. Now that I have this left arm, how should I use it? This is a question worth pondering. In addition to searching for Sesomaru's arm, he also asked Poisonous Dragon and Flame Hoof to clean up the battlefield inch by inch, collecting the many pieces of flesh and blood left by Neraku. 
it is then purified by him. He was not going to let go even a little bit of flesh and blood. Purifying the flesh and blood left by Neraku, that is, fighting against Neraku's evil spirit and will, can definitely effectively help him temper his soul. Use Waste After collecting Sesomaru's severed arm and all the flesh and blood that Neraku had discarded, Li Xia's eyes fell on the treasure fairy ghost again. The two four-soul fragments in the old ghost's body still did not become purer, but instead became darker. This also means that the souls of Boxiangui may have been seriously polluted. I'm sorry, your diamond armor is too hard, and I don't have the demon-breaking spiritual power like Ali, so I can only use some unconventional ODs. The mountain ghost received the instruction and grabbed the head of the Baoxian ghost, who was getting weaker but still shouting, and pulled hard. Tear. The huge ghost head was brutally torn off. As the head of Bao Xian Gui separated from his body, to be precise, he separated from two deeply contaminated four soul fragments. The dark color on his head quickly receded, replaced by a bright color. I am. Have you finally recovered? Treasure Immortal Ghost. Li Xia smiled. The old ghost also recalled what he had done before, and immediately sighed. That's right. I failed to protect the four soul fragments. I didn't expect that evil people would chase me here. Alas, I was not able to end the dispute surrounding the Shir Khan Tama. You can hear the loss of this kind-hearted demon. Unless the four souls jade disappears completely, the dispute surrounding it will not end. And it is an inevitable trend that the four souls jade will be reunited. Therefore, even if you escape to the ends of the world, you will be found by someone who is interested. Li Xia shook his head. Then he simply stated his true purpose of coming here. Give me your demonic power, treasure immortal ghost, and let me end the centuries-old disputes caused by the Four Souls Jade. You should also know that this jade has disappeared for fifty years, so let me tell you, it actually went to another world. Therefore, as long as the jade is sealed to other worlds, at least the disputes about the Four Souls Jade in this world will end. Coincidentally, I happen to be from another world. This world. In a deep cave. Neraku jumped out of a space passage. Damn Li Xia, how did he get in? Did he happen to have a black pearl in his hand? He turned around and saw that no one was chasing him out of the closed passage, and he immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately he fell into deep thought again. That mage has indeed become stronger again. Not only did he get a magic sword that was far more powerful than Tai Suya. There is also an artifact that can restrain evil spirits and resolve miasma. Phew. It's getting more and more difficult. I really hope that guy is trapped in the Yukai Cemetery forever. And in the Monster Cemetery. The mountain ghost that absorbed the treasure fairy ghost except for the part below its head is like a diamond Gundam that is over 100 meters tall. As for the soul of Bao Xiangui. Then he was purified and saved by Li Xia. Gained a rare rest. And before someone left, he planted a small tree in the foggy area close to the real world. Leaving behind the inheritance container of the flying demon moth clan, and set up a limited concealment barrier to hide the small tree and the container. It's not okay to eat meat, it will cause public anger and become a public enemy of the island country's demon world. But it's okay to take a few sips of soup here secretly, right? The age tree seedling is paired with the inheritance container of the flying demonic moth family, which can spontaneously restrain the soul and transform into demonic power. They blatantly collected souls from the outside world, and the fate of the flying demon moth and his son served as a warning to others. Therefore, he chose to collect tickets at the entrance to the underworld, the monster cemetery. Where else can you get your hair cut faster than here? And the location of the tree he planted does not affect the souls of those weak people who want to be reincarnated. What is ingested is at least the souls of star-level monsters. So, from now on, the more intense the ING in the island nation's monster world, the more power I can collect. Li Xia murmured softly. It is impossible to say that he is not moved. In fact, to a certain extent, he can cooperate friendly with Neraku. Neraku was outside devouring the bodies of those monsters. While he remotely controlled the inheritance vessels of the flying monster moth clan through the Tree of Time to intercept various powerful souls. Neraku takes all the blame. He quietly made a fortune. Should we do this or not? Li Xia clenched her fists tightly and her eyes flickered. 
Forget it, it's better to let nature take its course. I won't deliberately add fuel to the flames. Being the big boss behind the scenes or sewing. M. Isn't it impossible? These days, both good people and bad people can live well, but only honest people and fools can live very tired lives. He doesn't want to be an honest person, let alone a fool. The cave where Neriku lies dormant. Just when he was using demon power to splice and repair his body, his ears moved and he seemed to feel sewing. Kianlier's ability is passively triggered. The next moment, a space passage appeared not far from him. Immediately afterwards, a figure flashed out of it deftly. It was Li Xia who stepped on two hot wheels. How did you find yourself here? When their eyes met, Neriku was shocked. I can't figure this out at all. Li Xia, who absorbed the demonic power of the Boxiangui and followed the Black Pearl's induction to him, realized that there was a huge and empty cave around him and saw Neriku's figure. Blessing of Prison Dragon Break While you are sick, I will you. Although Neriku was not seriously injured before, the injuries on his body were definitely not light, and the consumption of demon power was not small. What's more, Neriku is a treasure to him. Neriku's body of 10,000 monsters has broken the separation seal and can steadily provide evil energy for him to purify, thereby polishing his own mana and cultivating the sacred purifying light. Even if Neriku's full four souls can only be transcended a little bit, there is no doubt that it will definitely benefit him a lot. It allows his soul to be greatly exercised in the process of purification and salvation. Furthermore, no matter how badly Neriku's flesh and blood is beaten, the demonic power can be extracted later as nutrients for the intended top-level demonic sword. That's the case. There was no reason for him not to seize the opportunity and bite Neriku hard. Even if this guy can't be ed by one bite, he's still making a profit, right? After all, there was an irreversible rift between them. Therefore, Neriku's bad qualities are his good qualities. Neriku's unhappiness was his happiness. Neriku's discomfort was his comfort. Neriku's misfortune was his good luck. A magenta barrier light curtain rose, and Neriku stared angrily, with a ferocious face. Li Xia. What a beast. Again. How could anyone be so persistent in pursuing him? What responded to him was the increasingly explosive sword energy storm. Kacha Kacha. The barrier was put up in a hurry and the barrier had already been breached once in the monster cemetery. And his demon power had greatly declined due to the battle with the treasure fairy ghost and the recent injury. These many factors have more or less affected the hardness of the newly formed barrier. Ever since. Facing the more powerful prison dragon break from Li Xia, whose strength had increased, the much weaker barrier only lasted for a moment before disintegrating. Neriku saw this and was shocked, angry and anxious. The body that had not yet been completely spliced was torn into pieces again. Boom. The cave exploded and collapsed on the spot, filling the air with smoke and dust. Immediately, a powerful hellish wind emerged from the mountain wall outside, which destroyed several mountains in the forest and harvested them for more than ten miles. Everything in its path was destroyed. It's not that Li Xia doesn't want to control the strength and scope of the impact. Why did he go all out? One is that he is sure that Neriku's hiding place is very remote and inaccessible to people. Another reason is that he overestimated the strength of Neriku's barrier, thinking that Neriku's barrier could block most of the power before it collapsed. Unexpectedly, this guy seems to have not completed the transformation of his own barrier. It has the hardness of a high-level barrier, but has no ability to counter damage. A large amount of miasma swept across, trying to stop Li Xia Yi in air. Immediately, Neriku, who was torn into pieces by the sword energy, rolled up some of his flesh and blood and ran away. It's not that he doesn't want to fight, it's just that he can't do it. Isn't one shot enough? In the cave, Li Xia, who was being held up by mountain ghosts at his feet and protected by poisonous dragons above to fend off countless falling rocks, grinned. Humph, let's do it again. He used Sesomaru's left arm and showed his white teeth. So cool. It is indeed the arm of Shadian. With the Era Tree Mask, you can use Hell Dragon Break continuously without considering the demonic power. Compared with the high load situation where the demonized Inuyasha could only hit the Hell Dragon Poker once and it was a bit overwhelming, he definitely had a lot to eat here. 
speaking of which, he was able to control Sesomaru's monster arm well, thanks to the subtle transformation that his Kirin arm fed back to the human body. Let his body adapt to the impact of Shadian's demon blood and demon power. Purple light balls condensed on the tip of Tsong Yunya's sword. Then it turned into a super sword storm and rushed straight towards Naraku. Over and over again, Li Xia, do you really think I haven't seen the shortcomings of your move? Naraku glared coldly. Then it condensed into a whirlwind and drilled into a large number of rocks falling from above. Unexpectedly, the soles of his feet rubbed against the prison dragon Pe and missed him. When Li Xia saw this, he stopped smiling. Naturally, he understood that what Naraku said was true. The only two flaws of Hell Dragon Break 1 is the power of Tetsuya Tensna, or to be more precise, it is the power of the ultimate Tetsuya when Inu Deus Ho is still alive. Another shortcoming is that it cannot attack targets in the sky like the wind wound slashed by Tai Suya. In other words, as long as it flies into the sky, the prison dragon put below will be out of reach. At least this flaw will exist until the use of prison dragon pu is proficient. It is now difficult for Li Xia to control the trajectory of his attack after leaving the sword blade. He couldn't achieve the level of perfect control of Soryu's broken sword energy like Sesomaru. You are very observant. I only took two shots and you saw the flaws of this move. But even so, Naraku, do you think you can escape? If prison dragon break doesn't work, then use other ODs. With a move of Shangue's hand, thunderclouds from the outside world gathered, and a thick thunder struck down on Naraku. The poisonous dragon opened its mouth, and a demonic compression bomb roared out, chasing Naraku's butt and bombarding that area. Don't overlook these two powerful Shikigami. That's enough. Naraku clenched his back molars, his eyes spitting fire. The powerful demonic power was released, a dazzling brilliance bloomed, rocks flew and smoke flew everywhere. Still a long way to go. Li Xia, who held up the barrier, penetrated the mountain wall above like a meteor. Then, from a high position, he waved Tsong Yunya diagonally downward from mid-air, as if he was going to unleash another storm of sword energy caused by the prison dragon break. This scene made Naraku's eyes wide open as he huddled in the demonic cloud. Finally, he made a drastic decision. Okay, okay, since you are so aggressive, let these people be buried with me. Li Xia, I know you don't care about those villagers, but what if it's your former partners? Naraku's eyes in the demon cloud were blood red. Immediately, three little guys, Yunyu, Chibao, and Ah Ba, who were frozen into glass sculptures, were quickly thrown out. If the prison dragon Pe continues to fall, Naraku said that with his excellent ability to save his life. Sewing may not happen to him but the three little guys who turned into glass sculptures will definitely not escape. Li Xia, there is no need to say more about who else is in my body, right? If you continue to pester me, I can only hold them back. This trick really works. Li Xia subconsciously restrained his aura. The three evil dragons wrapped around Song Yun's teeth in his hand also got back into the sword body, and the tornado broken by the prison dragon dissipated. Naraku inside the purple-black demonic cloud saw this and was secretly glad. Fortunately, I had kept hostages before. Lee, please wait for me. When I have completely digested the demonic power in Tai Sui Yang, I will use this demonic power to transform my whole body and achieve an all-round transformation. By then, I will definitely make you look good. His heart was filled with anger, but the movements of Naraku's hands were unambiguous. Swish swish. Three piercing sounds sounded. He actually threw the glass sculptures of Mika, Chibao and Xiaoba in three directions and threw them heavily. What a wonderful Naraku, I really belong to you. Li Xia cursed secretly. Frowning slightly. If it falls freely from a height of two to three hundred meters, the glass sculpture will definitely be shattered into pieces. Therefore, someone has to come to the rescue in time. Will he turn a blind eye? Without any hesitation, Li Xia let the poisonous dragon and the mountain ghost come out of the mountain to catch Mika and Aba respectively. He first judged the rough parabolic trajectory of Chibao, then made a precise teleportation flash, and then grabbed the little ones. The fox demon picked it up in his hand. He still likes the three little guys very much. But because of this moment of delay, Naraku was given a little chance. I saw that purple-black demonic cloud fleeing quickly to the southwest at low altitude. 
In just a few blinks, it will disappear into the mountains. Li Xia naturally refused. Want to run? No way. After throwing Qibao to the mountain ghost, Hot Wheels fired at full fire and chased the demonic cloud at a speed of more than 200 meters per second. He first waved his spear and summoned a bolt of thunder from the sky for a long-range bombardment from a long distance away. It successfully slowed down the flying speed of the demonic cloud. Then with the help of the Hot Wheels, he quickly reached the top of the demon cloud. Then he put his head down, feet up, and danced Song Yunya with his left arm to attack vertically from top to bottom. At this time, the prison dragon breaker is pointing straight down, like a dragon ball in the mouth of a giant dragon the lower end is full of extreme strangulation power, like a drill leading to hell. Stay, Naraku. The drill bit hit the demonic cloud without any accident. Then it continued to be destroyed all the way down. After the energy light ball touched the ground, it exploded and a hurricane swept in all directions. Boom. At this moment, the sky changes drastically and the earth trembles. The powerful aftermath that spread destroyed countless mountain peaks and toppled countless mountain tops. However, looking at the huge crater with a diameter of 2 to 300 meters in this mountain range, Li Xia was not happy at all. It turns out that this Naraku is just a clone. The real Naraku had actually slipped away secretly. The glass sculptures of Coral, Miroku, and Inuyasha were also taken away by the guy's body. When did you deceive me? Just when the poisonous dragon and the mountain ghost launched an attack, Naraku used his body to eat the wave of damage. This guy splits in two. The weak part of the demon rolled up the glass sculptures of Chi Bao, Yu Yu, and Aba and fled to the sky. The part with strong demonic power has been hiding in the collapsed cave with the help of the demon free wall. Split is the ability he evolved from absorbing part of the power of the flying demon moth in Tai Suiyang. He saved his life when he first appeared. It seems that cultivating a humanoid moving castle will help me attract the attention of all parties. This plan should go ahead. After absorbing Qian Liar, he found that he was much more alert to crises. Hearing ability is greatly improved. If he continued to strengthen his transformation according to this idea, he felt that it would be more effective than eating thousands of monsters before. Li Xia, let's wait and see. In the darkness, his figure gradually became illusory. I don't know where he fled to. Two days. Li Xia first sent Ali back to the opposite side of the bone-eating well. After planting saplings to strengthen the anchor point sensing, he returned to Maple Village and temporarily demolished the bone-eating well. Then I met Todosai, Sesomaru, and others. After that, he returned to Bailing Mountain and went to the Monster Cemetery with the help of Tsong Yanya. Get rid of Naraku, collect the power of treasure immortals and ghosts, and plant new era trees and inheritance containers to collect tolls. Finally, with the help of Boxiangui's sense of the Black Pearl, he chased Naraku closely and ed Naraku by surprise. In just two days, his actions were extremely efficient. The only regret is that Naraku's growth rate is equally astonishing. In the original timeline, taking into account all the theatrical versions, Naraku should have completed the transformation of Bai Lingshan at this time, right? It is not difficult for Li Xia to make this judgment based on the number of times Inuyasha turned into a human during the new moon. However, it is different from the situation of Naraku in the original work. The transformation of Naraku in the original work was completed in Bailing Mountain. In the timeline he is currently on, Naraku has completed a similar step with the help of Tai Suya, and it has become even more difficult. The Naraku who came out of Bailing Mountain may have stronger demon power than the current Naraku. But his outstanding abilities are only the barrier and miasma therefore, the degree of danger is not high. But the current Naraku's abilities are much weirder. Changed. One is that after absorbing the power of Yao Lao Poison Fairy, the poison in his body has definitely become more poisonous. The hardness of the barrier has also been greatly strengthened by the demon power of Ojamaru and his son. The comprehensive strength, toughness, and vitality of the body are greatly improved due to the demonic power of the semi-finished flying demon moth and the partial demonic power of the dragon bone spirit. In addition, he has mastered Taisuya's wind damage, and even developed the blast flow blast in the future. If it were just the above changes, it would only be a little more powerful than Naraku Bailing Shan in the original timeline. He could use the abilities of Tsong Yunya, Sesomaru's left arm, 
and the two time tree masks to continue pressing him to the ground and beating him violently. However, Nariku's condition was obviously only the initial transformation, so he rushed to the monster cemetery to snatch two four soul fragments against the clock. It is a state that has not yet completely transformed. How difficult will it be after complete transformation? By then, there is no telling what kind of weird abilities Nariku will transform into. Oh, it's all my fault that I improved Tetsuya too much and ignored Inuyasha's growth rate. Lisya sighed secretly. Inuyasha's combat literacy has indeed improved greatly because of the careful instruction given by the Inu Admiral for more than ten days. Being able to compress the wind wound from the five sword chi at the beginning to four golden sword chi is a very intuitive proof. However, combat literacy is combat literacy. The nature of mind is the nature of mind. No matter how high your fighting SSR, you are still afraid of the kitchen knife behind your back. In terms of human behavior and conspiracy, Inuyasha is too young compared to Nariku who lowers his face and no longer cares about getting his hands dirty. After all, First, we can purify Nariku's flesh and blood first. So next. Li Xia remained unchanged in response to the ever-changing situation, patiently improving himself while waiting for news from Toto Sai and others. Only one day has passed. The remains of the dead Yuashan people were found by Toto Sai and other older generations. There are only two monsters that are transformed into mountains and forests. In the entire Inuyasha plot, there are only two one is Takizan who gave birth to the Fuya wall, and the other is Azusa who gave birth to the top spiritual power Bawa Zuzan Bao. And the latter also has the spirit of the mountain god. It is truly a spiritual mountain. The witch's artifact is right there. I also informed Ailey and the others. Why didn't they pick it up before? Why was it delayed? North. The place where the Yuashan people fell. Yen too carried Li Xia and rushed there without stopping. Seeing the huge mountain ruins, Li Xia released a large number of red scorpions to explore the crevices of the rocks. The age tree mask can firmly stand at the level of six-star demon power. On the one hand, it absorbs the power of the complete age tree. On the other hand, it also absorbs many demon power crystals left by Onyx Maru it uses the demon power of the age tree to cultivate some small lives. Being a sentinel is not that difficult. In addition, Li Xia has learned the summoning technique of Demon Girl Glass. Glass can use its own demon power to summon a large number of poisonous scorpions. Li Xia can also use his own magic power to summon, or transform into a red scorpion as an eyeliner. After several hours of searching through the Yuashan man's mountain-like corpse, hundreds and thousands of emerald-colored demon energy crystals were piled up in front of one person and one horse. Are there any left inside the mountain? Li Xia asked about the small red scorpions in his palm. The little scorpions who were the leaders shook their heads. Seeing this, Li Xia nodded. Collected all the demon crystals produced by Yuashan people on the ground. When these demonic crystals are within a certain range of the demon free wall, they will spontaneously contain the demonic energy. Through this, we can roughly determine where Nariku is. Of course, these monster crystals can only be roughly judged. Once the distance between the two parties is slightly further, this induction will be ineffective. But with this thing, if Nariku still wants to play dark under the light in front of him like last time, then he is looking for death. Let's go back. The Yuashan people have all the demonic crystals in hand, and as long as they are used properly, it is only a matter of time before Nariku is found. Grandpa Zami, what is Master Sesomaru doing? On the lawn, Xiao Ling, who was picking small white flowers, looked at Xiao Yao Gai, who was getting closer and closer, and asked. Xie Jian is actually very confused about this. I don't know. Your Highness has been heading west for the past two days, as if he is looking for sewing. Looking for sewing? But why are you so solemn? Master Sesomaru must be looking for sewing very important, so of course you have to be serious. Is that so? Stop being so verbose. The two carefree little ones were so happy. Sesomaru, on the other hand, had not gained anything for two days in a row, and he was somewhat disappointed. Let's go, Shijin, Ling. It's time for them to go to the next location. Not far from here. A middle-aged monk and seven young disciples had just carried out an operation to eliminate demons in a village, bringing rare peace to the villagers. 
After bidding farewell to the villagers, they set off on their journey again, walking quickly through the mountains and forests. At this time, the leader, a middle-aged and elderly monk with sharp edges and a fierce aura, saw a flash of red fire reflected in the distant sky through the gap in the forest path, and suddenly stopped. Master Yunya, sowing seems to have happened over there. Let's go over and have a look. Under the red sky, there used to be a peaceful and peaceful village, and the villagers here lived quite happily. But at this moment, the village had been engulfed in fire and was attacked by a group of bandits. The bandits, who were not engaged in production but only engaged in robbery, had knives and guns in their hands. Naturally, they could not resist the villagers who only had hoes and lacked combat experience and courage. More than twenty bandits tortured and ate hundreds of villagers. Miserable screams and pleas for mercy came one after another. Unfortunately, begging for mercy is useless. The bandits here in the island country are not moral and do not have the concept of sustainable development. They not only want fine food, but also the pleasure of ING and committing UAL acts. Therefore, all the old men in the village will be ed, and only the young and obedient women will survive. Wow ha ha ha. So happy. A bandit with good martial arts and fierce fighting swung his knife wantonly, harvesting the three young and frightened men in front of him. Not far away, there was another bandit with weaker fighting ability, licking his tongue contentedly. He specifically targeted the old, weak, women and children, and often attacked them from behind. The leader, who was wearing battle armor and riding a war horse, was galloping. The light of his sword reflected the surrounding fire, which was not hot, but cold. Everyone, work harder and burn, and rob this place as soon as possible. Should we say that it deserves to be the originator of the Three Guang policy? Just when the bandit leader on horseback was busy massacring, on a slope beside the village, a figure following the smell of blood to check the situation caught his eye. Who is it? The man only glanced at the scene faintly, then shook his long silver hair and was about to float away. The attitude is quite indifferent. But in the eyes of the bandits, this disdain was simply a provocation. It greatly stimulated their nerves and made them all furious. Stop here. Two young bandits in cloth armor carried swords and chased him. I plan to cut the grass and root it out. What responded to them was a green demonic whip from the figure in front without looking back. With just one blow, the long whip accurately pierced the heart of one of the pursuers. Instant. The other person was then easily cut off by the dancing long whip, and the swinging katana was cut off and his head was chopped off. Another instant. Don't let him go. The leader on horseback ordered. He also rode up on horseback and swung his sword to him. In his opinion, the other party's back was turned to them, which was purely a flaw. Just looking for death. The other party's calm and slow pace irritated him even more. After receiving the order, many bandits abandoned the villagers and turned around to the young man who looked like the son of a noble family. Him to avenge his dead brother. Dare to hurt our people. Him. Three of them even shot arrows. Court death. Sesomaru turned around. His eyes were cold. Not meddling in other people's business was already his greatest gift to these human bandits, yet he actually dared to push them further. The green poisonous whip extended into a roll of twenty to thirty meters, and three arrows were intercepted and broken instantly. The rest of the bandits surrounding him, including the leader, archers, and even the war horses under the leader, were all whipped to death. In less than a breath, more than twenty bandits were all ed. Before dying, the bandit leader regretted endlessly. Why did he mess with this guy after his brain was kicked by a donkey? Isn't it good to be alive? Withdrawing his waving right arm and slowly lowering his wide sleeves, Shadian turned around again, preparing to leave and return to the place where Shaoling and Shijin camped. But at this moment, a group of human mages rushed out of the forest on the side. Master Yunya, it's the monster that's doing the harm. There was a young monk who opened his mouth without any discernment. After being moved out of the way by the disciples, the middle-aged and elderly monk took off his traveler's hat and stepped out with a solemn expression. When he saw the human corpses on the hillside, he then looked at the burning and crying village at the foot of the hillside only thirty to fifty meters away. And finally his eyes fell on the center of the corpses. The young man couldn't suppress the anger in his heart. Immediately, his face turned cold and he asked coldly. 
Did you do all this? Monster. Sesomaru had no intention of paying any attention to Yanya and the others. Turn around and leave. Are all these human mages blind? Can't you see clearly that all the people on the ground are bandits? Stop. Monk Yunya hummed softly. As the night gets darker, starting from the depths of the mountain forest, a thin layer of mist gradually begins to appear around us. Sha Jian did not look back, and only said a faint sentence. I have nothing to say to mortals. What an arrogant guy. Don't think that you can be arrogant just because you have some moral integrity. Talks bound. Accompanied by this master with great magic power, he grabbed a handful of talisman paper with complex runes outlined in advance and activated his magic power to activate the magic formula. Shua. The talismans turned into ribbons and quickly rolled towards the ING palace. Trying to restrain this noble young master. As a result, with a sweep of the demonic long whip, the talismans turned into ribbons were shattered into confetti all over the sky. Chi Yunya's action aroused the unhappiness and impatience in Sesomaru's heart. After a flicker of light flashed through his fingertips, he was about to pull out the Qian blade from the Qinkuan blade that had been dismantled in half from his waist. Master Sesomaru, what's wrong, that girl Shaoling is lost. Xie Jian, who was carrying a human-headed cane, suddenly jumped out of the forest and appeared on this hillside. Um. Shadian paused. What did you say? What happened to Ling? He was only gone for two quarters of an hour, and you lost Ling to me? Your Highness, it must be the ghost of the sound prison who is causing trouble he took Ling away while I wasn't playing the flute. I heard the sound of his flute at that time. Xie Jian felt a little guilty when he spoke. The Hell Ghost can play lullabies that can easily induce hallucinations, and is a monster that specializes in abducting mortal children with the sound of flutes. According to legend, children abducted by it are usually traded to other evil monsters for enjoyment. Your Highness, please rest assured, I will definitely find Ling if you see Xie Jian. Xie Jian knelt on the ground while pleading and assuring. Hearing this, Sesomaru's eyes flashed with anxiety. The other side. Monk Yunya and his seven disciples came forward, intending to surround and eliminate the two monsters, one large and one small. Seeing this, the noble prince narrowed his eyes impatiently then he waved his sleeves, whipping up a gust of wind and a large amount of smoke and dust. Blowing the middle-aged and elderly mages at the head so hard that they couldn't open their eyes, and the rest of the young mages were even blown away. Staggering around. When the strong wind subsided, where was Sesomaru and Zami still in the scene? Escaped. Master Yunya frowned and murmured. That guy is absolutely extraordinary. There is a us aura in him that I have never felt before. Probably a big one. I don't know how many innocent people were Ed. Humph, next time you meet me, I will definitely destroy you and eliminate demons. The other young mages hurried forward to check the corpses in that place. Eh. Master Yunya, these dead guys seem to be bandits. A young mage felt confused. Another young mage next to him was even more surprised. Did monsters attack these bandits? What is he for? It's really strange. I'm afraid it was really that monster that ed these bandits. Look at the weapons of these bandits. Their weapons are stained with blood that has not yet solidified. However, this blood does not reveal the slightest bit of monster energy. It should not belong to monsters. Blood. It's not a monster, it can only be from the burning village. It belongs to the villagers who died innocently. Are these bandits the ones who attacked the village? That monster protected the village by ing these bandits. How could things be like this? Yunya, who was determined to conquer demons and protect the world, fell silent at this time. Oh, what a world this is. Push the time forward two quarters of an hour. On a mountain ridge not too far away. Shaoling and Shijin lit up a bonfire under a big tree. The little girl has baked a big sweet potato. Green smoke curls up and the aroma is tangy. Well, Grandpa Zami, what will Master Sesomaru plan to do next after ING Neraku? The little girl is full of curiosity. When talking about Sesomaru's dream, Xie Jian had sewing to say. Ling, don't you know this? Your Highness, he has always been pursuing great power and following in the footsteps of his father. Therefore, 
he will definitely become the most powerful monster in this land. After that, the Sesomaru Empire was established, reaching the height of Inu General. By the time. He he he, I must be the Prime Minister of the Empire. The topic turned to his own future, and Xie Jian was immediately filled with expectations. While he was talking, he picked up the delicacy grilled lizard from the fire and tried to take a bite. Oh, 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 oh. So hot. Grandpa Zami, what should I do in that Sesomaru Empire? Xiaoling blinked her big beautiful eyes and asked a little confused. Huh, do you plan to follow His Highness until then? Of course. Why can't we follow until then? But even Master Sesomaru, if you want to build an empire, it will take a long time. Although we monsters can wait for a hundred or even two hundred years, but you, a mortal. At this point, Xie Jian paused. Then he turned to look at this little girl who even he was a little reluctant to part with. Ling, you will be dead by then. Eh. Just, don't do that. Not far from the fire, Aimo had already fallen asleep. After Xiaoling had eaten to her fill, she also got into the sleeping bag given by Li Xia, and then looked at the starry sky and counted the stars. Xie Jian Grandpa, this idiot. I will always accompany Master Sesomaru and Grandpa Yami. That's when. A piece of mist spread towards this side and soon enveloped the fire. In the mist, there is the sound of flutes floating. Aemo fell into a deeper sleep when he heard the sound of the flute Mr. Xie Jian, who had already fallen asleep, felt like his upper and lower eyelids were fighting even though he was awakened. When he bit the tip of his tongue and woke up from the pain, Ling disappeared. Ling, where are you? Ling. No. Sewing happened. So there was a subsequent scene where he found Sesomaru and met Monk Yanya and several others at the same time. Ling sighed. He was taken to a cave to hide by the sound prison ghost. The cave was tightly blocked by a huge boulder, and it took several adults to work together to push it open. After the sound prison ghost arrived at the place, it took a lot of effort to move the large stone that was as tall as a person, revealing the deep cave passage. Enter one big and one small. The boulder was then ajar. When the sound of the flute completely disappeared, the little girl who had been dazed along the way finally regained consciousness. Ah! What's wrong with me? In this cave, she was not the only little girl, but there were also more than ten children scattered here and there. They are all little ones lost today in the surrounding villages. They are the masterpieces of the sound prison ghost today. And all are still alive. Who are you? Why are you here? Xiaoling came to the group of children and asked with concern. Were you caught by a monster too? There was a little boy who was crying and full of timidity. Monster? Xiaoling came back and took a look at the sound prison ghost. She was not as scared as the other children. We will all be eaten by monsters. Brother, I'm so scared. Sister, I want to go home. You you. This crying and fussing scene made the sound prison ghosts guarding the entrance of the cave feel a little irritated. Kids, please be quiet. Otherwise I'll eat you now. This is very useful. The child was so frightened that he shivered, his crying was silenced, and at most he only dared to sob softly. It's okay, don't be afraid. Xiaoling comforted. An older child was not happy. Why aren't you afraid? The other party is a monster. It's just a monster, nothing more. Xiaoling shook her head, found a corner and sat down with her knees in her arms. What do you mean it's nothing? That's a monster. Do you understand monsters? Another older child emphasized. Hearing this, Xiaoling raised her head and looked at everyone. Monster. Of course she knows about monsters. After all, she lives with monsters every day. Master Sesomaru is a monster, Grandpa Zami is also a monster, and Mu is also a monster. Being with them makes me happy. Thinking of this, she expressed her true thoughts. Bandits are much scarier than monsters. Bandits? Compared with monsters, monsters are definitely scarier. Therefore, a group of children expressed that they could not understand the new girl at all what are you talking about? I'm not talking nonsense. Bandits will others for no reason. My parents, my parents, and my brother were all ed by bandits. Xiaoling's face was full of sadness. 
his arms hugged his knees tightly. But we are facing monsters now. It's okay, they will come to save me. Who is it? Aren't your parents dead? Who can come to save you? It's Master Sesomaru and Grandpa Zami, hee hee. The fog in the mountains is getting heavier and heavier, greatly covering the traces on the ground and eliminating some smells, causing the recovery work to progress very slowly. After several hours, Sesomaru searched the surrounding woods, but found nothing. This Shadian was so anxious that his eyes were a little red. However, at this moment, he smelled a familiar smell. The gloomy look on his face quickly dissipated, replaced by a touch of joy in his eyes. Found it. After Monk Yanya and several disciples helped the villagers dispose of the corpses, they continued to carry out the previous village's commission to find the missing children. As a result, I searched in the woods for most of the night, but still found nothing. Thinking that their mission was almost failed, they embarked on the return journey. I discovered some clues on the way here. Stop. What's wrong, Master Yanya? Look at the mountain wall next to you. The seven disciples looked in the direction pointed by Yunya. There was thin mist over there, and it was quiet and normal. So after watching for a while, several disciples found nothing. Master, is there anything wrong? Don't you understand yet? What you see is the thin mist, not the mountain wall behind the fog but I see the mountain wall through the fog, and the fog has no effect on my sight. But my eyes are no more special than yours. So. What's the problem? Yunya taught. Master, did you use your dharma eye? The disciple who reacted quickly realized sewing and used his magic power to activate the spiritual eye technique. As expected, he saw the essence through the hallucination. There's sewing weird about that mist. It's a monster's illusion. What a cunning guy. If you don't look at it with your normal eyes on one side and your spiritual eyes on the other at the same time, you won't be able to notice the strangeness of the fog near the mountain wall at all. After a few people got closer, they saw the large stone that was as tall as a person under the mountain wall and the half-open cave behind the large stone. And vaguely heard the sobbing of a child in the cave. It's the lost children. The young mages were overjoyed. Don't worry, just to be on the safe side, lure the monsters out of the cave and them first, so as not to affect the children. Master Yunya warned softly. The sound hell ghost with one-star demonic power is naturally no match for Master Yunya, who has four-star magic power, and the seven mages who are close to two-star magic power. After a child disguised as a scarecrow combined with mist and illusions, he deceived the sonic prison ghost guarding the entrance of the cave. The outcome is doomed. Children, I'm here to save you. The monster has been destroyed and everything is fine. Looking at the human child in a cave, Master Yunya showed a kind smile on his face. Hey! The other young monks also had smiles on their faces. This is their business. Even if he pays his own life for it, he will not hesitate. Okay, okay, be good. Master Yunya knelt down, picked up a little guy who was crying the most aggrievedly and had a snot bubble hanging on his nose, and comforted him. By the way, children, are you all here after you were captured by the monster? The children looked at each other in shock when they heard this. The little snot-soaked kid who was being held pouted and pointed at the cave. There's another one in there. He was the slowest runner, so he noticed that Shaoling was still behind. In the cave, Ling was quietly curled up on the ground with her arms wrapped around her knees. After Master Yunya entered, he came to the little girl's side. He squatted down and asked with concern what's wrong with you. That monster has been eliminated. Come back to the village with me. Shaoling knew the visitor's kindness, but still had no intention of getting up and leaving together. I'm fine. I have to wait for Master Sesomaru. Grandpa, please go. When Yunya heard this, he naturally refused. After a conversation, he directly carried the little girl and left the cave. Let me go, let me go quickly. Xiaoling waved her arms and struggled. You kid, what are you thinking about? Arriving next to the disciples and the rescued little ones, Master Yunya frowned. At this time, the talkative child spoke Grandpa, not long ago in the cave, she said that humans are more terrifying than monsters. The children around him also showed expressions that were neither too friendly nor too approving. There seemed to be an invisible barrier between everyone and Xiaoling. 
When the old man heard this and saw this, his expression was not very pretty. Humph, what nonsense is this? How can people be scarier than monsters? Monsters are evil villains who eat people without spitting out their bones and like to confuse people's hearts. And, kid, you can't survive in such an inaccessible mountain. Get down. Shaoling, however, argued hard I can survive. What are you doing to survive? Oh, be good, stop being willful, okay? I'll take you back to the village right now, okay? No, let me go, I don't want to go back to the village. Master Sesomaru, Master Sesomaru will definitely come to me. Master Sesomaru? Who? Never heard of that. All the mages shook their heads. Master Sesomaru, Master Sesomaru. At this time, Xiaoling was really frightened seeing that she was about to be taken away, she cried anxiously. Secretly. Sesomaru, who arrived a moment earlier than Yunya and the others, was slightly touched by Furue Muha's eyes. Originally, he could the sound prison ghost instantly and rescue Xiaoling quickly. But he didn't do that. Instead, he planned to see Ling's true inner thoughts through the hands of a human mage. If Ling wanted to return to live in a human village, he would not stop her. A plain mortal life might be the best thing for the little girl. But if, if Ling wants to take risks with him, then. When Sesomaru heard Xiaoling calling his name firmly, he retracted his thoughts and then stepped out from behind a big tree. Yunya noticed immediately. Sneaky, who is it? After planting the staff on the ground, he took out a magic weapon called the Demon Subduing Pestle from his arms and threw it away. The brilliance exploded, the energy shock wave spread, several big trees swayed, and smoke was everywhere for a while. When the smoke and dust dissipated a little, the figure of the noble master walked out. It's the monster I met at night. Several young mages protected the children behind them. Monk Yanya looked even more wary. Only Shaoling was overjoyed Master Sesomaru. Let me go, let me go quickly. When the middle-aged and elderly Yunya saw this, he was extremely angry. Damn you monster, did you lie to this child? When he spoke, he protected Shaoling behind him very well, fearing that the little girl would be harmed. This monster is full of ominous aura, please be careful. With a solemn expression, he signaled his disciples with his eyes to prepare to join forces to fight against the enemy. I wasn't going to let the monster in front of me run away. At the same time, don't forget to tell the children around you. Children, you should hide in the cave first. One operation is as fierce as a tiger, and the damage is only zero. 5. After the strong explosion, a large crater several meters in diameter appeared on the spot. And Sesomaru didn't even have a single corner of his clothes torn. It's useless. Several young mages were secretly surprised. Don't be afraid, hold him back. Yes. Seven people surrounded him again. They circled around Sesomaru several times, and a halo of mana quickly formed under their feet the halo quickly burned with mana. And finally a grey-blue barrier of light was formed in the blink of an eye. Trying to use this to imprison the noble son of the dog clan in place. Vajra subdues the demonic circle. Commonly known as the circle of love. Within the barrier, arcs of mana lightning continue to shine around Sesomaru. If it were an ordinary monster, this combo would have ed him long ago. Even if it is a high-level monster, most likely it will suffer a big loss in this head-on confrontation. Disappear. Monk Yunya also took action at this time. A mana shock wave penetrated into the barrier that trapped the ING palace, and all kinds of Buddha powers and azure arcs that warded off evil and suppressed demons kept flashing. The ground was cracked, and the grove behind the noble master was even SCD out of a flat avenue by the raging energy. Master Sesomaru. Shaoling struggled desperately, her eyes filled with tears. But those who responded to her were seven or eight people who could use talismans, those who could use magic staffs. And those who could use rosary beads, all using the magic power of the mage to activate the rosary beads. Everyone uses all their means. It has to be said that Yunya and his disciples still have two SS. No, even a big monster like Shadian, who can reach six stars after completely liberating his own monster power, feels uncomfortable. You're not even going to die. Across from him, Yunya was a little dumbfounded. He used all his strength. Who is this guy? 
The next moment, a majestic demonic energy soared into the sky. An orb inlaid on Yunya's staff exploded immediately, and the rosary beads exuding pure white light in the hands of the seven young mages around him broke and fell to the ground. This. The eight masters and disciples were all shocked and turned pale with shock. Boom. A violent shock wave broke through the aperture and barrier that originally imprisoned Seshomaru and spread out, immediately sending seven people flying. Muffled sounds sounded one after another. Chi Rao, a well-informed Yunya, couldn't help but shrink his pupils. He was immediately shaken by the strong shock wave and fell to the ground, his head covered with sweat. At this time, the hat the old monk was wearing disappeared, revealing his bald head his lips murmured and he stopped talking. And his heart was filled with an unprecedented sense of fear and powerlessness. Powerful. Too strong. In all his travels, he has never seen a monster with such powerful power and momentum. But even though he was in a desperate situation, he did not ignore Xiaoling's safety. Always protect the little girl behind your back with one hand. Perhaps it was this that allowed Sesomaru to stop in time and not make any other moves. Xiaoling, who had not been hurt in any way, climbed up from the ground behind Yunya and quickly stood in front of Yunya. Then he trotted closer to Sesht and said, Master Sesomaru. Ling, make your own choice. After finishing speaking, the noble young master turned and left without looking back. The road that the old monk had just opened for him was quite smooth and easy to walk. Good. Xiaoling followed up with her young master without any hesitation. It is also at this time. A big hand grabbed the little girl's small hand from behind wait a minute, that's a monster, a monster. How can a mortal child follow it? It was Master Yunya who extended this holding hand. Xiaoling was unmoved, and hurriedly took out her hand, and then chased the figure that occupied her entire spiritual world with her bare feet. During this period, Sesomaru never slowed down or stopped to wait. He completely respects Ling's choice. Don't go, the world where humans and monsters live is different. You are a human, only for a few decades. When the little girl heard what the old mage said, her step suddenly stopped. This reminded her of her previous conversations with Shijin. Sesomaru can live for another thousand years, but her life is only a short few decades. Upon seeing this, Master Yunya thought that the girl had changed her mind, but he breathed a sigh of relief. That's right, okay, come back. He extended his hand to Ling again. But in response to him, the little girl looked back innocently, waved, and smiled happily. This scene completely stunned Yunya. Watching the little human girl chasing the monster away, he felt an indescribable feeling and doubts in his heart. Why? Why? He couldn't figure it out. Why would you rather follow the monsters than stay in a human village? Day comes quickly. Master Yunya and his disciples took the children back to several villages respectively. One the gratitude of countless villagers. The other side. A hilltop. Xie Jian was confused and ran into Sha Jian and Xiao Ling. Master Sesomaru. Ling is here too. The little monster's hanging heart was finally relieved. So far so good. It'll be good when people come back. Xie Jian, where's IMO? Bring it right away, little one. After seeing Xie Jian running back to a meadow to pick up IMO, Xiao Ling walked to a stone monument by the side of the road and picked a wild flower. Then, at this moment, the little girl squatted down, turned around and asked weakly. That. Master Sesomaru. What's wrong? When Ling dies, can you not forget me? Shadian opened his mouth, not knowing what to say for a moment. The mountain breeze blew, causing this man's long silver white hair to flutter in the wind. The sun shines down, making your young master's eyes shine like stars. What are you talking about? Follow the original route. One large, two small, and one pet continue their journey to find sewing. Finally on the third day, a huge dog-like shadow flashed across the sky from the clouds. That is. Before the two young followers could ask in surprise, Sesomaru had already flown into the sky and turned into the big white dog of the monster. Greeting the Tengu who disappeared and appeared in the clouds in the sky. In the end, two behemoths crashed down on the top of the mountain, revealing the noble prince and a graceful and beautiful woman who had transformed into humans again. 
This woman, like Sesomaru, has long silver white hair and the same purple crescent moon mark between her eyebrows. She has bangs parted to both sides in front of her forehead, high ponytails on the left and right sides of the back of her head, and a lock of long hair on each side of her cheeks. Her skin is as white as snow and dyed with purple eye shadow her golden pupils are accompanied by the lavender demonic lines on both sides of her cheeks. Making her particularly eye-catching and beautiful. Says Homaru, it's you. The beautiful woman spoke first. There was a bit of surprise in his words. Who are you? You dare to call Master Sesomaru by his first name. It's simply too arrogant. Wrong views are the first to express dissatisfaction. In this regard, the beautiful woman chose to ignore it completely, but stared at Sesomaru in front of her with a smile. You came to see me as your mother, right? For, for mother. Are you his highness's mother? Xie Jian's eyes almost popped out. He felt that the flattery he had casually slapped earlier might have accidentally hit the horse's leg. At the same time, Li Xia in Bailing Mountain finally completed the purification of Nero's active flesh and blood. While he was consuming mana, he quickly recovered his own losses with the help of high-quality spiritual liquid. In the process of constantly tempering himself, he not only made his foundation more solid, his mana became more pure, and his SS became even more powerful. Increasingly sophisticated. Among the Yuanshan, the Yin god is becoming more and more like the Yang god. Just when his patience with Todosai and other older generations was about to run out, news finally came. In a small human village. There is a forging room dedicated to swordsmiths. At this moment, a young man was wielding a hammer to temper a red blade clamped on the pliers. There's still a little bit left, just the last bit left. As long as the dragon scales can be completely penetrated into the blade, the ghost capture will be complete. However, when he put the finished blade into the water to cool down, he immediately frowned. Because after he tested the finished blade with a hammer, he heard through the sound of the blade that there were tiny cracks inside the blade that could not be rounded off. Failed again. Realizing this, he threw the blade in his hand into a pile of semi-finished swords beside him without any hesitation like trash. In that pile of junk, there were no fewer than ten handfuls of these defective semi-finished products. He clearly felt that he was only one step away from success, but he was always stuck at this step and couldn't make any progress. What's the problem? Why can't the blade be perfectly integrated with the dragon scales? Just then. The door curtain was open from the outside. Two human teenagers stood at the door with a flaming horse led by one of them, which was obviously no ordinary horse. Master, is Mr. Dao Chiu? I am Dao Chiu, who is your excellency? My name is Li Xia, a human mage with moderate strength. I came here because of my fame and want to make a deal with Mr. Dao Chiu. The young man had a hearty smile. The person coming was none other than Li Xia. Beside him were Man Gu, who was leading the horse, and Yen Hu, who was being led. A deal? But I'm just a swordsmith. The young man with a turban on his head looked confused. It is precisely because Mr. Lee is an excellent swordsmith that Mr. Lee came here specially. By the way, Barbarian Bones, show Mr. Daochio your demon blade Barbarian Dragon Spear. Li Xia turned his head and looked at his new partner and said calmly. Barbarian Bones' character has always been very bad. Anyone who makes this guy unhappy will be Ed with the Barbarian Dragon Spear on his shoulder. However, no matter how bad a person is, he should still have some advantages of this person. The advantages of barbarian bones are repaying kindness and being extra affectionate and righteous to those he recognizes in addition. When faced with strong people, this guy often maintained three points of respect. He intercepted this guy before Neraku could, and became the savior and noble man of life for this sweet-tempered person, which was considered to have one half of the other person's heart. Subsequently, he won the other half of the other party's heart through his strong strength, outstanding wisdom, foresight that is unimaginable to ordinary people, and the painted pie. Now, whether it is through Wu Xi and Goe's mind reading SS or through the Magatama he has condensed, he can be sure of this thug's loyalty and expectations for him. As an undead, this guy knows his position very well, so he has no other small thoughts. What Mangu wants now is to force him, as a living person, to become the kind of powerful god who can bring people back to life. Humph, I'm not a juggler. 
Mangu curled his lips at Li Xia's request to show off his muscles. The next moment, the wild dragon spear on his shoulder waved, and the violent sword energy swept away. The small forest outside the house was immediately cleared away and turned into a flat open space. Dao Chiu ran to the side window and looked out, his eyes suddenly lit up. What a powerful demon sword! The demon power in the blade is quite abundant. Definitely a top quality product. Of course. Man Gu raised the corners of his mouth slightly. His wild dragon spear ed thousands of monsters and accumulated a huge amount of resentment. Later, this resentment was purified by his boss, and the purest demonic power was preserved. In this way, he can use his precious big spear without any trouble. After he saw the bright light, his expression became a little strange, and he immediately grinned. Interesting. You actually have the same eyes as when I was alive. It was a look that would only be shown if one had a fanatical pursuit of power. In life? Are you? An undead? Dao Chiu raised his eyebrows in surprise. Yes, I am an undead person resurrected by this guy next to me. Menga nodded, and then took the rare initiative to help Li Xia recruit talents. You may not believe it, but when I was alive, I was far from as powerful as I am now but after being resurrected by this guy. All the shortcomings of human beings no longer exist, and my strength has been doubled. Okay, Zhu Zhu swordsman, come with us to pursue the ambition of great power and immortality. You and I should be the kind of people who are unwilling to be ordinary and have a hurried lifespan of decades. Staying in this human village, in the human world, is a waste of time. By the way, what is the purpose of our coming here to find you? Actually, you should have an idea, right? Man Gu's last sentence made Dao Chiu look solemn. Are you going to seize ghosts for the demon sword that the dragon man wants me to build? Good. Li Xia nodded. There is nothing to deny this. However, I am more optimistic about you, Dao Chiu, than seizing ghosts. Most people would not dare to be so crazy as a dragon man who uses the power of an ordinary human swordsmith to plot against powerful monsters. But not only did you dare to plot against him and let him continue to provide you with dragon man scales. But you also prepared to the dragon man after the ghost snatching machine was successfully built, thus making the demon sword and ghost snatching machine completely complete. The idea is quite bold. It shows your ability. It's such a pity that you, a mere human swordsmith, died an ordinary death. He found a stool and sat down on his own. It looks very familiar. Sir, what are you talking about? Why can't I understand? How could I betray the dragon man? Dao Chiu remained calm on his face, but there was a turmoil in his heart. What happened to this human boy? Like roundworms in my stomach. The biggest and craziest secret plan that he had hidden deep in his heart was revealed so easily. If this falls into the ears of a dragon man, I'm afraid. Thinking of this, I couldn't help but shudder immediately. Don't worry, I have just set up a large-scale concealment barrier in this area. Your breath and voice can't be transmitted out. We can speak freely. Li Xia took out a pot of herbal tea from the storage gourd, and then poured two cups. Come sit down and talk. Since the ghost snatcher hasn't been born yet, the swordsmith in front of him has the value of existence. And like Boss Chao, the founder of the Wei Wu legacy, he cherishes talents very much. If the other person is sincerely willing to work for him, he won't mind helping this person realize some small wishes. For example, gaining the power of a monster another example, gaining the longevity of a monster. Live a thousand-year lifespan that only monsters can enjoy. Mr. Daochio, I am not alarmist. Your bold and crazy plan is too risky. First of all, there are two prerequisites. One is that you can create a superior ghost snatcher with dragon-like scales and a blade that are integrated into one. So that the demon sword has the capacity to carry huge demonic power and avoid being too powerful to explode. The other is that someone can help you defeat the dragon man, so that the ghost snatcher can absorb the dragon man's demon power and become a more perfect demon sword. The remnant ghost snatcher can only absorb the demonic power of wind damage. The perfect ghost Caesar can forcibly absorb even the demonic power of Blast Ryubo. Perhaps, the demonic power of Prison Dragon Pa is not a problem. 
If the perfect demon sword to seize ghosts can cut off Tsong Yanya and take away Tsong Yanya's demonic power and ability, Li Xia would like to ask Feng Dagong style who else is there? The potential is so great that it's hard to estimate. Without us, even if you build a superior ghost snatcher, can you compete with the dragon man who smells the fishy smell and chases it? Furthermore, even if you find a new backer and defeat the dragon man with the help of the opponent's strength. But the question is, can your new backer tolerate you holding a perfect demon sword to seize ghosts? Li Xia finished his cup of fragrant tea and looked up at Dao Chiu again. Work with us. He has prepared the magic magatama. Moreover, the psychological changes read by the mind-reading ghost by Wu Xingue also showed that the young man in front of him had strong connotations. Just then. Dao Chiu, where are you? Is my ghost snatcher ready? It's the dragon man, he's here. The young man was shocked. The eyes looking at the two of them were filled with anxiety. The eyes seemed to say, do you want to hide for a while? Don't worry, leave it to us. It's not difficult to capture him alive. We have a living dragon man in our hands. You can have as many dragon man scales as you want. The efficiency of forging ghosts can also be improved a lot. Li Xia calmly poured herself another cup of herbal tea. I'll deal with it. Barbarian Bone carried the barbarian dragon's big spear and left the house. As a thug, you should have the awareness of a thug and prove that you are trustworthy. According to this, it is more than 2,000 miles away from the sea. On an island. Meatballs were continuously peeled out of his body by Neraku, who was disintegrating. The land was no longer safe, so he took refuge in the open sea. Although there are many monsters in the sea, some of them are even powerful beings but compared to the vastness of the sea. The large monsters gathered on the land finally made him more worried when he was in a period of decline. And before he figured out how the human mage locked his specific location, and before he gave birth to his longing for Platycodon, he had no intention of returning to the land. Since then. It went on for quite a while. He gave birth to three useful cubs and a strange spider. Three cubs. A man named Baitomzi. The other one is called Akadoji. The third one is called White Knight. The village is located. The hidden barrier dispersed. Li Xia, Man Gu, Dao Chiu, and Yen Ho appeared in front of the dragon man. The moment he saw Yen Hu, the dragon man's eyes lit up. What a monster horse! How about following me? Hearing this, Yen Tu snorted disdainfully. As if to say just you. Seeing this, the dragon man's smile froze, and anger suddenly surged in his heart what happened to this monster horse. How could he hang out with mere human minions and undead and still look down on himself? Huh, it doesn't look like a good horse with good eyesight. You guys, do you want to protect Dao Chiu? The dragon man holding the dragon scale shield sneered and approached step by step. With the dragon scale shield, he can be said to have the strongest shield but after all, he lacks aggressiveness and needs the strongest spear to make up for his shortcomings. Capturing ghosts is his ambition, which can greatly make up for his lack of attack power. Therefore, it is inevitable for him to seize ghosts with the demon sword. Are you a dragon? Hee <laughs> hee, you don't look any more powerful than those monsters who died under my big dragon spear. Barbarian Bone, carrying the barbarian dragon's big spear, was also approaching the dragon man at this time, and he refused to lose the slightest advantage. If a little undead dares to speak so brazenly, then I'll tear you all into pieces together. The dragon man moved, wielding the dragon scale shield and rushed over. The momentum released by this guy was quite powerful, like a big mountain crashing towards this side. Li Xia didn't say much and retreated farther away with Dao Chiu to avoid being affected. Barbarian Bone turned Barbarian Dragon's big spear and struck forward. Before the blade came, the oppressive sword pressure first delayed the Dragon Man and the Dragon Scale Shield. There are two brushes. If Inuyasha, who had seen fighting ghosts and gods in another timeline, came over. He would definitely find that the sword pressure from the wild dragon spear wielded by barbarian bones was even more powerful than fighting ghosts and gods. It can even be compared with the Chinkuan long sword, which combines two demon knives into one. This is the wild dragon spear that was reforged from the fangs of the dragon bone spirit and absorbed the grievances of thousands of human generals and the grievances of thousands of monsters. 
If it weren't for Li Xia purifying the evil spirit and resentment on it, turning it into a peaceful demon sword more like Tai Suya. The power of this wild dragon spear would still be a few points stronger. Interesting. Mangu experimented for a while and quickly discovered the efficacy of the dragon scale shield. That shield actually has the effect of absorbing demon power. The sword pressure he just slashed was basically absorbed by the shield. After seeing this, he decisively picked up his little friend and chose to fight in close combat. The wild dragon's big spear struck out and struck the dragon man hard. The dragon man was also experienced in combat and had quick eyesight and quick hands. He immediately picked up the dragon scale shield with his right arm and pushed it up. Clang! The collision between the spear and the shield sputtered out a large amount of energy arcs, causing the entire area here to flicker. The dragon man pushed even harder, forcing the barbarian bones and the barbarian dragon spear weighing over a thousand kilograms to fly out undead kid, that big spear of yours is quite good. Unfortunately, it has the wrong owner. Being laughed at by the prey-like monster, barbarian bones landed gently on the ground and narrowed his eyes. The next moment, he flashed out again. This time, he no longer had any spare strength and swung the wild dragon spear down hard. The spear at this moment was filled with violent energy, and its weight increased exponentially at this moment. It's useless. When a sword hit, the dragon man still chose to use the dragon scale shield to resist. But this dragon type monster, whose monster power was only close to that of a big monster, but whose strength was definitely at the level of a big monster, quickly realized sewing was wrong. Why is it so heavy? Not good. As a complete monster with special and powerful blood, he has great power. It is no exaggeration to say that it is a powerful force. But he never expected that the undead resurrected in human form would have a power close to 10,000. With the power of a slash, the dragon scale shield was blasted into the ground along with his figure. A huge deep pit collapsed. A heavy sword has no edge, and a heavy sword has no S. Even if it is not sharp, it can the target by smashing it. Dragon man. Well, nothing more than that. Barbarian bone grinned as he carried the barbarian dragon spear, whose weight gradually returned to normal. The large spear of the wild dragon penetrated the bones of the dragon bone spirit, and later ed many monsters in Bailing Mountain to become a demon sword, which naturally had its own magical features. So he boldly learned from the situation where even Inuyasha, the holder of the Tetsuyasha, couldn't carry it when he became too heavy, and developed three forms light, heavy and normal. The light wild dragon is as weightless as catkins. A normal ferocious dragon weighs over a thousand pounds, which is no exaggeration. The heavy savage dragon spear can fluctuate between 10,000 genes and 50,000 genes depending on the burst of demonic power. In addition, the holder of barbarian bone also has the same source of dragon bone essence bone in his body to provide strength not to mention more, there is still a strength of several thousand june. Therefore barbarian bone can let the weapons in his hands have three weight forms when facing the enemy. The lightest barbarian dragon can make barbarian bones slash at speeds close to the speed of sound. The heaviest feral dragon can even overwhelm people with its strength. The positive blessing between the holder and the weapon is not a simple matter of one plus one. Dao Chiu in the distance was stunned and excited. He looked back at Li Xia, his eyes full of passion. He knew that Mangu was just a human before, and now he was just an undead being resurrected by the people around him. The reason for such earth-shaking changes? It's all on this human boy. What's the purpose of building Ghost Snatcher yourself? Isn't it this powerful force? Be careful, he hasn't completely lost his fighting ability yet. As a dragon-type creature, that guy is quite strong in all aspects of his body. Li Xia reminded him aloud. Just as he was reminding him, in the deep pit below, a violent red demonic energy bomb hit barbarian bones beside the pit. Die, kid. Taste all the demonic power you accumulated when you attacked me. The dragon man roared. The dragon scale shield can not only absorb demonic power, but also reflect the demonic power absorbed during combat back to the enemy along with its own demonic power. Deals double damage to the enemy. Mangu didn't expect this from the dragon man, and saw that the huge red demon power bullet was about to engulf him. The demonic bullets hit so fast that it was too late to hide. Damn it, the shield actually has this effect. 
Not only was it an illusion that he was not a barbarian, he had an inexplicable feeling at this moment, that is he should have died from a similar counterattack s explosion at this moment. There was a flash of fire. Barbarian Bones, who quickly covered himself with a layer of diamond armor, felt his eyes blurred when he came to his senses, the person had already appeared twenty or thirty meters away. After the red energy ball of the Dragon Man's counterattack exploded, it only affected this place. Thanks, Flame Hoof. Manga looked at the flame horse beside him who helped him, and thanked him softly. Although he was confident that he could block the blow with the help of the diamond armor, he was also sure that the injury this time was inevitable. An ordinary clay body would be easy to repair after being injured but he was not an ordinary clay body, and it would be quite troublesome to repair it. If this time he does not show his value, but instead shows off his hips by then, let alone resurrecting his brother Snake Bones, I am afraid it will be difficult to cultivate him again. It was true that his boss was very kind to him, but he was also a very realistic boss. The so-called companions of the past, because they kept holding back, they abandoned them as soon as they were told. Not much tangle. He doesn't have the friendship between companions here, so he needs to be treated with more caution. Wielding the wild dragon's big spear, he charged out again. The seemingly heavy slash suddenly became light and airy when it came in front of the dragon man who emerged from the ground again. Immediately afterwards, the move changed from a straight and fierce slash to a lightning and flint sweep close to the ground. Quick. So fast that you can barely see the afterimage. It was so fast that it seemed like a sonic boom was heard. It was so fast that the dragon man didn't feel anything at all, and his legs were cut off by the large dragon spear that was not lacking in sharpness. No. The dragon man waved the dragon scale shield and then counterattacked with a frontal charge. However, as soon as he raised his left leg, the thigh suddenly fell off from the joint, while the calf and sole remained in place, with the wounds all bright red. The dragon man stumbled forward and looked back inexplicably, only to see that his legs were still standing one behind the other. The belated pain swept through his brain, making the dragon man's eyes bloodshot. Ah! While you are sick, I will you. Barbarian Bone's blade flashed again, slashing at the troubled dragon man, off his right arm holding the dragon scale shield and his free left arm to prevent the opponent from hurting anyone. After that, he punched the dragon man hard on the back, breaking his spine and completely losing his fighting ability. With this punch, the spread force seeped into the soil, blasting the land into a cobweb crack area of more than twenty meters. Old ghost, do you still dare to look down on a brat like me? Barbarian Bone dragged the dead dog-like dragon man to the ground with one arm, and then asked with a smile. Sword pressure, heavy sword, fast sword, and regular sword moves that require s. These are the four major development directions of Mangu's current use of the Barbarian Dragon Spear. In terms of defense, it mainly relies on the dual diamond defense system of diamond skin diamond armor. This can be regarded as a benefit that Li Xia gained from the power of Boxiangui. The mountain ghost who absorbed the demonic power of Boxiangui used Liuli's copying OD to consume his own demonic power to copy part of Boxiangui's demonic power and condensed it into demonic power crystals. And then embedded part of it into Mangu's body. This way. Barbarian Bone not only has the first diamond skin. You can also use this part of the precious fairy, ghost and demon power to add a layer of diamond armor to yourself at any time as needed. With double defense, even if it can't withstand a big ING move like explosion, it can easily tear apart elementary abilities like wind injury. With the help of the Four Souls Jade and the Flying Demon Moth Magatama as inspiration. It is undoubtedly an excellent way to improve the overall combat power by condensing various demon power crystals. Mr. Daochio, now, I can have as many dragon human scales as I want. After Li Xia forcibly sealed several parts of the dragon man's body, he played with a magatama in his hand, turned to look at the swordsmith, and smiled brightly. How about it? Can it be regarded as Mr. Da's favor? When Dao Chio heard this, he felt relieved and allowed a magatama crystal with mana mixed with demonic power to enter his eyebrows as a kind of welfare. Feeling the power this magatama brought to him, as an ordinary mortal swordsmith, he couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Um. Comfortable. Is this what power feels like? With this Magatama, he will no longer be an ordinary human being. Li Xia's thinking was even more unrestrained. 
Now, not only have I captured the Dragon Man and Dao Chiu, but I have also obtained a Dragon Scale Shield. What's worse, it's just a top-notch offensive weapon. Looking at the second-rate fire-pointed gun, he had an idea. The fire-tipped gun is mainly composed of the upper part of the flame gun head and the lower part of the thunder gun. The lower half of the lightning gun is compiled, and the refining materials are used for the lightning blade of the Thunder Beast clan. The main refining material for the upper half of the flame gun head is the flame meteorite provided by Kodosai. It is considered a top-grade spiritual material. As for the gun barrel part, it was cut from an ordinary branch of the old demon Pu Xinwen. The material used in Taishanjia's scabbard is slightly worse. Strictly speaking, these materials can be considered superior, but they are definitely not top-notch. And therefore, the fire point spear does not have its own spirit. So far, it only has self-created SS that are neither as good as Flaming Bird or Thunder Beast. And because it lacks a decisive burst of power, this arrogant spear is not even a first-rate weapon. Think about the fighting ghosts and gods in the original timeline. No matter what people say, they are all psychic. Although he couldn't fully carry Seshomaru's demonic power, he helped Seshton understand how to condense his own demonic power to use the secret S of Soryupa, didn't he? The Chienkuen sword in this timeline has the ability to tear apart space and form a black hole. And has the characteristics of absorbing the demon power of the demon sword and the spiritual power of witches. In addition, the sword pressure of the slashing attack can easily tear apart Inuyasha's wind wound, and also help Seshomaru understand Soryupa. This is what a top-notch first-class demon sword should look like. If I drive the fire-tipped spear into the scales of the Dragon Man, and use the teeth and bones of the Dragon Bone Spirit and other super monsters as materials for making weapons, maybe I can make a more sophisticated weapon. Li Xia touched his chin and thought. In this world of monsters, there is no weapon refining material that can compare with the parts of those big monsters. Why is Kanjiyunya called Kanjiyunya? Why is there the word tooth? In fact, it is enough to explain a lot of problems. This ancient magic sword was probably made from the teeth of some kind of big monster or multiple monsters as the main material, just like Tai Suya. The ancient evil spirits will in Song Yunya may be similar to the evil sword spirit in fighting ghosts and gods and Chienkuen Long Sword. The swordsmith used wrong refining ODs to gather a lot of resentment and evil, and then through some kind of transformation, he became spiritually intelligent. Of. It's time to upgrade this weapon of yours. Li Xia sighed. He turned around and thought about Sesomaru's left arm treatment problem. There's so much that needs to be done. Shadian's left arm lurks a demon power close to the level of a five-star great monster. This demonic power is very close to him because of the Chilin arm. And if you master this demonic power, you will have a chance to get a glimpse of the secret S of Azure Dragon Break. The Soryu Pa is not necessarily stronger than the Bakuryu Pa, but it definitely has its merits. Taking this into consideration, Li Xia decided to let the mountain ghost who had absorbed the demonic glass and mastered the ability to copy. Consume the source of his own demonic power to reproduce a copy of Seshomaru's demonic power. Having absorbed a large amount of demonic power crystals from flying demonic moths, coupled with regular blood transfusions from the toll station in the monster cemetery. This also prevents the mountain ghost's demonic power from seriously declining, and will soon enter the top six star sequence. The recreated part of the demon ING power that is close to him can be used to strengthen his unicorn arms and improve the human body at the same time. Of course. To be on the safe side, he only warms up and strengthens his body each time, and modifies some details along the way in the end, all the demonic power will still be gathered in the left unicorn arm. And then he uses his own magic power and the sacred light of purification to cleanse the rest of the body except for the left arm. Part. So that the essence of human beings will not be affected. This mode of existence is somewhat similar to the symbiosis mode of flesh and blood disguised as the later human demon slayer Yuling Maru and the war castle Shin Shir Maru. This way. He is a human mage who borrowed the power of monsters at the cost of an arm. Compared with those practitioners who sell their souls to monsters for youth and longevity, it can be said to be a clear stream in the Yellow River the differences are clear. Even if the world really changes in the future, the end of the world comes, or we face a major reshuffle of the general environment. It is unlikely to threaten his life. 
every time he thought about the fact that he rarely saw monsters in the modern world. Let alone Sesumaru with his explosive teeth in hand every time he thought about the huge differences between two seemingly similar parallel worlds on different timelines, he was confused. There is an instinctive sense of crisis. If all the big monsters in this monster world and even the star-level monsters with a little level cannot escape the reckoning of the times when the time comes, where will he go then? If he returns to the modern world, big monsters are not allowed to exist there, otherwise there will be unknown dangers. How will he survive the difficulties when the time comes? In general, it is actually not strong enough. There is no capital to make rules. Maybe now he is just a pawn on a big chessboard. Or maybe it's a bigger chicken in a farm. Oh, I hope I'm not scaring myself. In Bailing Mountain, Li Xia, who controlled his left unicorn arm and steadily absorbed the power emitted by the mountain ghost, always had a sense of crisis and urgency in his heart. Fortunately, he still had plenty of time. When it comes to copying, this ability is not unlimited. For one thing, each power can only be copied once. For example, the power of the treasure immortal ghost was at the expense of part of the mountain ghost's own demonic power. And it was only able to successfully replicate the demonic power of the treasure immortal ghost once. It no longer works the second time. On the other hand, it can only copy special energies, such as the demon power in Sesomaru's left arm, or the wind hole formed by Master Mithraya due to Neriku's curse. It seems that it is replicating the wind cave, but it is actually replicating the power of the curse. Entity items cannot be copied, such as weapons such as fire-pointed guns, and flesh and blood. These cannot be copied. In addition, the energy consumed for copying must not be too poor in quality to produce too much power when copied. For example, when he copied the demonic power of Sesomaru's left arm. The demonic power he consumed was the origin of the demonic power of the five and a half star and nearly six star Yamaki, and was the crystallized demonic power left by Onyx Maru. It's impossible to try to recreate it using the power of monsters or even superior monsters as raw materials. And the copied thing cannot exceed the original thing. No, the demonic power in Sesomaru's arm created by the mountain ghost using the power of copying is only that of that arm. It won't do any good to think about it anymore. But even so, the potential value of this move is still quite high. Let's make a hypothesis if the copying ability can successfully copy Sesomaru's complete demonic power, then the copied demonic power can be given to Sesomaru for absorption. Considering that you absorb your own power, there is no need to worry about compatibility or rejection issues. In other words, as long as the alien demon power is enough as a price, Sesomaru can double his demon power in a short period of time. Another example is the ability of the Hundred Ghost Bat Clan to strengthen the barrier. If you think about it, you will know how significant it is. Copying SS, if developed well, are completely power amplifiers. The Chilin arm became even more powerful because of this. If it weren't for the fact that the same power could only be copied once, Li Xia would have been unable to resist making a copy of his mana to recycle it. No one dislikes this shortcut. However, when he thought about the deeper his S, it would be best to reach the Yangshan realm where the Yuan Shen is pure Yang without Yin and then copy it. By then, his wealth would have doubled out of thin air. It's not too late to grit your teeth in the early stage and make a blockbuster success later. In Bailing Mountain, Li Xia retreated, borrowing the large processing plant of Mountain Ghost. And using the demon power crystals left by the flying demon moths as raw materials, to silently reproduce the multiple powers inside Sesomaru's left arm and Kirin arm. In the end, these recreated powers perfected his Chilin arm. The Dragon Man's demon power was also copied by the Mountain Ghost. As for where to use it specifically? Not sure for now. Ding ding. Ding ding. Gaucho sighed. Progress is rapid. The main thing is that Li Xia generously handed over to the swordsmith some of the forging SS of the Tota Studio and the complete forging SS of the Grey Blade Workshop. Which greatly improved his forging SS. I believe it won't be long before Dao Chiu masters the technique of perfectly integrating the dragon scales into weapons. Man Gu's words, with the help of Li Xia, resurrected the Snake Bones. Snake Bone is the second most powerful warrior among the seven, second only to Barbarian Bone. Although he is a boy, he looks like a beautiful girl, and he also likes cute boys. 
In the original timeline, he was fascinated by Inuyasha. Then he was cut down to the ground by Inuyasha's Jedi counterattack. When he appeared in the early stage, relying on strange weapons, Inuyasha and the rest of the protagonist group were overwhelmed and each was injured. Only when facing Sesomaru, he couldn't get any advantage. If he hadn't run so fast and Shadian had no intention of pursuing him, sewing might have happened. Generally speaking, his strength is slightly inferior to that of the half-demon Inuyasha who holds the Iron Fong, but he is definitely not weak. Much better than Mithraya and Coral. After resurrecting, Snake Bone and Man Bone took the mission and acted together before Li Xia went into seclusion. I went to look for the guys who made the Four Soul Imitation Jade some time ago but disappeared quickly. Speaking of which, the humans on the island who survived the Monster Moth incident have been attacked by entire villages of monsters recently. Judging from the situation, it looks like he was captured alive. I don't know what those villagers were captured for. The people of the island country are really in trouble. Hundreds of thousands died last time, and this time twenty or thirty villages were completely evacuated. The mages and witches who protect one side always feel exhausted. The defense is obviously very tight, but for some unknown reason, monsters often take advantage of loopholes. The location of a bandit den. Let's set off, this time to the small village more than thirty miles to the north. Let's move quickly, noble people will not be stingy with money and treasure. A bandit leader encouraged morale. The other dozens of bandits raised their weapons in excitement and cheered. When these bandits on horses left, a middle-aged man with vertical pupils and a young man dressed as a priest appeared together in the bandit's den. What are you thinking, Izumo? Why do you waste time and effort controlling these human bandits to help you attack the village and capture the villagers alive? Wouldn't it be more efficient to leave it to the thousands of mountain elves and wild monsters under our command? Is it high? The middle-aged man with vertical pupils stained with eyeshadow smiled coldly. This guy is clearly not human. The young man dressed as a priest next to him shook his head after hearing this. If you let the monsters move, there will be too much movement and too many traces, which will definitely attract the attention of human mages and witches. In that case, the risks we will bear in the future will be great. But if human bandits take action, they will not intervene at will. The creed of those human mages and witches is to protect mortals. Bandits happen to be mortals too. If you want to get the help of Totozai and other older generations to find the remains of the Yuashan people and the swordsmith Daochio, you can't just talk about it. In exchange. A few days after Li Xia brought Daochio back to Bailing Mountain, he made a special trip to the monster village where the great sage of demon spirits was located. Natsu Kuen, do you have any news about Inuyasha and the others? Mr. Mingjia suppressed the anxiety in his heart and asked. They had been searching for several days but had not found anything. They had no choice but to tell the information about the human swordsmith Dao Chio who was inextricably linked to the dragon people. Originally, Raito was one of several whetstones chosen for Inuyasha in Tatsai. It is an important link for Tai Suya to enter his ultimate form. Unexpectedly, he finally got the advantage of the human boy in front of him. As for the young man in front of him, they initially gave him high hopes as if he were a young master's retainer. Pity. Inuyasha failed to control his temper and the relationship became tense. There's news. It should have fallen into Neraku's hands. Li Xia nodded and took out the glass sculptures of Mika, Chibao and Aoba. I snatched three of them from Neraku. At that time, I fought with one of them, and was even threatened by that guy with Inuyasha and the others. Only then did Neraku get away. Micah Sanchao was frozen into a glass sculpture. But they were not dead, they were still alive and well, and even had a heartbeat. This shows the weirdness of this OD. Totosai, Minga, and the great sage of the demon spirit each took a sculpture and inspected it, then frowned what a weird ability. It involves both the demonic power of the monster and the spiritual power of the shrine maiden. Hearing this, Li Xia nodded yes, precisely because the abilities of two characteristics are involved even I cannot restore them to normal. In fact, he wanted to keep a hand. Anyway, the three little ones are fine, and lifting the freezing curse sooner or later will not hurt the three little guys. He hides a hand of divine purifying light, which may be of great use at critical moments. It is essential to be on guard against others. 
Inu Tai General is full of human bones. Inu Tai General and his retainers and old friends have many reservations about him. There is no reason for him to respond to Akaji guys, as long as this weird curse on Yun Yu and the others is lifted, what exactly happened? You can learn from their mouths. Good. Grandpa Mingjia looked at the great sage demon spirit. Your Excellency Demon Spirit, I have to trouble you. Mr. Mingjia and Yinmu have known each other for a long time, and their relationship is quite good. The demon spirit Great Sage didn't say much, and the high-level immortal power surged from his body and washed toward San Zhao's body. The next moment, the sound of cracking and breaking could be heard endlessly. The frozen glass on San Zhao's body quickly broke and fell, revealing three little things inside that were full of shock or fear. Roar. Yun Yu roared, and when she saw Ming Jia and Li Xia around, she lowered her guard and became quieter. Here it is. Qi Bao and A Ba are still worried. Shippo, what exactly happened to you that day? Where are Master Inuyasha and the others? The old flea Ming Jia jumped onto Qi Bao's shoulder. After the little fox demon confirmed that he was rescued, he ran to Li Xia and said, Xia Jun, hurry up and save Coral and the others. Everyone has fallen into the monster's plan again. In just a blink of an eye, they were all turned into glass sculptures. Later. Nariku appeared and caught Aba and I. Little Chibao was bursting into tears at this moment. Is it really Nariku? People around looked at Li Xia thoughtfully. It seems that what this kid said before is true. He really had a fight with Nariku and then took back Micah Sanchao. Chibao, what's going on? Grandpa Mingjia asked. Afterwards, Chibao and Abaki briefly recounted what happened that day. It turns out that everyone was tricked by another monster fusion based on the precise calculation of beauty trap and heroism that likes to show off. Inuyasha, Miroku, Coral, and Micah were attacked on the spot and frozen into glass. Then, Nariku appeared. No one on either side was able to escape. So that's it. It seems that you have been tricked by this weird curse. If Nariku and Inuyasha met head-on, even if Inuyasha was defeated with iron-broken teeth, he would not lose so aggrievedly, let alone lost the iron-shattered teeth. Totozai and Mingjia were all smart people, and they immediately understood the problem. Nariku borrowed the help of another monster fusion to deceive Inuyasha and his party. Who were not weak in strength then he suddenly attacked while the opponent was not prepared, and took advantage of everything. What a mantis stalking the cicada and the oriole behind. Mr. Mingjia sighed. Nariku became the oriole behind everything, and finally ed the mantis and cicada in one fell swoop. This plan seems simple, but the simpler it is, the more wonderful it becomes. The timing is even more perfect. No, it's not just as simple as the mantis stalking the cicada and the oriole following behind. Li Xia on the side shook his head. Several people turned to look. Nariku himself wants to deal with Inuyasha. The odds of winning or losing are actually 50 to 50. Even Inuyasha and his friends have a higher winning rate. Don't forget, I strengthen Tetsuya's ability to break barriers. Coupled with the power of the immortal poison of the medicine immortal master, which specializes in paralyzing the body. Reducing the activity of flesh and blood, and preventing the body from recovering. In addition, the demonic power of the dragon bone spirit, the demonic power of the flying demon moth. And His Highness Sesomaru and the Inu Admiral have warmed and nurtured Tai Suya for a long time. Logically speaking, Nariku cannot stop Tai Suya with one strike. When Li Xia said this, he paused. But Nariku did not have a head on conflict. Instead, after sending away His Highness Sesomaru, he used a new fusion of 10,000 monsters with the spiritual power of Amiko to trick Inuyasha and others using a glass curse. After Amiko's power reaches a certain level, it requires the ability of a fellow Miko or a higher immortal power to dispel it. Nariku's trick of ing people with a borrowed knife is really good. It's like the rock-paper-scissors principle. Nariku is scissors, Inuyasha is stone, and Saraki is paper. Use paper to defeat the stone, and then use scissors to defeat the paper. It can only be said that Inuyasha and others were not unjustly defeated. Everyone has figured out the situation. Our transaction is considered a clean deal. Do you guys have any objections? Li Xia looked at Dave Azai and Mr. Mingjia, his expressions calm. 
the two great ministers of General Inu looked at each other and then nodded. Knowing who was behind the scenes and knowing that Inuyasha was just being used as a hostage, they relaxed a little. However, they still want to strive for sewing extra. Xia Jun, can you help us find Nariku's whereabouts? When they had no clue, the people in front of them not only figured out the general situation, but also found the traces of Nariku, and even forced the opponent back through a big battle to recapture Micah Sanshao. This is a sign of ability. Do you two want to continue working together? For the sake of being a companion, I can continue to participate. But, two old men, what chips are you going to use? Li Xia asked with a smile. Ah this. Natsukoen, Master Inuyasha, Coral and Miroku were your former partners. Do you want to die without saving me? The two old fried dough sticks climbed up the pole and played the emotional card. Brothers, let's settle the score. Besides, Inuyasha and I are not brothers. You can't let an honest man like me sacrifice himself for others every time, right? Li Xia refused to give in. The goal of catching the two of them was decided. After Toto Sai and Grandpa Mingjia looked at each other for a while, they were about to say sewing. At this time, Sesomaru arrived after receiving the news. Shadian happened to complete a trial to go to the underworld yesterday. The process was a near miss. The only thing that left this person frightened was that Shaoling was almost dead by him. Fortunately, the sinister mother did not cheat her son this time. It was absolutely impossible for him to accept losing Ling for the birth of teeth. At that moment, he felt heartbroken like never before. But when he saw Ling being resurrected by her mother, he had never been happier. Return to the secret realm of the great demon spirit in the monster village. After Totozai saw his eldest young master, his eyes rolled and he immediately had concerns. Xiajuan, Sesomaru should take more care and help for you, right? Your left arm was indispensable without Sesomaru using his own demon blood and demon power to nourish it, and it became strange and extraordinary. Now, his brother is in trouble, you shouldn't we do sewing? This question stunned Li Xia. How often have you received Sesomaru's care? Why are you telling lies with your eyes open? All in all, he had obtained the Kirin arm at various prices as a bargaining chip. Although there was Sesomaru's goodwill and Inuyasha's face, shouldn't he be the one who sacrificed more? The Chinkuan sword was a bargaining chip that he clearly used. What's more, it was because of Sesomaru's acquisition of the Tetsuya that he could figure out the secret of the wind injury and because of the stimulation of the Chinkuan long sword. He was able to create the Azure Dragon Pagoda. And because of his efforts, the relationship between the two brothers was eased so early it was also his plan that allowed Sesomaru to meet the Inu general. And learned many of the Inu general's arrangements and painstaking efforts, thus opening up his heart. Not. It is undeniable that if the original plot develops, these will happen sooner or later. However, from the moment he came to this world, the plot direction took a huge deviation. I still firmly believe that if he doesn't interfere, the ending will remain the same. You are good, I am good, but Nariku is not. Just think about it to be honest, it will be an ugly death. To put it bluntly. All he pursues is immortality and even eternal life. It's not like there's an unending feud between him and Nariku. The Jade of Four Souls is just a shortcut for him to quickly improve his strength and foundation. This thing is not a necessary thing that cannot be lost. In this case, it was interesting enough that he didn't sit back and watch the fight or turn around to help Nariku's crazy guy and deceive the others instead, and he didn't cooperate with Nariku. That's too far. All in all between him and Sesomaru, at least he didn't owe each other anything. Furthermore, it's your turn to be generous to the Tatsai for the favor of the ING Hall. Your Highness Sesomaru, your family is really a bit aggressive. Li Xia looked at the approaching Sha Jian and chuckled. Sesomaru glanced at the shameless Totosai and said calmly. Nariku, just leave it to me. As he was speaking, he seemed to notice sewing, and suddenly looked at Li Xia's left arm. He smelled a strong scent of himself from this arm, and felt an increasing sense of intimacy. How is this going? Seeing Sesomaru's expression, Li Xia immediately understood that the demonic power he had recreated had been noticed. In this case, it's just a good idea to be a favor. So I took out a long box. Your Highness, this is a little thought between our friends. 
opening the box, inside was Sesomaru's left arm. At this moment, Todosai just shut up. Inside, I was filled with surprise and uncertainty. Did you go to the monster cemetery? Shadian asked softly with bright eyes. It's not that difficult, is it? Li Xia grinned. As the old demon in charge of gems, Boxiangui has a large number of black pearls in his hands that can be used to open up space passages to the cracked area. Grandpa Todosai and Boxiangui are old acquaintances. I want to ask for one or two. It shouldn't be difficult to get a black pearl, right? Ahem, don't get me wrong, I didn't mean that. I drops. Who wouldn't? With your Todosai and Mingjia's friendship with Bao Xiangui, it's not difficult to get a black pearl in the early stage. However, as the Inu Admiral's retainers, you have no intention of helping Sesomaru get this left arm back, and you have the nerve to let Sesomaru do his part. Really? After hearing this, Sesomaru's expression became a little strange. What do you think of the retainer his father left behind? Kid, what do you want? The fire suddenly burned him, and Todosai was a little dizzy, so he quickly turned his head and changed the topic. Li Xia thought for a moment, and then looked at Tudiozhai and the demon spirit Great Sage. Since Tetsuya is destroyed, I'm afraid Inuyasha can't rely on Inuyasha to get some of the preparations that your older generation left behind on Tetsuya. In this way, how about you promise me a promise that I can get involved in this matter? A promise within your ability? What promise? Todasai's big eyes narrowed heavily. He had a feeling that the human boy in front of him had big intentions. I haven't thought about what it is specifically yet. But it must be sowing within your ability. Li Xia, who was sitting firmly on the Dayoyutai, said calmly. Because these two older generation retainers left behind by General Inu and Inuyasha have almost destroyed his good impression of these people. He only wants to talk about interests now, and will never talk about friendship. By the way, Tai Suya's power was completely absorbed by Neraku. That guy now has Dragon Bone Spirit, Flying Demon Moth, Uncle Doya King, His Highness Sesomaru, the Hayaki Bat Clan, and Yao Lao's demonic power and ability. I won't say much about the potential threat. Unknowingly, Tai Suya absorbed a lot of the monster's power. It's just that many of them haven't had time to be developed. In other words, if Neraku is given enough time to develop those powers, he will definitely become a troublesome existence that is not inferior to the six and a half star demon king. Faced with such a dangerous character, I don't have enough chips, so I won't get involved. At worst, I will return to my hometown or hide on the mainland. And you should also know sewing about the grudge between that guy and Inuyasha. As he spoke, Li Xia smiled and handed Sesomaru the box containing a demon patterned left arm, full of kindness. Then two more pieces of information were revealed. Some of you may have guessed why Neraku suddenly disappeared without a trace, as if he had evaporated from the world, right? Yes, he probably took the demon-free wall from Ueshan's body and blocked his own breath. In addition, Neraku is not an ordinary fusion half-demon, but a guy with great potential at full four souls. What does the full value of four souls mean? I guess I don't need to say more. A Fuya wall that can hide demonic energy. Full value four souls. At this time, even the great sage demon spirit, who had remained calm from beginning to end, showed a hint of surprise. As a high-level immortal, he naturally understands what the full four souls mean. There is a consensus in this land, that is the souls of living things are composed of four souls. Everything has its own four souls, even stones, plants, and even a pool of water have their own four souls. These four souls are the wild soul, the harmonious soul, the lucky soul, and the strange soul. The mind is influenced by every kind of soul. When the four souls reach a certain level, the wood can give birth to spiritual wisdom. The representative among them is the jade of four souls. This is also the main reason why those plants and trees inexplicably become monsters after receiving the four soul fragments. Four soul fragments and four soul jade have the potential ability to make up for the shortcomings of the four souls. Four souls control people's hearts among them, the wild soul is brave, and the soul palm is in love. The lucky soul is in love, and the strange soul is in charge of wisdom, and everyone can do what they can. To put it simply, the courage of the wild soul is the power of advancement, the affinity of the harmonious soul is the power of affinity. 
The love of the lucky soul is the power of growth, and the wisdom of the strange soul is the comprehension ability of observing and analyzing things. The four souls are full, which means that the four abilities are full. The qualifications are the best and most evil ones, and the potential is ridiculously high. How is it possible? Nariku actually has the full four souls. Mr. Mingjia was stunned. Nariku has four souls at full value, which is unexpected by everyone. You know even if only one of the four souls reaches the full value, he can be called a little genius in a certain field. His master, Inu Admiral, has four souls that are not at full value. Of course, the four souls are only a manifestation of potential and qualifications, and do not determine future heights. Sesomaru only had full Orahun, but he still became a top great monster. But it can also be seen from here how terrifying the wild soul will be once the powerful monster bloodline is used at full value. Kid, how can you be sure about Nariku's four souls? Todosai said in a deep voice. This news really scared him. Even if you are a monster fusion, normally you can't absorb so much monster power at once without losing yourself, right? But after Nariku ate Taisuya, not only did he not lose his mind and go crazy, but he was very sober. In addition, there is another existence with full four souls, but Inuyasha missed it fifty years ago. It was from her that I learned this. Li Xia said calmly. Are you talking about the human Miko named Kikyo? Yes. I believe you all know what a powerful Miko talent she possesses, right? The reason why Platycodon is so powerful cannot be separated from her acquired homework and practice, but how can it be separated from her four souls with full value? Monster talent? Li Xia pulled Platycodon out without a blush and started to push the cylinder. Jie Jie told me that she chose to save the bandit ghost spider back then because she saw a powerful talent in that guy. If humans can have one more potential and powerful mage, they can fight against the evil monsters that are causing chaos everywhere. It will definitely be a lot easier during the process. Totozai, Mingjia, and the great sage demon spirit looked at each other for a while, and then they couldn't sit still. The first two were more and more worried about their master in Yuyasha. The demon spirit great sage suddenly felt a little afraid of Neru. As a fusion of 10,000 demons, Neriku has grown to the end, and there is no guarantee that he will not find him and devour him. There are precedents for immortals who overturned their cars due to carelessness. Goddess Jui, a god with a high status in the heavenly realm and no less powerful than him, wasn't it just 50 years ago that she was successfully devoured by a fusion of evil energy? Only those who have faced it directly can understand how difficult it is to deal with a demonic spirit that possesses demonic, spiritual, and divine power at the same time. Even with advanced immortal power and magic, there is no guarantee of victory in dealing with it. If their elders had not seen sewing was wrong, they lent the mirror of life to a fairly strong human mage. And secretly instructed the human mage named Mythen to use the power of the five elements to seal Shinjui into the mirror of life. The demon world in this land was in big trouble at that time. These two pieces of information are very important. I understand what you mean. I can do you a small favor within my ability. The great sage of demon spirits said with a serious expression. Senior is still sincere in his treatment of others. When Li Xia said this, he glanced at the shameless Totuzi intentionally or unintentionally. If the immortal power is divided according to the star level, Yao Lao poison is a six-star immortal power, and the demon spirit great sage is a six-and-a-half star level. And because the immortal power restrains the demon power, it is half a rank higher than the demon power therefore the level of Yao Lao poison immortal is close to six and a half stars. And the level of demon spirit great sage is close to seven stars. The old immortal who is in charge of extremely poisonous poisons, in the original work, he looks down on Nariku who is less than six and a half stars in the beginning. This is the reason. Sesomaru took back his left arm, his eyes filled with brilliance. Looking at Li Xia, a complicated meaning flashed across his face. Thank you, Mr. Xia. This young man was worried about his bratty brother at first, and he trained Tai Suiyang very well. Unfortunately, Inuyasha is a skewer after all, very unreliable. It's really hard work for the other party to use his own little brother. And Totosai. Snort. Did he really think that Sesomaru was easy to fool and bully? You may have trouble visiting his highness in the future. 
I hope that His Highness will not be as stingy as some people. Li Xia smiled back. With the promise of the great sage of the demon spirit and the friendship of Sesomaru, he really doesn't want to deal with Totosai, who is rigid and biased towards Inuyasha. By the way, Your Highness, do you have time to go out with me? Before leaving, Li Xia invited. Shadian didn't say much, he stood up directly, ignored Totozai and Mingjia's attempts to stay, and left together with the young man at the door. Totosai and Mingjia were left smiling bitterly. Before his death, the master told them to ease the relationship between the brothers, but it seemed that they failed. Why has this Li Xia become so difficult to figure out? Even though they have thousands of years of wisdom, they all feel that their wits are not enough. How did they know that the reason for defeating them was not that Li Xia was smart, but that Li Xia had the advantage of foresight? Lost to God's perspective. For example, a piece of information about the full strength of the four souls shattered their apparent calmness and all their plans. Now it is no longer a matter of simply rescuing Inuyasha, but of finding a way to completely eliminate Naraku. Otherwise, they are in danger. Sooner or later Naraku will take note of their abilities. After leaving the monster village established by the Monkey King. Both of them were quiet at first. It wasn't until he flew far away that Sesomaru spoke first Xiaokun, if you have anything to say, just tell me. When Li Xia heard this, he no longer hid it. Your Highness, there is a secret. I think it's time to tell you. In fact, Mr. Totosai knows this secret, but why he didn't tell you may have some difficulties. So after you understand the situation, please don't tell me. Any complaints and anger? Oh. Please tell me. Shadian raised his eyebrows slightly. The thing is, you and I met Uncle Dia Wong that day, and he told me some of his arrangements. One of them happened to involve you. Speaking of this, Li Xia paused, and then continued. Your Highness, there is actually a demon sword sealed in your body. It was forged by Uncle Dia King for you when you were very young and sealed in your body. The name of that demon sword is Explosivia. When your highness when you no longer have any obsession with Tai Suya, you can try to awaken it. There are many ways to awaken the Iron Broken Fong, and this OD of letting go of your obsession with the Iron Broken Fong is definitely the most inferior. What's more, they also arranged for the natural tooth to be cultivated by Sesomaru, and then had Tetsuya to cut off the natural tooth and absorb it. The grievance involved was only placed on Sesomaru, who was very thoughtful, so as not to go berserk. The human heart cannot stand the test the most. Besides, in the early days, this guy asked Totosai to build a demon sword comparable to Tai Suya more than once. This was actually a kind of concession. It's good for Totosai. As a retainer, he won't be disdainful of his eldest son. It wasn't until Shadian was about to burp in the original timeline and passively activated explosive fong that he jumped out and said that this was the deep meaning of his old father. I love you deeply. Does it mean that anyone who still misses Tai Suya even a little bit at that time means he will die? Does the old father have this profound meaning? Putting himself in his shoes, if he, Li, were standing in Sesomaru's position, he would definitely want a Totosai with one strike. Spiritual sublimation. Transformation of strength. He <laughs> he. Even after death, let's talk about Hammer's spiritual sublimation. Furthermore, the sooner Bakuya wakes up, the sooner he s Naraku, the sooner he and Shaolin can fly together by then, who will care about Tetsuya, right? Is there a knife that my father prepared already sealed inside my body? The noble prince was stunned. It was hard to regain consciousness for a long time. So why didn't his father tell him directly? This is to test yourself. But he was also worried that the old guys in Totozai who didn't like him would sneak up on him and torment him. Father, do you mean this? Your Highness, how to awaken Blast Tooth depends on your own ability. I believe that with Your Highness's wisdom, it is not difficult to do this. Li Xia smiled. It doesn't matter if he really can't do it. The worst he can do is put a knife on Totosai's neck and force the old guy to tell the truth. When the time comes, the old man will say it even if he doesn't want to. Do you really think Sesomaru has no temper? Do you really think Sesomaru's sword is harmful? Thank you, Mr. Xia. Shadian took a deep breath, digested the information, and nodded to express his gratitude. He remembered this favor. Your Highness, actually, I have another thing I want to discuss with you. 
oh. It is the Death God Ghost, one of Uncle Duya King's old enemies. I wonder if your highness still remembers the preliminary plan against the Death God Ghost that we discussed with Yao Lao a few days ago. Li Xia's face looked a little more serious. It also made Sesomaru look serious what? Mr. Xia wants to deal with the Death Ghost. But Li Xia shook his head and said. It's not that I want to deal with Death God Ghost, but Death God Ghost will probably find trouble with His Highness soon after learning that His Highness has developed the underworld Sanyue Pao. After all, Uncle Dia Wang had an affair with this Death God Ghost, but there is a grudge that cannot be resolved now that you have mastered the underworld Sanyue Pao. That guy will definitely not be able to sit still and will keep an eye on His Highness. He is not being alarmist. In the original timeline, Sesomaru slightly exposed the move of Heid Zangatsusha, which immediately attracted the attention of the Death God Ghost. It's also very interesting to say. In this land, there is more or less an unwritten tacit understanding between the big monsters not to easily invade each other's territory. For example, the Bird Demon Clan is entrenched in a fire country with many volcanoes in the south next to the Bird Demon Clan, is the Poison Ghost Clan. If he hadn't been so greedy that he went to devour the leader of the poisonous ghost clan, there wouldn't have been a fight to the death between the two clans. For another example, the Inu clan, headed by Inu Admiral and Sesomaru's mother, mainly resides in the Cloud Palace in the Western Kingdom. If the Ocelot clan further south had not come to invade the former territory of the Dog clan after being full of food, there would not have been a cat-dog war. Let's talk about the death ghost again. In the original work, Although the other party was criticized by Shou Dian, Ming Jia and others as a sinister villain, in fact. It was not until Shou Dian showed off the move of Ming Dao waning Yu Pe that the Death God Ghost came to seek revenge. As for the underworld Zangatsuba, Inu Deus Ho took it from the Death God Ghost anyway. It is reasonable to come here to seek revenge at this time. At least, they didn't try to strangle Sesomaru before he grew up. That guy is a villain, right? From this aspect, it reflects the other party's atmosphere. It's really hard to evaluate. It's just a ghost of death. Since my father can defeat it, I can naturally do the same. The main weapons in his hands now are the Qianquan Long Sword and the Tianxinya once he awakens the exploding Fong. He will have both offensive and defensive capabilities, and even have healing capabilities. It can be called comprehensive. What Death God Ghost faced back then was his father who had not yet reached the peak in all aspects. He is about to reach a peak, and there is no reason why he can't handle it. Your Highness, the battle will inevitably affect those around you. I hope that when you are found by the Death Ghost, you will breathe a sigh of relief to me as soon as possible, so that I can pass by and protect Ling and Xie Jian. It's easy to hide from an open gun but hard to defend against a hidden arrow. The Death God Ghost may not be able to deal with you, your highness, but there is no guarantee that he will not attack Shaoling and Shijin when he is defeated. With me standing by, even if his highness cannot move away for a moment, the safety of the others should be guaranteed, right? What's more, the ability of the Death God Ghost is very suitable for the Mountain Ghost, who is also a ghost tribe, to absorb one or two. If his highness can defeat that guy, I'll just get an advantage. Li Xia said sincerely with a smile. His words were full of good intentions, and he stated his true purpose openly and openly. This made Sesomaru look at him even more. Why wouldn't he take such mutually beneficial and pertinent advice? Talk. Why did Li Xia have to take advantage of Sesomaru? The reason is simple. As the great demon among the ghost clan, the Shinigami Oni masters the Shikigami boy secret technique of the clergy system. He might be a clergy member, someone inside the system. Although the waters of the island country's clerical system are not that deep, they are not shallow either. Now he still needs a big man to cover him. So as not to be missed by some or even some gods. A gentleman doesn't stand under a dangerous wall. Li Xia said goodbye and left. Sesomaru also once again embarked on the path of training his own underworld, Zangetsua. And with this move, it quickly transformed from the new moon at the beginning to a half moon, almost to a full moon. Inside Bailing Mountain. Another few days of rest and recuperation. By continuously purifying a large number of flesh and blood fragments from Naraku and the ancient evil spirits in Tsong Yanya. Li Xia has improved his SS at a very gratifying speed, 
and the improvement every day can be seen with the eye. Finally, on this day, he seemed to have passed a small hurdle, and both his soul and body had received some unknown sublimation. The whole body is faintly exuding an aura that makes everything feel inexplicably comfortable. This kind of smell not only scares the monsters, but also makes them greedy. There is an initial trend toward sanctification of the flesh. In other words, we have stepped into the first step. If we compare the quality and quantity of his magic power, before that. He was only a five-star great mage or great priest at the level of Miroku's grandfather and the black which Tsubaki's master now, he is a five-star one whose power has more than doubled. Half level. His rapid growth was inseparable from the assistance of high-quality spiritual liquid strengthened by a large number of four soul fragments. Whether it is purifying Neraku's flesh and blood or purifying the ancient evil spirits in Tsong Yenya, it is by no means an easy task. The consumption on oneself is not small at all. If there is a head-to-head -head confrontation without any means of recovery, it is not certain who will transfer. With the high-quality spiritual liquid, it is a high-quality spiritual liquid that has been purified by Master by Xion and strengthened with a large number of extremely clean foresoul fragments the recovery effect is nothing to say. It is definitely far better than that brewed from the human face fruit liquid above. Ever since. One side consumes like crazy and the other side recovers at full power. The high-intensity collision between good and evil, purification and filth involved in this process is exactly a process of tempering one's own magic power and soul. Therefore, despite the fact that he has only practiced the sacred purification technique for more than a month. In fact, taking into account the scarcity of cultivation resources such as the age tree, agate pills, savage dragon spear resentment ball. Neraku's will, and the ancient evil spirit's will, his high efficiency precipitation for more than a month is probably more than enough. I have been steadily practicing hard for several years or even ten years. It is not difficult to see from this. When Master by Xion was doing good deeds and accumulating virtue, he had many monsters and monsters he caught. This person who is almost unreservedly kind and protective towards humans is yet so harsh and cruel towards monsters. Another two days passed. Boss Xia, I can already perfectly integrate the dragon scales into weapons. Dao Chiu, who has been strengthened by the top forging technology in the demon world, also brought good news that day. Li Xia has been looking forward to this for a long time. Quick, show me the finished product. When Dao Chiu heard this, he was excited and quickly handed over a demon knife that exuded a strong yin energy. Even Li Xia, who was accomplished in cultivation, had an inexplicable illusion that he was holding a piece of ice after taking the knife. What a heavy yin energy! How did you come up with the idea of using yin qi to forge a knife? I have always longed for a powerful weapon because I am a weak mortal body, and I have always wanted to forge a powerful sword. In order to make up for my own shortcomings and improve myself day by day. In this era of war and chaos, human beings, it is too fragile and can only be slaughtered by monsters with a little bit of strength. Facing bandits and deserters, it is also inevitable that they will be robbed and ed. Dao Chiu clenched his fists, showing a hint of unwillingness. Then he explained more excitedly. Thankfully, in the process of forging hundreds of blades, I finally realized that the stronger the yin energy, the sharper the blade. After understanding this, I not only no longer hate war, but also hope it would be better if there were more wars in various places. At this time, I visited the ruins of battlefields in various places and specially collected the broken knives filled with the blood of regret and resentment. Because those broken knives are the forging materials with extremely strong yin energy. And because I often go to the ruins of battlefields to collect broken knives, a lot of yin qi gradually wraps around my body. At that moment, my yin qi attracted the dragon man. And I was entrusted by the dragon man to use his scales to create the magical demon sword that seizes ghosts. Boss Xia, this ghost catching weapon is my masterpiece. The mountain ghost's mind reading SS took effect, and Li Xia was immediately more satisfied after confirming that the other party was not lying. Well done. He first gave absolute affirmation, and then changed the subject. However, Dao Chiu, I don't like weapons made of yin energy and broken knives. This kind of blade carries the risk of biting the owner, so it is not considered a perfect blade. Next, I hope you can use the two dragon fangs and ghost teeth I provided for you, as well as some other top materials to create a two-stage sword. 
the so-called two-stage formula. In fact, it is a top-notch weapon similar to the Tai Shaya. No demonic power is injected into it, just a normal form. Once demonic power is injected into it, it can transform into the top-notch sword. And Li Xia's ambitions don't stop there. He also hoped that by injecting spiritual power, fairy power, and divine power into the sword, he could also achieve qualitative changes of different natures. In other words, a knife can serve several or even a dozen purposes. Coincidentally, the relevant technology was handed over by Toto Sai to the extremely talented real disciple Hazenbo. Hazenbo was captured by someone for a while during his lifetime, and was resurrected by clay technology not long ago. Labor Reform there was a high probability that Toto Sai would not have expected that Li Xia took a shortcut and mastered it perfectly even though he refused to teach him. How's it going? Are you confident to take on this challenge? Dao Chiu took a breath and nodded solemnly. With the help of Hui Ren Fang, there will definitely be no problem. He knows very well that if he cannot show great value, he may not be able to occupy a place in this straw team, and it is very likely that he will be replaced. And after he tasted the sweetness of Mana Magatama, he said he didn't want to fall behind. Mortals seek immortality. It may not be impossible. Isn't this person in front of me a good role model? Even if you are just a vassal, as long as you can get power and enjoy immortality what's wrong with being a vassal? Many so-called big shots couldn't squeeze in even if their heads were squeezed. Soon. The second stage magic weapon plan is launched. A top human swordsmith, a genius swordsmith among monsters. The two worked together, one side studied how to build a two-stage demon sword seizing soul, and the other side used the fire-tip spear to penetrate the dragon scales first. There is no way, the quasi-first-class fire-pointed gun is too much of a hindrance. If it is not strengthened, Li Xia's comprehensive combat power will be seriously affected. Dragon scales fire-tip spear didn't have to wait long for Li Xia to be finished. The moment he got the fire point spear, Li Xia first used the copy dragon human demonic power to complete the transformation of the weapon. And then used part of the dragon bone demonic power to give certain enhancements to the thunder aspect. The dragon bone essence, which has less than a third of its flesh and blood left, has had a hard time. Always silently and selflessly dedicating his blood and bones. If this world of monsters were all good monsters like this, then the whole world would be very beautiful, right? The thunder aspect has been greatly strengthened, but the flame aspect. To this. Li Xia subconsciously looked up to the south where the fire country was. Because of his own reasons, Neraku had no intention and no need to go out and the lonely big hen like he did in the original timeline. But he knew very well the cruelty of the bird demon clan. That's all. Just think of yourself as helping Neraku wipe his butt. The Iron Chicken's flame demon power is at least much stronger than the flame characteristics of the fire tip gun itself. The two brothers Mangu and Snakeigu also found traces of the four soul imitation jade. It's not that these two are good at tracking, it's just that they move too fast. Neraku Waihai's transformation has also come to an end. At this moment, Neraku's aura was extremely amazing. The huge evil and demonic energy caused the surrounding area to be shrouded in thick demonic clouds for more than 10 miles. The aquatic animals in the sea that are hundreds of miles away have stayed away from this water area. By Tongzi, let's hunt a soul monster. We need to build a fortress for the heart. As the sun set, the fire ignited and spread rapidly. Damn it, it was a waste of time. This village is really poor. When a group of bandits were robbing a small village, the leader on horseback pouted. The little boss also echoed unhappily. Yes, there isn't much food, water or wine. We are so poor that we can't even see a mouse. It's really unlucky. In order to vent his anger, he ed two more innocent villagers. Damn it, all your work was in vain. This place is on the outskirts of the Kingdom of Fire, unlike the desolate interior of the Kingdom of Fire, which is full of volcanoes and rocks. This is the transition zone between desolate volcanoes and green mountains and green waters. Originally, I could barely farm and feed many villagers. Unfortunately, due to such harassment by bandits, it will be impossible for anyone to move to this area for a long time to come. Brothers, let's retreat. The big boss ordered. Okay, head. 
many vicious bandits could only reluctantly take very limited supplies and leave this village where the fire was burning and the strong smell of blood spread before night fell. The smell of blood can easily attract mountain spirits and wild monsters. However, at this moment, the discerning bandit discovered sowing strange in the sky dyed red by the setting sun. What is that? It looks like a flock of birds. What a big group. At this time, no one realized that the danger was approaching rapidly. It wasn't until the flock of birds approached that the group of bandits clearly saw that it was a large bird that was half as tall as a man and looked like a pterosaur. More like the group of small Zoga in the ancient ruins Loli in Ultraman Tiga the movie. Seeing these monster birds, the big boss immediately changed his color. No, it's a flock of demonic birds. Brothers, be careful. Before he finished speaking, the flock of demonic birds were already swooping down, like fighter jets. These harpies come in groups. Their beaks are like sharp knives and their claws are as sharp as razor blades. The appearance of the demonic birds has only one purpose, and that is to suck blood. And with just one face-to-face -face meeting, the bandit gang was completely wiped out. The bandits who had ensured their own food and clothing on weekdays all became the blood bags of the monster birds, and the blood in their bodies was sucked dry. It was at this time that a flame cloud fell from the sky. The flame cloud formed by the flame dissipated, revealing a beautiful woman with long hair, a graceful figure, and a curved front and back. Don't fight, everyone, there are plenty of prey. But listen carefully, don't miss a drop of blood. While she was talking, a big bird landed on her shoulder and looked very close to it. The person who came was none other than the bird princess of the bird demon clan of Hiji. When the harpies complete their mission, the group flew into the sky in mighty force and returned to the hinterland of the fire country. After one day, Li Xia invited a friend to ride with him and rode his flaming hoof directly to the kingdom of fire, which was under the control of the former West Kingdom near present-day Kumamoto Prefecture on Kyushu Island. Along the way, the two discovered many dilapidated villages. The corpses of human villagers are lying everywhere in the village. These villagers generally have one characteristic, that is, not a drop of blood is left in their bodies. They must have been sucked clean by some kind of monster. Seeing this, someone squinted his eyes in understanding. Sure enough, the Iron Chicken mother and daughter started to do evil. To be precise, some time ago, Abhijit's mother, the veteran monster Iron Chicken who almost ruled the entire fire country, greedily devoured the leader of the poisonous ghost clan in another nearby country. As a result, I became poisoned. In order to help her mother detoxify, Abhiji, a daughter, collected human blood everywhere in the land of fire and used human blood to dilute the poisonous blood in her mother's body. In the original timeline, Naraku was so uneasy and well-intentioned that the disaster area spread to several nearby countries. But in the end, Naraku ed the Iron Chicken mother and daughter one after another. But in the current timeline, Naraku has disappeared. If he didn't consider devouring this strange mother and daughter, there is a high probability that he would not have come all the way here to find trouble for the Iron Chicken mother and daughter. This place was also attacked by monsters, and not even a drop of blood was left. What do those monsters want to do? Kikio took back the dead soul bug he released, and then whispered to himself seriously. Li Xia had sharp ears and heard it, but he didn't say much. On the contrary, I am deeply moved. In this era, ordinary mortals are really like grass if the power is not in their own hands, they will not be safe after all. No matter what he said, he would not be willing to be the type to be slaughtered by others. In this way, it is not difficult to understand why the swordsmith Dao Chiu desperately made a demon sword to capture ghosts, just for the power of self-protection. It is not difficult to understand why the Taogua man from Taoyuan Township wants to turn against his immortal master. That guy even wants to take a shortcut and get involved in the field of immortality through the elixir of life. They are so ambitious that they will fight to the death if anyone blocks their way. Unfortunately, Li Xia seems to be becoming more and more like such a person. But he is not as extreme as Peach Man. In terms of perseverance, he is even more impressive. Let's go and catch a monster nearby and ask. After the two settled on this point, they acted very efficiently. It didn't take long to realize that this was a good thing done by the Maitarori clan. What should I say? That Iron Chicken is a big monster that has lived for thousands of years, and his daughter, 
Princess Abi, is not a good person. She is a bit difficult to mess with. Li Xia asked. You don't need to provoke me. Since you saw it, just get rid of it. Kikio checked the bow and arrows on her body, and then took the lead to ride on Yanho. This caused Yan Ti to snort several times angrily. This woman is too casual. Li Xiaoming nodded with a smile on his face, but secretly he curled up the corners of his mouth in an imperceptible arc. Then he jumped on his horse and maintained a position with Platycodon Grandiflorum. Leave that big iron chicken to me, and Abhijit to you. Let's fight quickly and seek justice for the villagers who died. When he said this, he was upright and upright. Yanho snorted again, then turned into fire and disappeared into the sky. The Fire Nation is huge. After all, it covers most of Kyushu Island. But if we just lock the Iron Chicken mother and daughter, it will be very simple. On a bare mountain peak hundreds of meters high. Countless monster birds are entrenched here. This is the headquarters of the Maitarori clan. What's very coincidental is that at this moment, the three direct descendants of the leader of the poisonous ghost clan are cleaning up the monster birds along the steep mountain wall while confronting Abhiji. Abhiji, ask your mother to come out and give us an explanation. Why did she eat our father some time ago? If your mother doesn't come out and give us brothers an explanation, you, the Imperial Bird Clan, will not have an easy time today. Three large poisonous insects whose upper parts were humanoid and whose lower parts were spiders. With the help of the cover of the mist rising from the bottom of the valley, had already reached the cave where the iron chicken was hiding. Humph, I've eaten all the food, how can there be so many reasons? But you are so brave, how dare you come here? And he even brazenly said that he wanted to show off to my Matori clan. Who gave you the courage? Abhijit acted quite simply. He waved his hand with a very high temperature demon fire and directly engulfed the one who had the most trouble among the three brothers. The flames burned for a moment, and in a few blinks, the charred figure fell into the misty abyss under the steep mountain wall. Brother. The other two poisonous ghosts were shocked and angry. You don't overestimate your capabilities. Are you the only ones who want to beat me, Princess Abi? Abhiji smiled disdainfully. She is a high-level shape-shifting yukai who has half-stepped into the realm of great monsters. As a princess of the Imperial Bird Clan, her bloodline is even more noble. The body is bleeding with the blood of the great demon bird of the underworld. Who are the poisonous ghosts? Abi, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, our brothers are indeed far inferior to you. At this point, the two monsters from the poisonous ghost clan showed a look of fear. But soon, it was replaced by full of resentment and hatred, and there was also a scene of determination and confidence. This time, our entire poisonous ghost clan is here. Before Abhijit took action again, the two brothers retreated into the thick fog under the mountain wall. But not long after, a faint sound came from below. Densely dense groups of poisonous ghosts climbed up, much larger than hundreds of demonic birds. Abhi, see our power. Die by our venom. After one of the poison ghosts touched it, they immediately opened their mouths and spit out streams of purple-black miasma poison. There is a tendency to pollute the entire valley. Abhiji gets angry. But what the woman didn't expect was. Even her high-temperature flames couldn't burn out the toxins spewed by the poisonous ghost clan. Just like her mother, she couldn't burn away the poisonous ghost leader's poison in her body. Instead, it needs to be diluted with human blood. Can't ordinary demon fire work? Realizing this, Abhiji's eyes suddenly turned blood red, and a pair of demon lines appeared on both sides of her cheeks, like a pair of blood-colored tear stains. Its arms even turned into a pair of bird claws that shone with cold light. It is very similar to the demonization of Inuyasha when his demon blood is revived. But this one is not a half-demon. They are complete and utter monsters. It just means that under the change of the demon blood boiling in her body, she who normally only has three and a half demon powers. Her demon power attributes and other abilities will be doubled or even improved several times. The formula book shows that he has nearly four and a half stars of demon power. U.S. Die. Secret S. Pyroblast. This is no ordinary demon fire. The explosive force is enough to engulf and destroy half a basketball court. Comes with explosion effects. Li Xia, 
who was coming from the distant sky, noticed the movement here through the telescope, especially after seeing Abhijit's performance of using pyroblast fire, his eyes lit up slightly. Abhijit has such a s, as a big monster, the thousand-year-old demon Tijia. Is it okay to leave that witch to you? Li Xia asked Kikio. Platy Kodan didn't make a sound, she just bent her bow and pointed the arrow in that direction. Just when Abhiji had almost dead the poisonous ghost clan, and when Flame Hoof approached the shooting range at the fastest speed, she shot out an arrow. Whoosh! Purple light blooms. Demon breaking arrow. Her little pet dead soul bugs smelled the extremely strong smell of human blood from the direction of the demonic birds. The number of humans who were robbed was not 100,000 but 30 or 50,000. I'm afraid it could turn into a river of blood. This made her completely determined to destroy these monsters. Even though she is just an undead now, she still remembers her duties as a Miko. This group of monster birds cannot be allowed to stay. Who? Abhijit, who was on the verge of ING, had a sense of crisis and was frantically warning. She had no time to dodge the arrow, so she had to control the flock of birds to deal with it, trying to buy as much time as possible. With the power of one arrow, at least hundreds of demonic birds were turned into powder. What followed was a passing by and the lingering power that spread, which also greatly reduced the demonic aura of the princess of the Mitarori clan. Human Miko. Why are you so strong? This made her pupils shrink and her expression change drastically. A big hen hidden in the mountain also felt a strong threat. There's not much to say. Two green gold and purple gold cards flew out. And a poisonous dragon with a body length of nearly 200 meters and a mountain ghost that was more than a hundred meters high appeared on the left and right. Hold head high. The poisonous dragon and flying dragon are in the sky. Roar. The mountain ghost fell to the ground like a meteor. This person can actually control the big monster. Two powerful auras burst out, causing Abhiji to break out in cold sweat. The iron chicken hiding in the shocking mountain suddenly got goosebumps all over. Nothing else. The energy emitted by the two Shikigami was superior to theirs. It is true that she is a great monster who has lived for thousands of years, but compared to all the great monsters in this land, her demon power and strength are not top-notch. Otherwise, the Maitarori clan would not be like the Hundred Ghost Bat clan, just occupying one side. That human and the undead witch, the monster horse riding under them seems to be a big monster. The more the mother and daughter felt each other, the more frightened they became. In the original timeline, they could look down on the powerful Naraku because Naraku was only half-demon. Not many yukai would think highly of a half-demon. But this mother and daughter have never underestimated monsters of the same level. Especially when Abhiji faced the holy master constructed by Kikio using the Shikigami OD, she ran away easily. Guys, we have no grievances or grudges. What do you mean? The mother and daughter had no fighting spirit at the moment. Really, the gap is too big. No matter how proud he is, TG doesn't think he can defeat three people of the same level by himself. What's more, she is now in a weak state due to poisoning, so there is no chance. You have ed so many innocent villagers, you mother and daughter. Deserve to die. Li Xia, who put on the mask of the era tree, said with great righteousness. The next moment, he jumped on top of the poisonous dragon and rode the dragon to him. Seeing that figure who was not very tall but gave people an extra sense of solidity and peace of mind, Kikio's eyes were filled with brilliance. He quickly withdrew his gaze and bent his bow again. Are you here for those lowly mortals? The mother and daughter felt inexplicably ridiculous. In order to protect the human villagers in the villages, mages and witches often fought against monsters but mages and witches rarely took the initiative to monsters' lairs for a few dead humans. Not to mention dealing with a big monster group like them that dominates one area. Before Iron Chicken and Abhijit could think much, the attack had already arrived. At the bottom of the valley, the mountain ghost gathered strength and punched the mountain with a heavy punch. The violent demon power exploded and rushed straight along the mountain wall to the top of the mountain. Kacha Kacha. Rocks exploded, the mountain collapsed, and a huge white bird that was 50 or 60 meters in size, with blue flames burning on its wings and many parts of its body, was forced to appear. It was the big monster that almost ruled the fire country iron rooster. 
The flames lingering around the big hen at this moment are not as strong as when the original work recovered listening to its breathing, it looks heavy, as if it is suffering from a serious illness. Mother. Abhiji was shocked and angry. However, Li Xia had no intention of giving mother and daughter a chance. The poisonous dragon's huge dragon claw fell, taking advantage of the woman's distraction, to dozens of demonic birds blocking the way, and then landed heavily on the woman's back. He swatted it away and crashed straight towards the iron chicken. When the big hen saw this, her eyes breathed fire. You guys go too far to deceive others. Immediately he opened his mouth and spit out a pillar of scorching fire. This pillar of fire spread hundreds of meters and quickly hit the mountain ghost below the valley, engulfing the mountain ghost in an instant. The flames were enough to cover most of a football field. At the same time, she also controlled hundreds of demonic birds in the sky, attacking the poisonous dragon and platycodon grandiflorum riding the flaming hooves. The bodies of the monster birds burned with flames, like the fire of hell. Snort. Li Xia snorted coldly. After approaching the poisonous dragon, the other dragon's claw tore up a large number of harpies, and they were about to line up on the iron chicken's head. At this moment, a pink light curtain appeared. The sharp dragon claws grabbed it, causing violent ripples. Enchantment. On the dragon's head, Li Xia raised his eyebrows. He didn't expect that iron chicken could quickly set up barriers. And although this barrier is not as good as the barrier of the Hundred Ghost Bat Clan, it is still a rare and powerful barrier. The dragon's claws pierced into the barrier, but were then pushed out by Tai Ji, who used all his strength to release his demonic power to bless the barrier. Not only that. The moment the iron chicken drove away the poisonous dragon, it spread its wings and flew into the air, and its whole body shone with golden light. Die. As his wings flapped, pieces of golden flame fireballs several meters in diameter flew out. It enveloped the crispier-looking platycodon. Before Yan Ho could dodge, Li Xia had already controlled the giant cyan dragon to block the front. Boom boom boom. This scene made a look of surprise flash across Kikyo's eyes. Immediately, at the moment when Li Xia and Poisonous Dragon withstood the fire, they were pushed back to the side by the huge impact caused by the large-scale SS. Behind him. Whoosh! The sound of arrows taking off their strings and the sound of breaking through the air sounded almost in no particular order. Then, starting from the arrowhead, a bright lavender light bloomed. Every one of the flame demon birds affected by the light was purified, and no traces of it were left. This is Kikyo's demon breaking arrow. If Ali's demon breaking arrow is comparable to a rifle, then Kikyo's demon breaking arrow belongs to the category of a cannon. Ali certainly has an exclusive talent that Kikyo doesn't have, which is the ability to ignore any obstacles that prevent him from hitting the target's core. But compared to Platycodon in his heyday, Ali's use of spiritual power and the amount of his own spiritual power are far behind. That's not all. The remaining power of the demon breaking arrow still existed, and it hit the pink barrier light curtain in the blink of an eye. The energy barrier that the dragon's claws could not tear apart at once was actually like paper and could be broken with a single poke. TG and Apiji were both shocked. What is the origin of that undead witch? Seeing the bright purple arrow heading straight for his head, Tai Ji immediately released the form of the giant bird without thinking. And condensed into a beautiful woman with a plump body, high chest, and a look of sadness on her face. He also managed to avoid a fatal arrow. So close. The arrow almost hit her between the eyebrows. Fortunately, in the end, he just brushed her scalp and passed by. Abominable human mage, abominable undead witch. This woman is dressed in white with feathers, and is extremely luxurious. Standing next to my daughter who was originally strong but still delicate, it was truly a beautiful sight. The mother and daughter supporting each other looked even more charming and charming now, and I felt pity for them. Pft. Teleport thrust. The beautiful woman looked at the bright red spear head emerging from between the two peaks, and at the spear tip emerging from the chest. She opened her mouth and wanted to say sewing, but she couldn't make it in time. With just one encounter, the majestic iron chicken, who had ruled the fire country for many years, was completely absorbed by dragon scales fire tip spear in the form of countless golden light spots. After the dragon man's ability is applied to weapons, he is so domineering. Hiss. 
Li Xia, who was holding the dragon scale fire tip spear, let out a sound of pain. Then he decisively let go of his hands and let the fire pointed spear fall to the ground. Looking at the palms of his hands again, two scorching burn marks appeared in just a moment. I didn't expect the return of demon power to be so fierce. Li Xia was secretly surprised. I decided to go back and find a Cuxian to talk to the demon spirit Great Sage about his life ideals. Mother? Abhiji's eyes were a little dazed. Where has your darling mother gone? Before she could resist, the mutated dead soul insect jumped out and sucked most of her soul away. Immediately afterwards, the demonic sword seizing ghost stabbed into the seriously injured woman's heart with a pop. The blade pierced the chest. Destroy flowers with a thorny hand, but that's all. Aha! Uh -huh. Abhijit's sound of pain was full of ups and downs. This time, Li Xiao learned well. The moment he succeeded, he decisively withdrew his right hand and stopped grabbing the handle of the knife. After being burned once, he didn't want to be burned a second time. Immediately, the monster princess who watched as the Maitarori clan was eaten up and wiped clean by the demon snatcher. This demon sword and your spear are both dangerous and may backfire on their owner. Are you sure you don't want to suppress them or simply destroy them? Platycodon Grandiflorum also came over on Yen Ho at this time. The girl in a witch costume stands tall and graceful, holding a long bow, making her look even more heroic. But at this moment, the girl frowned slightly. Don't worry, there is already some special connection between the fire spear and me this demon knife called Ghost Caesar is just a replacement during the transitional period. I will wash away the evil spirit and resentment they are contaminated with in the future. Li Xia responded with a smile. Of course he understood the significance. The iron chicken mother and daughter ed so many humans, especially the big hen. During this period, in order to dilute the poison in her body, she sucked in countless human blood. If you think about it with your toes, you will understand how much resentment is in the blood. Everyone, rest in peace. I have avenged you. Picking up the cooled fire tip spear and demon knife to seize ghosts again, Li Xia whispered to the two knives. When it comes to catching ghosts, his idea is simple it's just a power bank. Now, the two-stage demonic sword seizing soul has not been figured out by Daoqiu and Hui Renfang. You can use ghost seizing first to collect and accumulate various demonic powers. It won't be too late to wait until the demon sword Duopa that truly belongs to him is born, and then give it to Duopa to absorb. Ha, ha. Wield the spear and make a show of it. A fireball with golden firelight condensed rapidly on the flame tip of the fire tip gun, and then was thrown out. After hitting a hilltop, a violent explosion occurred. The effect is somewhat similar to the pyroblast used by Abhijit. However, the power is more than ten times greater. The huge mountaintop was blown to pieces wherever the flames swept through, blood like magma turned into streams and flowed. Li Xia was very satisfied when he saw this. The fire tip spear, which absorbed Tiji's fire type demonic power, did not disappoint him. At the same time, I secretly thought in my heart it's better to come sooner than to come sooner. As expected of the big monster in the original work that made Grandpa Mingjia take the initiative to retreat. If he hadn't been poisoned, I'm afraid a fight would have been inevitable. The mountain-like iron chicken has huge demonic power. Not only can it spit out blazing flames from its mouth, but it can also use its wings to fan up and create a wide area of golden high-temperature fireballs. It can burn mountains and boil seas. It is a rare sight in this land. A master of playing with fire. The fire tip gun absorbed the flames of the iron chicken, which added a layer of foundation. Moreover, it seems that there is another ability that is more terrifying than fire. From now on, the fire pointed spear will truly live up to its name. Who is the next? Kikio spoke up, interrupting his thoughts. This Miko's wisdom is not low. If she hadn't been blinded by the so called love, even if she gave Neraku a hundred chances, that guy wouldn't have been able to sneak up on her. With this woman's normal wisdom, she couldn't detect that some of his little thoughts were abnormal. Will you help me? Li Xia stopped smiling and narrowed his eyes slightly. You brought me here specially, and your purpose is indeed not pure. Kikio smoothed her hair. Li Xia's mouth twitched. These monsters are doing evil everywhere. 
shouldn't we try our best to them to ensure the peace of one party? But do you really think so? Platycodon Soul Torture asked. Don't care what I think. What we do is ultimately beneficial to all the creatures living on this land. That's enough, isn't it? Li Xia shrugged. Okay, don't worry about this anymore. Then again, he did have his own plans for inviting Kikio to accompany him this time. The big Osmanthus mask fused with the poisonous dragon does have a sense of the four soul fragments, but it is not strong. At least not as strong as Ali and Kikio's sensitivity to the four soul fragments. If you take Kikio with you on a journey, there is a certain chance that you will meet Neriku who is carrying the fragment of the four souls. This is one of them. Secondly, he undoubtedly took a fancy to Kikio's ability as a Miko. The strongest Miko after Tsueizi is no joke. With Platycodon by his side, he has an extra trump card in dealing with all kinds of big monsters. For example, when he just broke through Iron Chicken's powerful barrier, it was thanks to the Demon Breaking Arrow. If you use the poisonous dragon's claws to tear it apart, it will take a while. There is a powerful thug to accompany him, and he is also a pleasing thug. I believe no normal man would refuse. At last. By the way, it is to toss Neriku's mentality. If Neriku had been secretly monitoring him with the help of Sai Mengsheng, imagine that he would be so angry that he would be furious by now, right? Neriku, look at it, what you can't get despite all your efforts, we can get it at your fingertips. Just asking are you angry? Let's go and take a look at the gate to the underground world on the edge of the Kingdom of Fire. As for where exactly that door is? Ask the local snake of Hiji the remnant soul and you will know immediately. Neriku, who has not yet returned to land, did not specially arrange for the strongest to track Li Xia. But there were still many poisonous insects that he had scattered throughout this land long ago. Among them are those arranged near the Kingdom of Fire. In the original timeline, he was able to find the Iron Chicken mother and daughter in a short period of time. And made clear arrangements for the Iron Chicken mother and daughter in the following days if there is no spy on Kyushu Island's fire country, just say it. No one believes it. Jikio, I will definitely you with my own hands, for sure. And that human mage really deserves to die. The northern coast of western China. The white boy holding a magenta barrier was leading a little boy back across the sea to land. Two days later. According to the news from the strongest victors. Finally, they found traces of the soul monster. Who are those light groups? The human between the two young men spoke. He is Coral's younger brother Amber who has been missing for a long time. It's just a human soul. A boy in white clothes said softly. By Tomzi is not tall, but he is carrying a spurge that is nearly three meters tall. This halberd was condensed by Neriku using the hardest bones in his body, and it has many wonderful uses. The signature S is to hold up a barrier, which is also a magenta high-level barrier. In other words, Baitongzi's limit can open two layers of enchantment. Why did someone prepare a double barrier for the clone? Naturally, it's because he suffered from the lack of barrier strength. Anyway, the strength is not enough, so it is better to make up the quantity. This time, the barrier also has a positioning effect. To elaborate, Neriku can teleport over long distances through these two barriers. Just like the operation in the original timeline, dragging the broken body back from the monster cemetery to the living world. Speaking of which, how could Neriku in the original anime master this move? Could it be that during the plot of the movie Agat Maru, Neriku resurrected the dead tree of time and devoured the tree of time that was seriously injured and had little demonic power left? According to Tai Suya's performance, Agat Maru's plot should take place before Bailing Mountain, or even before the red Tai Suya appears. In addition, the time when the two maids of Onyx Maru first tested Sesomaru was before the ghost ghost appeared. Because there were no fighting ghosts and gods in the ING Hall at that time when it came time to test Inuyasha and his party, it was after the dragon bone spirit. This just explains that Sesomaru did not fight ghosts and gods when he appeared, and Inuyasha mastered the bug of blasting. Buzz. Strange fluctuations of demonic power came. By Tongzi, who flew closer to the village, felt this fluctuation, especially when he later witnessed a huge white monster with a head like a catfish and a body like a snake. A rare smile appeared on his face. It's definitely a soul monster. The soul monsters attacked the village and devoured a large number of human souls, 
but the soul monsters had no interest in the souls. No, in the eyes of powerful monsters or people with special abilities, blue light spots continued to float over the village at this time, and finally disappeared. These blue light points, or blue light groups, are the human souls. In the Li family and the world of practitioners in mainland China, it is believed that soul is Yang Qi, which constitutes people's thinking and intelligence. Pe is the rough and heavy yin energy that constitutes the human body. The soul also represents yin and yang, and the harmony of yin and yang ensures human health. When a human dies normally, the yang qi will immediately return to the sky, and the soul will fly high into the sky. However, the yin qi also known as pu will not leave the body in a short period of time. Before the pu is completely disintegrated and separated from the body, if the body can be repaired and the soul can be retrieved, it can even bring people back to life. Corpses often channel spirits and turn into soulless zombies that can move and hurt people. This is because the soul does not break away from the body and return to the ground. Platycodon's clay body regularly needs to be replenished with the dead souls of newly deceased girls. The dead souls here mainly refer to the souls that have not yet collapsed. Baitongzi is here. There was a flash of cold light. The soul monster had his head chopped off directly. There seems to be a terrifying power hidden in the small body, and the speed is also quite impressive. After paired with the enchantment, it is more than enough to challenge some big monsters. Amber, split its stomach. But you have to pay attention, the soul monster's stomach is very close to the skin, only more than a foot. Don't hurt its stomach. By Tongzi reminded. Amber nodded upon hearing this. When he carefully opened the soul monster's belly with a bone knife, he immediately revealed countless green light balls densely packed inside. What are these crammed in light balls? The young man was full of surprise. These are human souls. Soul. Just think of it as the life it took. What are we collecting these souls for? You'll find out soon enough. The frontier of the Fire Nation. A land of volcanoes. There is a rift valley leading deep underground. What a spooky place. Li Xia and Kikio, who received information about this place from Abhiji's remnant soul, arrived here on flaming hoofs. In fact, Grandpa Mingjia knew about this place, but some of his details were not suitable for those old antiques to know. Want to go in? Kikio turned sideways and turned around to ask. Certainly. After receiving Li Xia's affirmation, Yan Ho turned into a ray of fire and disappeared into the darkness underground. The underground world is huge. It is thirty or forty meters high. Along the way, many broken sculptures that resembled monsters were piled up. Why do you say they are similar? Because most of the sculptures on the ground only have a head left, and many of the sculptures are indeed made of clay, without any appearance of flesh and blood. There were no monster bones either. And the deeper these clay sculptures go, the more dense they become. After controlling the speed and flying for a while, the two of them arrived in front of a huge stone door. This is a large door, oval in shape, twenty meters high, and closed by a chain. On both sides of the gate stands a huge stone statue more than twenty meters high. In front of the stone statue, there are two flames burning that never seem to go out. The two stone statues should be the gatekeepers who appear in the original work to guard the door to the monster cemetery the bull head and the horse face. Is this the gateway to another world that you said? Kikio's face showed a rare seriousness. Li Xia nodded easily. Opposite this door is the area between this world and the next, also known as the Monster Cemetery. Just when he was still about to say sewing, a voice suddenly came from asking. Do you want to go there? Who? Kikio looked around vigilantly, but found nothing. Finally, his eyes were fixed on the two stone statues. Answer me, do you want to go there or don't want to go there? The voice of inquiry came out again. Li Xia had no intention of talking to Minotaur horse noodles at the moment. His eyes lit up when he saw the flames burning in front of the two stone statues that had been burning for thousands or even ten thousand years and had never been extinguished. The flames here probably have sewing magical about them. Otherwise, how can it keep burning without adding fuel for thousands of years? Okay, no matter if there is anything special or not, let's collect a little bit first and then talk about it. Therefore, he jumped out and then tried to use several sealing talismans to seal the blazing flames burning in some huge stone lamps. 
this attempt immediately revealed to him the magic of these two flames. One is that there is a strange demonic power in the flames, and ordinary intermediate spirit sealing talismans cannot seal these flames. As long as the talisman is contaminated with the slightest spark, it will be burned to ashes in the blink of an eye. The high quality intermediate soul sealing talisman of better quality can be sealed, but it cannot be sealed for a long time. To this, he was surprised and happy. Okay, okay. The weirder this flame is, the better it is for him. So, he unceremoniously used Dragon Scale's fire tipped spear to absorb the strange demonic power in the two flames, turning the originally bright and huge underground space into darkness. Then the fire pointed spear in his hand made a show of playing tricks, and immediately smashed several huge golden fireballs at the two stone statues. Let the darkness be dispelled again. The flames bombarded the two stone statues and exploded immediately, followed by continuous explosions. After finishing, he jumped back on Yanho's back. But at this time, he had already ridden in front of Kikio. He didn't have the habit of letting women stand in his way. Humph, it seems you have thought about it. The stone statue made a sound for the third time. But now he sounded a little more angry. Is it really useless? Li Xia squinted his eyes. The blazing fire that could melt rocks and blow up mountains in the outside world had no effect on the two stone statues standing on both sides of the stone gate in front of them. The two large stone statues, one on the left and one on the right, showed no signs of damage. Not only that, it now looks like it is reborn from the ashes. When Platycodon saw this, her eyes moved slightly. The next moment, an arrow was fired brazenly. However, after the brilliant purple light hit the two living stone statues, it still had no effect. My demon-breaking arrows are useless. Why? We are not earthly people, and earthly weapons cannot hurt us. Bang, bang. The two big feet fell down, and Yanho dodged in a flash. When he looked back, he saw that a huge hole had been created in the ground. Yanho was very unhappy about this. The moment he snorted, he flashed again, and the horse's hoofs kicked the cow's head and the horse's face one after another. Two big guys were embedded into the side mountain wall. It's useless. The two guys, whose bodies were made of special rocks, completely ignored the attacks from Flame Hoof. After Yan Ho heard this, he snorted angrily again, and a large amount of flames came out of his nostrils. Fighting in this limited space is very detrimental to it and inconvenient for its performance. Otherwise, even if it cannot hurt the other party, the other party will not even be able to touch a hair on it, and it will be invincible. But now, the opponent is invincible because of its immortal body, but it is like walking on a tightrope, having to dodge the incoming attacks. Huchi Huchi. Angry. Li Xia touched the flame mane on Yan Ho's neck and comforted him don't worry, I won't give them good things to eat. As the sound fell, two cards flew out, and poisonous dragon and mountain ghost were summoned by him. Help me control them. Hold head high. Roar. A layer of hard and thick diamond armor spread out from the mountain ghost's arms, and his demonic power reached six stars. The poisonous dragon's dragon claws were wrapped around the exploded thunder armor, and its demonic power was also approaching six stars. Then, the two of them pressed down one on the left and the other with crushing force. The two stone statues with a bull's head and a horse's face were not given a chance to continue causing trouble. Schwa. Clang. The sound of fine iron clashing came out. Dragon Scale's fire-tipped spear struck the stone statue's body, but it had no scraping effect. It's useless. It's impossible for earthly weapons to us. Of course Li Xia understands this. Because of this, he was not frustrated at all, but full of expectations. Maybe. But just because I can't you doesn't mean I can't deal with you too. A high-level soul-sealing talisman appeared. He doesn't have much left of this strategic grade material now. Originally, he plundered seven from the Li family's inventory one was used to strengthen the contract with the mountain ghost. One was used to strengthen the contract with the Daguisha mask and the poisonous dragon, and one was used to strengthen the relationship with the era tree mask. Another contract was used. There was also one used on Yen Hu. Considering that after the fire point spear is channeled, it is best to use the high-level spirit sealing talisman to make a wave of contracts. 
The high-level spirit sealing talisman that can be used is very tight. I just hope it's not a waste if I use it on you too. Shrine, Altar, Mantra. Forced Contract. Now we have research materials. The situation of the two guardians with a bull's head and a horse's face is very much like an advanced version of the clay body. Although they are restrained by the natural teeth, they are still very powerful regardless of the natural teeth. Once mass production. Once the hidden danger of such creatures being restrained by natural teeth is solved. This is the best source of troops. Finished here. Immediately embarked on the return journey. After traveling thousands of miles, I passed by a village. What the hell is that thing wreaking havoc on the ground? On Yanho's back, the two noticed a humanoid monster that was made up of countless miscellaneous monsters. This monster is currently wreaking havoc on the village, slaughtering the villagers who have no power to resist. Go down and have a look. Kikio took out the longbow. Behind the witch, Li Xia, who had already realized what it was, didn't want to meddle in other people's business at this time. Wrong. To be precise, he actually wanted to act alone. The mountain roads around the village are littered with corpses of monsters. In the village, a large number of human beings were ed. Kikio frowned when she saw this scene. Soon, she locked onto a strange monster. It seems that it is the other party who caused all of this. He immediately shot a demon-breaking arrow without even thinking about it. Purple light bloomed, and the four different monsters causing destruction in the village were immediately destroyed. What exactly is going on? The girl murmured to herself. Li Xia's eyes flickered and he echoed. It looks like it is pieced together by countless monsters, and is somewhat similar to the semi-finished product of witch and goo art. But isn't the witch and goo art a fusion created by Neraku in a closed barrier environment? How can it be placed in it? Is the outside coming? Moreover, whether it is the recovery or destructive power of the finished product of witchcraft. It is definitely more than this performance level let alone the current four-faced beast, there will be no flaws such as uncoordinated movements and slow movement speed. That guy Neraku would not create such a body full of problems for himself. As his voice fell, a large number of green light groups suddenly emerged from the broken flesh and blood of the stitch monster. Is that the soul of a monster? At this moment, Li Xia also narrowed his eyes slightly. There are so many thoughts in my mind. That's not the soul, it's the soul. Kikio looked closer. While investigating, he gave a brief explanation as a mage, you should know that there are souls and souls in people or animals. The soul is the heart, that is, the soul the soul is the power that makes the body move. So where did the souls of these monsters go? Just now, apart from the dissipated souls, no souls were found. Li Xia touched his chin and suppressed some of the enthusiasm in his heart. Kikio didn't notice this at all. After examining the stumps of the unusual stitch monster, he shook his head. As long as there is a soul, even soulless corpses can still move. There is no trace of demon power left in the corpses of these monsters. It can be seen that they have been dead for a long time. When they died, the soul disappeared, but the soul did not. Disappeared. Since then, he has been relying on the support of his soul to carry out instinctive activities. Let's go and take a walk around here. Maybe there is more than one monster that relies on soul to move. Really? In the coming time. The two of them visited more than a dozen villages and ed dozens of similar suture monsters. There are many monsters made up of monster bodies, and their goals seem to be very unified. Exactly human beings. Strange, why are these things getting closer and closer to human form? At the beginning, it was a different looking stitch monster. But as time went on, the shapes of many monsters became more and more like humanoids. Could someone be conducting experiments? And these monsters are just test subjects. Li Xia reminded. It should be. And the materials used by the other party for the experiment were monster bodies and human souls. This is probably why after we ed those monsters, only some souls flew out. Kikio sighed softly. The monster's body is pieced together with a large number of human souls, and the combined monster is naturally difficult to coordinate itself. With many flaws on his body, it is inevitable that his combat effectiveness will be low. 
The purpose of making the stitch monster's body become more and more human-like is to allow the human spirit to fully exert its effect. Thinking of this, her us intention towards Naraku became even stronger. I even suddenly regretted it. Because when she was first resurrected, she had several opportunities to Naraku. But in order to allow the more efficient Naraku to collect all the four soul jade as soon as possible, she did not rush to do it. This resulted in Naraku growing in strength. And it did not grow entirely with the help of the power of the four souls jade. This time, it can be said that the innocent deaths of many villagers were caused by her change of direction. Naraku must be dealt with as soon as possible. Kikio thought secretly. Suddenly, a familiar feeling arose in her heart, which seemed to point her in the direction. Quick, go to the north. What's wrong? I sensed four soul fragments over there. Immediately, the two of them quickly flew to the north. A purple light and a fire light chased each other one after another, and finally collided with each other on a mountain top dozens of miles away. On the top of the mountain, a boy holding a halberd, a boy holding a knife, and a humanoid monster stood quietly, as if they had been waiting for a long time. The eight or nine year old kid among them looked at Yen Ho and the two people on Yen Ho's back with vigilance. The leading boy is by Tongzi. The boy is Amber. The humanoid monster is the once ferocious Hashimaru in the original work. Are you following me? By Tongzi narrowed his eyes. Kahaku and Hashimaru remained expressionless and unmoved. You have Naraku's demonic energy, so you are Naraku's new clone. The moment he saw the kid below, Li Xia couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. He was still very surprised by Bai Tongzi's appearance. After all, there were many coincidental factors in the process of this kid's appearance on the original timeline. Whether it was Naraku spitting out his own monster heart, or Monk Shenquan using the demon pestle to split one into two the key is that Naraku's heart was not hurt, there are many variables here. In his opinion, it is very possible that Naraku would not be able to give birth to a white boy because he did not have the retreat at Bailing Mountain. Result. I just practiced hard for a while, but this kid was still born. It's just human mages and undead witches. I really don't know why Naraku is so afraid of them. Sure enough, he is just an empty shell. Bai Tongzi is a cautious person and speaks very heroic words. When Li Xia heard this, the corner of his mouth twitched. In the original work, this kid seemed to be too confident and underestimated Naraku, and was finally taught how to be a good man by his father, right? That guy Naraku is not an empty shell. Why did you throw away the monster heart? It's just another layer of calculation deliberately made to improve growth efficiency. As for Platycodon Grandiflorum, she bent her bow and knocked an arrow without any delay, and immediately shot the arrow. The purple light bloomed, causing Bai Tongzi's heart to ring alarm bells. When the arrow came, he didn't dare to throw it away at all, and immediately dodged it dexterously. The arrow pierced the place where the kid was standing, and purple light immediately radiated over an area of tens of meters. Kahaku and Shinshimaru were completely unable to react, and they were all affected. First of all, the closest one was Shinshimaru. His legs squatting on the ground were purified in the blink of an eye, and were shattered out of thin air by the purple demon breaking light. Next was Amber. After being shrouded in the light of destroying demons, the black and four soul fragment on the back of his neck was instantly purified. Naraku was falling back into deep sleep at this time and was in a period of weakness. The memories that had been obscured by Naraku's tampering in the past returned one after another in tiny fragments. As a result, everyone froze on the spot. Because the images of him ing his father and relatives and hurting his sister played in his mind like a slideshow. No, no, it's not like that. That wasn't what I did. Many tragic scenes in the past made the little boy kneel on the ground and almost collapsed on the spot. When Bai Tongzi saw this, he knew that he was out of luck. He thought he had no one to rely on, but it turned out that he was so stupid in his eagerness to prove Naraku's incompetence. Platycodon bent her bow and arrow again. Li Xia suggested. Ignore Neraku's clone, shoot the humanoid monster with its legs destroyed first. Platycodon's beautiful eyes wandered, thoughtfully. But while his thoughts were whirling, the movements of his hands were not slow at all. Another demon-breaking arrow was shot, and it went straight towards the demon pill, which currently had no soul but only a human soul, 
so it could only obey orders mechanically. When Bai Tongzi saw this, he was very anxious. A voice suddenly sounded in my mind. Use the barrier to help Shin Shimaru block this arrow. It was a childish voice. It was not coming from Naraku who had entered a period of weakness and fell into a deep sleep. The next moment, a scene that surprised Kikyo appeared. Baitongzi was seen standing in front of Shinshimaru with a magenta barrier, and at the same time ordered Shinshimaru to escape with Kahaku. Then he turned to look at Platykodon on horseback. The demon-breaking arrow can't me. He is still very confident about today's advanced enchantments. However, imagination is beautiful, but reality is cruel. Whoosh! With the kid's pupils shrinking sharply in a look of disbelief on his face, Naraku's advanced barrier burst like a bubble. Impossible. My barrier. The demon-breaking arrow not only broke through the barrier of light, but also nailed him in the chest. On the chest, a purple electric arc flashed. I actually. Before he finished speaking, the barrier completely collapsed, and the figure fell to the ground from midair. Use the barrier to resist Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow? This guy is also brave. You know, in the later stage, Naraku, who absorbed the complete body demon pill and greatly increased his strength, did not dare to use the barrier to eat Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow. Sure enough, White Boy's status in Naraku's mind is just a dispensable clone in the eyes of Monster Heart Aka Boy. He is also just a tool that can be discarded easily, and his value is far less than that of War Fortress's Hashimaru. Li Xia secretly said. Previously, his suggestion to persuade Kikyo to shoot Shinshimaru first was to prove this point. Speaking of Hashimaru, he was currently spreading a pair of wings from his back, trying to escape from this place. Pity. How could you let a duck fly away when it reaches your mouth? Yanho's figure flashed, and he kicked him to the ground with one hoof, sending out a large amount of smoke and dust. Then, the mountain ghost's big claws poked out from the purple gold card. Then he pressed down with his paw. Li Xia jumped off the flaming hoof and came to the side of the seal by Tongzi. Your demon breaking arrow actually failed to it. Platykodon also dismounted and came to the kid's side. There is no evil in him, and he has quite strong demonic power in addition, he is not a complete monster, and still retains a trace of human characteristics. That's why my demon breaking arrow failed to him. Kikyo frowned and explained. At the same time, the importance attached to Neraku suddenly increased by several points. After all, even a clone like Baitongzi can now block her demon-breaking arrow. What if it were replaced by Neraku's true body? Unknowingly, Li Xia drastically changed the mentality of the witch beside him. At least he won't look down on Neraku anymore. Pfft. Dragon Scale's fire-tip spear was released and accurately inserted into Baitongzi's lower abdomen. It is impossible to let the tiger return to the mountain again. Miss Kikyo, your demon-breaking arrows can't him, but my weapons are quite capable of restraining him. Only when we cooperate with each other, learn from each other's strengths and make up for each other's shortcomings and loopholes can we achieve perfection. What do you think? In response, the Miko Kikyo pursed her lips and said nothing. As the bright red color splashed, the kid who had been sealed and lost consciousness suddenly woke up like a flashback and stared at the pair next to him with extreme reluctance. It was obviously too late to try to resist at this time. And Li Xia specially leaned into Bai Tongzi's ear and said with a smile. Your existence is really pathetic. You think you are the core, but you are abandoned by Neraku and the others. You are just a pitiful tool, the kind that can be discarded at any time. I'm not a tool, I'm not a tool. After venting his extreme unwillingness for a moment, Baitongzi quickly turned into a large number of light spots and was absorbed by Dragon Scale's fire-tip spear. A layer of white demonic flames suddenly surrounded the spear. Not only that. The moment Dragon Scale's fire-tip spear absorbed Baitongzi, Li Xia ducked nearby again, pulled out his spear and accurately stabbed Baitongzi's fallen halberd. Although he didn't know that the halberd was the aggregation of Neraku's bones, he vaguely felt that the halberd was unusual. However, this poke did not immediately break the halberd that had lost control of its owner. I saw a magenta barrier spontaneously forming on the surface of the euphorbia. Enchantment? Snort. So what about the enchantment? The dragon scale's fire-tip spear turned into a diamond fire-tip spear, 
and with one shot, the magenta barrier was immediately cut in half. The halberd made of Nariku's bones was also cut in half. Immediately afterwards, a purple demonic power overflowed from the broken halberd, and was immediately absorbed by the fire-tipped spear that was transformed into dragon scales. I don't know if it was Li Xia's misunderstanding. When he took back the fire-pointed spear, he felt that his originally only semi-first-class weapon seemed to have undergone an unknown transformation and gave birth to his own gun spirit. What are you going to do about that monster? A sprite pill? Just then. A large number of sharp tentacles suddenly shot out from under the mountain ghost's giant claws. These tentacles are like spears that can easily penetrate the rock formations on the ground. Um. The mountain ghost noticed this scene and spontaneously covered himself with a layer of diamond armor. So, all of a sudden, the sound of clanking and banging could be heard all of a sudden. Do you still have the consciousness to resist? Li Xia used a beautiful trick of spear and cut off most of the tentacles that were attacking him. However, just when he breathed a sigh of relief, he suddenly thought of the characteristics of the original Shinshimaru, and he suddenly became full of vigilance again. Turning his head to look at the side, Kikyo didn't pay attention to these scattered attacks. He was unprepared for the many broken tentacles that had been chopped to the ground, and he saw that the spearheads of the tentacles that fell to the ground twitched slightly. His face immediately changed slightly. Careful. In desperation, he teleported and held the crispy platycodon in his arms. He hugged the witch around her waist and jumped back onto Yanho's back. The next moment, all the pieces of meat that fell on the ground came to life then they recondensed into sharp-edged tentacles, and then ferociously attacked the place where the two were standing. If some ordinary people had been standing where they were a second ago, they would have been dug into a hornet's nest. Those minced meats can actually move. Kikio's eyes also condensed. Li Xia said in a deep voice. Don't forget Nariku's characteristics. The guy below is actually very similar to Nariku. Nariku used his own soul to control every piece of flesh in the body of 10,000 monsters while the monster below used his own soul to control every inch of flesh and blood in his body. If I guessed correctly, the clone of Nariku that I had just now wanted to use a large number of monsters and human souls to build a powerful war fortress for Nariku. Every trace of flesh and blood in this war fortress probably represents a human soul. There seems to be only one soul monster in this land that has reached the level of an advanced monster. Because only the belly of a soul monster can accommodate a large amount of soul, and ordinary monsters cannot accommodate a large amount of soul. In other words, there is only one war fortress, Shoshimaru, that is expected to enter the realm of great monsters. It's the one below. Otherwise, it would be impossible for Nariku to ask by Tomzi to help block the arrows. By the way, are you okay? Li Xia naturally let go of his hands around the girl's waist. Don't worry, I'm protected by the earth barrier. Nariku and Nariku's clones can't hurt me. Kikio said confidently. But when these words fell into Li Xia's ears, his eyelids really jumped. The earth barrier is certainly an excellent way for you to deal with bandit ghost spider, but Miss Kikio, the monster below is not a clone of Nariku. Furthermore, bandit ghost spider's human heart can be stripped out of its body. If you always fight with the mentality that Nariku and Nariku's clones can't hurt you, you will suffer a big loss sooner or later. Although the words didn't sound good, he was definitely serious. And it doesn't contain any color. However, his thoughts did not seem to be valued by Kikio, or in other words, this undead witch had her own understanding. It's impossible for Nariku to remove the human part. He couldn't do it. You know, he is a combination of the ghost spider's human heart and a large number of monsters. If the human heart of bandit ghost spider is lost, Nariku will cease to exist. He will not be able to maintain his body at all. Kikio chuckled and explained patiently. Generally speaking, there is nothing wrong with what the girl said. Because almost all fusions are based on the model of a husband and his wife form a family to live together. This family is not suitable without either party. But some characters are different after all. Such as Nariku. Nariku is neither the husband of Bandit Ghost Spider nor the wife of Wanyao, but an alien creature born of one of them as a father and the other as a mother. The key is that it has been settled for fifty years. Fifty years later, as an alien child, he has grown up early. 
He may not have done well in other aspects, but Neriku's independent personality is quite successful in his dominance. With his absolute control over the body of all monsters, he suppressed the personality of Bandit Ghost Spider and the personalities of other monsters. It means that in this small family, the son has long grown into an individual who does not need to rely on his parents and can survive independently. At this time, without the Bandit Ghost Spider, he would at best be an adult child of a single parent family lacking love. In other words, it might be best for a father with bad habits to leave this big family. At least the children no longer have to worry about their father. Those who were kicked out of that big family by Neriku, such as Kagura, Gashin Ghost, and by Duji, were all disobedient third generations. Getting rid of this disobedient burden in the body would be more conducive to Neriku integrating every ounce of power in the body of 10,000 monsters. What's more, Neriku also got the majestic demonic power in Tai Suya as a secret, and there were also a few four soul fragments to reveal the secret. At this time, if Big Family transforms into a group company, Neriku will undoubtedly be the absolute controlling shareholder. It doesn't hurt that the founder, Bandit Ghost Spider, is kicked out. In the original work, why do the monsters who were kicked out of the group still want to return to Neriku's body? Isn't it just because it's easy to enjoy the shade under the big trees? Even if Neriku gave up the part of the bandit ghost spider, that guy's body of 10,000 monsters would not collapse like Kikyo said. The larger internal shares had already been taken back by Neriku. Kanna, Kagura, Satori Ghost, by Dongzi, etc. These guys are all very capable. If you put them in a family company's many positions, maybe they were the ones who made trouble in the past, or they were simply the major shareholders. Miss Kikyo, let's not underestimate Neriku. There are some things that Li Xia cannot say directly. However, he still strongly reminded and warned. Neriku, he himself may not be able to get the human heart of the ghost spider out of his body, but that doesn't mean that Neriku, who has obtained the huge demonic power inside Tai Sui Yang and the power of several four soul fragments, can't do it. That's all. As for whether Kikyo can listen, it's really not his decision. Below. Shinshimaru's right shoulder cracked open, like a big mouth. Immediately afterwards, countless rays of white light shot out from it, and then all of them hit the mountain ghost's claws without missing a beat. Trying to force the mountain ghost to loosen the sharp claw that restrained him. Those white lights. Li Xia narrowed his eyes slightly and his eyes flickered. He realized that the Shinshimaru in front of him was not the first stage of a weak chicken, but the second stage that could forcibly swallow Hadesman. Those white lights are monsters that can transform into reality. Neriku does have some ideas. Kikyo tightened the long bow in her hand, and finally sighed to herself that she had never used the demon-breaking arrow to completely destroy the demon pill. She could vaguely sense that the man behind her might have sewing on his mind. Mountain Ghost, use barrier. Li Xia came to the big man's shoulder. The mountain ghost, whose arms were covered with diamond armor, received the order and immediately condensed a red barrier between his hands, and Shinshimaru happened to be imprisoned in it. At this time, hundreds of spirit-sealing talismans flew out and surrounded someone. Come on, big guy, this is your last chance. The mountain ghost's barrier had a gap deliberately exposed at the right time. Swish swish. Hashimaru responded without any hesitation with several tentacles shooting out. With a few flashes of cold light, these tentacles were all cut off by the ordinary fire-tipped spear. The broken tentacles were sealed again by the spirit-sealing talisman in the blink of an eye. The scene that appeared in front of outsiders was countless tentacles were drilling out along the gap in the barrier one after another. Trying to attack the initiator of a certain bad person and good deeds. But they were cut off one by one, and then sealed. Those tentacles seemed to be willing to die generously. Very rhythmic. Until the end, not even a single tentacle could be extended out of the monster's wide open mouth on Hashimaru's shoulder. Not bad. Li Xia nodded with satisfaction. Speaking of which, he was worried about not having enough high level spirit sealing talismans in his hands. Unexpectedly, Shinshimaru himself decomposed himself into tentacles and shreds of flesh. This was like giving him a pillow when he fell asleep, or giving him warmth on a cold day. Seal up. Hundreds of intermediate spirit sealing talismans bloomed with golden brilliance one after another, and the tentacles and pieces of minced meat of the demon pill were banned one after another. 
At the same time, he was completely cut off from Naraku and Akaduji. For the sake of this war fortress, he consumed most of the intermediate spirit sealing talismans in one go. Including many high quality fine talismans, which shows that he attaches great importance to this thing. You seem to be in a good mood. Kikio turned around and looked Li Xia up and down at close range for a while. Li Xia saw this and smiled calmly. We happen to ruin an important plan of Neraku this time, can we be unhappy? He just smiled at this war fortress built by thousands of monsters combined with countless human souls and an adult soul monster. Thank you Neraku, thank you to the party, thank you to the captain of the transportation team. Are you really just happy because you ruined Neraku's good deeds? The girl looked weird. Li Xia's lips moved a few times. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, I really can't hold it in anymore. Let me laugh for a while. He felt that it would have been eight lifetimes of bad luck for Neraku to meet him. Although it is not necessarily worse than the original in terms of strength. But the mood is definitely not as happy and comfortable as the original work of torturing Inuyasha and his party. And he always had a feeling that as long as he persisted in fighting Neraku, he would have a lucky aura around him. No, on the way back, we would bump into three Baitangzi who were doing bad things. And with the rapid speed of Yanho, it is a luxury to escape, no matter Baitangzi, Zenshuan, or Amber, who is dragging the oil bottle. If I remember correctly, the complete form of Seshomaru is integrated with attack and defense, and is born for fighting. Although the demon power of the original body is not as good as that of a great demon of the same level because it has not been cultivated, it cannot withstand too much demon power. After absorbing Seshomaru's power, when the sword is pressed, the almost absolute defense of Pluto's armor shows flaws, but its overall strength exceeds that of most great demons. The only shortcomings at the moment are that it lacks some foundation and a soul to control the body. Future The strongest shield, the Pluto armor. The strongest spear, the Vajra spear breaks. With super speed regeneration, he can be called an immortal little power. The golden and silver disasters are accompanied by fire and thunder. In addition, the ability to absorb various monsters. After perfecting the long-range, mid-range, and close-range combat modes, as long as you don't eat randomly, this is another six-star top fighter. And how fast can the monster pill grow? In the original timeline, less than three months before and after, it had reached a level that could challenge Neraku's original body. The island is located. Neraku, who had entered a period of weakness that happened once a month and fell asleep, suddenly woke up with heartache. After seeing everything here through the Kanda mirror, my teeth were almost broken. It's this couple of ES again. It's too much to bully others, it's too much to bully others. Over the island, large demonic clouds gathered. There was lightning and thunder in it. The sea monsters that have been returning to the nearby waters in the past two days have frightened their families and moved them again. Chikio, I will definitely you. Li Xia, I want you to die badly. Angry roars came from the island. He himself didn't know how many times he had broken through the defense. When he was furious, he first lifted Inuyasha's glass curse, and beat the half-hearted guy wildly to vent his hatred. Then he froze the confused Inuyasha into a glass sculpture. Get ready. When I end my period of weakness, I will immediately go to Shikoku Island to hunt for targets. The power of that bond must not fall into the hands of that mage Li Xia. The trip is over. Li Xia first threw the amber into Bailing Mountain. Then Platycodon was sent back to the temple. The girl climbed up the stairs step by step. The mountain wind blew her beautiful long hair lightly and fluttered lightly. The red and white witch costume was used as an embellishment, which made it look unique from a distance. Another boy rode in the opposite direction on the flaming hooves of Shenjun and flew into the air. Among the clouds, a flash of fiery red disappeared. With your ability, there is no need to bring mine with you on this trip, right? At the mountainside temple where the temple is located, Platycodon Grandiflorum looked back and reached out to smooth the hair that was blown to the corners of her mouth by the wind. Xia, I understand your intention to redeem me. However, it is destined to be impossible for us to meet at the wrong time. What's more, I am already a dead person, how can I ask for the love of a living person? In my body, there is only resentment for all the unwillingness. Cherish Ailey, she is more suitable for you. Muttering softly, this beautiful figure returned to the temple. 
the temple was then shrouded in white mist. If she had been thinking about Li Xia's thoughts before, she might not have noticed anything. But after several contacts, how could she not find anything at all? However, she is now focused on destroying Neraku. What kept her going was her unwillingness and resentment. Modern World On the streets of Tokyo Two figures came one behind the other. Li Xia used the power of the Age Tree Mask to return to this side of the well from the weak space node where the bone-eating well is located half a day ago. Originally, he was still thinking about how to explain to Ali why he wanted to destroy the bone-eating well in the opposite monster world. But as he turned 15 and almost 16 years old, Ali had the courage to take that step, which was to use his right hand. He pinched his sleeve. It is completely redundant to explain anything. Because this kind of small gesture is no longer the intimate gesture that ordinary companions and classmates should have. In response, Li Xia smiled slightly after being stunned for a moment and did not resist. Let the little girl pull the corner of his clothes. Shopping is really a boring thing for boys shopping for a long time can even be harmful to physical and mental health. But for girls, it is full of attraction. However, I have never seen any lavish behavior here in Ali this girl's wallet never seems to be very full. Tell me if you have anything you like. After the Smith family and other hidden dangers were eliminated one after another by everyone in the Lee family, Li Xia no longer needed to be secretive. He can live in the sunshine now. May I? When Ali heard this, his eyes were bright. The streets in front are all the property of my Li family. For some reasons, they have all become my personal assets not long ago. You can take whatever you like, just remember to say hello to the person in charge in advance. Li Xia didn't mean to show off his wealth. He is simply stating a fact that ordinary people cannot hope for. However, even so, there was still staggering pride in his words. Speaking of which, the Peninsula Li family, mainly because of his grandfather's lineage, can own such a large-scale worldly property in the island country, and it actually has a lot to do with him. He was born in July 1980. At the beginning, he didn't know that this was an extraordinary world. As a time traveler who had been reborn, he had to plan for the future in advance, right? When he was four years old, after learning about the rough history of this world and some general situations in the surrounding countries, he immediately realized that there were huge business opportunities in this land supported by the bubble economy. Because the island country at that time was too similar to the island country in my memory where the real estate crash occurred. At that time, he was limited by his age and could not do too many extraordinary things. When he was five years old, his family opened the door to a new world for him. Although his talent for cultivation was average, his precocious wisdom compared to his peers was obvious to all, so he was always favored by the old man. With the help of his elder's love, he predicted the collapse of the island country's real estate when he was nine years old, and hoped that the old man would give him some pocket money to play with. Pocket money is just a waste of money. What was unexpected was that he caught a ride on the last two trains from beautiful country to clean up the island country, and made a huge profit from it. In addition, two years ago when he was fourteen years old, a financial crisis that swept through East Asian countries broke out in advance. This financial crisis had actually already begun, and it was clear that a certain spiritual family in the beautiful country was behind it. However, the old man, who had been reminded and was well prepared, participated again and took a share of the pie. Further expanding the assets of their family and the entire Lee family in peninsulas and island countries. Unfortunately, the old man also passed away that year, which gave him a big advantage. Taking advantage of the situation, he became the person in charge of their lineage. Later, he was arranged to come to the island country to take care of secular properties. If you are a minor, you have no right to speak. Unexpectedly, by chance, he met Ali, which in turn fulfilled him. And not long ago, the top management of the Lee family thought of his kindness, and with a wave of their hands. They simply transferred all the family properties in the island country to his private name as a little pocket money. Those old guys are probably counting on him to waste all this wealth now. Considering that this was more or less the wish of the old antiques, Li Xia did not refuse. Even though the A. Li family is a major shrine real estate owner in Tokyo. The mountaintop shrine covering several acres is enough for the family to have enough food and clothing for several lifetimes. But compared with the wealth in Li Xia's hands, it was not enough. After shopping around for an afternoon, 
both of them were a little tired. When he was on his way home with his big and small bags, Ollie suddenly stopped at the intersection. Then he turned back sharply, as if he was avoiding sewing. This made Li Xia, who was walking behind and thinking about sewing, be caught off guard by his petite body and bump into Wen Yu's arms. Are you okay? He quickly put the things in his hands aside and looked down at the girl with evasive eyes, full of concern. It's okay, it's okay, Mr. Xia, look over there. Look in the direction pointed by Ali. Across the intersection, a very familiar figure came into view. Isn't that that boy Suda? What is that boy doing squatting in front of the flower shop? Higarashi Suda is Ali's younger brother. After getting along for a period of time, he had become very familiar with that little boy. There is Suda carrying a school bag. Little brother, are you giving flowers to someone? A beautiful clerk walked out of the store and greeted Suda cordially. Um. The little guy nodded. But a little reserved. Because the flowers he liked on the flower stand were priced at 500 yen each. This is undoubtedly a huge expense for a nine-year-old student who is in the third grade of elementary school. It will make his already insufficient wallet even more nervous. It was at this time. Three little girls, who were also in third grade, were walking towards this side talking and laughing. It was obvious that they were returning home from school together. However, after hearing a certain voice from one of the three little girls, Cao Tai's body trembled as if he had been electrocuted. And then he hurriedly ran into the flower shop, as if he was deliberately hiding. Little brother, are you okay? This is a big deal for the female shop assistant. Shu. In the flower shop, the cat-clad Chow Tai gestured nervously. At this moment, his heart was beating hard. What's this? This is boyhood. This is youth. It wasn't until the three little girls walked past the flower shop and gradually walked away that the boy let out a heavy breath and came out again. Then, under the smiling gaze of the female clerk, she stuck out her little head and looked in the direction where the girls left. Which one of the three little sisters do you like? The female clerk squatted down and asked from a level eye view. This small move greatly shortened the distance between the two parties. Suda suddenly blushed when he was asked, and rubbed the back of his head at a loss. When the clerk saw this, his eyes lit up, and he continued to encourage. Since you have a girl you like, you should buy a flower to express your feelings. Cowardly boys are not liked by girls. Be bold. A bit of deception. Xiao Kaoda mustered up the courage to spend what little money she had and bought a flower that she thought looked pretty. Opposite of the road. Ali, who saw the whole process clearly, whispered his brother's name softly Kuda. Do you have someone you like? On the side, Li Xia rubbed his chin and grinned. What a boy! I had the courage to take that step when I was nine years old. Looking back on my previous life, I was still single in my twenties. When he was a student, especially in high school, if he had half the courage and enthusiasm of Soda, he wouldn't have become an older leftover boy. You know, at that time, he was generally very good. In the school sports meeting, long distance running, sprinting, long jump, high jump, all have top rankings. At that time, with this advantage, he attracted the attention of many girls. It's a pity that he is stupid and arrogant. In terms of grades, he is also at the top of the school. The top ones don't count, but there are still some in the top 50. This is also a plus. Furthermore, before the large-scale music event held on the 50th anniversary of the founding of the school. I beat many competitors and performed a song on stage with a talented girl in the class at the school anniversary, which was a little show. He can be called a minor celebrity in his grade. This is definitely a plus. High school, the most beautiful high school. Even though I ruined myself during college and lost all my glory, until my family fell behind, the conditions at home were still very good, which is another plus. But he remained reserved in the dormitory for four years. Oh. Thinking about it this way, what were you doing back then? How did you manage to stay single based on your strength? Three years of junior high school, three years of high school, and four years of college. The ten years that should be the most exciting and worthy of being exciting, but all the beauty has been missed perfectly. In his previous life, he was so miserable that he never even held a girl's hand. Ed. I missed so much beauty in my previous life. 
No matter what, I want to enjoy the prosperity of the world in this life. Night. Higarashi Shrine. Higarashi's mother prepared quite a sumptuous meal. But for some reason, Li Xia just had no appetite. Looking at his little brother Chao Tai opposite who also had no appetite and had not even swallowed a grain of rice, he lost his appetite even more. Well. The two men, one big and one small, sighed almost simultaneously. Then, he politely got off the table almost at the same time. I'm stuffed. Mr. Higarashi. Higarashi's mother. Ali. The three of them looked at each other what happened to those two. Is their sewing uncomfortable? The old man teased the fat orange cat, blinked and muttered. Don't worry, Suda is just lovesick and will get better soon. As for Xia Jun. Maybe he was stimulated by sewing. Ali plucked at the rice in the bowl, his eyes turning into beautiful crescent moons as he smiled. Suda is lovesick. Our Chao Tai has a girl he likes. Higarashi's mother and Mr. Higarashi looked at each other, and then they were not worried but happy. Ah, this is really great. I have to cook red bean rice tomorrow to celebrate. My little shot has finally grown up. Ah poof. Ali almost spit out the rice he was chewing in his mouth. Grandpa, Mom, did you make a mistake? That guy Suda is only in the third grade, only nine years old. Is it really appropriate to fall in love so early? At this time, Grandpa Higarashi also came up with a brilliant idea and said with a smile Ali, I have already thought of the reason you should use for asking for leave next time. What reason? Of course you are lovesick. The old man's eyes were shining. He has always been worried about his granddaughter. This time, it's done. Ah this. Ali was confused. Are you sure there is a normal one here? Don't worry, I will definitely be able to deceive your class teacher. The old man is full of confidence. His eyes were filled with clear light of wisdom. This is a great disease. Higarashi's mother accurately lasts the last hit. From an angle that my daughter couldn't see, she winked at the old man without leaving any trace. Ali, on his side, simply knocked his head on the dining table in despair. She believed that her grandfather and mother could definitely do this. As long as she dared to skip school and go to the warring states period, rumors would spread wildly in the class that she was lovesick. So, it's better not to follow Xia during this period. It's quiet at night. Just as Li Xia stood at the bird's eye view entrance of Higarashi Shrine and looked at the bustling Tokyo city not far away, a small figure came to him. Brother Li Xia, what are you looking at? The person who came was none other than Suda. Besides looking at the night view of the city, what else can we see? Nowadays, everywhere is full of lights and feasting, and the bright starry sky above has been completely blocked. Only the so-called prosperity at the bottom of the mountain can be seen. Li Xia reached out and touched the young lady's little head. Comparing the night sky of Maple Village with the starry sky of Tokyo in the modern world, there is no comparison at all. Over there in the monster world of the Warring States period, you can see the stars flowing in the clear sky. Here in the modern city, only the decadent nightlife remains. Okay, boy, what do you want from me? Brother Li Xia, I have a question to ask you. You say. Well. Can you tell me, what is love? What does it feel like to be in love? Also, can love last forever? Also, how do you know if the other person loves you or not? How can you make the other person understand your feelings and fall in love with you? Li Xia couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth when he heard the little shot's rapid-fire questions. Is this kid here to hurt your heart on purpose? If you ask him this kind of question full of philosophical thoughts, who would he ask? He had never been in love in his past and present lives combined. In other words I don't know either. Suda, you have a girl you like, right? Tell me about her situation, and I'll give you the details. Her name is Xiao Tong, she is a girl in our class, she is sitting next to me. She usually gets along very well with her friends, and takes time out of class every day to go to the animal shed to feed the little rabbits. She is very kind and loving. Her skin is fair and healthy especially when she smiles, her eyes are watery and super cute. By the way, I heard that she lived abroad when she was a child. I've never really liked eating celery. The backpack I carry is carried on both shoulders. 
Xiao Jingtai was a little embarrassed at first, but later she opened up completely. And it can be heard from between the lines that the little guy observes the woman very carefully. It seems that you have indeed developed a strong affection for the girl named Xiao Tong. The little girl can even be said to be your first love. Li Xia sounded like someone who had come before. First love. So, am I really in love? The little devil's face was flushed with heat. Probably, yes. Li Xia nodded uncertainly. Suda, as the saying goes, strike first and strike last, and you may not even have a bite of the soup. Tomorrow, dress yourself up, and then bravely confess your love to Xiao Tong. Boys only need to be brave enough and be generous. If you have one or two shining points and can win some favor from the girl you like, then it's still very promising. Well. Back then, I got angry just thinking about it, and I wished I could go back in time and slap myself on the ears. But, I have no idea what Xiao Tong thinks of me. Suda said a little embarrassed. Just ask her directly. Ask her what kind of boys she likes. Li Xia, who has no experience in love, said that it is best to be direct about this kind of thing. His confidence is almost as strong as the word reliable written on his face. Brother Li Xia, do you want me to confess my love directly to Xiao Tong? But I don't have that experience. How about you practice with me? The little guy's face was full of sincerity. But Li Xia refused without even thinking. If you want to practice, go to your sister. We are two grown men. It doesn't matter to you that we are confessing our practice in the middle of the night. You are just a kid, but my whole life's reputation will be ruined because of this. I won't do it. Practicing that thing with you. Then we might as well talk about how to use little boy to wish the people of Tokyo a more relaxed new year. Brother Li Xia, please. Xiao Jingtai looked pitifully. Go back to sleep. Someone is determined. Suda quickly hugged his thigh. Brother-in-law, come practice with me. This call of brother-in-law made Li Xia stagger. What a good boy, he would not hesitate to sell his sister for his own happiness. The scene changes. Li Xia really couldn't resist the persistence of Ali, so he sighed secretly and decided to be the audience. At the entrance of the courtyard, the two stood face to face. Let's get started, you think of me as the little pupil of your class come on, let's try to confess. However, a while passed, and Suda's lips kept pouting, but he just didn't know what to say. Finally, his face drooped, very frustrated. Brother-in-law, I seem to be a little unprepared mentally. Do you need to prepare for this? Then how do you express your love? You kid. Come on, let me demonstrate it to you. Watch Suda and learn from it. A touch of confidence flashed in Li Xia's eyes. Immediately, he straightened his clothes and took two steps closer to Suda. Xiao Tong, I like you, can you be my girlfriend? Faced with this confession, the little Shoda's mind went blank for a moment, and he was immediately confused. Then they started dancing even more excitedly, and a lot of people were panicking in their hearts chirp, chirp, chirp. Walking towards the entrance, Ali vaguely heard some of someone's confession, his eyes widened. After quickly arriving here and opening the door, the scene she saw was exactly the same as she had imagined. She immediately covered her mouth and said in disbelief. Xia, were you confessing your feelings to Suda just now? A gust of night wind blew by, and Li Xia turned to stone. My glorious name for the rest of my life. Suda also froze, even more at a loss. The scene changed again. The three of them came to Ali's boudoir. When she learned about the two people's UAL behavior, the girl held her belly and burst into tears. She really didn't expect that her brother would be so cheating. She never expected that Li Xia would bring her such a surprise. Sister. Is it so funny? The little guy looked angry. Ha ha ha, Suda, why are you so stupid? Wouldn't you just ask me directly from the beginning? Your sister, I am also a girl. Of course, girls understand girls' psychology better. After Ali laughed for a while, he suddenly became energetic. Don't worry, Suda. For the sake of my lovely brother, my sister will do her best to dress you up this time no matter what. What burned in those eyes was high-spirited fighting spirit. Is your strategy really okay? Sister. Kashoda remained skeptical about this. Believe me, sister. 
The most important thing is to believe in yourself. Sutta. You are very good. The day after things were finalized. Ali dressed up Chow Tai into a figure that made Li Xia's eyes light up. Conan, is that you? At this time, if Sutta were to wear a pair of Detective Conan's eyes, he would even have a 90% similarity. However, after dressing up so carefully, when he came home from school at around 4 in the afternoon, the little guy looked downcast. What's wrong, Sutta? Did this confession fail? As a sister, I have been worried all day. The young lady shook her head I was not rejected. Then why are you? Ali frowned slightly, very puzzled. Isn't this simple? This kid was probably so nervous that his tongue was tied and he couldn't say a word clearly, so he didn't dare to express his feelings. Li Xia squatted down and hooked Suda's shoulders. Brother Li Xia, how do you know? The little devil was extremely surprised by this. Boys, this is how they all come here. Li Xia said with a smile. He was like this back then. Those who worry about gains and losses will not dare to express their feelings even if they beat themselves to death. You you. My body is not strong, and I don't look reliable. The most important thing is that when I face Xiaotong, I can't even speak clearly. Suda, with misty eyes, felt sad for his own weakness, and his words were full of inferiority complex. Seeing this, Deng's sister tried to comfort her, but Li Xia couldn't help laughing. You stupid little brat, my little girl hasn't explicitly rejected you yet, why are you crying here? Little girls in the third grade were not as playful as their older sisters. M. Except a Yumi in Conan. Okay, pick up your mood and quickly muster up the courage to go play with Xiaotong. Her home is not far from here, it only takes three to five minutes. If she is willing to come out and talk to you, it means that she still cares about you very much. Those who are interested. Seize the opportunity and do it in one go. Okay, go quickly. Since you are sure that you like Xiaotong, you should cut through the knot quickly and express your feelings happily, so as not to leave any regrets in the future. By the way, if you don't confess to Xiaotong today, you will not allowed to go home. Why is this like this? Hey, I will squat for you in front of the house. It doesn't matter if you fail. The most intolerable thing for a man is cowardice. Boy, as long as you make up your mind to do sewing, no matter whether the outcome is success or failure, at least you have fought for it. Although there is regret, it is definitely not big. The time quickly came to 6 p.m. In a corner of a nearby park, two children stood facing each other, three to two meters apart. It was Suda and his classmate Xiaotong. There is no doubt that Zio Zengtai succeeded in dating the little girl he likes. At the same time, two figures were sneakily lurking behind a bush not far away. Suda san, why did you ask me out? You look so strange today. The one who spoke first was still the little girl. Suda still retained some reserve that he can't let go. However, with the previous experience, the little guy quickly adapted to the atmosphere of the park. Immediately, I saw that the boy no longer avoided the little girl's gaze, but actively took the initiative to meet her. His bravery immediately made the little girl opposite him a little embarrassed. Xiao Tong, I have sewing very important to tell you. What's going on? The atmosphere between the two little ones gradually became ambiguous. Behind the grass, perhaps because of Ali's momentary nervousness, he actually grabbed Li Xia's hand. My palms even became sweaty. As the sun sets, the shadows of the two people slowly lengthen in place. Among them, Suda remembered Li Xia's encouragement and advice, and finally defeated that hesitation with his own courage. Xiao Tong, you may think that I am useless, I can't even speak clearly, and I am very unreliable. But, but I. I really like you. Suda San, you said. You like me? Yes. Suda nodded firmly. The little girl here, looking at the little boy with rosy cheeks in front of her, looking at the little boy who used to be timid. But today is extremely brave and has a very firm confession, her heart suddenly beat faster like a deer. The originally fair face and small ears were suddenly dyed pink. Seeing the little girl she likes looking so cute, Zio Zengtai became even more courageous, and she kept up her efforts very manly. Xiao Tong, I hope you can date me. But the little girl was actually really interested in Soda, holding the corners of her clothes with both hands and nodding. 
the two people behind the grass were stunned. In the park, two third-grade kids hugged each other under the sunset. You're only in the third grade of elementary school. Ali turned away in shame. Li Xia looked at it with gusto and clicked his tongue. The current third grade kid is really good at playing. He turned to look at the girl beside him with evasive eyes. He was no longer reserved and hugged her in his arms. Summer. After a brief taste, Li Xia placed his forehead on the girl's forehead. Eyes facing each other. One's eyes became more and more evasive, while the other's smile became brighter and brighter. Especially looking at Ali's cute cheeks that had turned into red apples, the more he looked at it, the more he liked it. The sunset in the island country is undoubtedly the most beautiful today. Date with me, Higurashi-san. I lie awake at night. See things in black and white. I've only got you inside my mind. You know you have made me blind. I couldn't sleep late at night, looking at the black and white world in front of me, only you lingering in my mind. Do you know that you have trapped me? After dinner. Li Xia took a Li's hand and went for a walk in the courtyard. Perhaps because of sewing in my heart, I couldn't help but sing a very nice English song from my previous life. I lie awake and pray. That you will look my way. I have all this longing in my heart. I knew it right from the start. Although Li Xia was only singing a cappella, the beautiful melody could not be hidden no matter how hard he hit it. Coincidentally, Ali has always been helped by someone to tutor in English and mathematics. Li Xia himself can't grasp the rare words that are too complicated, let alone a young girl. However, most of the vocabulary in this song are not uncommon words, and only a few of them are unfamiliar to a third-year junior high school student. Therefore, the little girl can completely understand it. So, the girl's hand tightened unconsciously, biting Bei Xia's lips, trembling slightly. Oh my pretty pretty girl I love you. Like I, never ever loved no one before you. Pretty pretty girl of mine. Just tell me you love me too. This is a song from 2000 years ago. Being able to carve out a way in that era, the quality is still there. Li Xia conveyed her feelings with her a cappella singing, which indeed made the girl around her blush shyly like a red cherry on her cheeks. This greatly strengthened the relationship between the two people who were passionately in love. Ali opened his mouth, as if he wanted to ask about the origin of this song. But she really couldn't bear to interrupt the beautiful melody coming from her boyfriend's mouth. So he just blinked his beautiful big eyes, full of surprise and disbelief. Unexpectedly, in addition to being handsome, tall and strong, with excellent grades, gentle and humble, and with strong magical powers, Xia can subdue demons and eliminate demons. He also has special talents in music. Such a boy. A sudden attack and kiss on the cheek made Ali tremble all over, and he immediately came out of his trance. But he saw Li Xia's eyes full of doting and admiration. How could the little girl survive this? I was so ashamed that I got into someone's arms and buried my head deeply. And this English song, originally called Pretty Boy but now called Pretty Girl, has come to an end. Oh my pretty pretty girl I need you. Oh my, pretty pretty girl I do. Let me inside make me stay, right beside you. Xia, this song is. Well, after I got together with you, this melody suddenly came to my mind, so I wrote this song. I hope you like it. Sounds so good. As long as you like. Follow up. Li Xia used the resources of the Li family in the secular world and easily recorded 20 Chinese songs, English songs, and Japanese songs of very high quality. Different from the international situation in previous lives, today's mainland is quite a giant. Chinese is also one of the compulsory courses for students from island countries. Among Chinese songs, the first choice is Teacher Xiao Zhang's Blue Flower and other famous songs, plus popular songs such as Fairy Tale that I liked very much in my previous life. As Jay said, Chinese style is the mainstream. Of course, among the many songs, there are many excellent ones in Japanese. Such as Digimon's theme song Butterfly, Detective Conan's theme song Turn the Wheel of Fortune, Slam Dunk's theme song Until the End of the World. Dragon Ball GT's theme song gradually attracted to you, all it was slightly rewritten by Li Xia and then borrowed. There are hundreds of high-quality songs of this kind that have been widely circulated in previous lives. 
Everything was recorded as much as possible in the third or fourth year after he traveled to this world, before his memory went awry. When he was a child, he had no idea that his family was a cultivating family, so he naturally had to take responsibility for his own future. As long as he can quickly accumulate capital, he has prepared some things. What could be easier and more comfortable than selling songs and gaining a certain amount of fame, then changing jobs to make money as a singer? He asked Ali to accompany him to record songs for a day, and he didn't stop until the MP3 contained 20 of Lysia's masterpieces. At this time, the girl finally got to know her boyfriend again. And not far away. Look at the ancestors of the Lee family here. The more he looked at Li Xia, the more satisfied he became. It was even more strange to see a Li. A woman like this who is born with strong spiritual power should be the daughter-in-law of my Li family. If our great-grandson is married to her and gives birth to an heir, her talent will definitely be top-notch. It's more than top-notch, maybe it's expected to be top-notch. In this way, our Li family can prosper forever. Several old people were filled with emotion at this moment. He quite recognized the vision of his juniors. When looking for a wife, he should look for someone so reliable. Speaking of which, if that idiot Li Jun had not married a mortal behind his family's back. But had combined with a woman whose cultivation talent was not bad, Xiao Xia's talent might have been a little better, right? Li Xia's mother actually had average qualifications for the Warring States period, but in the Dharma ending age of later generations. Her average qualifications did not even qualify her to embark on the path of spiritual practice. Who says it's not the case? Everyone else is cheating on their fathers, but that kid is better off because he specializes in cheating on his son. Our family, Xiao Xia, must have a deep blessing and always remember the goodness of the family otherwise, our Li family will suffer a lot. Several people knew very well how the family's current prosperity came from. Therefore, everyone became very angry when they thought of Li Xia's father marrying a mortal woman who could not embark on the path of spiritual practice. I wish I could give Li Xun a few more slaps. Fortunately, their Li family's cubs are good enough. Even though tens of thousands of troops fought to cross the single plank bridge, they still stood out. That's not right. If it weren't for that boy Li Xun's mischief, our Li family might not have Xiao Xiao. As soon as these words came out, the other old antiques immediately fell silent. The boy and girl held hands and embarked on the way home. When she saw Higurashi shrine from a distance, the little girl mustered up the courage to speak up and argue. Xia, can you take me with you when you go on adventures in the future? I will definitely be able to help you. After the two entered the honeymoon period, some things were no longer hidden from each other. Therefore, Ali also knew about his ambition to pursue great strength and immortality. Immortality is the goal. Strong strength is the basic guarantee of longevity. There is no conflict between the two. Facing the girl's clear eyes and touching her hot gaze, does Li Xia still have the reason to refuse now? As long as your woman is of the same mind as you, many difficulties will not be difficult. As the lyrics of my pretty girl song say, Pretty girl, I need you. Ali felt sweet in his heart when he heard this. His eyes smiled into crescent moons. It feels like the air around you is sweet. Walk through the space nodes of the well of bone eaters and pass through the space channels opened by the aged tree. Li Xia hugged Ali and returned to the world of the Warring States period. As soon as he returned here, many moths lurking nearby spontaneously landed on the back of his hand. This was originally Agat Maru's ability. Onyx Maru's maid, Glass, masters an abridged version of the secret technique of summoning poisonous scorpions. When he comes to Li Xia, he can summon poisonous scorpions and summon moths. However, with the beauty by his side, he subconsciously chose the more acceptable moth as a little pet to collect intelligence. At least it's much cuter than the poisonous scorpion. Speaking of which, the previous trip to the land of fire on Kyushu Island with Kikio actually had the intention of spreading moths and poisonous scorpions and taking advantage of the situation to insert eyes. Inuyasha and the others have never understood the importance of intelligence, how could he continue to ignore this? ING the flying demon moth just means making up for the shortcomings in intelligence. After these few days and the previous period of intelligence collection, he finally found a target of great value. Xia, where should we go next? On Yen Ho's back, Ali, who was holding his slender waist from behind by a pair of salty hands, 
turned his head and asked. Go back to Bailing Mountain first, and I will take you to meet the master. This is the most basic courtesy. Wait for his return. I haven't seen Master by Xian yet, but I have seen Amber, Barbarian Bones, Snake Bones, and a young man wearing priest attire. It seems that the person has been recovered by you. Li Xia looked at Man Gu and Snake Gu. Only subordinates who are obedient and know how to get things done are worth training. Mangu proved himself a little bit. Shigu and I not only brought back Mr. Izumo this time, but we also caught a little demon with weird abilities called Jojo Tojiro. It's deep in Bailing Mountain. The sacred atmosphere here is too strong, so the guy couldn't bear it. Breathing in the fresh air outside felt like it would him, so he kept hiding in the heart of the mountain. Mr. Izumo, on the other hand, is particularly suitable for the environment of Bailing Mountain. Mangu responded. Are you a member of the Nine Nine Toad clan? The abilities of that clan are indeed quite interesting. Li Xia nodded. Turning to look at the young man, the smile on his face grew thicker. Mr. Izumo, let me introduce myself. My name is Li Xia. I am a mage with reasonable abilities, and I am a disciple of Master by Xian, the real owner of this holy mountain. I invite you to come to Bailing Mountain as a guest. I want to find more like-minded people. Man. In the meantime, if there is anything rude about barbarian bone and snake bone that offends them, please don't blame me. In fact, it would be a pity and injustice if your talents are buried among a bunch of little monsters. His tone was full of sincerity. And this is indeed what he really thinks. Izumo, this name is actually the name of the father of the young man in front of me. This person's father is human and his mother is a bull demon. I don't know how they saw each other, but they merged together and gave birth to the young man in front of them. This man's mother actually named the young man Ox King. However, when this person was walking outside, he always used the name of his biological father Izumo. The human-looking Izumo is knowledgeable and gentle, and his kind aura can even make birds stop by his side. No, right now there are several ordinary birds from Bailing Mountain sitting on this person's shoulder and chirping. Xia Jun, thank you for letting Barbarian Bone Snake Bone bring me here. I like it here very much. The sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain purifies all filth. The bull demon blood in his body was also suppressed to the maximum extent. Originally, he was a half-demon who was human during the day and a demon at night, which also made it difficult for him to integrate into the world of humans or monsters. And because he deeply admired his knowledgeable human father, he even hated himself in the form of the Ox King. So he devoted himself to researching the Jade of the Four Souls, hoping to artificially create another real Jade of the Four Souls fifty years after the Jade of the Four Souls disappeared. And then make a wish to the Jade of the Four Souls to turn himself into a human being. But since setting foot on Bailing Mountain, he has been in human form no matter day or night. The demon blood in his body seemed to have completely silenced. In other words as long as he stays in Bailing Mountain, he will not have any worries anymore. Or go out during the day and come back at night. Will life be perfect from now on? Mr. Izumo, just look away. Let's go to see Master by Xian together. Unexpectedly, I found another like-minded Taoist friend while I was out. Li Xia smiled heartily. One on the left and one on the right, they grabbed the hands of Man Gu and Izumo respectively. Rear. On the back of the flaming hoof. A certain beautiful girl, with brilliant eyes. Li Xia's enthusiasm and kindness really flattered Izumo for a while. Ali even saw a different side of his boyfriend. Natsu, Mr. Izumo seems to be carrying the Four Souls Jade. However, it's strange, the aura of those Four Souls Jade is so weak. On the mountain road, the girl whispered. This can also be regarded as a reminder. Xia Jun, who is this? The young man looked curiously at the girl who was behaving intimately with his boss, and actually had a guess in his mind. She is my fiancé Higurashi. She is a Miko with decent spiritual power. Li Xia introduced. Fiancé. You do it so quickly. Mangu was slightly startled. He clearly remembered that a dozen days ago, this little girl was just a partner of the boss in front of him. As a result, in the blink of an eye, the relationship between the two jumped from being partners to being boyfriend and girlfriend, and reached the level of fiancé in one fell swoop. 
Ailey is a very good girl. There are not many girls like her. Of course I have to cherish it. She and I have met both parents, and both parents are very satisfied. As for getting engaged. It's nothing like that. A strange thing. Licia smiled gently at first, and then became more serious. Besides, I brought Ali here this time because I wanted to meet Master by Exion. Once a teacher, always a father. What's more, Master by Exion treated him sincerely, almost treating him as his own son. As for Sweetheart by, it is naturally not sewing that other people can see if they want to see her. Currently, he is the only one who can enter the Jade Corridor on the mountainside and see Master by Exion directly. A girl? Snake Bone, who looked like a girl but was actually a man, whispered softly. The little girl is indeed pretty. However, I still prefer cute boys. These frank words and the unique interest in them made several people around him choke. No one dared to talk about boys with boys. Instead, he focused his attention on the young man again. Ollie, you may not know how talented Mr. Izumo is. Genius? The girl blinked, a little confused. Li Xia pointed to the sky and the earth, and asked Barbarian Bone and Snake Bone with a smile. Come to think of it, your two brothers and even the vast majority of people living in this land believe that the sky is round and the earth is square, right? Snake Bone nodded, very sure of course, Boss Xia. This has been common sense for thousands of years. Mangu also believes this is the point of view. But Izumo and Ali remained silent, seeming to have other opinions. Li Xia shook his head. Seeing this, the two brothers Mangu and Snake Igu looked at each other, somewhat confused. Isn't the sky round? Isn't the earth square? I'm not sure whether the sky is round but the earth is definitely not square, I'm sure of this. The education A. Lee and I received in our hometown believed that the earth we live in is actually a huge sphere. Surface. The rising and setting of the sun is due to the movement of celestial bodies. Balabala made the two reckless brothers stunned for a moment. He brought Izumo, who had just been distracted, back to reality. How can it be? Barbarian Snake Bone's face was full of surprise. Let me show you the books about Ailey and I's hometown. As he spoke, he motioned to his fiancée and rummaged through his backpack to find the elementary and junior high school textbooks he had prepared in advance. Among them are those about geography and celestial bodies. Izumo was a learned scholar and naturally literate. In the original timeline, Man Gu and Snake Gu knew how to write letters of challenge to others, and were undoubtedly literate. After reading through it for a while, one can imagine the impact the three of them had on their hearts. The reckless brothers who always liked to solve problems violently with fists and swords were amazed for a while. It turns out that we have been living on the surface of a huge sphere. It turns out that there is gravity. It turns out that the starry sky outside the earth is so vast and boundless, and the area we are in can at best be regarded as the solar system. Izumo also had glaring eyes. These books, this knowledge. What a priceless treasure. Mr. Xia, these books. The young man's eyes were full of longing. That is the thirst for knowledge that only a true scholar has. Sir, these books are just for you. Li Xia smiled brightly. Prepared for me. Right. Thank you, thank you, Xia Jun. The young man suppressed the excitement in his heart. Except for his parents, no one has ever been so kind to him. Sir, your wisdom is beyond doubt. Immediately he continued to help Izumo set up the stage. You may not know that Mr. Izumo has long seen the flaws in the statement that the sky is a round place and has raised questions. It's just a matter of asking for confirmation. One day we will be able to fly into the atmosphere, or even fly out of the atmosphere. The truth will come to light. In this era, having the courage to question that the earth is not square shows Izumo's knowledge. Sir, it turns out you have made some discoveries in this area. It's amazing. Mangu already admired this young man who was able to create the four soul imitation jade. At this moment, he had even more respect and recognition. At the same time, he was even more shocked by Li Xia's knowledge. What does your boss know about this land and starry sky? The pie of resurrection and immortality painted for them in the past seems not impossible to fulfill. 
And this kind of change in mentality is exactly what Li Xia wants. How to increase team cohesion. How to increase subordinate sense of belonging. Of course we have fun playing together. Ah, uh, no, it should be just showing off and showing off in front of others. And it is best to bring everyone together to show the Holy Spirit, so as to achieve the best effect. Just imagine when this team, whether it is knowledge or knowledge, whether it is individual strength or team background, has crushed the vast majority of people in this era, it will be difficult for everyone not to miss someone's goodness. Mr. Izumo is amazing. Ali, who was holding Li Xia's arm, admired sincerely. In her opinion, both she and her fiancé have benefited from the times, and they have this understanding only by standing on the shoulders of giants. However, Izumo relied entirely on his own wisdom. More than that. Mr. Izumo is also the second person to artificially create the Shurkan Tama and almost succeeded. If you are given enough materials, it will only be a matter of time before you can create a real Shurkan Tama. Regarding this, Li Xia did not choose to hide it. Create the Jade of Four Souls. Ah Li's heart tightened. Li Xia noticed sewing and immediately comforted him softly. Peace of mind, it is enough to have the Four Souls Jade in your hand. Why bother to persecute other happy people living in this era? Xia, please don't go down the wrong path, okay? Ali pursed his lips and looked tightly. Li Xia couldn't help being amused. When did you see me messing around? And he really has no intention of creating a second jade of four souls. But if conditions permit, it shouldn't be an exaggeration to strengthen the first one, right? In addition, it is not impossible to completely conquer the four souls jade for one's own use. The opportunity was clearly given by the original work. It's just that Inuyasha didn't catch it. After the group met Master by Exion. The rest stayed in Bailing Mountain. Amber, in particular, was strictly required not to step outside the scope of the sacred barrier. The little guy also knows the serious relationship between this, so he doesn't resist it much. After all, as soon as he leaves the range of Bailing Mountain, Naraku will immediately be on his radar. Originally, Kahaku was a backup tool used by Naraku to deal with Inuyasha and Coral the intention was to make the siblings each other. And even to turn Coral and Inuyasha into enemies at that time, the Shurkan Jade would be bathed in the blood of hatred, aggravate the pollution of gems and accelerate the development of Tsuling. It can be said that it is a very vicious plan. However, the plan ran into Li Xia before it could even begin, and was stillborn. Xia, are the elves of Zishan really so testing people's hearts? On Yen Ho's back, Ali always felt unconfident and hesitant. Don't worry, although the elves of Zishan will test people's hearts, they can transform into gods or demons, and their attributes are completely determined by the mind of the viewer. But at least you won't have any problems now. You just need to just treat it with a normal attitude. Is it entirely determined by the heart of the viewer? Li Xia smiled and tightened his hands. When the girl heard this, she placed her small hand on someone's warm hand around her waist, and her anxious heart calmed down a lot. Then give it a try. Soon, Zishan arrived. This is not a towering mountain. It looks no different from an ordinary hill. The temple in Zishan is built on the top of the mountain, and the foot of the mountain and the top of the mountain are connected by a long straight stone staircase. According to legend, the Shrine Maiden's artifact Azusa Mountain Bow is stored in the temple, but not all Shrine Maidens can obtain it. The first point is that the spiritual power of the Miko must be strong enough. Strong spiritual power is the basis for controlling Zishan's bow. Secondly, only those with pure hearts can climb the mountain. If there are distracting thoughts or even evil thoughts in the heart, the spirit of Zishan will be sent into the fog like a ghost beating a wall. Perhaps as soon as the eyes are covered with flowers, people return to the foot of the mountain. Li Xia was very interested. So I decided to give it a try. This is not. After arriving, he decisively put on the time tree mask, and then opened the powerful barrier. And it is a double powerful barrier opened with the help of the power of blood-colored coral gems. Since he purified the remaining souls of Ogamaru and Tsukiyamaru in the coral gem to a certain extent, the gem can be used by him. Under the protection of the double barrier, the spirit of Zishan couldn't even think of separating him from Ali. Walk. Yanho received the order and went straight to the top of Zishan Mountain. But when they were flying halfway, 
sowing strange happened. First, the thick fog came and quickly enveloped the entire Zishan mountain. The mist wanted to penetrate into the barrier, but was blocked. Seeing this, the corners of Li Xia's mouth raised slightly. But the next second, the smile on his face froze. Because he, Li, and Yan who riding underneath him all returned to the entrance of the stone steps at the foot of the mountain. The little girl blinked, surprised. Li Xia continued to try several times, but the result was no surprise. They were disturbed by the fog again and again and returned to the foot of the mountain. It seems that you can only go up by yourself. The spirit of Zishan doesn't seem to welcome Yan Ho and me. Li Xia said calmly. Myself? Well, go ahead. Relax, there's nothing to worry about. Just treat it as a novel experience. It's good. If the mountain spirit of this mountain really dares to embarrass you, then we will send the entire mountain to the underworld. Let's see who is more unreasonable. Ding ding. In Bailing Mountain, the forging sound of gold and iron is heard continuously. Where did that guy Neraku hide? In the cave of the demon spirit Great Sage, Todosai kept hitting the head of his mount, the three-eyed bull, with a hammer. The three eyes of the three-eyed ox can project images of distant places. As long as you keep tapping, you can keep changing channels as long as you tap fast enough. It is equivalent to dragging the fast forward bar to watch as long as three-eyed cow works harder, you can easily read hundreds of movies a day. Moo. At this moment, the three-eyed cow's head was swollen with many big bumps. It doesn't even remember how many thousands of times it was hit on the head by its master Todosai with the big hammer used to forge the demon sword during this period. Woo woo woo. Pets have no human rights. Eastern Territory. Shadian casually waved a wave of the underworld's waning moon, ing several unsightly evil ghosts in front of him without any surprise. Blocking his way. Humph, I wonder if he doesn't like taking detours the most. Ling, let's go. Sesomaru walked at the front with his two big tails wagging. Okay, Master Sesomaru. Shaoling happily followed behind with her bare feet. The evil view is in my eyes, that jealousy. A secret place far away from where Sesomaru took action. In a dimly lit underground palace. A pair of eyes suddenly fixed on one of the many scenes in front of him. What was shown on the screen was the moment and the noble master wielded the underworld waning moon break. My. Ming Dao Zhang Yue Pe. Immediately, a groan of gnashing teeth came from the palace. The old dog's eldest son. Ali set foot on the mountain trail of Zishan Mountain again. Not surprisingly, I encountered a similar fog on the stone steps halfway up the mountain. In the fog, anyone can only see the five meters in front of them. Even though the little girl has practiced the spiritual eye technique that can see through most illusions because of Li Xia and relying on her own strong spiritual power. The effect of the spiritual eye technique is pretty good. But even so, I was still troubled by this fog. Xia said that the Zishan Bao is a magical weapon of the witch, and it has been of great help to me. And I promised Xia that I would obtain the spiritual Bao so that I could stay with him and help him. In other words, this bow is of great significance to both her and her boyfriend. In this case, there is no reason for her to hesitate here or even give up halfway. Thinking of this, Ali gritted his teeth and continued to climb the stairs. Soon, she bumped into a faceless man halfway. Mortal. This is the spirit of Zishan. Hearing this, the spirit of Zishan seemed to be frightened and quickly covered his front with his sleeves. But when it moved its sleeves again, what was revealed turned out to be a beautiful face. Bikyu. Ali's eyes trembled slightly. At the foot of the mountain. Li Xia was more or less nervous when he saw his little girlfriend disappearing into the mist that suddenly rose up not long after she stepped onto the stone steps. He knew very well the spirit of Zishan, like the ghost of enlightenment, both had the ability to read minds. In other words the spirit of this sacred mountain can see through the girl's heart without any physical contact. This is much stronger than the mind-reading ability of Akaduji from the original period. In addition, mountain spirits also have the ability to present other people's fantasy objects in the form of illusions. I have used mountain ghost to read Ailey's heart beforehand, and Nizi's mind is very pure and clean moreover. Ailey in this timeline has not yet been clinging to Neraku's spider threads and polluting his mind. 
What's more, that girl is a witch who can purify the jade of the four souls. If even she can't take away the Zishan Bao, who else can do it at this time? Platycodon. Platycodon Grandiflorum has not experienced the transformation of the old bandit leader and by Lingshan, and has not let go of hatred, so she is far from a fearless state of mind. In that woman's heart, I'm afraid there was always a sense of resentment and unwillingness. Under the influence of this state of mind, it would be extremely difficult for Platycodon to take away the Zishan spiritual bow. As for the rest of the Miko, if those witches could, they would have taken this bow long ago. First of all, first satisfy yourself that you have strong spiritual power. Secondly, one must have a pure heart that can purify the contaminated Shere Khan Jade. Looking at it this way, there is probably only one pupil left, maybe I can give it a try. Hoo hoo. A gust of wind blew in Zishan. The mountain breeze blows, and the mountain that was originally surrounded by fog becomes clearly visible again. Seeing this, Li Xia breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that the spirit of Zishan has accepted Ali and is now undergoing the final test. Just as he guessed. Ali has already obtained the spiritual bow from Zishan Temple. However, the moment he obtained this spiritual bow, the final test also began. That is a test for the holder of the spiritual bow. Here in the girl's field of vision, she clearly left quickly along the stone steps going down the mountain. But the strange thing was that the stone steps in front of her seemed to have no end. No matter how many steps she walked, she was always in the area halfway up the mountain. It's really not that easy. Ali secretly said. At this moment, the Zishan bow in her hand suddenly became extremely heavy, and it suddenly became empty under her feet. She stepped on the air and immediately fell into the endless abyss. Then his vision went dark and he lost consciousness. When she wakes up, all the past life memories hidden in her soul emerge, creating scenes of life that are shown like a slideshow. That's Kikyo's past. These scenes are all bits and pieces of what Kikyo experienced 50 years ago. But Ali's soul is Kikyo's soul. The relationship between the two is based on their previous lives and reincarnations. And the power of Zishan's spiritual bow happens to have the ability to reflect the truest soul. As a result, the memory about Platycodon buried in Ali's soul awakened, and formed an independent area in the little girl's soul. However, these memories are very vague and fragmentary. Even the memories of 18 years cannot compete with the memories of Ali's 15 years. The two sides stand on different sides in the sea of consciousness, and they can be said to be clearly divided. And with the revival of this memory, the seal of some unknown powerful soul was broken. The girl's true potential has finally been released, as if it has found an outlet. Li Xia's original relaxed expression was gradually replaced by solemnity. Watching the time fly by, and it was an hour in the blink of an eye, he really couldn't sit still. Ali was clearly not disturbed by the Neraku spider silk, so why was he still troubled by the spirit of Zishan? What on earth is that girl going through now? What he didn't notice was that the four soul fragments contained in the small alloy box on his body all pulsated briefly and vaguely. This pulse was fleeting. No, we can't wait any longer. Even if we don't need this spiritual bow, we can't let Ali suffer. What is purity of mind? It's a huge pit. He is a human being, how can he not be selfish? Where can there be no dark side? A human being without a dark side is still called a human being. For example, he is definitely not a good person. But if you're not a good person, can't you do so in good? I'll go up and take a look, and you'll keep watch at the bottom of the mountain. Li Xia ordered Yan Ho. The divine horse snorted and nodded in a very humane manner. Although Yan Ho's demon power has already reached the stage of transformation, this guy prefers the form of a demon horse rather than the fragile human form. Just like the iron chicken that has lived for thousands of years, it rarely turns into human form on weekdays. Whoosh! Li Xia, who was worried about the girl he liked, flashed and ran straight to the stone steps of Zishan Mountain. However, as expected, the mountain quickly became foggy, and after a while, he was back at the foot of the mountain. I tried it back and forth several times, but still got the same result. This made him bite his back teeth in anger. It's too much to bully someone. After much thought, he finally decided to take action. Therefore, two era tree masks, one crying and one laughing, were immediately put on his face. 
supported by the smiling face and the crying face, his face is funny but has a different flavor. What followed was a surge of chi that increased exponentially. At the same time, he also took out two cards. Accompanied by the surge of rich purple gold and green gold brilliance, a 100 meter mountain ghost and a 200 meter green poisonous dragon appeared immediately. The former is taller than halfway up Zishan Mountain, and the latter is also at the level of a giant. Enchantment. As Li Xia performed his own actions, a huge blue light curtain quickly enveloped the entire Zishan Mountain. Give me. Get up. As if in response to his voice, countless roots burst out of the earth. And these roots gently exerted force upwards, dragging up the blue barrier light ball. Because the movement was very light and slow, it did not damage Ling Shan, causing the mountain to collapse and causing disaster to things on the mountain. Shan Gui, carry Zishan up here for me. By the way, be careful, Ali is still in the mountain. Roar. The huge mountain ghost, not much shorter than Zishan Mountain, with the help of poisonous dragons and countless tree roots rising from the ground. Roared and lifted the 200 meter high Zishan Mountain steadily, and then carried it on its own, as shoulders. Mountain Ghost, Mountain Ghost, this guy has so much brute force, all he needs to do is move mountains and fill seas. The name Mountain Ghost also comes from this. As for the poisonous dragon, it is responsible for spitting out a large amount of clouds to surround the Mountain Ghost and the barrier light ball. Helping the Mountain Ghost reduce some pressure and avoid the prying eyes of the outside world. Let's go back to Bailing Mountain. Li Xia, who was a little offended, decided to move Zishan into Bailing Shan. Let you bully us honest people. Besides, he already had this intention. After all, if you want to build Bailing Mountain, the more spiritual mountains around you, the better. The road to the north is still long. Thousands of miles away. But it can't stand the mountain ghost's movement speed of tens of meters in one step. And because the poisonous dragon used clouds and mist that covered several miles to hide everyone's figures, there was not much noise along the way. During this period, some unsighted people naturally came in to watch the fun. But few people can catch up with the speed of the mountain ghost. Even if someone catches up, they will be frightened away by Li Xia's look. It is said that one day in the outside world is ten years in the inner world. When the mountain ghost carried Zishan into Bailing Mountain, less than five years had passed in Ali's inner world. Although Ali's soul has rewrapped the memory of Platycodon Grandiflorum, the reintegration is not harmonious and there is always a sense of separation. When the spirit of Zishan faced the joint attack of Master Bai and Li Xia, the fantasy world finally couldn't hold on anymore and collapsed. As a result, Ali's consciousness was able to wake up early. After Yu Yu woke up, the girl was still a little confused. Who am I? This is. Lying on the stone steps on the mountainside of Zishan Mountain, the little girl felt a dull pain in her head. The awakening of the huge memory stream is undoubtedly a shock to the original memory. Fortunately, 15 years versus 5 years, and with home field advantage, the final result is. Ali is still the same Ali. But Ali is not exactly the same Ali anymore. There is sowing more in his soul. How do you feel? Li Xia kicked the Zishan spiritual bow far away, what a piece of rubbish. Then he quickly held the distracted girl in his arms and asked with heartache. He really regretted letting this girl climb the mountain to try it out. Xia, I want to sleep a little longer. Turning to look at the old monk on the jade platform. Master, what's wrong with Ali? It looks like she can't bear the sudden increase in power. Her soul power is much stronger than it was two days ago. I guess it's not a bad thing. Let her have a good sleep, and then she should be fine after a day or two of rest. After Sweetheart by finished speaking, she slowly closed her eyes. It was impossible for him to explore the girl's heart, so naturally he could only get a rough idea of the appearance. Isn't it a bad thing? That's good. Li Xia nodded, then exhaled heavily and relaxed. That night, he stayed beside the bed in the cave. When I woke up in the morning, our eyes met. The blush on the girl's face was extremely intoxicating. Xia, last night you. It seems that I was too sleepy and fell asleep accidentally. By the way, drink some hot water. There is a thermos cup on the wooden cabinet next to the bed. Thanks. The girl pursed her lips and blinked, 
her eyes shining with joy and happiness. Rested for two days. When Ali repeatedly said that he had no problem, Li Xia took the little girl to make follow-up plans. The next step is to conquer the gold and silver disasters. The power of bond between the two brothers is of great benefit to mountain ghosts, poisonous dragons, dragon-scaled fire-tip spears, and even the war fortress of Hashimaru. On the southern island of Shikoku, traces of the brothers Jin Fu and Yin Fu happened to be discovered. Originally, they should have set off directly after obtaining the Zishan bow three days ago. A family of disasters. Gold and silver disasters. What kind of monster is that? Mangu, who was traveling with him, was somewhat interested in this prey. That's a monster with two heads from birth and a special bond of blood. Normally, not long after birth, one of the brothers would eat the head of the other and then become a complete, independent individual. But the golden misfortune is different from the silver misfortune. They sleep at the same time, wake up at the same time, and fight with high intensity every day, trying to each other. But the two have been fighting for countless years, and they still haven't come to a winner. It is precisely because of this that he became an alien among the same race. Li Xia explained simply. How is the strength? One of the two brothers is playing with thunder and the other is playing with fire. Neither of them is a big monster. The power of thunder and fire alone is quite limited. But if the two brothers join forces, the thunder and fire will form a special bonding thunder and bonding fire. It can even ignore the armor and destroy everything on the enemy from the inside. Therefore, even many big monsters will have a headache against them. The village below was so badly damaged. It must be another good thing done by monsters. Li Xia sighed lightly. During the Warring States period, not only were wars going on everywhere, but there were also monsters wreaking havoc everywhere. It's not easy for humans to hold on. There's a cow over there. My whole body was burned, as if it was struck by lightning. Getting closer, several people quickly discovered the clues. At this moment, on the mountain ridge not far away, a passing villager hurriedly reminded loudly. Over there, if you don't want to be implicated by the monster brothers, then leave here quickly. The monster brothers are not far away, and they might fight back soon. The villager carrying a package shouted in this direction a few times before preparing to leave. When Li Xia saw this, he quickly chased after him at a very fast speed. Because he was dressed as a mage, the villagers on the mountain ridge were not surprised, but they were not frightened. Excuse me, what happened here? Why was the village destroyed? Mage, you must be a stranger from a remote place, right? Well, our group all came from Dongguo. No wonder. The villagers glanced at Man Gu, Snake Gu, and Ali An Yen Ho's back, who were coming from behind, and nodded. He was a little afraid of the barbarian bones and snake bones dressed as military generals when he saw Ali dressed in strange clothes. He didn't take it too seriously after looking at Yan Ho who had restrained his own flames but was still extraordinary and handsome for a moment, he immediately revealed as a deep look of envy. But then, it was replaced by anxiety. It seems that he is avoiding some danger. Don't worry, our group is here this time to slay demons as long as we are here, the monster brother can't hurt you. Li Xia reassured. When the middle-aged villager heard this, his eyes lit up. Are you here to take care of the monster brothers? Great. This man is tall and powerful, and he is both a mage and a general. He does seem to be quite reliable. Because of this, he felt a lot more at ease. No longer in a hurry to escape. After all, leaving one's hometown is a last resort. If possible, who would be willing to abandon the homeland they have cultivated for many years? It's our job to subjugate demons, but fellow villagers need to tell us the details so that we can be more certain. Okay, easy to say, here's the thing. Our village used to be peaceful and peaceful, but not long ago, the monster brothers came here. They fight in the sky every day, and the aftermath of falling flames and thunder often affects the villages, causing many nearby villages to suffer miserably. We also organized people to attack the brothers while they were sleeping in order to drive them away. It's a pity that the monster brothers are extremely alert, and any disturbance will wake them up. We failed and suffered heavy losses. I have no choice but to leave this homeland. After the villagers narrated the situation nearby, everyone quickly had a general understanding. Everyone is also sure that they have found the right direction, 
and the golden and silver disasters are here. Demonic clouds gathered in the sky, covering an area several miles away. In the clouds, there was lightning and thunder, and there were always flashes of fire, and there were even loud curses. Damn Jean Hui, I will smash your head today. Shut up, Yin Hui, and watch me burn your head to ashes. It was the two brothers who were shouting at each other, the golden misfortune and the silver misfortune. Both brothers are half-human monsters, with the upper body of a strong man and the lower body of a snake. One has brown skin, the other has bluish-gray skin. The brown one is Jin Fu, his elder brother, good at controlling fire the blue-gray one is Silver Fu, good at controlling lightning. The two are equally powerful, and over the years it has been difficult to tell the winner. This is the main reason why they have gradually become aliens in the race. What's interesting is that precisely because they fight every day and think about how to or even eat their brothers every day, their fighting level is quite high. The two brothers were fighting to the death as usual, and they were fighting happily. But they didn't notice at all that a group of people on the hilltop not far away were already staring at the two of them. The power that tightly connects these two brothers should be mine. Among the group of people, the leader, a young man wearing a white baboon sweater, suddenly felt a purple-black miasma wind. The baboon sweater on his body disappeared and was replaced by a set of evil cloth armor. A pair of wings grew from the young man's back. With one flap of its wings, it flew across tens to hundreds of meters. This person is Neraku. He originally planned to use the blood that bound the two brothers to gold and silver to cultivate a war fortress. His idea was also very simple to train Shinshimaru, and let Shinshimaru and the impure-minded by Dongzi attract fire in the light while he was dormant in the dark. Transforming himself, constantly evolving, and by the way, Kana Kagura and Bayakuya kept a low profile and hunted various useful targets. The plan started out well. However, before Shinshimaru could grow up, he was accidentally bumped into by a doggy man and woman. And because AKO made his own decisions and asked by Tongzi to help Hashawan take damage, the barrier was destroyed by Kikyo's arrow. Without the advanced barrier, he couldn't even provide remote support. Akaduji and the others did not know that the barrier had the ability to teleport, so Neraku hid it. The prototype of the castle named Shashimaru is gone, but that doesn't mean that the blood that bound the two brothers, Jin Fu and Silver Fu, has lost its significance. If he doesn't need the scorpion pill, he can use it directly. He had been thinking about this precious demon blood for a long time. His body of 10,000 monsters can also become stronger with the help of this bonded blood, and is even expected to reach a higher level. A bone suddenly extended from his palm. This bone changed for a while and soon turned into a majestic machete. Very much like Tai Suya. Gold and silver misfortune, please become my blessing. Wind injury. When there was only a hundred meters of safety cordon left between the two brothers of the disaster clan, three parallel golden sword lights suddenly appeared. He headed straight towards the two brothers fighting in midair. Who is it? Dare to hinder our fight? The two brothers said in unison. Conditioning for danger is really fast. When the golden sword approached, they all rose high into the sky, narrowly escaping the blows of Feng Zhizhi. Immediately afterwards, flames and thunder fell together. Parallel bombardment towards the place where the sword light just struck. Snort. Neraku didn't mean to talk too much. He opened the barrier and easily withstood this wave of attacks. At the same time, taking advantage of the visual disturbance caused by the explosion of flames and thunder, he rushed to the two brothers in a flash. Actually ignored their thunder and fire. The two brothers were surprised by this. On Neraku's side, after successfully achieving his goal of getting close, dozens of sharp tentacles with barbs at the tips protruded from behind. Quickly passed through the magenta barrier, and were firmly tied to the two brothers. Succeeded. Neraku secretly thought. During this period, several tentacles scratched Jean Hui in Hui's body, and then blood flew down and bathed in his body. The moment he got this bonding blood, Neraku's heart was shaking and his eyes were bright. What delicious demon blood! It is simply tailor-made for his body of ten thousand monsters. In the past, I needed to use the ghost spider's human heart as a link to barely bind all the demons together. As a result, the demon power of this body was not high and the strength was average. It took many times of witchcraft to finally grow to a large size. 
monster level. But now, it's just a few splashes of demon blood, but it's worth the months I accumulated in earlier years. If you knew that the blood of Jean Hui Yin Hui had such a magical effect on him, he should have had him long ago. In the flash of lightning, Naraku thought like this. Then he laughed and declared victory. Gold and silver misfortune, merge with me. Hearing this, the two brothers snorted coldly. Stupid guy. Immediately, thunder and fire exploded. Then it spread along Naraku's tentacles. It's useless, my barrier. Nanny. On Naraku's side, when Zhengji was satisfied, the smile on his face froze, and soon changed to a look of shock. What are these flames and thunder? Why do they cause damage from within first? Also, didn't my barrier just successfully block the thunder and flames of gold and silver? Why did it fail at this time? Could it be that these brothers were playing me just now? Wait, those tentacles. Naraku, realizing the problem, wanted to take back his tentacles, but he couldn't bear the duck that had reached his mouth to fly away. Moreover, the thunder struck at every inch, paralyzing his flesh and blood to a great extent, making all aspects of his movements very sluggish. I really like the power of the thunder and fire bond between these two brothers. My mind was spinning, and I immediately had a plan. Above. The fighting spirit of golden disaster and silver disaster is high. Sooner or later, this body will be a trophy for one of us. It would make people laugh out loud if they were eaten by a half-demon like you. No matter what defenses you have. Fire and thunder will invade your body and burn everything from the inside out. Die. The two brothers once again spoke in unison. In response to these two, the tentacles that originally restrained Jin Hui loosened a little, which at least allowed Jin Hui to free his hands to suddenly attack his brother Yin Hui next to him. Below. Witnessing this scene, Kanna, Bayakuya, and Kagura, who was holding Akaduji, and the group of people with their families moving together, all realized that the outcome was decided. That guy Naraku is really insidious. He only let go of Jin Hui. Kagura pouted. In her arms, Ako looked at Naraku in mid-air and thought thoughtfully if it were me, I would probably let go of one of them, right? However, what surprised everyone even Naraku was that Jin Hui did not attack Yin Hui who was close at hand, but instead grabbed two of the tentacles that restrained Yin Hui. Flame At this moment, the originally scattered thunder and fire suddenly formed a tighter entanglement of thunder and fire. Seriously I am in you, and you are in me. You obviously have it at your fingertips. Naraku asked with a gloomy expression. He miscalculated. The situation was so bad that even if he wanted to take the initiative to let go of the tentacles, he couldn't. The entangled thunder and fire doubled in power. This is really bloody. Hey! If we want to win with external force, Yin Hua and I have to fight for so many years. Why wait for you to show up? Even if we divert the disaster to the east, we will already have a winner. It's your turn to use tricks to win. Cheap. Besides, he's not a fool. The guy opposite him deliberately let go of him, making it clear that it was a trap. Once he stabbed Silverhide in the back and Ed Silverhide, he couldn't gain Silverhide's power immediately. Suddenly losing the suppression of Ian Huey's thunder power, how could he defeat the enemy with his fire power alone? Wouldn't it be a waste of time to take advantage of this half-demon with a dirty aura all over his body? The demon wall placed on the child caused the second accident here. That's right. No matter how much Jin Hui and I want to each other, the prerequisite is that we won't take advantage of outsiders. Let alone a half-demon trash like you. Naraku. I'll do it. Half-demon has no status at all, right? Can these two idiots even put aside their prejudices and share the same hatred to the outside world? Hey, what's going on? If this continues, even Naraku will be in trouble, right? On the hilltop not far away, by Yezisu, who was carrying a strange demon sword on his back, muttered. The surrounding Kanna, Kagura, and Akaduji all had other thoughts at this time. Seemingly. Is it actually good to let Naraku die like this? Kagura, give the child to Kanna, and come immediately and cut off these tentacles of mine. Naraku transmitted the message to the elf-like girl from the spiritual level. At this moment, he was wrapped in the bound flames and thunder, and the barrier that originally protected him lost its effectiveness because of the tentacles. 
As a result, his whole body was severely paralyzed by the thunder and fire, and he completely lost the ability to fly. At the same time, he also lost the strength to escape from the golden and silver disasters, and was forced to drag the two brothers and fall from the air together. He looked extremely embarrassed. Kagura heard this and cursed secretly. I felt a hundred reluctances in my heart. But when she saw that her sister Kanna had come over, she couldn't refuse at all by the way, she saw by Ye's expression that was half smiling but not smiling. Transfer. Then, slower than before, he plucked a feather from his bun and threw it in front of him using his magic, a feather flying boat quickly appeared. After jumping on the feather flying boat, her speed was also a little slower than before. And it's very subtle. However, just after such an incongruous few seconds of delay, a ray of fire quickly came towards this direction from the distance. Tens of breaths ago, Li Xia, who had seen the situation here in advance through the telescope he carried with him, rode Yan Hu, hugged Ali, and came here as quickly as possible. The speed of flame hoof erupting at this moment exceeded 300 meters. Almost reaching the speed of sound. Nehru. When the sound reached everyone's ears, the fire was almost approaching. Li Xia. Ali. How come these two came so fast? Kagura was secretly happy. Come on, Naraku, then I will be free. She shouted frantically in her heart. Akaduji, Kanna, and Bayakuya are confused. As for Naraku? At this moment, he was frowning and secretly said sewing was wrong. This time he came to hunt for gold and silver misfortunes. On the one hand, he couldn't use this power anymore, but he could use the bonding power of the two brothers. Secondly, it was to prevent the two brothers' power from falling. Into the hands of the human mage Li Xiao. It can only be said that the magical bonding power that connects the golden and silver disasters has a very good promoting effect on him and the two shikigami of the human mage. There is no doubt that it has become a popular item between the two of them. After losing the scorpion pill, he ended his period of weakness as quickly as possible, turned around and came directly here. It turned out that the mage Li Xia made a bad move because of the love between his children, and was delayed by Ali. This made him find the golden and silver disaster first. But he was also in a hurry and made a bad move, that is, he gave the non-monster wall to the child instead of carrying it with him. As his monster heart, AKO is his lifeblood handing AKO the demon wall that can eliminate his own aura to AKO is understandable and there is absolutely no problem at all. But right now, this is a bad move. It was precisely because of the half-demon aura he exuded that Jin Huyinhui rejected him, guarded against him, and resisted him from the bottom of his heart, completely ignoring his plans. Uncharacteristically, they even fought against him with the same hatred and hatred. It just beat the dog. Bayakuya, take out Kagura's heart. Naraku's inner message this time is for all his children. The threat was almost written on his face. Kagura, who was paddling extremely carefully, turned pale when he heard this. No, Naraku. When the elf-like girl begged, how could she dare to have any reservations? He immediately accelerated with all his strength and waved the folding fan in his hand, shooting out dozens of sharp wind blades. Many of these wind blades struck at Naraku's tentacles, instantly off those tentacles that were paralyzed and burned to the point of being unable to move. Others were dragged onto the two brothers Jin Hui and Yin Hui, causing them many wounds and losing a lot of demon blood. The spilled demon blood just happened to be splashed on Naraku who was directly below, and Naraku absorbed the wave happily, and the wave of blood returned instantly. Snort. Li Xia, who was wearing a time tree mask, snorted coldly. After three consecutive teleports, he crossed nearly a kilometer in the blink of an eye and arrived not far from Naraku's side. This move shocked everyone present. It even shocked Naraku to the point where his hair stood on end. He is not afraid of any damage at the physical level. With his heart out of his body, he can now withstand severe injuries such as being shattered into pieces or even being wiped into pieces. Anyway, as long as his innocence is intact and the demonic power in his body is sufficient, his body will be almost immortal, and he can quickly reorganize even if he is strangled to a pulp. But this is only for the physical level. When encountering Li Xia's unreasonable and sacred power of purification that specifically restrains all evil spirits, he should still kneel down. Platycodon may not be able to purify him now, 
but that kind of sacred purifying power poses a great threat to him. Don't even think about it. The majestic broadsword on his right arm swung sideways and struck a wind wound. Immediately afterwards, a large amount of corrosive and poisonous miasma was released. Defile all things. Trying to push back the enemy. This is no longer an ordinary miasma, but a miasma that contains part of the immortal poison of Yao Lao Poison Immortal, and the danger level has been increased by two levels. Naraku had earlier borrowed a knife to someone, and after using Soraki's hand to trick in Yasha, he absorbed the power of the fairy poison from the iron broken teeth. I had never been able to digest this power before, but this time of retreat during my weak period, I was able to use this immortal poison to my own advantage. Integrating it into the miasma has greatly increased the toxicity of his miasma several times. Of course, in addition to trying to push back the enemy, he also has the intention of creating a combat environment that is conducive to himself and interfering with the outside world sight. Beyond the miasma, Li Xia is here. It was a beautiful game of guns and knots. Then he saw a magenta light ball quickly condensed on the fire tip gun. It's very similar to the way Whitebeard blesses his Najinata with the shock fruit in a certain pirate movie. It's just that the Whitebeard's power of shaking is white, and Li Xia's is purple. Boundary. And why is it so similar to my boundary? In the miasma where things could not be seen clearly, Naraku's voice full of surprise came out. Yes, this is your barrier. Li Xia grinned and responded with a smile, then waved his spear and threw out the barrier. Go. The enchanted light ball is filled with flames, thunder, and a crystalline demon power compressed to the extreme. Once it explodes, the power is considerable. He recently used Song Yunya to collect tolls from the monster cemetery and tried this trick there. How come you have my barrier power? Naraku was obviously furious. Li Xia didn't want to explain this. He just needs to understand in his heart. The situation is. The ability of the halberd was obtained after Dragon Scale's fire-tip spear cut off the halberd in Bai Tongzi's hand. It turns out that the halberd used by Bai Dongzi was condensed by Naraku using his own bone essence. In addition to being quite sharp and hard, it also has the ability to create barriers. The halberd was cut off by Dragon Scale's fire-tip spear, and the demonic power in it was absorbed. This led to the current scene. The power of compressing flames and thunder is Bai Tongzi's ability. Buzz. The fire-tip spear trembled, sending Li Xia a desire to tear Naraku apart and absorb it. That's right, this gun is channeled in advance. Much earlier than expected. The reason why he was able to channel the spirit in advance was also indispensable to Bai Tongzi's contribution. If Naraku knew this, he would probably be furious. The ball of enchanted light that flew out smashed the golden wind wound blade chi extremely domineeringly, and then exploded into the miasma mist with a pop. The moment it reaches the approximate center of that area. Burst. As the barrier light ball disintegrated, the flames, thunder, and crystalline demon power compressed in it were released one after another. The flames include the golden flames of the underworld of Iron Rooster, the immortal flames of the ancient underground gate, and some of the flame properties of Flame Hoof. The thunder among them includes the blue thunder of the Thunder Beast clan, the violent thunder of the Dragon Bone Spirit. The sky thunder of the Multipagoda Giant Ghost, the purple thunder of the Flying Demon Moth, and even part of Sesomaru's power. As for that crystalline demon power, it is the power of Bao Ziangwis Diamond Gun to destroy demons. As a result, what appeared in the eyes of Naraku, Kagura, and everyone else was the central flowering of various thunder flames wrapped around the diamond gun. The violent energy spreads out, like a little boy rising. Even though Neraku was prepared, the barrier was broken by the diamond spearhead, and then his body of ten thousand demons was torn into countless pieces. Then he was bathed by the powerful power of thunder and fire. I really suffered from the lack of information. Among them, part of the demonic power was also absorbed by Neraku. But the damage was far greater than the absorbed amount. Ali. Demon Breaking Arrow. Come and hit it. Li Xia said through the magic magatama between the little girl's eyebrows. Naraku's convenient OD of telepathic transmission is also available to the young couple. On Yanho's back, the girl who had been prepared beforehand loosened her bow string and shot an arrow blessed with Zishan's bow. Naraku snorted disdainfully. 
If it were Kikyo's demon breaking arrow, he would still be afraid of it. Change it to a Lee's demon breaking arrow. But then, he realized sewing was wrong. Etc. Why did that girl's arrow disappear before it even touched the surrounding miasma? Before Neraku could recover, ripples suddenly appeared in the space a foot in front of him. The next moment, an arrow wrapped in a bright purple light suddenly emerged from the ripples in the space. When did that dead girl Ailey have such means? With a pop, the arrow shot through Neraku's face, splitting it in two. The fierce demon-breaking light bloomed, followed by continuous white arcs exploding, purifying the surrounding monsters and evil spirits. Neraku was the first to bear the brunt, and his breath suddenly dropped a lot. What happened to that arrow? It actually ignored the space and obstacles along the way and hit Neraku directly. Kagura's eyes flashed. The child in Kanna's arms narrowed his eyes. That arrow is very dangerous. Even he can be threatened. Kagura, Bayakuya, what are you doing standing still? Neraku roared angrily in the spiritual channel. I thought you could stop it. Bayi shrugged, expressing his innocence. In fact, he had already taken action. No, riding an enlarged version of the paper crane, I didn't know when I came to Kagura. With a wave of his hand, countless paper cranes were summoned, covering the entire battlefield in a large area. On Ali's side, the witch's blue defensive barrier was immediately propped up, along with the flaming hoof to protect her. The movements are very full. Li Xia has three layers of blue, magenta, and glitter. Immediately he turned around and went straight towards Kanna. To be precise, it's the baby in Kanna's arms. Kagura and Bayakuya were lured into the battlefield, and Kanna was the only one left beside Akako. Chance. Ali was very cooperative and fired another covering arrow. Neraku was shocked when he saw this. Not good. Could it be that? These two know the secret of my heart. Damn it. Who can reveal secrets by eating things inside and outside? High in the air. The two brothers, Gold and Silver, were very discerning and took the opportunity to run away. They are just reckless, not stupid. Brother Mangu, it seems like a monster is flying towards us. The snake bone eyes were shining. The characteristics of Gold and Silver misfortune are too obvious. It looks like the goal of several people's trip. This is a real achievement. The escape of the Golden Misfortune and the Silver Misfortune was the result of the acquiescence of both parties. To be precise, it was the result of Li Xia's deliberate guidance using the aftermath of the previous offensive. In other words, it was not that Barbarian Bones and Snake Bones were lucky, but that their boss took the initiative to give them a hand and gave them a chance to perform. It was a compromise that Neraku had no extra energy to stop, so he had to let the two go first. It's better than the two brothers falling into the hands of the powerful enemy in front of them, isn't it? If you miss it this time, it's not too late to look back for a golden or silver misfortune. With the tacit understanding between the two parties, the brothers, who had been ing each other for who knows how many years, ran into the beast bones and snake bones. Both sides are a combination of brothers' brothers. Brother to brother. On the one hand, they are obviously brothers, but there is an obvious huge gap between the brothers. And it is the kind that cannot be reconciled between life and death. On the other side, although they are not real brothers, their relationship is closer than that of real brothers. Snake bones, let's capture them quickly and prove our worth. Okay, brother Mangu. The main battlefield is located. Neraku's scalp was numb at this moment. He couldn't figure out how the information about the monster's heart was leaked. But now is no longer the time to think about this. Can Kanna alone protect the innocent child? Can Chitsi's powerful barrier alone stop Li Xia? You know, even Neraku's barrier can't stop the Vajra gun from breaking through. Li, don't even think about it. In front of Kanna, a purple light curtain appeared. This is a barrier that the little girl used Neraku's bones to open. The purpose is not to prevent Li Xia's attack, but to serve as an anchor point. The next moment, within this barrier light ball, subtle spatial fluctuations flashed away, and Neraku's figure appeared directly across hundreds of meters. This is the ability he transformed after absorbing the power of the flying demon moth and the power of the era tree demon in Tai Suiyang. It was originally a hidden trump card, but now it had to be revealed. 
Li Xia, who teleported over, couldn't help but narrow his eyes when he saw this. After the dragon scale's fire tip spear was covered with sharp diamond fragments, it struck down heavily without hesitation. Clang! The spear collided with the bone knife. The sound of gold and iron clashing sounded. The two figures each flew out upside down. While Li Xiafei retreated, he kept dodging. Naraku turned into a tentacle monster, and the tentacles he was waving so quickly were too disturbing. And these tentacles pose a real threat to him. After all, they are all extremely sharp, bony tentacles that could penetrate the head of a chicken and cut off its neck in the original timeline. Swish swish. Tentacles shot out from behind Naraku. Puff, puff, puff. Li Xia's fire-tip spear surged with cold light, and the spearhead was wrapped in flames and thunderous slashes. The spearheads formed by the incoming bone tentacles were immediately broken off. Several monsters with their mouths wide open and full of fangs emerged from Naraku's body, and then stretched out their necks to bite Li Xia. Li Xia waved his spear and fired explosive flames and thunder. The thunder flames mainly hit Naraku, but many of them were directed towards Kana behind Naraku and the baby AKO in Kana's arms. Seeing this, Naraku's eyes narrowed into slits. He was already very sure that Chi Zi's information was exposed. While thinking, it didn't prevent him from taking action, nor did it prevent him from being beaten. No, before the several monster heads that poked out of the body came close to Li Xia, they were all blown to pieces amidst the crackling and booming explosions. It's really tricky. Naraku snorted softly. He didn't expect that this small trick could the enemy in front of him. In the ongoing confrontation between the two sides, he made hundreds of moves. For example, a red scorpion tail suddenly grew out of the back of her butt. The barb was thrown out quickly, followed by the rest of the offensive and the cover of the battlefield smoke, piercing Li Xia's heart. Another example is that there is a white light hidden in his mouth, which is actually a monster as big as a thumb. This monster can explode at supersonic speeds over short distances. For another example, he automatically untied his body and dispersed it into countless pieces of squirming flesh and blood. And then wrapped up Li Xia who picked out the white light monster with his gun and chopped off the scorpion tail with thunder and fire. Trying to eat the other person and make the other person merge with themselves. The offensive was quite rapid. Of course, in order to prevent the divine purification ability from giving him a hard blow. He threw out pieces of flesh and blood this time, which were the parts of his body that occasionally made trouble with him. Although this part is more obedient than Kagura, it is still somewhat resistant to his control. At this moment, it's all good to use as waste. No matter what. Li Xia's triple barrier is extremely stable. The powerful barrier built by the first layer of blood coral gems cannot be broken through by numerous pieces of flesh and blood. Naraku failed to absorb the power of the life-melting tree and the treasure immortal ghost and demon. Although he could open high-level wards, he lacked the defense means to deal with wards of the same level. In just a moment, the two sides fought for more than three or five rounds. On the surface, no one can help anyone. In fact, Naraku was already at a disadvantage. Just because the dragon scale's fire-tip spear continues to capture Naraku's demonic power through constant contact. One is that after the spear had collided with the bone knife blade, the fire tip spear even absorbed the demonic power of the wind injury. The other is that after the spear cut off the tentacles extending from Naraku's body or the heads of other monsters. The broken tentacles and broken monster flesh and blood lost all activity in the blink of an eye, and they could no longer survive the usual injuries. Unable to spontaneously return to Naraku's body to regroup. If Li Xia hadn't felt the demon power flowing backwards along the body of the fire-pointed gun, trying to rush into his body arbitrarily and even if he was wearing several layers of isolation gloves. He would have felt that the body of the dragon-scaled fire-pointed gun was a little hot to the touch. He doesn't mind absorbing a little more. If the countercurrent of demonic power is not resolved, dragon-scale's fire-tip spear will ultimately be a weapon that will devour its owner and injure its holder. At this moment, Ali's warning sounded in his mind. Xia, be careful behind you. Turn out to be. With the help of Flame Hoof, this girl easily suppressed Kagura, or to be more precise, she bullied Kagura without difficulty. Even if a white knight is added to the battle circle, the little girl will always have the upper hand. 
unexpectedly, Bai Yi hides deeply. The countless paper cranes floating in the sky are just the other side's most common means. The opponent also has a way to summon monsters to fight through the gourd hanging on his back. And those monsters seem to have been tamed by each other. Bai Yi opened the gourd's mouth and instantly released hundreds of monsters. These monsters were divided into two groups, one group surrounded and attacked the Li, and the other group pounced on Li Xia. This white knight. Li Xia gritted his teeth secretly. Others don't know Bai Ye's ODs, but he is more or less aware of it. Dreamy white knight. He looks like just a charming young man, but he is actually Neraku's most trusted clone. Although he does not have 100% trust from Director Nai, he still sees through everything and lives indifferently. The apparent abilities are paper cranes, illusion, flying, and exploration and tracking. The real potential lies in the gourd on this guy's waist and the knife on his back. Bai Ye's gourd can connect to a strange space, where many monsters of average strength are kept. The knife this guy is carrying is even more dangerous. That sword probably doesn't have a blade yet, and has the strange ability to absorb the opponent's moves and grow a blade. In the later period of the original work, he simply absorbed the demonic power of the underworld Zangetsua released by Inuyasha. And a black blade representing the underworld blade grew from the handle. But it can only be used once. However, only this time, Ali was almost tricked to death. Bai Yi slashed at Ali with an underworld waning moon. And because of the Jade of Four Souls, it took effect when everyone relaxed their vigilance the complete underworld passage quietly appeared, and Ali was extremely abrupt. Inhaled into the underworld. To be precise, it was pulled into the inner space of the Four Souls Jade. The Jade of Four Souls has an independent internal space in the underworld. In that space, Tsuezi and the monsters from back then are still fighting. After Neraku died, he also entered that space. Neraku, it seems we have to leave here. These two people are difficult to deal with, and there is no need for us to fight with them. Seeing that Li Xia and Ali easily destroyed all the monster cannon fodder he summoned and gained a moment of time, Bai Yi hurriedly suggested on the spiritual channel without any delay. Hearing this, Neraku felt reluctant, but the golden and silver disasters had gone away, and his hunting this time was considered a failure. Then he thought that the mage and witch in front of him had become more difficult. Even though his strength had greatly increased, he still looked slightly inferior. Moreover, the spear in the hands of the mage opposite was so weird that it could actually take away his demonic power. Which directly caused the loss of less than half of the wealth he had previously transformed and accolated. The key is that the mage named Lee still has two major shikigami hidden away that he has not used yet, but he is almost stretched. Realizing that if you continue to fight, not only will you not get the slightest advantage, you will even suffer a loss. Humph, Li Xia, the demonic power of the spear in your hand will belong to me sooner or later. I'll leave it at your place for now. Let's go. A golden wind wound was struck. Li Xia didn't dodge or evade, and pushed back with the power of thunder and fire. A mere wind injury. But the next second, the majestic sword that Neraku waved with his right hand was suddenly entangled in the wind cyclone. As the opponent swung out the power of thunder and fire, the sky-blocking storm covered the entire area. Blast! This was originally the ultimate secret of Tai Suya. The principle of this move is to use the wind wound's airflow to rewind the opponent's demonic energy to attack. Therefore, its essence is the wind injury blessed by the demonic power of the sword holder the enemy's demonic energy. Unexpectedly, Inuyasha did not control it, but Neraku, who had absorbed the Tetsuya, could control it. Li Xia was really frightened when he saw countless cyclone drills hitting him. Without thinking, he teleported three times in succession, far away from the area affected by the blast. Chance. Kanna and Kagura, who were holding AKO, immediately gathered around Bayakuya and Neraku. Meng Meng Bei took off the gourd from his waist again, and then threw a circle of special liquid around everyone. After the liquid hit the ground, it quickly boiled and evaporated, and then formed a barrier to wrap everyone around. Not only that, the moment this three-foot-sized barrier took shape, it immediately solidified into a stone wall. From the outside, it looks like a stone ball with bumps on the surface. And quickly soared into the air. That's. The moon. Ali, who was not affected, saw it clearly and was very shocked. But because he was too far away, 
there was no time to stop him. I saw that after the small moon took off, it quickly compressed and shrank in the middle, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. He actually escaped into an unknown space. This scene was naturally seen by Li Xia, who had just escaped the blast. So, how unimaginable was Neraku in the original novel? He actually went to head-to-head -head with Sesomaru and Inuyasha. He cursed secretly. Sighed softly. The missing moon was actually a different space. There are all kinds of monsters here. You can't get in here with ordinary means. Meng Bei can freely enter and leave here through the gourd on his waist. Not only that, Bai Yi can also use this alien space to quickly jump to other places through pre-standard coordinates. For example, taking Neraku and a few others back to Honshu Island quickly from Shikoku Island. Let's recuperate here first. Although I didn't get much blood from the bond from Jin Fu Yin Fu, it was barely enough for me to improve myself. As for that guy Li Xia. Neraku gritted his teeth. Humph. I'll him sooner or later. Edge. Kagura calmly withdrew her gaze. That man might be able to do it. Barbaric bones and snake bones. There was no big surprise. The two brothers joined forces and successfully stopped the two brothers who were suffering from gold and silver misfortune. By the time Li Xia and Ali came quickly on their flaming hoofs, the battle was at a fever pitch. The four of them were tangled together. The battle circle is filled with flames, thunder, sword pressure, and sword energy. I'll capture you two without any effort. After the snake bone and clay body were transformed, they possessed part of the demonic power of the flying demon moth. Growing butterfly wings that can fly is a basic operation. This guy used this move after his mount was ed by Jean Hui. The serial blade in Snake Bone's hand has been transformed into a sharper soft knife it also contains the power of wind and thunder, so it is a sharp knife. As for the barbarian on the side. Although he did not acquire any new abilities, he carefully developed his own diamond power. For example, at this moment, after the horse at Mangu's feet was struck to death by Yin Hui with lightning, a pair of crystal wings immediately sprouted from its back. If you look carefully, you can find that each feather on the wings is an extremely thin piece of diamond. It is these many feathers that are a little thinner than paper that make up the wings. Because each feather wing is made of condensed diamond, its sharpness is simply ridiculous. The wings can be thickened with demon power at any time, and protecting them in front of the body is another means of defense. In this way, this is another combat mode with both offense and defense. Not to mention that Man Gu was holding a large barbarian dragon spear with a high risk factor. So, the battle between two brothers versus two brothers was only a preliminary confrontation, and the gold and silver misfortunes suffered a big loss. One had his shield destroyed, the other had an arm severed. However, if you want to capture the barbarian bones and snake bones of gold and silver disasters alive, you are more or less hesitant to take action. This makes it very difficult for them, who are top-notch in attack ability, to easily capture the two demons without damaging their lives and vitality. It's really uncomfortable to fight without being able to let go of your hands and feet. In a life-and-death fight, Snake Bones, who knew most of the Monster Brothers' ins and outs, said that he could them both with one blow. Just hold these two down, they will be here soon. Barbarian Bones is now able to keep his composure. Soon, Li Xia and Ali also arrived. Ali, just watch from the side and don't shoot. Oh. With Li Xia's entry, the subsequent results were finalized. In other words, when the golden misfortune and silver misfortune were stopped, the fate of these two brothers was doomed. Core Seal. The two brothers, Jin Fu and Yin Fu, who had almost lost the ability to resist and whose vitality plummeted. Quickly condensed in the bright light, and finally turned into a bracelet of gold and blue intertwined with each other. These two are not worth using the few high-level resources he has left to make a contract. Those with lower than six-star potential are always a little less interesting. Just use Mana Magatama to control one or two. All he wants is the brother's demonic power and bonding blood. Boss Xia, if you hadn't told me not to harm these two lives and made Brother Mangu and I restrain our hands, we would have definitely captured these monster brothers before they returned. Brother Mangu and I were not lazy. The snake bone that had released its transformation said a little aggrieved. At the same time, I feel a little regretful. Okay, 
I get it. Li Xia, who is in a good mood, naturally knows how to share happiness with others. He turned to look at the bracelet floating in his palm. Golden misfortune, silver misfortune, why do you two keep arguing? Even if you almost get an advantage, others won't hesitate. He was curious about this. There are many reasons. Generally speaking, there are three. On the one hand, we brothers need to eat each other to become independent monsters. On the other hand, by eating the opponent, you can fully obtain the opponent's power and become a big monster in your own right. With the power of the big monster, you can win the favor of the queen of the ethnic group. Then you can breed outstanding offspring with the queen. Descendants. Besides, we need to eat each other to be able to reproduce. This is the fault of the disaster clan. Either a brother or a sister. There is no such thing as male and female matching. Li Xia took a closer look, oh, it really is like this. The flesh and blood of the two lower bodies were almost entangled, and only the upper bodies were separated. M. How many years have you been single since you were born? I'm afraid it's even longer than Sesomaru's 400 years, right? Is your queen powerful? Is your character cruel? What is your attitude toward humans? The queen is the most beautiful and powerful woman in trouble in the world. She has always been very kind to her tribe, but not very friendly to humans. How about I invite her to be your wife? Lord! Is it okay? But our brother's situation. This is the subtle influence of Mana Magatama in its initial effect. And more often than not, someone does what they like. It's okay. After I recreate your power and draw a few more buckets of demon blood, I will perform a separation operation on you. By then, there will only be a little pain. As for the queen, I hope you will have more children. The more of this high-quality blood pack, the better. On the way back, Ali, who was leaning on Li Xia's arms on Yen Tu's back, looked up at the handsome face looking down at her, and asked a little nervously. Xia, what are you going to do with these two monster brothers? The reason why the two of them can look up and down is because the boy's height has grown a lot in the past few months. Originally, Li Xia was one. Seventy-three meters tall before he came to Inuyasha's monster world, which was only more than half a head taller than Ali's previous height of one. Fifty-eight meters. But with the healthy growth in the past few months, Li Xia has been soaring upwards, and is now one. Eighty-two meters tall. On the other hand, Ali, although he also grew taller, only reached one. Six meters. The battles over the years have caused countless innocent deaths. If we just let them go, it would be too easy for them. Secondly, there is no guarantee that they will not continue to cause trouble and cause unpredictable damage. Sometimes, we have done our best. Furthermore, the power of bond of these two brothers is of great use to my shikigami and my fire-tip spear. The purpose of our coming here is precisely for this power. Li Xia looked at the girl's clear eyes, which were full of tenderness and doting. Don't worry, I will leave a way for these two to survive after recarving and depriving them of most of their demon power and demon blood. If conditions permit, I also hope that everyone who follows me will be happy. Those two brother, don't you like the queen of the disaster clan? He'll ask Barbarian Bone and Snake Bone to tie up the queen later. He knew that the little girl asked this question because she was worried that he would go astray. Therefore, no matter what, we can't live up to this girl's kindness. Why did you kidnap the Queen of Disaster? The girl's eyes widened. Male and female are matched, so the work won't be tiring. Li Xia laughed and tightened his hands, lowering his head and kissing his forehead gently. Shikigami Mountain Ghost. He has successively obtained Wuxing Ghost, Ghost City Female Ghost, Purgatory Ghost, Duobao Giant Ghost, Demon Girl Lioli. A lot of demon power crystallized by the flying demon moth, and most of the demon power of the Baoxian Ghost and the Diamond Gun break ability such as Diamond Armor. These powers are almost integrated into one with the help of the ability of the Four Souls Jade and the Inheritance OD of the Black Miko. It can be said that they are indistinguishable from each other. Now, in terms of demon power alone, it has almost touched the threshold of six stars. Shikigami Big Osmanthus Mask Relying on the characteristic of the mask that can take away other people's bodies, he took over the dragon body of the poisonous dragon and used it as a backdoor to go public. Later, 
he made rapid progress by continuously devouring the flesh and blood of the dragon bone spirit and absorbing the demonic power of the dragon bone spirit. A body of demon power also touched the threshold of six stars. Comparable to the dragon bone essence, which is two sizes smaller. Shikigami Time Tree Mask The predecessor is two sacred wooden masks, one crying and one laughing. Those two Shinmo masks had considerable demonic power from the beginning. After obtaining the power of the complete age tree and most of the demon power crystals left by the flying demon moth, wearing the two together can allow Li Xia to enter a new field. That's the six star level. There is a huge gap of more than three times in number between five and a half stars and six stars. In terms of quality, there is also a huge gap. This is the main reason why during the period when General Inu was ruling the Western Kingdom, neither the Oagamaru of the Hayaki Bat clan nor the Iron Rooster of the Fire Country dared to make any noise. Even though they are all old demons who have lived for hundreds or even thousands of years, their demon power is very strong. But compared to the six-star top demon with powerful bloodline, the five-star is just a bigger ant. Fayanaji, one of the four heavenly kings under Ocelot Oyakata, has a five-star level of demon power. His strength is only half a level inferior to Seshomaru, but when he faced his lord Oyakata, he was trembling with fear. My younger brothers and sisters were Ed and I didn't dare to resist. The deterrent power of the top demon can be seen from this. Two days later. Inside the monster cemetery. Mountain ghosts and poisonous dragons, it's time for you to break through. A bucket of fused blood collected from the Queen of Disaster was given to the poisonous dragon. Two buckets of bond blood collected from Jean Hui In Hui were given to the mountain ghost. As the blood of the bond entered the big man's body, all the sequelae that would inevitably be left by the fusion of multiple ghosts were cured at this moment. The aura of the mountain ghost who had originally reached his upper limit had significantly improved at this moment. That's right. Don't look at the mountain ghosts who used the power of the Four Souls Jade to absorb the old monsters such as the Duobao Pagoda Giant Ghost and the Treasure Immortal Ghost. And gained the demonic power of the absorbed monsters. But there is always an upper limit for mountain ghosts. The process is like playing matryoshka dolls. The first layer of the nesting doll is that the mountain ghost itself absorbs the enlightened ghost. At this time, the upper limit of Shangue's potential is not its own that of Wuxingui, but the upper limit of his own or Wuxingui's potential. After devouring the female ghost from Gue Tu City, the upper limit of her potential was raised to the innate upper limit of this female ghost. Until the treasure immortal ghost is swallowed, if the transformation of the demon body and the strengthening of the bloodline by the four soul jade are not considered. The upper limit of the mountain ghost's potential is replaced by the limit of the treasure fairy ghost. If you want to break this upper limit for any monster, you have to equip yourself with four soul fragments and add extra power bank. Naraku has always been thinking about Sesomaru and always said that Sesomaru has perfect demon power. Do you really just care about that demonic power? Actually not. What others are also interested in is the extremely high potential that General Inu and Fairy Ling Yu left to their son. If Naraku's body of 10,000 monsters is used as a container, before he obtains the Jade of Four Souls, his upper limit is only four and a half stars. This is also the main reason why he has been struggling for 50 years and cannot take that step at all. After obtaining a large number of Four Soul Fragments, by strengthening the bloodline and transforming the body, the upper limit was greatly raised, and only then broke through the five star level. After five stars, takeoff begins. In addition, the same is true for Hashimaru in the original timeline. Even though he has eaten thousands of monsters, his container is only so big. Before absorbing the two brothers, Jinfu and Silverfew, he couldn't bear too much of Seshomaru's monster power, and he couldn't even cross the threshold of six stars. Therefore, Shinshimaru is extremely eager for the Jade of the Four Souls. The Jade of Four Souls can raise the upper limit. Therefore, even if Naraku obtained most of the Shurkan Jade and greatly increased his upper limit, he was still eager to eat Sesomaru. After all, if he could eat Sesomaru, his upper limit would immediately be raised to the top. He does not lack various SS and ODs, but what he lacks is the upper limit of demonic power. And now. Gold, silver, and even the Queen of Disasters all fell into Li Xia's hands. How could he not take advantage of it? Blood of Bond, a golden and silver disaster, 
can very well improve a monster's grown in fusion or matryoshka mode. For the mountain ghost, it is a great tonic. It can be well combined with different bloodlines to break the shackles and form a stronger upper limit. What flows in the Queen of Disaster is blood of fusion. It is another kind of big monster blood with special effects formed when the elder sister eats the younger sister. This bloodline is also a great tonic for the Great Osmanthus Mask and the Poisonous Dragon. From now on, the combination of the Big Osmanthus Mask and the Poisonous Dragon will be like the face of the Dragon Bone Spirit, perfect and without any form of rejection. After the Poisonous Dragon and Mountain Ghost absorbed two kinds of demon blood with special effects. A wonderful transformation begins from within. With the travel expenses collected by the inheritance container of the Flying Demon Moth family in these days, and the power of the eternal charging treasure for Soul Jade in the hand. The 120-meter mountain ghost suddenly burned with blazing purple demonic flames, and successfully entered a higher realm. Reached six stars. Roar. The mountain ghost roared, and the ground shook. The poisonous dragon ate the remaining dragon bone essence, flesh and blood, and its figure quickly surged to more than 300 meters. The demonic body also suddenly burned with burning cyan demonic power. A sudden increase in energy. Six stars. The poisonous dragon roared loudly and the sky turned pale. Not only that, Li Xia also added two objects to his first Shikigami. First, a monster heart. That is, the dragon bone spirit's heart with the dog's paws inserted into it. In other words, the thick-skinned poisonous dragon is a special monster with two dragon hearts. If it were the dog general who faced off against the dragon bone spirit with two hearts, I'm afraid he would have been in for a big surprise. Secondly, the slightly smaller poisonous dragon was given the larger frame of the dragon bone demon. Also known as external keel. This set of external skeleton will be poisonous dragon's indestructible and indestructible armor. Human, you deserve to die, you deserve to die my body, which is far harder than steel, was so ruined by you. The dragon bone spirit's demonic soul roared with extreme resentment in Li Xia's hands. He witnessed the entire process. Dragon bone spirit, actually, you should thank me. Li Xia said calmly. What did you say? Thank you. You squeezed all the oil out of us, and then asked me to thank you. The soul of dragon bone essence was furious. I suspect I heard it wrong. Yes, you should thank me, and don't think it's incredible. After all, if it weren't for me, your reputation would have been destroyed in the hands of a half-demon. By then, your unwillingness would only be more than it is now, not less. Li Xia stared at the giant dragon demon soul imprisoned in his palm, and was very sure of this. It's really not that he is bragging, but that in the original timeline, Dragon Bone Spirit died under Inuyasha's Bakuryu without any prestige. You know, Blast Ryupo couldn't help Neraku behind by Lingshan, but he defeated Dragon Bone Spirit in seconds. Doesn't it mean that Dragon Bone Spirit is not even as good as Neraku who is at the Bailing Mountain level? Neraku, who came out of Bailing Mountain, has only just entered the six star top great demon sequence. It is far from the first class level of a six and a half star super demon or the supreme demon king. In the later stage, Neraku, who reabsorbed the ghost spider heart, Shinshimaru, and Akaduji hidden under the Bailing Mountain, is the Monster King level super monster. It wasn't until he finally absorbed the entire Four Souls Jade for Blessing that he reached another new dimension that even the combination of explosive Fong Seshomaru and full body iron suitable Fong was helpless. If the Dragon Bone Spirit is easily ed by Inuyasha's explosive burst, this is no longer a problem of lack of cards. It's simply a shame and a big humiliation, okay? Huh, what a joke. Can a mere half-demon threaten me? The soul of Dragon Bone Spirit has an expression of are you kidding me? What if the other party is the young son of the old enemy who sealed you? And what if your old enemy also entrusted his precious sword, Iron Broken Tooth, to his young son? Just a brat and a dull knife? Dragon Bone Spirit is even more unbelievable. You were really powerful in your heyday. I'm afraid you could even tear Baku Ryubo to pieces head on, right? Humph, you are quite knowledgeable. But Dragon Bone Spirit, don't forget, you regained freedom after removing the claws and sealing, but you are in a state of great depletion of demon power and were seriously injured by the old enemy. Coupled with the seal that lasted for more than 200 years, this during this period, 
not only did you not get the slightest recuperation, but your demonic power was silenced and your demon soul was greatly damaged, which can be said to be more injuries. In addition to your huge body that is decaying day by day, how many other ODs can you rely on to support your confidence? This is the truth. As the core of the monster, the heart of the monster was damaged, but he did not die directly because of it, which was already a manifestation of abnormality. The overstretched monster body and the seal of the dog's claws caused the monster power in the body to be completely silent. After more than 200 years of wind and rain, the skin on the body, which is far harder than steel, cannot get the purest essence concentrated in the heart. When nourished by demon power, the functionality in all aspects will definitely decline seriously. This is the main reason why Inuyasha can scratch the dragon bone spirit after becoming a demon. The comprehensive strength is no longer even 1 in 10. If he had just been unblocked and faced the blast of his old enemy King Tuga. It is indeed very likely that I will suffer a huge loss due to my negligence in this area. Human boy, you mean, if it weren't for you, I would have died at the hands of Lao Go's half-demon son. Wait, you mean, I would have become a whetstone for the little cub. The soul of the dragon bone spirit is full of ferocious color. It's not a whetstone, it's a stepping stone. The corners of Li Xia's mouth curved. Although the meaning is the same, the meaning is far different. Absurd. Dragon Bone Spirit became even more angry. It's also more evil. Li Xia, who felt almost stimulated, nodded with satisfaction okay, having said that, let's get started. Let me soothe your sad and angry heart and let your evil and restless soul find peace. Jie Jie Jie. Divine Purifying Light. Transcendence, Purification. Not only eating his dragon body, but also want to get other benefits from his soul. This evil little human brat. In fact, you can't blame Li Xia for being so prudent. It is true that at his current height, every small step forward is not so easy. There are too few evil spirits that qualify as cultivation resources. Dragon Bone Essence is undoubtedly qualified. To make this guy a little firmer, hold it in for a little while longer, giving him more feedback. He could only put some cruel truths out in the open and tell them truthfully. Letting the dragon bone spirit witness how his body is being devoured is one of the small tricks. Then he ridiculed the bad script that this guy would have died at the hands of Inuyasha. And comforted the other party that he was doing this for your own good, thereby achieving the purpose of secondary stimulation. This can be regarded as another heart booster. Don't worry, I won't burn bridges. After purifying the evil dragon bone essence over and over again, Li Xia released the restraints in his hands and let the dragon soul fly away. Subsequently, the dragon soul failed to escape the capture of the inheritance container of the flying demon moth clan, which was just around the corner. Then, the origin of the soul was suppressed, and a high quality and large amount of demonic power was generated in the inherited light ball. In the end, the dragon soul will still be thrown out by the inheritance container, but at this time, the soul of the dragon bone essence has lost the soul heritage ejaculated in this life. This operation is a bit like putting the contents of the left pocket into the right pocket it is also a bit like grabbing fat with your hands. The weight of the fat does not seem to decrease significantly, but Li Xia grabs the greasy meat in his hand. And the greasiness of this hand is exactly the improvement he has obtained. It is equivalent to making a profit from the middleman's price difference. Li Xia, who returned to Bailing Mountain, originally thought that the next few days would be spent in a peaceful time. Unexpectedly, Ali came to him and told him about the abnormality in his soul. Xia, there seems to be sewing wrong with my memory. The little girl was extremely nervous when she said this. What's wrong? Li Xia immediately put down what he was doing and asked about his little girlfriend have you noticed anything wrong with your memory? And when did this strangeness begin? Started? Xia, suddenly there are many memory fragments in my memory that definitely don't belong to me. Those are like Kikyo's previous experiences in Maple Village. The girl bit her lip and grasped the hem of her skirt with both hands, feeling confused. These memories started after I came back from Zishan. Every night I would dream about those fragments. At first, I simply thought it was a dream, but these days, I realized that it was all from Kikyo's past. When Ali said this, he was very panicked. At the moment, that memory has only awakened until Kikio was six years old but if this continues, her
her intuition tells her that she will have all the memories before Kikyo's death. The problem was, those memories were no different from what she had experienced. This even caused her to have a vague understanding of her childhood. Once all the memories of Kikyo's life awaken in her soul, the question arises. Will she still be the same person then? Should she be called Kikyo or Higurashi? She was afraid that by then she would gradually alienate her grandfather, mother, and brother Suda. And she would alienate the man in front of her because of a relationship that did not belong to her. After Li Xia learned of the situation, he also realized the seriousness of the problem. How so? Didn't this happen in the original timeline? How could Kikyo's memory be awakened? He was sure it was because of him. But he wasn't sure what the cause of this change was. Compared to the A. Lee in the original timeline, the A. Lee in this timeline has many differences. He pondered and made comparisons one by one. One is that before parting ways with everyone in the team, he bought the opportunity for A. Lee and helped the little girl regain the part of A. Lee's soul that the Mirror of Kanna had taken away. It's not certain whether Alice Arrow took back everything, but it's certain that he took back a lot. The other is that the Ailey in the original work had his spiritual energy forcibly sucked away by the Chienkuan sword and in this timeline. Because of his more or less protection, Ailey has not repeatedly lost his innate heritage. In other words the soul strength of Ailey now is much stronger than that of the original work. Furthermore, in the original work, Ailey basically didn't practice any other spells except for the demon-breaking arrow. Granny Fong did not teach Ailey about the witch's barrier technique, and Platycodon Grandiflorum deliberately avoided Ali. On the other hand, Xiao Nizi, who was taken care of by him, first received the teachings of the witches in Gue Tu City who were lost in the hands of female ghosts in the old immortals' wine vat world and later received the inheritance of the black witch Chun and Master by Xion. Some pointers. I don't dare to say how strong the inheritance is, but it has many more witch tricks than Ali, who was almost a blank slate in the original timeline. At last, in the original timeline, before Ali obtained the Zishan spiritual bow, his heart was read by Katongzi, which greatly aroused the dark side of his heart. Coupled with Inuyasha's constant stabbing in the back, it can be said to be riddled with scars. Later, Naraku used the spider silk to plot, and was contaminated with the spider silk that could not be purified. And saw the scene of Kikyo and Inuyasha falling in love and ing each other, which further expanded the dark side of his heart. However, in this timeline, there is none of these. If I remember correctly, the first test given to Ali by the Zishan Bao in the original book is to get rid of Naraku's web. But in this timeline where I am, this girl's heart is still very clean, and she has not been hurt by repeated emotions. If the power of Zishan's Bao wants to give Ali some tests to baptize his soul, then there's absolutely no need for that. If you really want to help, you can only develop Ali's potential. His eyes suddenly lit up when he thought of the arrow that Ali had previously shot across space and directly hit Naruo, like hitting a cow across a mountain. Could it be that the seal of the Four Souls Jade was unlocked? This allowed Ali to gain his true talent and at the same time awaken the memories of his past life. This would have been sowing to be happy about and worth celebrating. But it would be too damned if there was one more unnecessary memory. Let's go find Master. If you can't handle things yourself, you can ask your sweetheart. But the answer I got is to untie the bell, you must tie the bell. I have to trouble Kikyo about this matter. Just let that person take away this memory through some kind of dream OD. When Li Xia took Ali to find Platycodon Grandiflorum. Sewing finally happened on Sesomaru's end. What's wrong with you? Grandpa Shijin. Hey, you girl, haven't you noticed anything yet? Brother Crystal had a heartbroken expression on his face. After your highness went through the trial in the underworld, the underworld path that Tianxingye can cut has indeed expanded a lot, but it is still not a perfect circle of the full moon. The power you gained by almost sacrificing Shaoling is still not perfect. Master Sesomaru was feeling very unhappy right now. Anger is overflowing, so scary. Now he likes to mention the title of Little Demon Guy. He looks at his young master carefully and does not dare to say the above words. He only dares to think this way. But what he didn't know was that his inner murmurs were undefended by Sha Dian. Therefore, he was listened to every word. A boy with extremely dark eyes that looked like he had no eyes appeared on the road ahead of the group. Your Highness says Homaru, are you interested in knowing the secret of the birth defect? 
The breeze blew across the grass, one big and one small facing each other staring at each other closely. You said you know the secret of natural teeth. Sesomaru said in a cold voice. Although his face was calm and calm, his heart was not calm at all. Of course he knew that this was because natural teeth were peeled off from broken iron teeth, but the question was, how did the other party know? Only a few people know these secrets. So, the other party is one of Dad's old enemies. Moreover, Xia Jun's prediction in advance actually came true. Your Highness, are you currently troubled by your natural teeth? After all, your natural teeth cannot draw a perfect circle in the underworld no matter what. What is the reason for this? Your Highness, do you want to know the answer? The Shikigami boy always looked numb, and his tone towards his young master was always respectful and humble but at this moment. Zaijian and Shaoling behind Sesomaru, both of them felt the other's deep feelings in their bones. A touch of arrogance and sarcasm. Can you talk properly? By the way, how did you know about the natural teeth? Wait, have you been observing us secretly? Xie Jian snorted and asked. But at this time, there was no reply from the Shikigami boy, so Shadian spoke calmly. Shut up, evil view. Xie Jian quickly lowered his head. I understand, I didn't say anything just now. The timid one is called Silky and Songshin. He never had the courage to talk back to his most respected young master. Your Highness says Homaru, if you want to know everything, come with me. Leaving these words behind, the Shikigami boy followed some kind of guidance and slowly walked towards a remote mountain range in the distance. Seeing this, the noble prince took out a piece of talisman paper from his sleeve and crushed it. This is an advanced communication talisman that can deliver simple information to the designated person with a mark on the talisman within a thousand mile range. It is definitely an extremely precious one time prop for Li Xia but it is not too difficult to obtain for the Shadian, who is backed by the dog demon clan of the entire island country. This piece of his was obtained from the hands of the great sage of demon spirits. The mark left on it belongs to Li Xia. The temple where Platykodon is located. Li Xia, who was discussing with the quiet girl in front of him on how to deal with the extra memories in a Li's soul, suddenly released a wave of demonic power from his left unicorn arm, and then, the call to the palace rang out in his heart. Sesomaru called me. Is there news about the death ghost? Sia. Ali asked aloud. Sesomaru encountered Soing and asked me to come over. Li Sia told the truth, and then looked at the two girls. How about you walk with me for a while first, and then we can come back later. He ran away from Naraku before, leaving him with a little knot in his heart. Therefore, he did not want to entrust Ali to anyone else unless he had to. Don't worry, I'm here. Kikio glanced at Li Xiao. She has always kept the witch barrier open to protect this area, but she is still confident that she can protect Ali. After Li Xia heard the words, he opened his mouth, but it was hard to refuse for a while. Platykodon is very powerful, there is no doubt about it. In terms of the lethality of Micus against monsters alone, even the top big monsters dare to challenge them. What's more, many mutated dead soul insects have been added as small pets, which greatly make up for their own shortcomings in addition. They even went to the cave where the four souls Jade was born, and collected a little bit of the obsession of the shrine maiden Suezi. This is a great weapon against all kinds of evil spirits. Combined with Platykodon's own purifying power, it can even produce a double demon-breaking purifying light. This was originally the final blow against Naraku in another timeline. Thinking of this, Li Xia's worries lessened. Furthermore, considering that he was only going to go back and then return directly after he ed the death ghost, could sewing happen in this short time? Okay, Miss Kikio, I'll leave Ali to you. After some mother-in-law explained some things to the two girls, he rode on the flaming hoof and turned into flames and disappeared into the sky. This head of the palace. The group of three people who were taken into a deserted mountainous field felt that the atmosphere along the way was getting more and more dull. Realizing that sewing was not quite right, he hurriedly took two steps forward and gave his highness a reminder. Master Sesomaru, do you know that strange boy who leads the way? Do not know. Sesomaru gave an affirmative answer without hesitation. Could this be a trap? Xie Jian was so scared that he broke out in cold sweat. On A Mo's back, Shaoling stuck out her little head and looked surprised. Trap. 
Well, the other party is likely to use Tian Tianya to make some fuss, and then look for an opportunity to get rid of Master Sesomaru or sewing. As soon as Xie Jian finished speaking, Sha Jian, who was walking in front, said coolly and nonchalantly. It's okay, just them all when the time comes. Everyone quickly walked onto a stone bridge. Under the stone bridge is a bottomless abyss. There are steep mountain walls on both sides of the stone bridge. There are also large and small steep peaks around. It was at this time. The boy leading the way disappeared directly in the gust of canyon mountain wind. Very weird. Where are the people? I had been paying attention to the boy's evil views and blinked. At first I thought I was wrong. But immediately after, he realized that he and his group might have really fallen into the trap set by the enemy this time. I saw several meteors condensed with countless nebula patterns coming from the mountain peak on one side. Those are. The underworld. Isn't this His Highness Sesomaru's underworld Zengetsu Haku? And they're all full moon. Seeing this as intention, the old man Shijin was so frightened that his hair stood on end. Now, they were in the middle of the stone bridge. Shaoling was lucky to have a mo, so she wouldn't fall. But he. Wu Wu Wu. He will definitely fall to death, right? Master Sesomaru, after you die, you must take care of yourself. And Ling, don't let Master Sesomaru worry about you in the future. A group of people with evil views were panicked. He had a lot of thoughts for a moment, and he didn't know what it felt like to be able to read his heart. The noble master pulled out the Qianji blade of the Qinkuan sword from his waist, and the next moment, a flying slash with condensed sword energy flew up. As expected, the first underworld ball was neutralized by this slash. To be precise, it was the sword energy slash that was swallowed by the first underworld ball. But that sword pressure also hindered the tendency of the first underworld ball to continue to fall. Somewhat similar to the original work, the wind damage offsets the sense of deja vu of a Hades ball. It is indeed the underworld. Sesomaru narrowed his eyes. Master Sesomaru, be careful. Shaoling gave the reminder eagerly. The little girl rode IMO, whose reaction speed had been greatly improved, but she had already avoided the planned trajectory of the incoming underworld balls in advance. Even if the remaining underworld balls that have not been offset continue to fall, they will definitely not be able to harm her. This can be regarded as a minor flaw in Mingdao Zhangyue Pe. Although this move can create a spatial passage leading to the underworld the underworld, thus sending the target directly to the underworld. But the projection speed of the underworld ball is not too fast on the way. People with quick speed can take advantage of the distance in the middle to dodge flexibly. As long as you don't get hit by the underworld ball. But Sesomaru had no time to dodge. He didn't even have time to pull out his natural teeth and use Ming Dao Waning Moon to deal with it. Because if you are not careful, you will send yourself to the underworld. However, even if it looked like a dead end, Shadian's expression remained unchanged. It turned out that a ball of green light bloomed out of his left hand at some point. Within a thousand miles. The blades of all the inferior demon swords trembled. Even the sword embryo, which was barely hot enough to be baked, was still vibrating. Bailing Mountain. Dao Chiu and Tao Tu Hui Renfang, who were building the two-stage demon sword, were all shocked. The defective products around them were all buzzing, as if welcoming the king's arrival. It feels like. There's some amazing weapon coming out. Li Xia, who was rushing to Sesomaru's location, suddenly took off a treasure gourd from his waist, and then took out a demon sword from it. It was he who got the tremolo blade from Tsukiyamu. When he took out this demonic sword and took a look, he immediately looked surprised. What's going on? Why is Tremolo Blade so excited? There was also an ancient palace underground in the Eastern Kingdom, with a secret room that had been silent for two to three hundred years. At this time, there seemed to be movement coming from inside. It's like welcoming the birth of a new opponent. In a self-sealed coffin nearby, a powerful being suddenly opened his eyes. Has a demon king who can rival me been born? This voice was extremely hoarse and dry, as if he hadn't spoken for a hundred years and was a little unable to speak. Even Todasai's lair. At this moment, all the sword embryos were making sword sounds, and the noise like concubines vying for favor was going on. 
this scene is similar to the omen that the peerless sword in the wind and cloud is about to be born. The demon sword that is about to be born is similar to the king in the sword, and its momentum attracts countless other swords to worship its master and keep screaming. It even aroused the demonic swords of the same level and made passionate arguments. There is no doubt that the supreme being in a demon sword is about to be born. This caused the entire sword world to celebrate. The screen returned to Sesomaru's side. The noble son of the dog clan, whose entire left arm was wrapped in a rich green light, shot out the green light on his left arm in the face of several incoming Hades balls. Just as the figure on the top of the mountain looked in disbelief, three colors of gold, green, and blue demon power flew up, and quite arrogantly hit the several underworld balls he had hit in the previous two seconds. Come back. It reached mid-air. This person was the death god ghost who was severely beaten by the Inu admiral more than 200 years ago. And lost some of his demon power and special SS, thus falling out of the top rank of great demon. Several Hades balls closed, swallowing up Sesomaru's slashes. It's like an offset of power. On the surface, it's just a little stronger than Shadian's first slash. But in fact, the nature of the representations is completely different. The first sword pressure only offset one underworld ball, and could not forcefully push back multiple underworld balls. However, the second sword not only cancelled out several underworld balls, but also pushed several underworld balls into the air quite aggressively. When did Ming Dao Zanyuep have become so weak? Nothing is impossible. Death Ghost, you are a bed bug who only hides in a stinking ditch and does some tricks. The brilliance of the left arm wrapped in green light slowly faded away. Immediately, a demonic sword with a white handle and a white back and strange patterns engraved on the whole body was revealed. Explosive Tooth is born. What also made Sesomaru excited was his left arm. This left arm has undergone a wonderful transformation. If Li Xia's left arm is a Kirin arm that combines various demonic powers, then Sesomaru's left arm is a Kirin arm that is the superposition of two of his own left arms. Death Ghost, how are you going to die? Exploding Fong pointed directly at the ugly-looking guy above. After hearing this declaration that he didn't take him seriously at all, the Death God's brows became more gloomy. Sesomaru, it seems that you are more arrogant than your father. Back then, that old dog not only took away my demon power and SS, but also took away half of my face. Today, pay with your life. And there is no need for a second person to possess the same Ming Dao Zanyue break and the same SS. Oyakata, don't think about reaping the benefits, let's join forces. Sesomaru understood the first two sentences. But Shadian didn't understand the following sentence. Jie Jie Jie. Don't worry, I am still happy to torture and the old dog's cubs. After finally coming back to life, I have to his son and then steal his wife. He he he. On the mountain on the other side, there was a group of five people. The leader is a big man with an iron tower with an arrogant face. Sesomaru was still very familiar with the other four people. The four leopard cat kings. Those four guys would actually follow others' lead. That guy is called Oyakata. Wait, is it? The leopard cat clan was once a powerful demon clan in the western kingdom. If you are close to the Ocelot, you will be the lord of the western kingdom. He was respected and loved by the Ocelots during his lifetime, so even after many years after his death. His four loyal men still led the Ocelot clan to find Sesomaru, the son of General Inu, for revenge. As for this guy, as the lord who controls the Ocelot clan, his strength is unquestionable. In any case, in its heyday, it was able to fight against the Inu admiral and his army of monsters. You know, the Yukai Legion at that time was not the bunch of miscellaneous Yukai that Sesomaru took over. The Yukai Legion during Inu Daishang's period at least had superior Yukai such as Red Demon and Chitin. Both of these weapons are very good quality products. Therefore, although the Ocelot Legion was ultimately defeated, its strength should not be underestimated. Ocelot Oyakata is very huge, 50 or 60 meters in size. A strong barrier will be arranged. Even if it is just a state of soul resuscitation and a few four soul fragments hanging on, a powerful red barrier can be arranged. The strength of this barrier can ignore the pressure of Sesomaru's sword using the demon fighter. The evil spirit is also very powerful. In the original work, 
he can instantly Mithraya who wants to use the wind cave with just one look. Mithraya became paralyzed and lost his ability to move. There are not many means of attack. The main one is to eject nails for long-range attacks. The other one is shooting lightning from the fingertips. The destructive power is just okay. In addition, the body is extremely strong and can withstand wind injuries and sword pressure from fighting ghosts and gods. Under Oyakata's command are Donglan, Chunlan, Shelan, Chilan, the four heavenly kings and countless cat demons. Donglan, who plays ice, has the strength to fight against ordinary big monsters. The other three are all good players among superior monsters. Play Illusion, Fire, and Thunder and Lightning respectively. The other Ocelots are not bad at fighting ability, at least much stronger than the members of the Demon Wolf Clan. It was precisely because these loyal subordinates helped Oyakata capture a fragment of the Four Souls. And sacrificed tens of thousands of humans and mountain spirits on the night of the full moon, and used evil sacrificial rituals to resurrect it. Of course, this kind of resurrection is not perfect and has huge hidden dangers. At this moment, the one who took action first was the death god ghost who was comparable to the top great demon underworld Zanyuapa. The underworld ball is released by it to the maximum extent. Immediately following, Oyakata the Ocelot, whose frontal hard power was definitely at the level of a top demon, said Cat Claw, Cat Thunder. This one is also full of firepower. The ten cat claws shot out from the body were like ten huge diamond spearheads, and the lightning wrapped around them was even more unusually thick. Donglan Ice Storm Chunlan Petal Fantasy Xia Lan Explosive Flame Tornado Xiao Lan Thunder The last four alone are nothing, but after they merge the four forces into a force that includes ice, storm, illusion, fire, and thunder, their power cannot be underestimated. This is the moment when the war breaks out. For more than twenty miles with this place as the center, the sky was shrouded in thick dark clouds, and no sunlight could penetrate. Outside the battle circle, Shaolin was worried. In the battle circle, Shi Jian was extremely flustered master, please hold on. Facing the death ghost, Oyakata, and the four capable generals under Oyakata, and clearly surrounded by traps, Sesamaru showed no guilt or panic from beginning to end. I saw this new demon king holding the exploding fong in his left hand and the pulsing natural fong in his right hand. The three-color golden, blue and green sword struck by blast tooth went straight towards the death god ghost. Along the way, there was once again a domineering scene of pushing seven or eight underworld balls. The light of Tian Shenjia's sword passed by the ocelot. As for the attack from the four spring, summer, autumn and winter warriors who are hot on their heels. The current one was able to easily collapse just by relying on his sudden surge of momentum. Frost, storm, illusion, fire, thunder, and so on. Fancy. All kinds of brilliance intertwined and flashed. Just a face-to-face -face meeting, and the battle was concluded. Wah! Why are you so strong? Seeing the staff weapon that was hit by the splashed three-color sword and exploded into fragments on the ground, the death ghost's heart was filled with turmoil. Why does this little puppy feel even more ferocious than when General Inu beat him up? Dong Lan, Chun Lan, Xia Lan, and Chiu Lan, not only were their joint offensives broken instantly, but they also suffered a direct impact from the powerful aura released by Sesomaru. This scene is almost exactly the same as the scene in the original work where Oyakata, who was left with only a mummy, glared at Miroku until he half knelt on the ground and lost his ability to fight with just one look. However, the object has changed. It was Sesomaru who used the Demon King's aura to disintegrate the four siblings' offensive, while also shocking the four of them mentally. As for the relatives. Why? Why is my power constantly dissipating? Kid, what have you done to me? Bang! Smoke and dust were everywhere. The relative kneels down. No, do not want. Give me your power. The natural tooth returned to its sheath, Sesomaru didn't even look at Oyakata. The strong man turns around and never bothers to look back to confirm the result, he is so confident. Lord Lord! The four leopard cat kings were terrified. They hurried to the location of their own commander, who was rapidly decaying and turning into a mummy after becoming gigantic. Everyone looked anxious. In this regard, Shadian still didn't take a second look. 
Oyakata's soul dead soul was chopped off by Tensna, and there is no way he can save it. This is the power of Tianxenjia it cannot living beings in this world, but it can only souls in the other world. Since you have lost to your father, you can just lie down and sleep peacefully in the ground or hide in a corner and survive. The eliminated ones of the times, why bother to jump out again? The next moment, his figure jumped out like a ghost, heading towards the frightened death ghost to him. It was probably this who leaked his father's whereabouts, and that night he ran into the dragon bone demon's gun. The battle that could obviously be postponed for some time was forced to start early. After all, you can't lure the dragon bone spirit to Inuyasha and his son, right? This, this, this. The surprise came so suddenly, and I was so excited that I was a little incoherent because I thought I was dead. The admiration for my young master in my heart is like a torrential river, continuous. As expected of Master Sesomaru. Then he thought that his young master could dodge those attacks, but because he took care of him, he always stayed by his side. Realizing this, he shrugged his nose with tears in his eyes. Your Highness, your evil views will follow you for the rest of your life. Death will follow you. Halfway up the mountain. Flamhoof, faster. Li Xia was so anxious. Observed through the telescope, the mountains near the destination showed a large number of demonic clouds gathering together. Furthermore, the emotion conveyed by Tremolo Blade probably foreshadowed the birth of Explosive Fong. The opponent is able to force out the ING Palace Awakening Blast Fong, and his strength is definitely not simple. Isn't it just the ghost of death? Or is Chu Ling born? Do you even need to add Neraku? Flaming Hoof, use full speed. Now is not the time to hide your clumsiness. After receiving the order, Yanho snorted first then, his body flashed with dazzling fire and thunder and immediately after. A pair of flame wings with fine thunders sprouted from both sides of his body. Flame is the main one, and thunder arc is the secondary one. This is a transformation ability that this divine horse awakened when it entered the ranks of great demons with the help of the demon power crystallized by the flying demon moth and the demon power of the dragon bone spirit. He flapped his wings, like a bolide flying across the sky. The speed finally exceeded the speed of sound. Cracking sonic booms sounded one after another. The mountain elves and wild monsters on the ground were so startled that they all raised their heads. And then one after another found extremely hidden places to lie dormant, daring not to have the slightest thought of emerging. Lord, how are you? The four siblings, Donglan and Chunlan, were full of concern. Oyakata, who could barely hold on to his last breath with the help of the four soul fragment embedded in his throat, heard the words and spoke with difficulty. Soul, flesh and blood. Give me soul, give me flesh and blood. Okay, let's go look for it for you, sir. The four siblings immediately targeted Xie Jian and Xiao Ling. These two are the easiest to deal with right now. Look at me. Chun Lan, who was closest to Xie Jian and Xiao Ling, took action first and attacked the two little ones. Fantasy of Petals In this female fairy's view, as long as the target is hallucinated, it is only a matter of time before they are captured. Ho ho. A large number of petals swept in with the wind of evil spirit, and Xie Jian, Xiao Ling, and Amo were involved. Especially Amo, who has absorbed the demon power crystal of the flying demon moth, looks like a great supplement. However, the evil view, which has always been quite low-key, is rarely highlighted this time. It's just illusion, stop looking down on others. I saw Brother Crystal wave the human-headed crutch in his hand, and a wave of flames immediately spurted out from it, burning up the rain of petals in the sky. Master Shi Jin is so powerful. Xiaoling's eyes flashed with bright little stars. Ha, huh, no matter what, I was also the leader of the little demons who dominated the grasslands of Musashi country back then. Shi Jin puffed up his chest. Like a proud little rooster. Hateful. Chun Lan was very upset. Soul, flesh and blood, give me quickly. Oyakata's urging sounded again, and now he became even more impatient. Lord Commander, please wait a moment, and we will get their souls and flesh for you. After Dong Lan appeased his boss, he immediately took his other brothers and sisters to Xie Jian without looking back. That momentum makes him want to choose someone to devour. The evil view was startled. However, 
Before the three siblings could jump out of Oikawa's attack range, the fragment on the old cat demon's neck glowed, but it was black light. Then, the old demon couldn't hold it in any longer, and threw out its withered right claw as if it had lost all patience. Soul, flesh and blood. I want soul and flesh. Give it to me. A claw light swept across the backs of the three siblings, and Dong Lan, Xia Lan, and Chiu Lan, who were unprepared, were all hit. Aha! Three screams sounded at the same time. The flesh, blood, and souls of three of the four leopard cat kings were sucked into Oyakata's mouth. The old cat demon who only had half a breath left and retained a few sparks of the fire of life with the four soul fragments was resurrected again. The dry flesh and blood becomes plump again. O oh, Oyakata-sama! Chunlan was so frightened that she froze on the spot. Frightened and completely overwhelmed. The change happened suddenly and no one expected it. Here, Oyakata glanced at his trembling subordinate, and then glanced at the frightened Xie Jian and Xiao Ling. He was about to eat the three of them together with Amo to make up for his shortcomings. Us intent suddenly enveloped him. One is from Sesomaru who is beating up the demon of death. The other one came from a figure that teleported ten times in a row and ed someone close to the battlefield. But when he thought about the scene where he was almost ed by the brat of Laogo's family for no reason, he snorted coldly, turned around and left. Previously, the little pup probably didn't know that he had four soul fragments, so this gave him a chance to survive. There will never be a second chance like this. Oyakata ran away in despair. Chunlan is just a superior monster who is good at illusions. Seeing her three siblings die in front of her, she has lost all will to fight. Therefore, there was only one death ghost left in the field. But the death god ghost lost most of its demonic power due to the battle with the Inu admiral. The underworld balls it can hit now are pitifully small, and its overall strength is much weaker. Even with the use of the underworld Zengetsu break, it can still compete with the top demons. Challenge, but who is the opponent of the new demon king Sesomaru? The great demon and the demon king are two concepts. Within a few moves, the death god ghost was surrounded by dangers, and he could only hurriedly avoid blast tooth's direct slashes by constantly retreating. But avoiding it all the time is not a long-term solution. Sesomaru, don't you want to know the secret of the natural tooth? When your father fought with me, the natural tooth was not in its current form. The death ghost said urgently. He was scared. Already knowing that he was invincible, he just wanted to stabilize the brat of the big dog family first, and then look for an opportunity to escape. However, thanks to Li Xia's help, Shadian saw in advance the remnant soul left in Tian Shenjia by General Inu that is. The lucky soul and the harmonious soul among the four souls, and he already understood everything. I came here this time just to follow the clues. In order to prepare for the newly born explosive tooth. Therefore, who cares about that? Was it you who led the dragon bone demon to encounter his father? Sesomaru asked in a deep voice. When Death God Ghost heard this, his expression changed, and he was secretly shocked. Seeing this, the hatred in Shadian's heart became even heavier. This time they set up a trap to lure him in, and it was clear that they wanted to him, but Liangzi couldn't figure it out. Back then, he plotted against his father, which caused his father to be seriously injured and died. Needless to say, this hatred cannot be resolved. New and old grudges come together, even if you get away from your relatives, you can't get rid of the ghosts of death. Bugs in the gutter, damn it. Withdrawing Tian Tianya's right hand, he stabbed it out suddenly, piercing the mask on the face of the death god, revealing the opponent's missing half of his head. The next moment, the sword light burst into flames, and in a flash of light, two arms flew high into the air. Says Homaru. The god of death screamed in pain. But the big monster responded with a heavy punch from the noble son of the dog clan. The spittle was sprayed out. The physical body came into contact with the rock wall, with gravel flying and smoke flying everywhere. Shah Diane's punch knocked the once dignified top demon into the cliff. You can't even pick it out. After finishing, he glanced coldly at Chunlan, who was lying in front of the corpses of Donglan, Xiaolan, and Chilan, crying. It's cheaper for these people. In the original timeline, four people were also attacked by Oyakata, and three of them were Ed Sesomaru. 
after defeating the resurrected and perfect Oyakata with the help of Tenga, valued a few people and would never leave his old master for two or three hundred years. The unyielding loyalty very similar to evil views gave the three people who were robbed a new life. But in this timeline, the battle between cats and dogs was inevitable, and countless monsters under his father died at the hands of the four siblings. When he was traveling in the Western Kingdom, he was also hostily targeted by his four siblings. The key is that these four were just planning to capture Xie Jian and Xiao Ling as sacrifices. Want him to use his natural teeth to save people. That was purely a dream. Not to mention that his soul was sucked away by Oyakata. Congratulations to your highness, congratulations to your highness. The situation became clear, and Li Xia stepped forward to congratulate him. Xia Jun, you came quite quickly. Sesomaru nodded. Hearing this, Li Xia smiled bitterly. But I'm still late. He had already allowed Flame Hoof to reach full speed. But the distance was still nearly a thousand miles, and it still took him and Yen Ho nearly two quarters of an hour. It's very timely, otherwise Ling and the others would be in danger. Sha Dian still sees this very clearly. If Li Xia failed to come to his rescue in time, Xiao Ling and Xie Jian would most likely be Ed during his fight with the Ghost of Death. And their souls and flesh would be sucked away by his relatives as living sacrifices. Speaking of which, what happened to Oyakata? I clearly ate his dead soul with the Tensna, so his dead soul should have died quickly. How could he be resurrected by devouring three subordinates? But this was sowing he never expected. Has the soul been chopped off by Tianxinya, and then he has absorbed three capable subordinates and resurrected him? In other words, the first knife failed to him completely. In other words, what was hanging on your life at that time? When Li Xia said this, Sesomaru immediately reacted. You mean? The old ocelot has four soul fragments embedded in his body. One of the functions of the four soul fragments is to someone. Even if the target is Ed, as long as the four soul fragments are not taken out from the opponent's flesh and blood, it is enough to hang his life. When the power bank-like fragments regain their strength, they can even resurrect the opponent. It's a mysterious guy who embedded a four soul fragment into a monster a month ago and ordered the irrational monster to attack the territory of our Ocelot clan. After suppressing the monster and restoring its clarity, we got scattered information and obtained the jade fragment. With the help of this fragment and a large amount of souls and the flesh and blood of mountain spirits and wild monsters through the sacrificial ceremony, we resurrected Oyakata sama on the night of the full moon. Chunlan looked sad and then explained the information she knew with empty eyes. Li Xia and Sesomaru looked at each other. You still call him Oyakata-sama? Oh, it's a pity that your loyalty has been given to the wrong person. Li Xia's words were full of sarcasm. Chunlan opened her mouth, unable to refute. The siblings have been loyally accompanying a mummy for hundreds of years, and they only want to resurrect their leader. Unexpectedly, the commander-in-chief would treat them like that. Xia Jun, what are you going to do with the death ghost? Sesomaru asked Li Xia. In Yao Lao Poison's wine vat world, he had made an agreement with the friend in front of him, that is after defeating the death ghost. He could first use Iron Broken Tooth and Tian Tianya to absorb part of the death ghost's demonic power. Thereby seizing the complete SS of the death god ghost. But after that, the death ghost needs to be given as a thank you gift. Right now, Tai Suya is being played by his bratty brother. Well, thanks to Inuyasha playing with Tetsuya, he completely cut off his past attachment to his father and let go of his obsession with Tetsuya. As a result, he became an independent monster in a true sense, able to act alone. No, because that obsession is gone, and a certain obscure seal in the body is released. This time. The death ghost simply hit the muzzle of his gun. After all, although the seal was released, it did not mean that Bakuya was born. And this move was originally reserved for Neraku by Sesomaru, and he was going to give that guy a big surprise when he met him. But since the god of death is looking for death, he has no reason not to grant him permission, right? Your Highness, would you like to try embedding this scale on the natural tooth? After Li Xia signaled the mountain ghost to complete the restoration of the complete demonic power of the death ghost, he handed over a scale. This is it's just a dragon scale. As long as it is temporarily embedded in the natural tooth, 
the natural tooth can gain the ability to absorb various demonic powers. If it were replaced by other demon powers, it would definitely not be suitable for the natural teeth to absorb. But if it were replaced by the demon power of the death god ghost, the natural teeth would definitely be very suitable for absorption. I see, didn't his highness just cut off the two arms of the death god? Just let the natural teeth absorb this part of the demon power to make up for the shortcomings of the natural teeth. If two arms are not enough, add two more legs. Li Xia said sincerely. Death ghost. You two s, if you want to or chop me into pieces, be quick. Extreme unwillingness and anger brewed in the heart of this old demon. Li Xia lowered his head, looked at the clown who was once aloof but now was trampled under his feet, and grinned. Oh, you are allowed to play dirty tricks on Uncle Dia Wang, but we are not allowed to use the waste to get some interest. These words made Sesomaru secretly nod. Xia Jun obviously stood by their father and son and regarded them as friends. Then I thought that the father of Hiro I would die so suddenly. Thinking that the sister he was looking forward to did not arrive, but instead a stupid O Daodu chopped off one of his arms with his iron teeth. The more he thought about it, the worse he felt inside. Tai Suya could have tried to undergo the ultimate transformation, but it's a pity. At this point, he no longer had the slightest bit of intolerance. The dragon scale was neatly embedded in the natural tooth just like the fragments of the Kanami mirror in another timeline. Then, the blade stabbed the death god ghost's left arm. The next moment, the left arm turned into black-purple light spots and water-like demonic power, pouring into Tian Shenjia's blade through the dragon scales. Such an approach will neither change the external appearance of Tian Shenjia saving lives and healing the wounded, nor will it delay the perfection of the underworld's waning moon. And with Sesomaru's current ability, it would be easier to perfectly control the demonic power of the death god than it was in the original work to control the fighting ghost. The evil spirit of fighting ghosts and gods is approaching five stars. At that time, Sesomaru had five and a half stars, close to six stars in demon power. Today, Shadian has completed the transformation of his body and mind. The sublimation of his soul has doubled his demonic power. The recovery of his broken left arm has also added a bit of background to him. In addition, the birth of Exploding Fong has guided the body of this noble young master. With the huge bloodline potential brought by the two demon kings, the demon power was further doubled immediately. Directly surpassing Agat Maru's demon power level when he only had time to perform half of the inheritance ceremony. In the current demon world of the island country, there are probably few who can rival Sesomaru, the new demon king. I'm afraid only the older generation of monsters such as Karinmaru and the great demon spirit can compare with them. Taking off the dragon scales, Sesomaru planned to try out the changes in the Tenga. So, he swung his sword at the side of the mountain. Underworld's waning moon breaks. The sword flashed, and a perfect circle that was more than ten times larger than the death ball appeared. Perfection of the Underworld. Your Highness succeeded. Shijian was very happy for his young master. After going back and forth, Master Sesomaru finally made up for one of his regrets. This is great. Young Master is so awesome. Looking up at the sky, Xiaoling's eyes are full of little stars. In broad daylight, a black hole appeared in the sky that swallowed up all light. Although this black hole existed for a short time, its momentum was extremely astonishing. Your Highness, there is one more thing I need to ask you for help with. Oh. Li Xia released the bullhead and horse face. The two stone statues were clamoring at first, wanting to do sewing to someone. But when Sesomaru pulled out the natural tooth. I checked her eyes, she is someone I cannot afford to offend. Kneel down on one knee immediately. Ever since, these two changed hands and became free thugs. Shadian doesn't mind this kind of help with a little effort. After all, when he encountered trouble, Li Xia rushed over after a long journey. The entire contract process is very simple. Sesomaru and his party left. Apart from Li Xia and Yen Ho, the only ones left at the scene were Death God Ghost and Chun Lan, a kitten transformed. Chun Lan, you don't want me to leave you to your parents for extra meals, do you? You don't want your sister and younger brothers and sisters to die in a miserable situation, right? You must want to seek justice for them, right? The true form of the Ocelot family is, of course, the cat. After Ali, there was Fat Orange Lou in the modern world, 
and here there was Chunlan Little Kitty Lu. As for the Ghost of Death. Of course, it was thrown to the mountain ghost to absorb its origin. The power of ghosts happens to be controlled by ghosts. And double the demonic power of the death god ghost is combined with the demonic power of the mountain ghost and the era tree to bless the black fire tip spear. The left unicorn arm carries part of the demonic power of the death ghost. That power is no weaker than that of ing the palace. Agat Maru, your maid is awesome. The ability to copy is really useful. Return to the temple where Kikio is. Ali was undergoing the baptism of dream magic, stripping away the memories in his soul that were originally inappropriate for a little girl. The whole process seemed very easy. Miss Platycodon, I wonder how long it will take for the extra memories in Ali's soul to be completely stripped away. Holding his little girlfriend's hand, Lysia asked aloud beside the bed. Opposite him, Kikio, who had just come out of his dreamland, glanced lightly at the young man in front of him. This guy had shown a lot of interest in me a few days ago. He even held my hand and put his arm around my waist. Unexpectedly, he forgot about Java in the blink of an eye. Ha, man. Don't worry, it's not difficult for me to take action and peel off those obsessions from the past life. If you want the effect to be effective quickly, you can use a seal to seal all those memories but after my death, this seal will still be broken. So, if you want to eradicate it, you have to be patient. This cannot be accomplished in a day or two. Kikio looked at the girl who had not yet woken up on the bed and said with a complex expression. Originally, she basically didn't care about the past memories. But through Ali, wasn't this an unforgettable experience for her? Approximately how long? If the time is short, he will stay here to protect him for a while. If it takes too long, he will be busy with his own affairs. The love between children should not be a shackle that limits one's own progress. Come to think of it, Ali is not the kind of good wife who would hold him back. As short as ten days, as long as more than a month. After placidly pondering for a moment, Kikio said truthfully. If we want to strip away those fragments from Ali's memory in a short period of time, it will only mean that her soul will no longer awaken any more memories about my past life. Just stripping away the memories before the age of six or seven, ten days is almost enough. But if the memories from the age of six or seven to the age of eighteen will be awakened in the future, it will be impossible without you you. After Li Xia understood the reason, he nodded. Okay. Then I'll stay with you for a few days to check on the situation. Time flies. Six days passed. A situation that few people didn't want to face still happened Ali woke up with new memory fragments every day. Those memories are popping up even faster than Kikio peels off. This caused a lot of trouble for both women. Platycodon is fine, it just deepens some past memories. But Ali suffered a lot. Memories of Kikio's 18 years from childhood to adulthood came to mind one after another. Fortunately, Li Xia has been by his side and even brought Grandpa Higarashi and Mother Higarashi to this world. At worst, they'll go home twice a day to take care of Suda. Through this way of being accompanied by relatives all the time, the impact of more than 10 years of strange memories can be resolved. The entire demon world. There were also undercurrents during this period. Todosai, Minka, and the others were anxious to rescue Inuyasha. But since Neriku had the Fuyubi, he had hidden his secrets, completely denying the opportunity for the older generation to pinpoint his location. With the resurrection of the Ocelot Oyakata, as this guy attacked human villages and wild forests where monsters were inhabited to obtain souls and blood. His strength increased rapidly and gradually returned to the peak level of the year. The old cat demon said that although he lost his four generals, he was not alone. The entire Ocelot clan is still at his disposal. With the power of a clan running around to collect resources for him, he can recover his strength very quickly and efficiently. Late at night. It's time to hunt again. Groups of humanoid cat demons attacked a human village with a human mage in charge. Unfortunately, the ocelots are agile, and there are many star-rated monsters among them. And not all human mages are like Yanya and Shinquan. Faced with hundreds of monster ocelots, let alone ordinary humans, who, with the blessing of monster power, can easily lift a dozen meters, can run faster than a cheetah, and are powerful enough to break a tree as thick as an arm with one punch. 
even the vast majority of mages were outnumbered and captured one after another. That night, it was not a poor little village that was hit, but several nearby villages, large and small, were all attacked by ocelots. Everyone in the village was taken away without exception. On the other hand, the ocelot went deep into the mountain. After transforming into the huge form of a small hill, he headed towards an inaccessible mountain. Such a big movement immediately alarmed all the creatures in the forest. After a burst of light, countless mountain elves, wild monsters and demons flew into the air from the mountain forest, trying to escape from this place. Jie Jie. Your souls, your flesh and blood, all dedicate them to me and become my food. Immediately afterwards, there was a one-sided massacre. This scraping of land continued for several days. It wasn't until Oyakata came out of a valley where a large number of wild monsters were hiding that he was stopped by someone. Are you Oyakata? My name is Naraku. Naraku? I've never heard of it. There was no great demon like you in my time. Wrong. Are you just a half-demon? At first, the old cat demon was still wary but after noticing that the visitor was only a half-demon, a trace of disdain flashed in his eyes. And how could that disdain escape Naraku's capture? Oyakata, you should have almost recovered, right? Humph, half-demon brat, you're late. If you had come a few days earlier, I would still be very weak but now, I have recovered to the best of my ability. So, don't tell me that you are here to trouble me. Oyakata let out a long breath of blood-smelling stench, and then tightened his fingers towards the young man floating in the air and hiding in a magenta barrier light shield. A posture ready for violence at any time. Are you fully recovered? That's good. What do you mean? That four-soul fragment is useful, right? Naraku showed an evil smile. This smile fell in Oyakata's eyes, but it made the old cat demon feel a chill in his heart for no reason. This side of the temple. Ten days have passed. Li Xia successively eliminated the evil thoughts of the dragon bone spirit, the evil thoughts of the death ghost. And the resentment and evil spirits of big monsters such as the iron chicken stained on the dragon scale's fire-tip spear, allowing his SS to steadily improve. In addition, occasionally with the help of Tsong Yunya, he can easily enter the monster cemetery to practice the underworld path Sangatsuba. It is still far from perfect mastery. But it is no exaggeration to say that we have just glimpsed the door. At this time, he estimated that Naraku should have recovered from his previous injuries and made up for the loss of demonic power during the battle on Shikoku Island. So, I found Platycodon Grandiflorum. I have to leave for a while to do some things. I will leave it to you, Ali. So urgent? That's fine, you can go and do your work, I'm here. Kikio said after thinking for a while. In an extremely incongruous corner of the eaves of the temple, there was an ordinary spider that did not have any demonic aura and looked ordinary. At this moment, the action of weaving a web was slightly slowed down by half a beat. Ali tightened the hands holding each other. Because of some memories, she was confused. It's okay, I'll come over every few days to check on you. Li Xia said with relief. Besides, Higurashi's mother will stay here for the next few days, so the little girl won't feel lonely. After saying goodbye, he rode on the flaming hoof and turned into a stream of fire and flew towards Bailing Mountain. Speaking of which, Yen Hoof has now become his standard accessory when going out. When he saw the fiery red light in the sky, he knew it was him who was on his way. When the fire disappeared from the sky, everyone returned to the temple and went about their business. Only the ordinary spider under the eaves lost its habit of diligently weaving webs and suddenly became lazy. Li Xia's side. Soon they crossed thousands of miles and returned to the depths of Bailing Mountain. Immortality has always been his greatest pursuit. At the moment. He has three choices one is to become a monster and then practice the way of a fairy to pursue immortality the other is to remain a human and practice the way of a human and immortal to pursue his dream the third is to become a monster and rely on faith to complete some kind of transformation. Local deities. There are three options, each with pros and cons. However, even the three current options require strong strength as a basis, let alone better options that may exist in the future. Otherwise, the result is likely to end up like the human immortal or Kusin in the original work. You have to be clear, or Kuxian could obviously live for hundreds of years at that time. These were the guy's exact words. However, 
because of a four-soul fragment, that guy embarked on the path of monsters and fell from a human immortal into the path of monsters. Is it to blame that human immortal for not having enough brains? Actually not. What is really to blame is that he is not strong enough and cannot protect himself. According to the demon spirit great sage's evaluation of Urkuxian a mere human low-level immortal. The contempt in these words should not be too explicit or obvious. Neraku can use a four-soul fragment to seduce Urkuxian from a dignified immortal to a demon, but it is absolutely impossible for him to make the demon spirit great sage. Yao Lao Poison and other high-level immortals give up their immortal ways and jump into the sinkhole of the four-soul fragment. Why can the old immortals despise the four-soul fragments? It is precisely because they have great power. And all this time, he, Mr. Lee, has never given up on his own merits and has been silently accolading his own heritage and improving his own strength. The reason is that when there are more options in the future, you will be able to find the best and most suitable option among them. Immortality is the goal. Strength is confidence. If you have no confidence, you will have a fart immortality. He has always raced against time to improve his hard and soft power. It's always been a two-pronged approach. It's time for him to do his own thing. After confirming that Li Xia left Bailing Mountain and went straight to the eastern tribe of the Demon Wolf Clan, a certain figure who had been hiding in the dark finally appeared. Are you going to seize the two four-soul fragments from Ganya? That's right. The guy named Li has almost collected all the four-soul fragments in his hand, and the two fragments on Ganya's wolf cub are the easiest to get. It seems that I can't delay it any longer. We have to kick Yo while the person named Li is not around. Otherwise, if we delay any further, we may not have a chance. The figure walking out of the darkness was none other than Neraku. When he looked through the witch's barrier and towards the mountainside temple where Kikio was, there was still a flash of sadness and struggle deep in his eyes. But his mouth is always tough. Platycodon, Platycodon, I told you, you will die in my hands. Today is the time to prove that I, Neraku, have never cared about you. At the foot of the hill where the temple is located. The mortal village has grown to a certain size. At some point, outside the village protected by the barrier, at the edge of a peaceful grove, golden light suddenly shone. When two villagers passed by here, their eyes immediately widened. That, that's. It's gold. It can't be wrong, it must be gold. Two big pieces. The two of them looked at each other, and first thought of the Miko Kikio's instruction not to leave the village during this period. But with the wealth right in front of them, they couldn't help but be tempted. It's okay. Let's go back to the village immediately after picking up the gold. We'll be fine. One person couldn't hold it back and said. When the other person heard this, his eyes lit up. Yeah. A witch's barrier can protect those within. But what if the people who stay inside go out on their own? The worst thing is that most of the young and strong villagers here are deserters. They have little resistance to pie-in-the-sky wealth. As long as one person in the village leaves the barrier due to greed, the barrier of Platycodon will be destroyed. After all, when this person returns to the village again, he will always bring some spider silk into the village. On another timeline. Wasn't an excellent Miko named Hitoko Ed by a similar trick? As the saying goes, it's harder to guard against house thieves day and night than against house thieves. Inside the temple on the mountain. Kikio suddenly looked towards the village at the foot of the mountain. How could there be evil spirits getting into the barrier? Ali also woke up from his dream at this time and sat up Mom, please remember to stay with me for a while. But before they could take any action, a sudden earthquake struck. Neraku's furious voice came from the outside. Damn it, why are there two stone statues guarding the house here? He came here to get to know Kikio. Of course, I had thought in advance that that person would definitely leave some backup. But he didn't expect that what the man left behind were two stone statues that could not be Ed no matter how hard he tried. Li Xia, who transformed from Chunlan, rode on the flaming hoof and directly approached Ganya's tribe. What kind of monsters are the demon wolves? It can be regarded as a group of wolves that can transform into monsters. The transformed members of the demon wolf clan have much higher physical attributes than normal humans in all aspects. Of course, there are also some who, despite possessing demonic powers, cannot transform into human form. 
Therefore, among this tribe, you can often see a group of humanoid demon wolf tribe members leading a group of ferocious wolves out for hunting. As for the target of the hunt. In addition to some mountain elves and wild monsters, there are also villagers from human villages. In the original timeline, the eastern tribe of the demonic wolf clan met in Yasha. Ailey and his group because of their young master Ganya, and fell in love with Ali because of their young master Ganya. Ganya then vigorously restrained his own people. Only then did the wolves in the eastern tribe and even the northern tribe where Ganya's fiancé belonged show their closeness to humans. Inuyasha and his party are on good terms with the demon wolf clan. It can be said that there are more and more friends and fewer and fewer enemies. This timeline today. Ganya only had one or two interactions with Ali and others, but had no interactions with Li Xia at all. In this case, the latter will naturally not let go of the two four soul fragments on the former's legs. So, he arranged for Chun Lan to transform into his appearance and ride over on Yen Ho. The flaming hoof foot can hit Ganya from all aspects, and the little cat's illusion can also restrain Ganya's movements very well. Why do you want to hurt my people? Next to a waterfall with excellent environment, a young man with a wolf tail hanging down behind his butt asked angrily in the air. Beside the waterfall, there is a huge cave where human bones and beast bones can be seen everywhere. This is the lair of the eastern tribe. Inside, a large number of old wolves and cubs poke their heads out. Ganya, hand over the four soul fragment on your leg, you can't hold the jade fragment. The four soul jade is destined to be reunited. By then, holding most of the four soul fragments will definitely be an extremely dangerous existence. And with your strength, I am afraid that not only will you be unable to defend the jade fragments, but you will also involve your tribe in the war for the four souls jade. If I remember correctly, you can't even fight against the birds of paradise clan, so why should you compete with the strong ones at that time? Chun Lan, who was disguised as Li Xia, followed someone's instructions and relayed the purpose of her visit with some modifications. Are you here to steal the four soul fragments? Well, let's see if you have the ability. The young master of the demon wolf clan looked unruly. It would be impossible for him to hand over two fragments. Ganya, giving up two four soul fragments is the best way to protect yourself. I am doing this for your own good. The most important thing is to have self-awareness. Chun Lan conveyed another sentence. Stop blabbering and wait until you defeat me. The boy's legs glowed, and his speed increased sharply. He could run on the mountain wall at an angle of 80 to 90 degrees as if on flat ground. It looked like he was trying to use the cliff to close the distance between the two. Sure enough, when Ganya flew up the cliff hundreds of meters high, his feet suddenly burst the mountain wall. And immediately turned into a flying cannonball, and was about to hit the flaming hoof floating in the air. On my body. Well done, Ganya. Nice job. The cheers from the members of the demon wolf clan below only lasted for a moment, and then stopped abruptly. Ganya used the power of two four soul fragments to burst out at lightning speed, but he missed the person who was caught off guard by the sneak attack. Not only was this the case for the first two times, but also the dozen or so lightning-like attacks that followed were all dodged by the demonic horse at a ghostly speed. That horse. So fast. The young master of the demon wolf clan couldn't help but shrink his pupils. Ganya, do you really ignore your people? Chun Lan frowned. This was the last time she would tolerate the demonic wolf tribe members in front of her. Hey, if you can, don't rely on that horse to hide and hide. Let's have a fair fight. If I lose, it doesn't matter if I give you the four soul fragments. Ganya said sewing provocative. Hearing this, Yen Ho's ruby-like eyes narrowed slightly. Immediately, without waiting for Chun Lan's response, there was a flash of fire, and Ganya was kicked in the abdomen by a hoof. Immediately, his eyes turned white and he spit out bitterness, and he was smashed into a thick mountain wall. A large number of rock fragments fell from the cliff. Falling up and down. Steel teeth. The members of the demon wolf clan exclaimed. I didn't expect things to change so quickly. D damn it, you horse. Steel teeth, with a wisp of blood hanging from the corner of his mouth, raised his head with difficulty from the inlaid cliff wall and looked at Yanho in midair. Was he defeated by a demon horse? And it was a face to face instant. What a joke. Cough, cough, cough. 
While coughing, he hurriedly broke away from the rock wall with great difficulty and covered his mouth with his hands. A large amount of blood overflowed from his fingers. Obviously, even if the flame hoof retains its strength, the lethality of that hoof is still extremely high. After all, Yen Ho is now a big monster with five-star monster power, transformed bloodline, and improved and strengthened in all aspects of his body. This hoof is at least very powerful. It's amazing that it felt better after receiving a strong steel tooth. It is impossible for me to hand over the four soul fragments, unless... Before Ganya finished speaking, Yanho impatiently turned into an afterimage of firelight that was almost invisible to the eye and flashed away. Bang! There was the sound of the cliffs cracking one after another, and the sound of bones shattering. Who do you think you are? The master is looking for Miss Ali's face, so he sent someone to send a message to you to retreat. I didn't expect you to be so ignorant. You don't even know how many pounds you have hum. Do you really think of yourself as some great big-tailed wolf? Yen Ho spits out human words. The voice was cold, leaving no face for Ganya. Moreover, this hoof knocked down tens of meters of half of the cliff, which intuitively showed the gap in strength between the two sides. In terms of strength, speed, dexterity, and reaction, Ganya was completely defeated. Even with the blessing of two four soul fragments, he was far behind Yan Ho. In terms of demonic power, they are even more different. Give me back the four soul fragments. The young master of the demon wolf tribe who was seriously injured gritted his teeth stubbornly and groaned. Chunlan turned around and sneered and said. You are too weak. It is better not to seek death before you have grasped the true inheritance power of your demon wolf clan. I will temporarily keep these two four soul fragments for you as I said, you cannot grasp it. If if you really want to get these two fragments back, go to the cemetery of your demon wolf clan and get the inherited treasure. As soon as he finished speaking, Yen Hu turned into a streak of fire and left. It quickly disappeared into the clouds in the distant sky. Hateful. Ganya, who was seriously injured, rolled his eyes, his face full of unwillingness. But he also remembered Chunlan's reminder. Does the ancestral graveyard of the demon wolf clan have the inheritance power of the clan? My father once told me that the cemetery seemed to be located in a small secret space. Only those who have the approval of the ancestral lineage or the support of the vast majority of branch lines are eligible to enter and try. I will definitely, definitely take back my four soul fragments. Boom boom. The situation in the temple and village where Platykodon is located has become complicated. Nariku used the pie-in-the-sky money to arouse the greed in the hearts of the villagers who had turned from deserters. And induced the villagers to reach out and touch the gold and silver on the ground. Once any of these people come into contact with the money on the ground. Some invisible spider threads wrapped around the gold and silver wealth will penetrate into the inside of the barrier along the person's arm, ignoring the witch's barrier. This trick was learned by two brothers, Nariku and Jinfu Infu. Didn't the thunder and fire of the bonds of the golden and silver disasters follow him out of the barrier and hurt him who was originally hiding inside the barrier? Put your knowledge to use. Once a person gets caught in his spider silk and brings the silk into the village silently, the other villagers will also be controlled by his spider silk. Just like the elites who controlled Amber to attack the exorcist village a few months ago. As more people are controlled by his spider silk pollution, it will no longer be difficult to turn around and use these people to open a convenient door in Kikyo's Miko barrier. No he came in. Then he controlled a little witch in the village and planned to quietly go to the temple halfway up the mountain. Let's see if we can give Kikyo a big surprise. Originally, the plan went very smoothly. However, at the moment when he climbed the mountain in person, two stone statues hidden on both sides of the mountain suddenly rose up in attack and were knocked away by a combined blow from the two stone statues. Damn it, why are there two stone statues guarding the house here? Nariku was a little angry. The good mood that I had planned to tease Kikio was gone. Although his ordinary little spider spy monitors Kikio's every move, it cannot monitor every detail of the entire mountain. When did Li Xia hide two stone statues in the mountain? He really had no idea. Even Kikio didn't know about it. The two stone statues are bull heads and horse faces that were easily conquered with the help of natural teeth. In this world, everything is afraid of death. Even the psychic stone statues are no exception. 
targeting the two stone statues, Naraku used various physical attacks. However, what is extremely strange is that no matter how hard he hits, he cannot cause any damage to the stone statue. I can't even do scraping. When Kikio and Ali left the room and came to the entrance of the temple together, and saw the fighting situation at the foot of the mountain, they couldn't help but feel relieved. Platykodon knew the bullheaded horse face. After all, she and Li Xia had gone through that short journey together, so she immediately realized that this was someone's protection for her and Ali. Therefore, I was just worried about the villagers who were taken in at the foot of the mountain. Ali didn't think much about it at all, he just thought it was Kikio's handiwork, and he admired his previous life more and more. Naraku, did you come to me because you wanted to die? Kikio asked with a faint smile, then picked an arrow from the arrow basket behind her back and got ready to bend the bow. And at this time, the barrier has lost most of its effectiveness, so there is no need to consume spiritual energy to maintain it. She had to focus every ounce of her strength. Ali, let's take action together later. If Naraku dares to come to the door at this time, he must have sewing to rely on. You have to learn to use the abilities in your memory to protect yourself. At the foot of the mountain. Naraku looked gloomy. Miscalculated. The sneak attack plan has been declared bankrupt, and now the only option is to attack by force. Let's deal with the two huge stone statues that cannot be ed by physical means first. Thinking of this, he no longer hesitated and suddenly took out a right hand solidified into glass from his chest. There was a string of rosary beads wrapped around the right hand, and the palm seemed to be blocked by sewing. Untie. As Naraku's voice fell, the glass covering the arm quickly disappeared, causing the arm to turn into a normal human right arm in the blink of an eye. And you can clearly see the five fingers of this arm twitching. The next moment, the corner of the clothes blocking the palm of this arm was pushed aside, revealing a dark, airy hole. Immediately, a powerful suction force erupted from the entrance of the cave, locking the two stone statues with a bull's head and a horse's face. That's the wind cave. On the hillside, Ali couldn't believe it when he saw this scene. The wind cave can swallow everything in the world. Restrain many things. It was the terrible curse that hung over Master Mithraya's head. It once gave Mithraya a headache. It was also the biggest trump card of this lustful mage. Unexpectedly, Naraku is now being used in turn. Ali was anxious about this, and Kikio frowned slightly. But sewing strange happened. No matter how much the wind acupoint sucks, the stone statue of the bullheaded horse face is not moved at all. The wind acupoint seems to be unable to absorb these two. What does it mean that you can only with natural teeth? The bullheaded horse faced person embodies these words vividly. These two stone statues, which are not mundane things, are almost invincible to most monsters except Sesomaru, who was born with teeth. Naraku is naturally no exception. What the hell are these two stone statues? Why aren't they even using the wind cave? Naraku's expression completely changed. Fight in. As the shrine maiden's barrier disintegrated, Kagura, who was coming with a swarm of monsters at the moment, had the same eyes flashing and her complexion changed slightly. Why do you feel that Naraku is not as powerful as you imagined? What can you do about even a mere stone statue? Wrong. It's not Naraku's problem. It's those two really weird stone statues. She didn't want to fight. I want to leave here quickly. Kagura, stop these two stone statues for me. Naraku is also a decisive person. Since there is a lack of information about the two stone statues in a short period of time, and there is no way to deal with the two stone statues, let people hold the stone statues. He went to Platycodon Grandiflorum and completed his purpose here. Kagami was pleased and cursed secretly. But he had to lead the monster army to help Naraku entangle the bull head and horse face. As for Naraku, he had already propped up the barrier and rushed towards the two girls at the entrance of the temple halfway up the mountain. The diamond gun breaks. Prison dragon breaks. Countless diamond spearheads shot out from a hillside on the side. The magenta barrier disintegrated instantly, and in the blink of an eye, it was pierced by the diamond spearhead and turned into a sieve. What followed was a super euro storm. It is so powerful that it can destroy everything. Everything along the way was sucked in and strangled to pieces. 
This move caught Meraku off guard again. Li Xiao. Didn't you ride Yan Ho to the east? Why are you here? Meraku was shocked. This is really a big surprise. Then, he suddenly figured it out is this a trap that has been waiting for him for a long time? The person riding Yan Ho may not be Li Xia himself at all. Your actions were guessed by the other party again and they responded. What, what the hell? Why is this opponent so difficult to deal with? The violent hell dragon put swept past, and Naraku, whose barrier was destroyed by the diamond spearhead, resolutely retreated into a set of airtight turtle shells. The storm passes. The monster group affected by this attack at the foot of the mountain suffered large casualties. Fortunately, the storm only passed by the village, which allowed the villagers who were knocked unconscious to escape the disaster. The mountain wind blew by, and the billowing smoke quickly dispersed, revealing Naraku with dark green armor protecting every inch of his body. Is that Hadesman's armor? Li Xia, who was standing in the air with a gun in one hand and a sword in the other, couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. Quite surprised by this. He really didn't expect that Naraku could recover all the physical damage and loss of monster power in a short period of time, and also hunt and absorb powerful monsters. Plutomon is no ordinary monster. Plutomon is a turtle-like monster with a huge body and a huge monster power of four and a half to close to five stars. In addition, there are three abilities. One is flying. The second is the hardest armor on the surface of the island country's demon world, that is, the turtle shell. This turtle shell is so hard that it can break fighting ghosts and gods. It is said that as long as the limbs and head are retracted into the shell, it can resist all attacks. The shield is so strong that even a diamond gun cannot cause effective damage to it and by rotating. It can also use the turtle shell to bounce back the enemy's attacks or it can use the rotating body to crush the enemy. The third is that he possesses considerable thunder and lightning power, and his unique S is the Netherworld Thunder Cannon. In the manga version, Plutomon uses this move against Inuyasha, which can condense five or six black thunderballs the size of millstones. Each of these thunderballs is enough to destroy a house. There is no doubt that Naraku has become stronger again in these ten days. That guy moves really fast. Li Xia quietly became more vigilant. He quickly suppressed the idea of continuing to use the diamond gun to destroy the opponent. He will never forget how Inuyasha in the original work allowed Hashimaru to easily absorb the demonic power of Kongo Gunpaku. Otherwise, use the underworld's waning moonbreaker. This trick is the easiest. No matter how strong your physical defense is, with one strike, you can take Naraku unawares and send him into the underworld where even the top monsters cannot stay for long. He even simply sent it to the depths of the underworld, so that there was no possibility of him turning over. But considering that Miroku is still in Naraku's body, then we can only settle for the next best thing. Dragon Scales Fire Tipped Spear. Give me. Suck. Naraku, who curled up his body in the turtle shell of Plutomon, felt uncertain for a while. Li Xia suddenly appeared here, obviously squatting near me the whole time. I don't know how long you've been squatting on me. Could it be that this guy never left here from beginning to end? The situation was somewhat different from what Naraku had guessed. Li Xia did leave for a while before. But that doesn't stop him from immediately fighting back after returning to Bailing Mountain. After all Ali is here, how could he really leave his little girlfriend alone? Furthermore, using the mountain ghost's mind-reading SS, he heard interesting thoughts from the heart of the ordinary little spider on the beam outside the house. This further confirmed that Kikio was the target that the opponent would definitely attack. Someone will take advantage of the situation. When returning to Bailing Mountain, he rode on his flaming hoof with great fanfare and high profile. Based on Naraku's supervision ODs for large areas of Honshu Island, especially the landmark location of Bailing Mountain, there will always be overt or covert sentinels and eyes to focus on. Therefore, when leaving Bailing Mountain, Li Xia became extremely low-key. On the one hand, a makeover. On the other hand, by changing flying escape to earth escape, entering and exiting Bailing Mountain is no longer a matter of flying in on horseback, but slipping out through ground escape. The underground is a blind spot. Li Xia happened to use the power of the era tree to escape from Bailing Mountain. Wait until he is some distance away, 
and then cast illusion spells on himself to hide his figure, at least so that others cannot see his figure clearly. In this way, you can return to the temple where Platycodon is located silently. After returning here, you can cooperate with the Good Mountain Ghost's mind-reading SS to cleverly avoid the area where Neraku may have inserted his eyes. Then use the power of the life-melting tree ring. As long as Li Xia wraps herself up with the tentacles of those life-melting trees, Li Xia can ignore the obstruction of the barrier and enter the inside of the barrier. The tentacles of the life-melting tree will not cause serious damage to the barrier, and the movement will be very small. Therefore, as long as he finds a corner as a breakthrough, it will probably not disturb Platycodon Grandiflorum, who is helping Ali peel off his memories in the dream world. And even if it attracts Platycodon's attention, as smart as Platycodon, he will only be more vigilant instead of directly alerting the snake. As for Yen Tu and Chun Lan, it's completely a prearranged move. Put yourself in their shoes. What will Neraku think when he sees Li Xia riding Yen Hu to find Ganya? Coincidentally, the little spider under the eaves was really tempted by this. And this emotion was naturally captured by Li Xia, who had escaped underground, with the help of the mountain ghost's mind-reading SS. The cards with the bull's head and the horse's face sealed were placed in place at this time. Building plank roads openly and guarding Chinsong secretly is the essence of this campaign. Dragon Scale's fire-tipped spear stabbed Neraku's turtle shell. Immediately, the demonic power was forcibly sucked into the gun body. It's this force that forcibly deprives the demon power again. How come a mere human mage has so many weird abilities? Where did you get it? Inside the turtle shell, Neraku felt a chill in his heart, feeling that a disaster was imminent. Half a month ago, during the confrontation on Shikoku Island, he suffered a heavy loss because of this. Once his tentacles, body parts or monster heads are cut off by the spear head, they will all lose their corresponding monster power and activity. The end is evil. I feel like this is somewhat similar to the form of plunder in which Tai Suya can obtain the ability of the slain monster after ing a powerful target. Neraku muttered inwardly. It's just that Dragon Scale's fire tip spear is far more domineering than Tai Suya's. Tai Suya needs to cut the opponent's important parts, or the opponent and bathe in the demon blood, so that he can plunder the demon power and ability. But Dragon Scale's fire tip spear can forcibly deprive the opponent of part of its power by just touching the target. Hey, why is that guy so evil? Can you even come across this rare ability and take it for yourself? No, we can't stick to it like this. The man surnamed Lee could continuously deprive me of my demonic power to strengthen himself, but I could only be forced to be beaten and become weak little by little. In this case, if you keep it for a long time, you will lose it. The more he thought about it, the more flustered Neraku became. But crises often coexist with opportunities. At this time, how much he hoped that Li Xia would make a mistake so that the evil spear containing many powerful demonic powers would fall into his hands. If I could absorb the demon power in that fire tip gun. The more he thought about it, the more Neraku became excited. After much thought, he decided to rely on the Pluto Beast armor to seduce him. Li Xia, it's useless. This armor of mine is known as the strongest shield in the world of monsters. How can your spear break through the defense? The only thing you can do now is not to hurt it most. Just poke me a few times and scratch off a little bit of my superficial demonic power. I, Neraku, can still bear that loss. Humph, even though you calculated that I would come here, you also sent Flame Hoof out. And with your flying speed, you can't catch up with me. After Li Xia heard this, he grinned. Although Neraku only has a few sentences, the amount of information here is quite large. And there is intentional or unintentional guidance. To understand it backwards is. Li Xia, Yan Ho is not here, and your flying speed is not as good as mine. If you want to me, you must fight to determine the outcome. You must first break through my defense. Otherwise I will definitely be able to escape. And you use that spear to deprive me of my demonic power bit by bit, and it will take years and months. We Neraku can afford to lose this little drizzle. Now I have the strongest shield, and you have the strongest spear. Do you want to try stabbing me with the diamond spear of the strongest spear? If it were the others, they would really be tempted to use the diamond gun to see if they could break through Pluto's armor. 
But once you do that, 80% of the power of the Bao Xiangui's Vajra Spear will be absorbed by Neraku. Li Xia didn't follow Neraku's hint at all. Want to get the King Kong gun? Hee hee, I'm afraid you're not thinking about. Ali. The two looked at each other and said nothing. Follow closely. A whoosh sound broke through the air. Two brilliant purple demon breaking lights went straight towards Neraku. Originally, Li Xia just planned to cooperate with his little girlfriend. I didn't expect that Kikio would spontaneously join in and fit in perfectly with his attack. As if waiting for him to speak. This made Ali next to him stunned. There was a hint of weirdness in the eyes that looked at Kikio. The demon breaking arrow, also known as the Miko's soul arrow, can restrain evil spirits to a great extent. The moment Ailey shot the demon breaking arrow, Naruo secretly said sewing bad. Unlike Kikio's straight attacks, Ali's arrows can penetrate space and lock onto the real owner. It must hit. The little girl's eyes were shining at this moment. The next second, sewing magical happened. The girl's demon breaking arrow disappeared without any warning the moment it was about to touch the extremely hard Plutamon armor. No trace was left in midair. It was as if the arrow had not been shot at all. But Neraku, who was shrinking in the turtle shell, had his pupils shrinking sharply, and he almost couldn't help shouting damn girl, this trick again. Within Neraku's body, space rippled. An arrow ignored the blockage of Plutamon's armor and appeared in front of Neraku's pretty face that was twitching. His face was torn apart again by an arrow filled with purple spiritual power. Immediately, the powerful spiritual power of the Miko exploded in her body. What's the saying? No matter how strong a fortress is, it often starts to disintegrate from within. Damn it! Neraku's heart was roaring and roaring. And this time, Kikio's arrow happened to hit the gap in the cracked Plutamon's armor from the outside. One inside and one outside. The two shrine maiden spiritual powers, which can be said to have the same origin, echoed each other, and Neraku simply couldn't withstand them. He exploded. It exploded into pieces of flesh and blood that filled the sky. However, what made Neraku despair was that the cracked flesh and blood did not fly in all directions, but was locked in an area by a barrier. There is no intention of letting go of even a trace of flesh and blood. At the foot of the mountain. Kagura, who witnessed all this, was confused and her eyes were wide open. Is Neraku going to die in such frustration? But how could Neraku just sit back and wait for death? Even if this is just a split body of him, he is reluctant to part with half of his soul power. Li Xia, watch carefully. Among the countless broken and flying pieces of flesh and blood. The glass sculptures of Mithraya and Coral were thrown heavily by two monster tentacles to two different positions of the barrier light curtain. If Li Xia doesn't remove the powerful barrier, Mithraya and Coral will definitely be shattered into horrible shards of glass. Grass. He gritted his teeth and cursed secretly. Li Xia, who didn't sense any four soul fragments from Neraku, had already made some guesses. But the other party clearly threatened the life of his former companion, so he really couldn't do it. The powerful barrier dispersed. The Mithraya sculptures and coral sculptures thrown out by Neraku flicked his tentacles, and they passed through the disintegrated barrier with great difficulty. To prevent accidents, mountain ghosts also rose up from the ground and took the initiative to expose themselves. And quickly grabbed the coral and Mithraya sculptures one by one. It was saved. As for Neraku? Then it dispersed into a large number of fragments, and then broke through the air from different directions. Li Xia, Kikio, and Ali were not given any chance to determine which piece of flesh and blood contained the real Neraku soul. And it's really too scattered. The key is not to run away in one direction. As a result, not even the underworld's waning moon breaker can be used. Li Xia teleported to Mithraya. The divine purifying light shines, breaking the glass curse on this companion. Then the moment Miroku's right hand recovered. He helped Mithraya take off the rosary, and helped the mage use his own trick. Wind Cave. Now, as much as you can suck. Just don't make Neraku feel better. Neraku in the dark. If possible, please give me your recommendation vote too. Thank you. Miasma. Feeling the huge suction coming from the wind cave, Neraku was secretly anxious. 
Without thinking, he controlled every piece of monster flesh and blood to release the poisonous miasma. At the same time, he did not forget to gather a human face on a piece of flesh and blood to remind him. Li Xia, if Mithraya absorbs too much miasma, he will die. Normally, that's true. But the next moment, Li Xia Li Sua consumed mana and used the sacred light of purification to purify the surrounding area. Not only that, he also captured ready-made young men. Miss Platy Kodan, Ali, you also come here to help purify the miasma and evil spirits. Neraku's miasma poison was strengthened by part of the immortal power of Yao Lao Poison Fairy, and indeed became extremely dangerous, but it could not withstand the purification of the three of them. Especially Platycodon Grandiflorum and Ali are not polluted by Neraku's spider silk as in the original timeline, and the purification effect is excellent. Only one of Ali's demon-breaking arrows can clear the poisonous miasma in a radius of hundreds of meters. In this way, the situation became while Lysia used Mithraya's wind cave to gather a large amount of Neraku's miasma and flesh and blood fragments. He and the two women helped Mithraya purify the monster flesh and blood and poisonous miasma that swept in. Among them, Platycodon can even use magic to extract the miasma poison from Mithraya's body. In the original work, it was Kikyo who transferred the miasma poison in Mithraya's body to his clay body, which allowed Master Mithraya to avoid the near-death disaster. How can it still be like this? Neraku naturally saw the cooperation of the four people below. He never expected that Mithraya's wind cave could temporarily relieve hidden dangers in such a simple way. This side has just absorbed the poison of miasma, and the other side immediately peels off the poison from Platycodon and purifies it. Damn it! How did things come to this? Seeing that another part of the fine flesh and blood was sucked into the wind acupoint, Neraku was shocked and angry. Feeling the danger of losing all his flesh and blood, he no longer dared to take any chances. While increasing the intensity of the release of miasma, he released groups of the fiercest demons in addition, monster heads grew out of some flesh and blood. And then they opened their mouths and spewed out a large amount of flames and thunder, and there were even physical long ones. The spears were thrown like a curtain of rain. Under the influence of the suction force of the wind cave, the flames and thunder accelerated towards this direction like a great tide. The rain of spears falling like raindrops was the most us. Li Xia held up the barrier and blocked Mithraya's right hand from the wind cave outside the barrier, while the four of them huddled inside the barrier. Today's barrier has long been capable of manned flight, so it is difficult for Neraku's many covering attacks to hit them even if there are sporadic attacks. They will be protected by the barrier's light ball and will not be harmed. However, Neraku quickly realized this. As a result, the targets of the controlled pieces of flesh and blood immediately changed to a beautiful woman outside the temple who was terrified after witnessing the battle. Flames and thunder shot straight over. At this moment, Kikyo and Ali were still wondering what was going on, wondering why Neraku missed the target. Li Xia snorted coldly with a solemn expression. The mountain ghost behind has completed its Vitra transformation and is protecting Higurashi's mother. All the damage was shouldered by the mountain ghost without any pain. Only then did Ali exclaim Mom. I immediately ran over to check the situation. Don't worry, Ali, as long as my Shikigami mountain ghost is here, Aunt Higurashi will be fine. Li Xia quickly called out to his little girlfriend. Higurashi's mother has more than one mountain ghost around her. After all, with his understanding of Neraku who uses all possible means to achieve his goals, how could he not be on guard beforehand? How could we not consider the danger and embarrassment of the mother-in-law's environment during the war? He was already prepared. It's just that Neraku's weak counterattack can't force more backup moves. This damn Li Xia. During the tug of war between the pieces of flesh and blood in the sky and the suction force of the wind cave, the number was reduced by about 10% again. What's terrible is that the demon free wall that can hide the demonic energy is missing. This made Neraku's heart bleed with pain. In fact, too much high quality flesh and blood was lost, including one of Oyakata's dismembered legs. And the importance of the non demon wall is self evident. Without the demon wall, it would be difficult for him to hide his aura and launch a sneak attack on some people with keen senses. He was able to recover quickly these days, mostly because he relied on the Fuyubi to hide his aura. Which immediately gave him the opportunity to quietly approach some superior monsters and even top big monsters like Oyakata. 
the silent assassination, even those big monsters who were alone could not withstand it. Damn it, this great situation has been completely disrupted by this human being. I have no choice but to play out two excellent trump cards. One of them was undoubtedly in Yasha. The other one is a hidden hand planted in Mithraya's memory. Why do you have strong heart palpitations? Li Xia, whose soul level is now very powerful, has an inexplicable whim. Before he could continue to implement the follow-up measures against Neraku, alarm bells suddenly sounded in his heart. Under his incredible gaze, Mithraya, who had been in a dazed state since waking up, threw his hand away. And then turned his right hand that was activating the wind acupoint toward him with a look of hatred. What this means is self-evident. Mithraya made it clear that he would use the power of the wind cave to him. Li Xia's scalp was numb and confused. But he was already on guard and had been wary of Mithraya from the beginning. He kicked Mithraya away very decisively. At the same time, he grabbed Ali and Kikio one by one and teleported to Baitoku through the barrier. Ten meters away. This teleportation was really a big burden on him. Originally, he could teleport easily by himself. But taking two girls to teleport with the barrier turns a shared bicycle for one person into a bicycle for the whole family. For those who drive, the pressure is still great. The reason why he teleported with the barrier was to reduce the severe overload on Ali's fragile body in a short period of time. Hohu. Mithraya, what are you doing? The great situation was ruined by the mage's sudden defection. This made Li Xia grit his teeth in anger. If he hadn't been guarding against Mithraya, the other party would have stabbed him in the back suddenly with the wind point, which would have definitely ed him. Humph, Naraku, as long as I you here, my wind cave curse will end. My descendants will no longer have to live in fear. Mithraya said with a serious expression. Naraku. Call me Naraku. Is there sewing wrong with Chita Miao's brain? Do you think I look like Naraku? Li Xia almost lost his temper. Looking up at the large amount of pieces of flesh and blood that had taken the opportunity to escape, he knew that he hadn't made much money this time. Naraku, there's no need to argue, I still remember your face. Mithraya is full of indifference toward strangers. As soon as these words came out, no matter how stupidly Xia was, he realized that there might be sewing wrong with his former friend's memory. Does Naraku have the ability to modify people's memories? He thought to himself. But after thinking about it, I can only think of Neraku's OD of clearing and sealing Amber's memory in the original work. It seems that there is no ability to modify memory. Wait, that's not right. The power of Onyx Maru, or the flying demon Moth, can do this to a small extent. It is not that the memory is directly rewritten, but that the memory is overwritten, which is distortion and deepening of the impression. The specific situation is Neraku used his original ability to first seal part of Mithraya's memory. And then used the demon power Magatama, which gradually deepened Miroku's inherent impression of Neraku's enemy. It's just that this inherent impression is the result of exchanging the appearance of the young city lord Yin Jian Yin Dao with the appearance of Li Xiao. In other words, being forcibly brainwashed by this false memory flow every day, Li Xia has long since become Neraku. Neraku, who had the face of Ren Jian Yin Dao, became Li Xia in Mithraya's eyes. And this kind of memory impression can last for ten days, not to mention more than a month, which is enough to rewrite a mortal's inherent concepts. It is not an exaggeration for a person to recognize three as two. Only if Mithraya can withstand Neraku's brainwashing is there a ghost. Agat Maru can control Glass and Lioli to work for him wholeheartedly, so there are naturally some tricks to it. Of course, Neraku's brainwashing of Mithraya should not be complete. After all, these days, Neraku spends a lot of time recuperating and repairing his body, and doesn't have much energy to make arrangements for Mithraya. When Mithraya recalls his past memories and sorts out his entire life, those tampered memories, or overwritten memories, can be recovered again. Just like the original Kahaku, when he met his sister Coral, he gradually recovered the past memories that were stripped and sealed by Neraku. I underestimated you, Neraku. I underestimated you, Li Xia. The two voices sounded almost at the same time. The former was surprised that Neraku would prepare such a big surprise for him. If he lacked defense against Mithraya, then he would definitely be in trouble this time. 
he might not even have time to run away from the sudden burst of wind that hit his face. Neraku was also amazed at his opponent's caution. You know, Mithraya was your former companion, but Li Xia took precautions as soon as he rescued people. Can there still be some basic trust between mother and other people? And in order to reduce the Suyin, he refrozen Mithraya into a glass sculpture. It can be said to be full of sincerity. Even my companions are on guard, Li Xia, isn't it good for you to do this? Neraku started making trouble again. Anyway, it's three shots if there are dates but no dates. Hearing this, Li Xia glanced at Master Mithraya who was at a loss as to where he was, and then stared at some pieces of meat getting further and further away in the air. People who have different paths do not agree with each other. Inuyasha, Moroku and I have parted ways long ago. What kind of companions are we? They are at best acquaintances with each other. What's more, I saved him first, and then I just took a few precautions. What's wrong with that? After the hostages are rescued by the righteous masters, if sowing unexpected happens to the righteous masters, there is a 70 to 80 percent chance that it is because of the rescued hostage. Instinctively believing that the rescued hostage is a victim is absolutely harmless. How naive is this? Humph, Li Xia, you are more said this time, so I admit defeat. But next time. There will be no exception next time, Neraku. Li Xia confidently said. Don't forget how many times you suffered in my hands. He said this, but he was extremely vigilant in his heart. Neraku ran away, leaving behind Kagura Dango. When Li Xia's eyes fell on the woman who was escaping quickly in a feather boat, the wind user couldn't help but shudder. Kagura, how about another deal? Li Xia blocked the opponent's path with a few teleports, and then threw the opponent's left arm back. Kagura, who took the arm, still looked extremely ugly. What do you want? She was abandoned again. And this kind of thing has not happened once or twice. This also made her desire freedom even more. The two landed in the woods. Immediately afterwards, a barrier was propped up, and then quickly closed, soundlessly isolating the inside and outside. Only then did Li Xia speak. I have two talismans here, you can take them with you. After that, you should follow the baby that Neraku split as much as possible. Then you can find a suitable time to tear one of the talismans, but never tear both pieces apart. As he spoke, he threw out two high-quality intermediate tracking charms. The main function of the tracking charm is to track the target. This kind of talisman actually exists in pairs, and one can sense the approximate position of the other through one of them, which is like magnets attracting each other. Giving Kagura two at this moment means that Li Xia has the corresponding other two in his hand. As long as Kagura shreds any one of the two, one of the two corresponding talismans on his side will react quickly. By then, he would be able to find Neraku's monster heart just by following the clues he had left. Notwithstanding Neraku's many clever tricks, this time he was even more cowardly and came to attack Kikio and Ali. As if confident. In fact, that guy is not afraid of most of his body being destroyed. Because as long as the monster's heart is still pure, and as long as Neraku still has a trace of will left outside, that guy can make a comeback. And sewing like a monster body? There is no shortage of this land. But on the other hand, if you directly AKO, who is the heart, Neraku will die anyway. That was Neraku's lifeblood. What benefits do I get? After the elf girl connected her arm, she frowned and asked. Hearing this, Li Xia looked at the left arm that the other party had just attached. Kagura, you don't think that this arm of yours was a free gift from me, do you? What do you mean? The little girl's heart tightened. Could it be that she was asked to remove the newly installed left arm again? Don't worry, I always deal with people fairly and will not let the transaction partner suffer. Your left arm should be treated as a deposit for this transaction. Next, as long as you complete the one I gave you if I complete the task, I will have a high chance of ING Akadoji, thereby ING Neraku. ING Akaduji will destroy Neraku. Obviously, Kagura during this period had not noticed the specialness of AKO. Because it is Neraku's monster heart. Otherwise, why do you think he was so eager to protect Kana and AKO during the last confrontation on Shikoku Island? As long as AKO is eliminated, Neraku's monster heart will be destroyed. 
By then, Neraku will the body of 10,000 monsters will disintegrate directly. Neraku will definitely die. This. Kagura's mouth opened slightly, her eyes filled with disbelief. Neraku actually separated his heart from that body? What was he thinking about? Think about it, Kagura. If I Neraku, you can dig out his corpse and find your own monster heart, thus gaining true freedom. Li Xia explained a fact lightly. In sincerity, full of bewilderment. In addition, even if you are accidentally exposed and then ed by Neraku, I will use my own OD to resurrect you. For example, please ask His Highness Sesomaru to revive you with the power of the tents now. By then, there will be no more so-called monsters. You who are bound by your heart are truly free. Are you born with teeth? Kagura pursed her lips, becoming even more excited. After nodding, he left in the air without looking back. She didn't promise anything in words, she spoke best with actions. After watching Kagura go away, Li Xia turned around and walked out of the woods and quickly returned to the temple, preparing to clean the battlefield and collect the loot. I hope I can gain sewing more or less. After successfully playing Neraku, I hunkered down silently in the dark for several days it would be a great loss if I had put in so much effort and gained nothing at all. And at this time, recalling some of the preparations Neraku had made in advance, his heart gradually became more solemn. It is no exaggeration to say the Neraku in this timeline has a completely different mentality than the Neraku in the original timeline. Therefore, it becomes twice as dangerous or even ten times as dangerous. The Neraku in the original timeline only tease the protagonist group and never add anyone. But Neraku in this timeline is a little bit do-it-yourself, and has no habit of showing mercy to Inuyasha and the others. If he hadn't considered using it against himself and Kikyo, he would have probably fed some monster. For example, just now, he almost overturned his car. I actually modified Mithreya's memory, replaced my face with Neraku's appearance in Mithreya's memory, and made Mithreya subconsciously use the wind point on me after waking up. It's so gloomy. Almost fell into a trap. To be honest, this move still makes him feel deeply scared. At that moment, he felt that death was so close to him for the first time. At that time, as long as he had the slightest negligence, the slightest hesitation, the slightest hesitation, Mithraya would be able to turn his wind acupoint and hit him with one strike. Not only that, Ali and Kikyo will probably suffer the same fate as Chiyu. After all, they are too close to each other. It's just a distance of one body. Obviously, while I helped Mithraya purify the glass curse that froze his body. I also worked with Kikyo to carefully check whether there was any Neraku's backhand left on the kid, and then made sure it was fine. No control similar to the Mana Magatama was found. Means. But the only thing left out is that the memory has been manipulated. Just because I can't do sewing myself, doesn't mean Neraku, who has all kinds of abilities, can't do it either. Well, after taking advantage a few times, I'm a little impetuous again. And I slightly underestimated Neraku's limits and determination this time. The most important thing is that his heart is still too soft. Li Xia said secretly. In that situation, if it were any outsider, he would definitely plant the magic magatama for the other party without any hesitation, at least to control the other party's body first. And if he first pressed a mana magatama between Mithraya's eyebrows, then no matter what Mithraya did, it would be impossible to escape his induction. Even if Neraku had other plans, Mithraya would be more than capable. Because the person who is embedded with Mana Magatama has basically lost control of his body. It's almost all in his hands. Even if Mithraya was incited to rebel by Neraku, if he wanted to use the Wind Cave to attack him secretly, he would have to look at his face first. But he missed his old relationship and didn't do that, which almost led to an irreversible mistake. Thanks to having dealt with Neraku many times and gradually becoming more discerning, the tragedy of overturning the car was avoided. Neraku, Neraku, can't you just go to hell? Walk out of the forest and return to the temple. Li Xia glanced at Ali running towards him on the stone steps of the mountain path, saw Higurashi's mother behind Ali. And also noticed the young Mithraya who was knocked down by the mountain ghost's look on the hillside. Originally, he thought that the matter was over and he could relax his tense nerves a little. Unexpectedly, Ali came up and said anxiously. Xia, Kikyo went after Neraku, what should we do? Li Xia frowned immediately when he heard this. 
Mithraya now is a time bomb coral, who was also rescued by the mountain ghost, may not be willing to give in, and most likely has similar hidden dangers. Furthermore, most of the village at the foot of the mountain was affected by the highly corrosive miasma released by Neriku, and many of the villagers were turned into bones on the spot. Many others took one or two sips of a small amount of poisonous miasma, but their faces became extremely ugly. If the toxin is not extracted as soon as possible, it will be difficult for the poisoned person to survive for more than three days. Human life is so worthless in this era and in this world. But with Kikyo's current state of mind, it's unlikely that she would chase Neriku and give up on saving people. It's a bit abnormal. The kind-hearted Kikyo is not the kind of guy who doesn't care about casualties in order to achieve his goals. It's Neriku. Ali said anxiously. After you chased the fleeing Kagura, Kikyo wanted to save the villagers in the village. One by one he could save but the real Neriku did not actually escape at that time, but was hiding in the village. After Kikyo arrived at the village, he immediately be aware of sewing. However, Neriku was still walked away. And what is very annoying is that Neriku took Abi away. Little Abi was a little Miko whom Kikyo trained for the village, so naturally she couldn't let Neriku take her away. Considering that Neriku had just been hit hard and his demonic power had declined severely, Kikyo chased after him. No, it's a trap. Li Xia's expression changed. If Neriku no longer has the strength to fight, there is absolutely no need to take away that little girl Abi. Just run away with your tail between your legs. This was most likely to lure Kikyo into pursuit. Neriku's careless decision to cut off Kagura's back was actually to distract me so that I could focus on Kagura, who seemed to be able to use him. At the same time, he stimulated Kagura to use all possible means to speed up his escape, thus leading me away for a moment. Are you stalling for time here? Discard a knight and knock out the opponent's rook. This deal is quite a bargain. No. That guy Neriku is dragging his seriously injured body to face Kikyo. His us intention towards Kikyo is too serious. Hiss. Is it true this time? Just to platycodon with your own hands to prove that you don't love platycodon. What a crazy comment. Xia, what's wrong? Ali asked nervously. I'll go after her, but you stay and take care of Auntie. I'll leave the bull's head, horse's face, and poisonous dragon to you. The poisonous dragon has actually been coiled around Higurashi's mother's arm, hidden in the form of a tattoo. In addition, Higurashi's mother also has two layers of defense a scripture scroll and master by Xian's rosary. There was no way, that was his mother-in-law. No carelessness is allowed. Okay. 